Good morning and welcome back everyone to the Ultimate RV Show, day three, and there is so much to see. If this is your first time joining us, thank you. If you were one of the over 140,000 people that joined us yesterday, thank you so much and welcome back. Sean, it's been such a great week so far. Oh my goodness, we've had so much fun and one of the things we're going to talk about more today that we've been talking about the last couple is show specials and these are the deals that are going to last only through Sunday. We've been having a blast, like we said, and a, I mean 140,000 people people checked in we can't thank you enough if you're joining us for day one like chris said wait until you see what we have planned for you not only the most incredible deals manufacturers uh everything specials retail items the whole nine it's gonna get a little crazy so you gotta keep watching that's right it is day three we've got brand new models to show you we cannot wait for you to see them and you know what that means if you have any questions comments concerns you know what to do. Easy RV to 32094. That's Easy RV to 32094. <laughs> and make sure that you register for our ultimate giveaways. We're literally giving away RVs. Yes, we if are. If you're not registered, you cannot win. So go to ultimatervshow.com, register, giveaways galore for realsies. What a great chance to experience the RV life by winning one, right? Exactly. And you're right, Morgan. If you don't register, you don't get a chance to win. But you know, one of the great things about being here at the Ultimate RV Show, you don't have to leave your couch. You get to see all of these beautiful RVs right there in your pajamas. We're the ones walking them through for you. First looks are a big part of this week's Ultimate RV Show. My buddy Ian Baker, my brother, he's going to be coming up first. We have a brand new fifth wheel, the Forest River Arctic Wolf 3770. If you've been thinking about camping and going in style, wait until you see this one. And guys, the best part about it, it's it's first look. It just came off the press. They I was going to say, brand spanking yeah. new. To us. Not brand spanking new. It hadn't even been slapped yet. So <laughs> my boy Ian Baker, Arctic Wolf 3770. Take it away, baby. What we got in there, big dog? Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Ian Baker and I am joined by Ben with Arctic Wolf. And folks, we are here at the Ultimate RV Show. It is literally the easiest way to buy an RV. You see something you like, all you have to do is text Easy RV to 32094. Put Easy RV in the comment section or call 866 853 3510. That will lock in your offer. We can take care of everything over the phone, send you the paperwork in the mail, and actually deliver it to your front door, in your driveway, at your campsite, wherever you want it. And folks, you're definitely going to remember those numbers because this Arctic Wolf 3770 is an amazing family floor plan. Ben, my friend, please take it away. Ian, uh, uh, thanks for having me. i uh, really excited to be here. The 3770 is uh, one of our three newest floor plans. Um, when Arctic Wolf first came out, um, it was a combination of the Cherokee group within Forest River saying, hey, we, we offer a great value product. We have something that um, we have the ability to see where people want uh, their couches placed or their features at um, okay. and keep it at a price point, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to have high quality construction, lots of features at a value proposition, but we wanted to bring that to the fifth wheel market, right? So once we started building the fifth wheels, we started with the half ton market. Yep. Once we got there, we've now expanded into a three quarter ton market with full king size bed slides. The 3770 is one of our most unique floor plans because it offers a full bunk room with full size beds, not the little beds you think of for, let's say, a 10 year old. Yeah. Right. But tons of functional living space, mm -hmm. tons of sleeping space, and tons of features as well. And a bath and a half floor plan. Bath and a half floor plan is amazing. <laughs> it's really been great. So once we start getting into um, that level of fifth wheel, there's higher expectations on what people are going to want, right? So sure. one of the things that people consistently talk about is how much space and storage do I have in my kitchen, okay. right? Yes. So one of the things we did is a lot of brands will have a much smaller island, right? So yep. we expanded this out so you have a full set of drawers, plus below you're going to have a place for, say, um, pots and pans, or if you want to have trash can storage, things like that, right? Mm -hmm. you, you many times will have um, fridge storage, you'll have cabinet storage, but where am I going to put my silverware? Where am I going to put my pots and pans? Yep. So we added a dedicated pots and pans area down here, right? Okay. In addition to there, um, you've got a full bank of drawers here and here. You're going to have the 12 volt refrigerator system, which is going to be nice because your standard gas electric sometimes has a hard time getting to temperature quickly, doesn't have as much storage. So this is going to yes. offer more storage, right? And more of that quick, cool com uh, convenience of a residential fridge, but you're going to have it in the ability to, if you want to go off-road, if you want to go dry camping, this particular unit, along with all of the uh, Camping World Arctic Wolves, is going to have a juice pack on it. Okay. okay. That juice pack is going to have a 50-watt panel already mounted to the roof. Okay. Wow. 
in, including you're going to have a battery and the voltmeter and all of that included with what you're going to need to get going. Now that's only going to suffice you for say a limited amount of time. So we always suggest if you're going to try and go out for a week, 10 days, you know, upgrade your panel, uh, yep. upgrade your batteries, things like that. So okay. that you can truly go off road. But if you're spending the night somewhere and you're afraid your power is going to go out, you're never going to lose that with this. So you get all the convenience of dry camping with the convenience of residential refrigeration. I love it. I love so, it. And it's got good size too. I mean, that's, that's a big fridge. Yeah. A lot of people, especially um, when they're first coming into a fifth wheel, they don't realize, you know, hey, I've got more space here. So we've got the taller slides. All of our slides are going to be six foot five inches as opposed to a lot okay. of things that are going to be five ten or five eleven, right? Yep. So you're going to have taller windows. You're going to have a more open feel, even in a smaller floor plan, like some of our half tons. But in something like this, we can afford a larger fridge. You can have higher space here to work. Sometimes it feels a little cramped if you've got something working on your stove. This allows more space here. Yeah, I like um, plus that. we can add more cabinetry, right? Um, so overall, when we said we want to add more counter space and more storage, we wanted that in to include the pantry as well. Okay. Right? Okay. So we added a double pantry in this model. So every one of our fifth wheels has at least a single pantry, right? But in this floor plan, you're going to have a double pantry. So this is going to be two sides and it goes the whole length of the feature wall. Wow. So that let's say that you want to go out camping or some, some people are going to full-time this, right? Yeah. Oh, you need sure. the amount of storage you're going to be able to get. So we wanted to make sure we had that along with our extra counter space and storage so that we could um, you know, really be more versatile than what we've ever been. And, and I, I think you nailed it. I mean, there is a ton of storage, especially for being a bunk model. Right. You know, a lot of times because you have to give up on some of that and you get this center island, you have a ton of space in here. You have, like you said, just massive storage, love the pantry. And I, I do like how you said the feature wall, right? I like how you actually have the kind of like the barn style look going above it. Right. Uh, just again, kind of bringing in some of that, that residential feel. I, I, I would love to take credit for that. But Michelle Kay, who's our interior designer, like she looks at these things and she does a great job of, of seeing how um, all of the colors and feature walls and those all gonna fit together. And um, it's, it's great to have a well-built product. It's great to have a great layout. Yep. But when you have her touch and her eye and it can look like this, it just sets it over the top. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And, and folks, I know you're loving it too. Uh, the price on the Arctic Wolf, 3770 folks, for the Ultimate RV Show, you're looking at under $50,000. It's 49,995. That equates to starting at 364 a month. I mean, that's very reasonable. For what you're gonna get when we go through this, you're gonna continue to see where that value is at. And folks, you're gonna to wanna to text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comments section or call 866-853-3510 to be able to take advantage of the amazing show pricing. And Ben, again, I think you guys have absolutely killed it with the kitchen and galley area. I love this too. This is not like a, a stainless steel. It's almost like a, like a gun metal. Yeah. Like a little bit darker. I think that's pretty cool. We went with the uh, black stainless steel. Okay. Um, and we went with the farm sinks, right? So a lot of people are like, I have um, a larger uh, pan or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. I need the space to actually clean it. Um, upgraded our faucet this year. Um, and considering the situation we're in in America right now, we've had yes. hand sanitization. I like that. Um, trying to be a little bit conscious there. Um, but yeah, the, the accents of the uh, darker stainless has really been nice to set that apart. Yeah. Um, we added the feature wall here on this end as well as this end because a lot of times in a camper, people don't think about how they're going to use it, right? So yep. you may have the TV down there on that wall where you're going to be looking sideways. This allows full viewing in the kitchen and in the super lounge where I you can it. have um, extra storage. You've got the fireplace, which also doubles as an electric heater. Okay. Um, but then you can fit your TV right here um, and be able to view it from the whole living room. And I like the amount of space you have here too. I mean, you can fit a pretty good sized TV there. It's not you know confined to something that's really little. Absolutely. It's especially you know if you're a little bit further over because you know we'll see in a little bit like this is a huge sofa. Absolutely. And so you know if you you get still, still be able to see it no matter where you're sitting. Right. Well, in a coach this big, we also want to add the the larger plate here so that you have um, more more TVs that you can actually fit it on. So when you're okay. screwing it yep. in to the back of the bolt pattern there, you can get a larger TV if you want to put it in there, right? Yep. So we want to have tons of kitchen, we want to have tons of living, but really what this is is a bunkhouse, yes. right? So, but it's unique because most of the time when you have a bunk, um, what if I've got older kids? What if I've got buddies that come with me? What if it's something like this? So in this specific floor plan, what we did- Let's check it out. Right? We added a full bed down below and a queen loft above. Wow. Okay. So you can fit two full size adults here and two adults up there. So if you've got a large family, if you're using it as a hunting cabin in the fall, yeah. if you're going to have relatives that come with you, if it's two families, right? It's so versatile because you're not just crammed into a bunk. You've got a real bed. It's something that you can feel comfortable sleeping in. It's not just going to be a, a little flip up space that you're trying to make work, right? And, and I love that because, you know, if it's the. want to bring a friend or if you have 
like uh, family friends that want to come right. with you. You know, you have sleeping space, like you said, for adults, which right. is fantastic. Well, and, and one of the things like you're talking about, when you have older kids, can we get them back? My wife tells me all the time, you've only got 900 and some Saturdays from when they're born to when they graduate, right? Man, that's a sad statistic to look at, <laughs> but it's true, you right. know? I want them to want to go camping with me. I yep. want those memories. I want that time, right? So this allows for versatility to where if they want to come, they're going to feel like they have their space mm -hmm. and it's not going to be just something that was an afterthought, right? Yeah. So in addition to having their own space, we wanted them to have their own storage, right? So tons of you storage. Put that up Absolutely. For me? Oh yeah, look at that. Right? Oh, so that's it's, nice it's, and big. It's a large cavity that goes out the whole way. So there's nothing that's going to impede that, right? So you can actually have enough storage for, well, as many as it can sleep, right? Um, then in addition to that, you're going to add another bathroom for them. Now this is going to be a half bath, so it's not going to be a full bath, but you're going to get the toilet, you're going to get the sink, you're going to get the vanity, right? You're going to have the fantastic fan already installed um, here with the second entry. So this is beautiful because it kind of gives them their own bathroom in addition to the fact that when you're outside and you're around your campfire and you're eating or whatever you want to do, you don't have to trek through the whole coach. You can come right here without having to go all the way back up, right? So um, having a half bath down here has been huge for us, um, but I think we'll go back out in the living room and see where that goes. Now, Ben, one of the things I'm seeing too is it looks like you have electrical outlets and USB ports by both, uh, both the beds. Yep. So that way you can, you can plug in whatever you need to, if it's a tablet, cell phone, whatever it may be, you're just able to plug that in and go. Well, I mean, technology is a part of our lives today, right? Yeah, right. So um, you want to go camping, you want to get away from that, but to a degree, we've got to be tied to certain things. So we wanted yep. to add USB ports and outlets everywhere we could, mm -hmm. right? In addition, a lot of times people are saying, great, Ben, you've given me all the sleeping space, right? Yep. Yep. That's great that you've given me all the storage. What if I have all these people and I want to sit seat them, right? So that's where our super lounge comes in. This thing is awesome. So <laughs> what this does is it allows comfortable seating and four of these will recline Okay, so you can get full wall set recliners with four stations of that and a whole wall of seating with cup holders and storage in a, in a coach like this. Now this does come with two fold away tables. Okay. Okay. So if you would okay. like to use this as your dining, I know a lot of people go outside and go to the picnic tables and do yep. these things, right? Yep. But if you would like to dine inside, it's fully ready for that. And then they fold up and can be put away. But if you want to have just the seating, if you want to have the extra space, sometimes the family is just eating on paper plates and sandwiches. You don't need a whole table set up, right? That's the convenience and, and versatility of something like this. Wow. And, and to think that for the show right now, you can get all this for 364 a month. I mean, that's incredible guys. Just text Easy RV to 32094, call 866-853-3510, or put Easy RV in the comments. This is a super unique uh, floor plan. Again, a bath and a half, you get the huge bunk. And Ben, I, I love this. Now, you mentioned earlier, correct me if I'm wrong, you said that Michelle K was the interior designer, correct? That's right. So this, uh, you see her name on the front of our furniture because again, she's so involved. Um, I think that when you have people that are that invested in what they do, um, you can get a great turnout of a product like this, right? So this furniture yes. is actually very comfortable, um, very nice looking, and we and she's uh, got her name on it because she's the one who uh, partners with them to do all this, right? In addition to things like the zebra shades, okay? So this why, why don't is you walk me through these? These are kind of cool. So the zebra shades are amazing because a lot of times you want to have a little versatility with your light. Sometimes yep. you might want to have it blacked out. Sometimes you might want to have a little bit of light. Sometimes you want to let all the light in, right? So this allows you the ability to kind of control the light and have blackout without having to just pull it all the way down and shut yourself off from the outside world, right? So when you go with a, a 6.5 slide that gives you bigger windows, and then you get the, the zebra shades that can cover it up to give you the privacy you want. Let's say you're watching a movie with your family, but sometimes you want a little light. The zebra shades have been a great new addition. Plus they look nice. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they look very good. I mean, again, it kind of helps tie everything in and those are cool. That's a, a neat feature. Thank it looks know. like you have windows on the side of the slide here as well. Right, and something new for this year, a lot of brands um, have gone with the traditional look, which is hard valances or curtains, something like that. Yep. What we've done this year, right? Is oh, we've yeah. actually gone framing like in your house. So much cleaner. Right. Yeah, I so, like that. So that way you're gonna you're gonna have more of a this is how my house would look feel, right? As opposed mm -hmm. to your your RV traditional curtains or hard balances, things like that. Now it looks like you have some features on the cup holder here as well, Ben. What uh Right. What do we got there? So on these edges, you're going to have heat and you're going to have massage. This is the lights. Okay. So you'll see blue accent lighting, which actually makes a great night light, right? Oh yeah, I bet. So, so you want to not wake the kids, but you want to have the ability to get up and go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. It's great for that. But then you're going to also have heat and massage on, on both the ends where the uh, controls are. Yeah, very cool. Now, uh, talking a little bit about kind of on the ceiling. So yeah. we, we have a ceiling fan, which right. I like, help, help the air move a little bit. Beautiful light fixture over here. What am I seeing over there? Is that a speaker that we have? Yeah, so 
on all of the Arctic Wolves this year, we've integrated a subwoofer into the sound system, right? Because wow. a lot of times it sounds tinny or it yes. sounds not as realistic. So I've got this great camper. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to watch the game. I want to watch a movie, but it feels like I'm not getting the experience I would like to at my house, right? Yep. So we're going to upgrade the sound system. We're going to add a subwoofer to get some bass. You did mention the ceiling fan. We have added mm -hmm. that on every single floor plan. Okay. So a lot of a lot of people are going to find places that maybe they could save money. We're trying to add every feature we can. I love so it. there's nothing that when you're coming to buy a camper, you're going to be like, oh, I wish I'd gotten that, right? Mm -hmm. So ceiling fan, you're going to have two 15,000 BTU airs okay. that are fully ducted and fully thermostatically controlled. So if you want to be cooler in your bedroom than back here, you can do that. And, Very you're, nice. and you're not going to have to work hard to keep it uh, cool even when it's hot outside. And again, to think all that for... 364 a month is where it's starting at. You're able to pack all those features in there. Ben, you guys are doing an awesome job on the Arctic Wolf. Folks, if you're interested, text EZRV to 32094, call 866-853-3510, or put EZRV in the comments section. Ben, why don't you take me up into the bedroom here in the bathroom because... I mean, you know, we have a lot of space back here, but we have a lot up here too. Right. <laughs> so you're going to have a full bathroom up here in addition to the half bath, right? I'm so sneak in here a sneak second. Sneak on in there. You're going to have the residential porcelain toilet. You're going to have the larger entry shower door. Um, you're going to have medicine cabinet, everything that you could possibly want in there, right? And, and I have I have good space too. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm six foot tall. And you know, you can see I, I can sit on the toilet here and I'm not crammed at all. I have plenty of leg room, this porcelain bowl. Right. Nice and easy to keep clean. Absolutely. How about the shower? Let's take a step in here to get, yep, perfect. Not a problem at all. I have a ton of headspace there. So you're gonna have you're gonna have nice clearance. You're gonna have another fantastic fan up here in addition to the one down there, so you can get air circulation when you need it. Um, but we wanted to make sure that the typically the, the parents are sleeping up here, right? Yep. So we wanted the full bath up here, give them access, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when they're sleeping, a lot of times the bedroom becomes an afterthought, right? Yes. A lot of times Oh, we've got a great living room. We've got a great bunk room. But mom and dad say, I'm buying the camper. What about <laughs> right, us? Right, wait, what right? do I get? I'm trying to sleep too. If I'm cranky, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, right? That's right. So with Arctic Wolf Suite Series, what you're getting is a residential king bed standard, okay? Wow. Because most brands will have a queen bed standard, but when you expand it out to the king, you lose space on the sides and you're trying to crawl in and out of the foot of the bed. Yes. So we made a massive bedroom that's designed for a king bed to where you can get out the sides. In okay. addition, when you have this, a lot of times people may have a shelf in the corner or something here that's supposed yes. to be for your cell phone. If you've got a, a, a CPAP machine, yep. if you've got a tablet, if you've got anything of that, it's just almost virtually useless to have that little shelf. Yes. So what we did was this, we added shelving here and on that side in the second closet that most brands don't give you wow. with outlets on both sides. Because again, while we're trying to get away, we're trying to camp, technology is a part of our lives today and we've got to be able to meet people where they want to live. And technology is gonna be a part of that, right? So when you have all these accessories, now that is also going to double. If you want to do washer and dryer, you can okay. do that. So your washer and dryer prep is all right there and it is stackable washer and dryer. Oh, so you don't huge. have to do it all in one, exactly. So when we're considering, okay, people are going to be living in this. We wanna consider the kids with the larger bunks. We wanna consider the family with storage and, and seating and living, but we also don't wanna forget about mom and dad up here. We're really yep. trying to say, if this is what we're, we wanna have as a brand, if we wanna have something that people can walk in and say it's going to meet mom's needs, dad's needs, kids' needs, and you can keep it at a price point that's going to be palatable, then we should be able to win, right? So that was the main focus on that. I love it. Uh, and a couple of things, you know, kind of to your point. So I, I like actually that you removed the shelves above the bed. I've had so many people that complain that they're just in the way. You know, you right. roll, you hit them with your elbow, you hit them with your head, and now they're gone. I like the fact you have windows on the side of the slide that open so you can have some, you know, cross ventilation if you don't want to turn on the AC at right. night. Um, in the storage, I mean, Talk to me about the storage here. Can we open this one up and see? Absolutely. So you're gonna have a full wall length storage with hanging storage here, and then you're going to have shelving on each side because you know not everybody's bringing hanging shirts or dresses or things like sure, that. Sure. I'm going to have jeans. I'm yep. going to have socks. Sweatshirt. Right, sweatshirt, <laughs> things yep. like that. So we are going to have larger drawers. Sometimes the drawers are a little smaller, so this is going to be a full depth drawer here. Okay. You're also going to have extra cabinet here, just where we could put it. Shoe storage down below. I like that. Right, okay. So. Uh, a place to put. We we also added the same storage at the entrance, so that if you want to take off Wonderful. muddy shoes, or if you want to take off something that got wet and you don't want to track it through the house, that's there, right? Yep. But if you want to have your other shoes that maybe didn't get out in the elements, or if you want to have slippers, yeah, slippers. That's what I'm here, thinking of. Yeah. Right? right. So we have hanging storage. You're going to have shelving storage, um, because 
again, a lot of times you just have a straight across bar. I'm not hanging up everything. I'm going to have multiple things I'm bringing. So we just want to fit that need, right? Perfect. So, and then speaking of storage, so this, again, that's something that I just, I don't really see very often. That's a huge storage space over there right. that you guys have added. And, and again, I, and I, I want to reiterate the importance, at least for me, that you can put a stackable unit in there. Like right. people don't, you know, if they, if they haven't been out RVing or they're new to the RV industry, um, you know, they think, oh, I want a washer and dryer and they get a stackable unit and then they get upset when it takes three and a half to four hours to, to wash a load of laundry. Absolutely. Well, the thing about the, the stackable units is, well, well, let me just say this. First off, the majority of our customers don't end up with the washer and dryer, okay? Yep. That's why we wanted to make that a versatile space. Absolutely. But for the people who do, when you have an all-in-one unit, it does both, but neither one will. And it takes exactly. forever to yes. do that, right? So we wanted to say, I can have a load drying while a load is washing um, and, and have the vision of laundry in the unit that's going to be there. So when you're coming up with the idea of, I wanna, I wanna live in a unit, I wanna have laundry, yep. the, the all-in-one gives you laundry, but it's not the vision that you have when you're camping. It's not what you wanna, the experience you want to have. So we wanna make sure that we have that available to you. Awesome. TV hookup here as well? TV hookup here as well. So you're gonna have TV hookup here in the living room, in the bunk room and outside. Wonderful. Well, speaking of outside, Ben, you want to take a look out there? I'll let you head on through. Absolutely. And folks, again, text Easy RV to 32094. Put Easy RV in the comments section, and uh, you can get yourself an Arctic Wolf 3770. So, speaking of that, real quick, I just want to hit on this. Uh, so, tell me, Ben, when we're talking, you know, about ordering RVs, right? Because I'm telling people, you know, this is the show, this is the time to do it. Not only do we have great pricing, but everyone I've talked to, and I'm sure you're no different, the industry is extremely busy yes. and everyone is just backlogged. Right. So it is taking months to get some of this inventory. So right. if I'm a, a customer and I'm starting to you know, look into getting into RVing, I love this and right. I'm like, yes, I want it. It seems like now is the time to get it because if you don't, you may be out because people that put their name on it are going to get it before the dealer stock. Well, let's, let's be realistic. Uh, camping over the past several years has grown in popularity. We've seen it growing and growing and growing over the past, say, 10 years, mm -hmm. um, and it, it didn't seem like it was going to stop. Well, um, with everything that's happened in 2020, it's become even more relevant because people are now saying, well, I want to go out and enjoy the outdoors. I have yep. this opportunity, right? So everybody's selling, and when people are buying like that, we're running into shortages from our vendors. So not only are we trying to get product to you, we're having trouble getting it from the people that we're buying to assemble them, right? Yeah. So when you want a product and you want to be able to go enjoy it, um, it's now is the time. And I, I think that a lot of times sounds like salesmen speak, but, right? Well, you, oh, you got to buy now. But I've never seen it like this where yes. genuinely, if you don't have a, if you have a unit you love and you don't make that commitment and that jump, it could be next spring, it could be next summer before you're actually going to get it. Exactly. And that's why I bring it up because, and, and thank you for reiterating that because I don't want to seem like, you know, the, the pushy salesman types like, hey, you got to get it now, you got to get it now. Right. Because I'm, I'm honestly telling you, if you don't, yeah. you're just not going to. Right. hundred um, percent. And so uh, the Arctic Wolf has, uh, you know, we're, we're very thankful that the response we've gotten has been so good because... Um, we've, in a very short amount of time, become the number one selling fifth wheel at Forest River, one wow. of the top selling ones in the industry. So we're just trying to round out that now with the Sweet Series, which means we've got to try and offer something we weren't before. So um, things like the larger outside camp kitchen on this bottle. Yeah, okay? yeah. T tell me about this because this is something, you know, instantly I come outside and I'm like, Wow, that's impressive. Right. So a lot of times you may see a little tiny fridge or you may see, you know, something that's slightly taller, yep. but that's really all you're getting, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're wanting to genuinely store stuff outside, if you want to cook outside, this is going to offer you for fridge and freezer. So if we open this up, oh, you're going yeah, to see the right that. side is fridge and the left side is freezer. So you can have all the things you want outside. You don't have to trek through the house, right? Plus you're going to have outside storage in the cabinet. This is going to allow for a drawer. Some people put their grilling tongs, things like that. If you have a, a cook stove that you want to store in this facility, you can. Okay. Um, it's going to be metal countertop, not the like mica board. So it's easier to clean. It's easier to maintain. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be at the right height. Sometimes you get this stuff and it feels like if I'm, you know, unless I'm seven foot tall, there's <laughs> right. no way it's I'm going to be no able way. to functionally use this. How's a kid yes. going to wash his hands when it's something like this? But it's nice and counter height like you'd expect at your house. Um, you're also going to have the LP uh, quick, quick connect right here. Okay, so if you want to hook up a grill, um, things like that, uh, you can option that on if you want, or if you have, a lot of people have their own, if they want to just have it right there, you can do that. But functionally outside, if you're going to be out here, you want to have some shade. Yes. So a lot of times you have limited uh, awning space. So every place we can, we're going to add more. So on this specific unit, you're not only going to have one here, you're also going to have one here. So this wow. one has over 20 feet of awning space. Holy smokes. You know, across the whole front of the camper. And it's going to be in places where it's functional. It's not going to be just over the slide, right? We're going to go front and back. You're also going to notice that we're going to put 
um, the more ride steps are upgraded step system front and back. And, okay? and, and, and that's again, that's impressive because a lot of people don't. A lot of people right. will, you know, put it on one, you know, the primary entrance, but not the secondary. Right. Uh, and I like that you put it on both. Well, we we have we have two inch thick aluminum framed walls on everything vertical, right? Okay. We're going to have um, tongue groove plywood across our floors, right? 12 inch on center floor joists. We're gonna have um, features like tire pressure monitors and, and um, more ride steps. So we wanna be able to say, when you say, I want, I'm concerned about construction, I'm concerned about usability, I'm concerned about features, yep. that wherever your main concern is that we can meet that need, right? So more awning space, um, dual entry with the nicer steps has been something. Also with this specific model, there's two things that we can do. Okay. One is you can add a second entry handle on these, on both. So if you have someone with hip problems, knee problems, um, okay. has a hard time going up and downstairs, we can add a second handle here as well as here. Oh, very also, cool. Also, we have that. some people who have permanent sites, right? So yep. on, this, yep. on this model specifically, um, when we open this up, these are hinged here and there are pull pins so you can actually take these stairs off completely. So if they have a deck that they have already in place that they want to be able to use, these stairs are great but they don't offer the versatility of someone who has a permanent site. This can be taken off without putting holes in your floor or disassembling the whole thing. You can just pull two pins and you're done. That is actually really cool because that has been one of my, my biggest hangups. I love the, the more solid steps, like the, the solid step, the, the more ride system. But that's the thing is if you ever want to remove it because of a permanent site, you have the holes in the floor. So that for me, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that that is a thing. I appreciate that. So you're going to have the friction hinge drawers, which are going to allow you to, um, even in high winds, not slam. Right. Yep. In addition to the uh, larger um, uh, step, step pads, so you're going to be able to say if there's rain or, or something out, you're not going to have to worry about being a slippery. Um, you're going to have tire pressure monitors on the stems. It's a cool feature. So that you can make sure the, the biggest cause of blowout is improperly inflated tires, right? Yes, sir. So let's, let's, let's you know, be concerned about that and take something else that most people aren't doing. But then in storage inside, we also want to go storage outside, right? So a lot of times you have one bay of storage on a fifth wheel. We went to and we opened up this whole space so this whole area can be used for functional storage. Wow. Yeah, that is huge storage. And is that is that auto level down below? Absolutely. So we have the level up ground control 3.0 from Lippert. Okay, so okay. not only is it going to do a smooth, um, easy setup because when you're at the campsite and you're rolling in at, you've just got everything out and you've you had a hard time getting there, you don't want to spend hours trying to set up. So it's an easy setup. There's controls inside and outside, whichever you prefer. We call it tri control because you can also use your phone with the one connect, right? Cool. So you're going to be able to one touch auto level or um, stabilize if you want. Now, a lot of the leveling system out there don't offer the stabilization. So you feel the coach shake when you're in there. This is going to offer a lot more stabilization in addition to leveling. So once you're set up, you're not going to have to worry about the shake. That is phenomenal, folks. You heard it, this is the Arctic Wolf 3770. Awesome floor plan, great features. You have the uh, big bunks in the back, the, the full-size beds in there. You have the bath and a half floor plan. Folks, if you're interested, text. EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comment section below or call 866 853 3510 to claim your Arctic Fox, or, or sorry, Arctic Wolf 3770 today. Ben, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We're clear. Duh! Bad Freudian slip. Plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World.
In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. I'll tell you what, first looks are going to be what it's all about here today. And uh, we're going to see a lot of different incredible vehicles at some unbelievable show prices that last again until Sunday. So we're going to move on also and uh, talk about some travel trailers over 30 feet because you need a little bit more room. You need a little privacy and uh, you can't quite tow it, you know, with the RV or with the uh, SUV. So we're going to jump into over 30 foot travel trailers. Yes, these kind of these kind of campers are perfect for couples to get away, enjoy some time together. We are having such a great time here, having so much fun. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. We hope you're having just as much fun at home watching along with us. Now, if you have any questions or need some more info on an RV you like, don't forget, easy RV to 32094. We've got Chris Young out in the Forest River Vibe. Chris, go ahead and tell us what's the vibe in the vibe. segment is all about travel trailers for couples that are over 30 feet you want to talk about adding that extra feet why over 30 feet because over 30 feet usually you get the added features of having both a booth dinette and a sofa the living room space the sleeping space you can still easily sleep you know four people or more but these travel trailers are for those couples that know what's been going on they want to get out they want to reconnect and you say you know what Chris we've seen what you guys have been talking about during the ultimate RV show we are ready to see the world the safest way possible and yes we want some of those industry specialists to walk us through these units and show us these four plans so I'm gonna show you here over the next hour or so a lot of rear kitchen rear living travel trailers that I think you're really going to love. The one that I'm in right now, the 2021 Forest River Vibe 26RK. Easily sleeps four people. And you know what? With the Ultimate RV Show pricing and everything, we're taking deals and, you know, just giving you the best values and discounts. Says the dry weight's 9,600 pounds. I'm even going to take some fat off of that. This dry weight is actually 6,348 pounds for a travel trailer that's 33 feet long. And let's take a look at some of these features. Now, this unit starts at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month. That's less than a lot of car payments for you to get out and see the country. You can't beat that. Right here in the rear campsite of the kitchen, I have tremendous light coming in. I got myself a good spot here. If I do bring the kids with me, I can see what's going on out there. I have this textured backsplash with my LED lights. Oversized, once again, because we have over 80 inches of height inside this travel trailer, that's also going to give us some more space for storage. Just look at these beautiful shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlays. The graphite style fixtures going around. Because when you're a couple and you do have those creature comforts that you're accustomed to at home, you want to take them with you on the road. That includes a lot of the aesthetic. That's why for 2021, tremendous upgrades in the features and in the looks, lighter interiors, more inviting spaces. They knew that this year was going to be a year that people would want to get out, see America the safest way possible. And with over 25,000 RVs at over 150 locations in Camping World, someone is standing by right now to walk you through and answer your questions specifically on a floor plan like this. All you have to do is text EZRV to 32094. Got the Everchill Vibration Smart Fridge that runs on 12 volt right here. Look at the space that you have in there. Got my cup holders, my drink holders, good freezer space. So if you're a couple that likes to fish and you have you end up draining the lake, man, you can put all your stuff in there. Or if you have that ladies weekend getaway or the guys hunting trip and you want some style and some class on it. Maybe you're that cat that likes to fish with the expensive boots. I feel you. This could be your travel trailer right here. Flush mounted three burner cooktop. Got the LED lights. Got the Furion oven right here. And of course, my pots and pans are right there as well. This doubles, uh, this glass cover also doubles as a backsplash. But just take a look at the prep space that I have here. 
I got my power port right here. Fritz, I know you can't really get under there. It's kind of hard to see, but if you want to set this up as a college, or as, if you need this for college, absolutely take it. If you want to set this up as a coffee station, you got your power port right there. Come over here, got more pantry storage or grab and go storage. If you've ever seen our video reviews on the Gander YouTube or the Camping World YouTube, I'm always talking about the grab and go spots. Where can I put my backpacks? Where can I put my Kavu bags? Where can I put the hiking gear so I can just grab and go? When it's your RV, you can do with it as you please, including having storage underneath the booth dinette that we have here solid wood construction you're gonna see that all the way around and you know that's very important you know when you're looking for durability if you want something to last a long time I mean, if you think about it this is a great value for this one you've seen just a little bit of it but this 2021 Forest River Vibe 26 RK starting at 32995 or as low as 240 a month for you to be able to get out and reconnect with that loved one if you have a spouse and they've been complaining about everything that's going on let me tell you, setting up and going out and watching the sunrise or the sunset in these giant panoramic windows with the curtain sides and the metal bars, that's going to be an enjoyable morning coffee and an enjoyable time with a loved one. Tell me you wouldn't want that. Tell me you're not sitting there going, can I please get that? Can I just get out and see America and not have to worry about setting up tickets, setting up travel? Do, nope, just hook it up and go. Dry weight on this one is 6,300 pounds, roughly 6,400 pounds. So you could easily tow this with a truck. But when you get finished with that long day, maybe you've been out at the beach. Oh, it's always going to be a good filming day when I knock the giant noggin. Uh, that's another thing to point out. If you got a big head like me and you're tall and awkward, you want to talk to your specialist about the head clearance on the slides. If that's something that's going to be an important, once again, those small features you need to talk about. Hey, it's, I can easily. Plush and comfortable with windows surrounding me. I got the Thomas Paine Captain recliners right here. So if I'm over here with my bourbon and my cigar, my bourbon, and I'm just enjoying the conversation with my wife, think about just the beautiful aesthetic that we have here with the windows. Some of the largest in-class panoramic windows. If it's hot outside, you got the quick cool on the AC. You got a 30-inch fireplace if it gets a little chilly outside. You can knock the chill off the air right there with your fireplace, multiple flame settings, multiple LED light settings. And for entertainment, look at the giant 50 inch TV that we have here, solid mounted up against the wall. Got my component shelf here, solid wood cabinets there as well. Just more storage, more options. You know, it's, it's really about finding the one that's right for you, which is, you know, especially here at the Ultimate RV Show, what we're trying to do is show you floor plans that maybe will trip that trigger and say, oh, I like the way that looks, but instead of, you know, the, the booth dinette, can I get a U-shaped dinette? Sure, absolutely. We have options for you all across the country. And, you know, let's say you're out in San Francisco, got a spot there. Let's say you're in Golden, Colorado, got a beautiful spot there. Easy RV to 32094. We're going to set you up with one of our industry specialists that are close to you to walk you through this process. Then they're going to let you talk to somebody in financing. They're going to tell you how easy it is to get financing. They're going to send the paperwork to you. They're going to have prepaid envelopes included, so you don't even have to buy a stamp to send it back. Then when your travel trailer, your fifth wheel, your motorized, whatever, is ready to go, they're going to bring it to you, give you the walkthrough as if you were at the dealership, and all you got to do is go camping. If you say, Chris, that sounds great, but I, I want to put my hands on it. That's fine, too. Come on in. We're open. we got people standing by, ready to go to show you these units, show you how great it is to enjoy the RV lifestyle. Here in the bathroom, plenty of space, modern design. You're going to notice you got the graphite fixtures with the bright interior. From a medicine cabinet, got a little shelf right here. Single basin sink with that graphite style fixture here. Got myself a trash can spot and storage spot. Shelf there, good spot for the trash can there. Plastic bowl, single surround herringbone style shower. I like this textured curtain that they have here on the return, that's nice. Graphite style fixtures all the way around. Once again, just a pleasing and visually good looking RV. If you're a couple, 
skylight right there. Give me plenty of headroom. I'm not cramped. If you're a couple that wants to get out and about and, you know, you don't want to rough it, you're tired of the tent camping, you want to upgrade, or, you know, maybe you got a pop-up, you want to trade that in, okay, we got people who will not only take that trade and help you with it, we'll come get it. We're going to give you the best deal, too. We're not going to be beat. You get, we're going to give you the best part of the Good Sam Assurance. You can get the best value for your trade, or you're going to get a thousand bucks in cash. And plus, you can have your cash 24 hours in hand. It's a deal you can't be beat. Large bed in here in the master. You'll see we have the ward on one side that is mirrored. Got the storage there. But over here on my campsite, I got my dual USB charging port, a power plug, a nightstand, plus a little hideaway shelf, and the shelf here. So if you need to put a CPAP machine or a reading light, you absolutely can. Well, Chris, what if somebody on the other side wants to charge their phone? You got a little hideaway cubby over here on the back that also has the shelf. You put your cell phone, your water, your CPAP machine, whatever, dual USB charging and power port. Solid wood shaker style cabinet with that uh, flat finish. Really like the look of this all new 2021 Forest River Vibe 26RK. Now this is brand new, fresh off the presses. And if this is one that you want, you need to text Easy RV to 32094 right now and get this one because it will go quick. But once again, I'm only gonna have a few minutes to show you some of the amenities of this travel trailer. Our industry specialists are standing by right now to give you a more in-depth walkthrough, to talk more about the solid step above steps, the extra large grab handle, what it's like to have a fiberglass versus a aluminum travel trailer. Why do I need the extra wide berth here on my double axle with the 15 inch aluminum wheels and the Dexter Easy Lube axles? They can go through all of that stuff for you. Dual zone speakers, LED backlit, 11 foot awning with the LED light strip underneath and the adjustable pitch. If you're a couple, you want to get out and you want to enjoy and just have fun and reconnect. Imagine camping in this and under this. You get to the campsite, you're doing the burgers, you're doing the grilling, maybe you had a great catch. You come over here to the outside kitchen. I got a sink and a spray port and a little mini dorm style fridge. Honey, grab me a cold one. What a good day we had doing whatever. Where you wanna go? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm literally asking. Say it, comment down below. Easy RV, Golden, Colorado. Easy RV, Miami. Easy RV, just go see grandma. With your RV, you can go wherever you want. It's your home, you're taking your stuff with you. If you need the storage, this one's got the pass-through storage that's finished off power leveling jacks, power tongue jack on the front, twin 20 pound LPs, and a beautiful aggressive front end. It's fiberglass all the way over, aerodynamic, just beautiful. Look, I can show you a million travel trailers, spend as much time as I can, but our industry specialists are waiting right now to show you what's gonna be right for you. So text Easy RV to 32094, drop me a comment down below, Easy RV. I'm going to show you some more travel trailers that are fit for couples that are under 30 feet. But if you like this one right here, the Vibe 26RK, starting at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month, you need to get on it. Get on it now. I got another beautiful travel trailer coming up for you in just a minute. I'm Ian Baker and I'm joined by my good friend Melissa. We are here at the Ultimate RV Show and today on our Ultimate Campsite, we're going to be covering 24 inch scissor jacks. If you're interested in these, you'll want to call, text or comment. That phone number to call will be 866-255-8751 or text CAMP to 32094 or just put CAMP right in the comment section. Melissa. Let's hit some scissor jacks. <laughs> All right. So today we have our ultra fab 24 inch scissor jacks. Most of your RVs are going to come with scissor jacks, but as you know, some of us, we get a little, a little carried know, away, carried away <laughs> quickly to get home. Yep. We forget to roll up our scissor jacks. So uh -huh. sometimes you have to replace those. Yes. So these will extend up to 24 inches. You do okay. need to measure okay. your length between where you're going to need. Makes sense. They do hold up to 6,500 pounds per jack. All right. And you will need to know the bolt pattern. So if you are replacing yours, you're going to want to look at your bolt pattern to make sure that you're getting the ones that's going to match up. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So like you said, with these, the, the 
issue that most people have is like you say, you forget about them, you drive off, they bend, they snap, they break. Um, as far as a replacement, is it a super laborious thing? Is it something that, you know, they can just bring it in, we can have them yes. in and out somewhat relatively shortly? Yes, so you can bolt them on or you can weld them on. Super okay. easy, we can do it or you can do it at home. If you're pretty handy with a wrench, then you're gonna be able to get this done. Okay, and it looks like it comes with two in this pack, is it that does. correct? This is a two pack, they do come in single packs, but your best bet's gonna get a two pack because you're always gonna need one on the other side eventually. Sure. Uh, they do wear with weather also. Okay. So rain, snow, if you're traveling up north and you have snow, they do rust. So okay. later on down the years, you are gonna wanna replace them. Makes sense. Yep. Now, when you say the 24 inch length, so we say that that's the max distance. Yes. So if you are go out there and measure and you're at 23 inches, would you want something that's a little bit longer so you're not always maxing those out or kind of where would no, you you're going to want to go to the 24 okay. inches you don't want to go over because it's a leveling okay. that's what these are for they're for okay. lever leveling your jack your camper okay okay yep. excellent so um kind of with they have some different scissor jacks available kind of where do these fall in the range you said these little more entry level a little bit higher end these we've known to be the most common that they're putting on the units okay. they're more universal than okay. the ball product. Okay. The Ultra Fab is going to be the more universal what they're putting on commonly on the units that are okay. coming out of the manufacturer. Okay, so that's good to know. So yes. chances are more than likely the bolt pattern more we'll than likely up. will match up unless you have the, the BAL scissor jacks yes. then you're probably going to want to go with a different product that route. Yep. Okay, excellent. Um, pricing. Let's talk some pricing. Yes. So with the 24 inch scissor jacks, normal pricing on these $106.99 for a pair. Not too terrible. However, with the promo today, Ultimate RV Show, you're looking at $89.44. Under 90 bucks, you get a pair of scissor jacks, you're able to replace them, not too expensive of a fix. Mm -mm. Like you said, not too overly laborious. And on top of that, folks, if you're a Good Sam member, you can pick up your pair of scissor jacks for $84.97, under 85 bucks. If you want to take advantage of that, you're going to want to call, text, or comment. That phone number to call is 866-235-8751, or you can text CAMP, C-A-M-P, to 32094. In the comment section, just type CAMP, and you'll be able to pick yourself up a couple scissor jacks, and that way you can replace any damage you have done. Where in the world is Chris Young? Let me tell you what, I am in the dad hideaway spot for when I want to go camping and I got to take the kids with me. Ah, oh, Kev, you ain't in here. Get out. Get. Move your foot. Move your foot. <laughs> Let me tell you what, this is where you will find me with my little night light and whatever glass of three finger pour I decide to have for the evening. This is the all new 2021 Crossroads Zinger 299RE. That is the hideaway pantry that I'm going to show you here in just a minute. All of these travel trailers are for couples that are over 30 feet. Once again, why 30 feet? You're going to get a chance to get a little bit more space, a little bit more amenities than you would regularly get inside of a travel trailer under 30 feet. Duh, Chris. Look, man, the industry specialist will go through everything for you. If you like this floor plan, you say, wow, look at the space in here. Kev, get on in there. Look at that. That is pantry space for days. If you need the zombie apocalypse bomb shelter and you know you're going to store about 17,000 cans of spam, that is where you want to go. As a matter of fact, when I first opened this up, my buddy Jace was standing there with us, one of our, uh, you know, one of our programmers here, and he said, whoa, what you going to put in there? I was like, me, get out. These four plans especially this Zinger, is great for getting out and just enjoying, but also having those options, that flexibility. You want a hunting cabin. You want a fishing cabin. You want the ladies' weekend getaway. You've heard me say it 90 million times. Ladies, let me talk to you for just a minute. If you ever wanted to just get out and get away and get a nice cold glass of Chardonnay, maybe some Chateau Saint Michel, how about... A vino frigé for you right there in the back. Metal, yes, wine fridge. Now, guys, can you hand me one of them burrs? Absolutely, it's right there in the fridge. This is a fantastic option for multiple things. Getting out and seeing the country the easiest way possible, the safest way possible. Getting out and having something to set up at the beach, set up at the lake, or just go see the family and having things. If you want to take the kids, this unit sleeps six people. Easily sleep six people. 
Dry weight is 9,600 pounds, and this one starts at just $31,995 or $233, $233 a month. How about that? For a chance to get out, see the country with your family in your own stuff, and have all of this, you can't beat it. Large window on the back shelf. I got myself a seamless countertop here, power port, shaker style cabinets with that frosted glass inlay, brush nickel fixtures all the way around. Look at the options that I'm gonna have here. Large 50 inch TV on a swivel, so anywhere anybody is in here, they'll be able to see it. Sound bar is included, plus that barn style decor that we have here with the light on the dark wood, giving it a very appealing and aesthetic, just beautiful. 30 inch Furion, look at the, look at the wood on that. Okay, look at it. it looks like burnt wood. That's nice. If we are in a cabin, I would want to see that in my fireplace. Only difference is I don't want to get my hands dirty bringing it in. So I got multiple flame settings. This is also backlit. Does a great job of knocking the chill off. Over here on my off camp side super slide, we have the sofa that also reduces down into a bed. This is comfortable and plush, but the reconnection spot. Now all these travel trailers I'm showing you right now are, you know, I'm calling them couples travel trailers over 30 feet. But if you're a couple who you would love to get out and get away, but you can't because you have to take the kids with you. That's wonderful. Maybe you want to take the kids with you on the road and have them do the homework. Somebody mentioned last night, I wish I could remember who it is, that, you know, if they're, your kids are in school and they're learning about, you know, the Washington Monument or they're learning about Independence Hall, why not put them in an RV and take them up there? Do the homework on the road. They can't go in anyway, right? For the most part, I don't know. Is football back? Somebody tell me something. Here, you can reconnect and get to just have fun with those loved ones. Large panoramic windows, wood inlay with the LED lights, wood valances. Got me some dual USB charging ports right there. This reduces down into a bed. This U-shaped dinette right here will easily sleep two people. That one over there will sleep one. If you got a couple of kids, easily sleep two. But when it comes time to make those camp cooked meals, check out my kitchen, man. Solid surface countertop, got that dark textured seamless countertop here, love it. The stainless steel sink, brushed nickel high rise faucet with the sprayer handle so you can easily clean everything, get to everything. Got the prep space. I got the storage space. Look here, look at the room that we have there. Now over 80 inches of height inside this travel trailer. You know the zingers are uh, great for the not only the interior features but the interior headroom as well and when you text easy RV to 32094 and you get one of our industry specialists that will walk you through this unit or walk you through a unit like this you say hey I love that rear entertaining floor plan that rear living floor plan uh, but can I get one that doesn't have the angled pantry sure they'll walk you through they'll be able to answer all those questions and explain to you why we have this why we have this What's the difference between the slip resistant residential style flooring, so forth and so on. What about the insulation options? What is R7, what is R5, what is foam core? Is two inches good if I need to go to X, Y, and Z? Be sure to ask them those questions so they can help you find the right one. Flush mounted microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop here with the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash. As always, something you're gonna see pretty common, the little LED accent light around the controls there. Great night light right there. Got my oven. Solid wood drawers here on the full extension ball bearing drives. This one's also set up for solar prep. Um, so if you do have those solar panels, it's a little plug outside, you can just plug right in. Quick cool. Now, you hear that, hear how quiet it's running right now? When you have this closed, the air conditioning is running through the vents. But if you come to the beach, whatever, super hot day, you can just do that and you got what's known as the quick cool. That dump comes. It feels good, don't it, Kev? Yeah, I see. Yeah, it feels good, don't you? Ha, ha, ha. It's mine now. Oh, feels good. Woo! Making our way over to the master. Now, this is a pocket door, solid barn, barn door. I like these better than the, than the pocket swivel doors because it's easier to get in and out. But I'm not cramped. I got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush, plenty of leg room. Got me a little storage down there. 
plenty of space up here on my vanity shelf. My sink is single basins, large. Got the large mirrored with the brush nickel fixture here. Medicine cabinet, like that. The shower, herringbone, single surround. Not gonna be cramped up, down, or left and right. Once again, you know, those 81 inch high ceilings really help with that. I even have my vent fan here with a little skylight. So if I need to get some of the steam out of there, I take an extra hot shower. I can easily do that. Now, if you're a uh, couple that has dogs, these travel trailers are great for that too because that uh, jackknife sofa and the booth dinette is a great sleeping space for the dogs. Coming here to the master ward storage that's mirrored on both sides. Plus, we got the large nightstands on each side as well with USB power and regular power. Got myself some strut supported storage underneath. That's, uh, let me tell you, strut supported storage, another little small feature that could make or break you having a good time when you're out and about camping. Because holding this up with your shoulder and trying to load the stuff in, it, just always ask your industry specialist, you know, hey, it's first time buying a camper. My wife and I, my, my partner and I, my, my kids, we want, we want to just do this. Go through the whole laundry list. Let them guide you through that process. They'll be able to pick out the right one for you. With over 150 locations, over 25,000 RVs ready to go, they're gonna find something. Now, something you don't regularly see inside of a travel trailer, not the storage that we have here, but, Kev, I don't know if you can get in there. That is washer dryer prep, my friend. Yes, so if you wanted to, you could take a washer and dryer on this unit. Got power right there. Nice feature, you would not believe how handy it will come when you're out and about. Let's say you do that five, seven day trip out to the beach, everything sandy and dirty. Having a washer and dryer could absolutely be a great feature. This Zinger 299RE 2021, easily sleep six, 9,600 pounds. We'll say 9,700 pounds. Starting at 31,995 or as low as 232 a month. The Ultimate RV Show, the prices, we will not be beat. If you have a trade in, all right, now Kev, I'm gonna come out here. You know, we got all that rain yesterday at the Ultimate RV Show, so let me let me cut on the sump pump so we can get some of this out of here. Hang on. Splish splash, I was taking a zinga bath all under this giant all ning. Look at the LED running light we have here. Dual zone speakers. I got my outside connections if I need them. If I want to set up a TV, got my cable ports, my power ports, black tank flush, potable water or the fresh fill. Double axle travel trailer with that extra wide berth right there to give me some good suspension as I'm going down the road. Got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. But one of my favorite things on any travel trailer, if they have it, is the external kitchen. This is that spot where if you have a great catch or you know go fishing, you come back, you wanna clean it up and cook it out here. Look at the entertainment space and fun that you can have right here. So, once again, not going to get a chance to show you everything that I want to. Text Easy RV to 32094. Drop me a comment down below, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. You like this one? It's as low as 31995 or as low as 233 a month. The Zinger 299RE. You like this floor plan? Talk to our industry specialist so they can walk you through it. Get you to somebody in financing. Get the paperwork sent over to you, then have that unit delivered to you. The ultimate RV show is ultimately giving you an ultimate chance to get a ultimate RV, and I got more coming up. Wow, Sean, did you see that travel trailer? So much privacy, so much room. I would say uh, that, that travel trailer was a zinger, Sean. Oh, you? look at you. You are so good at that. My goodness. You know, when you talk about it, Chris loves to talk about amenities, and he talks about the little things that make such a big difference. When you're talking about going out in classic style, and you grab the dogs, and you jump in, you say, you know what, we're going to hit the road, and we're really going to have everything we need. And you say, you know, Sean, I have some questions about some of the things that I've seen. Well, here's what you do. You have one of our product specialists answer those questions because we have so many on standby across the country right now. What is that number? Easy RV, Sean, to 32094. That's what you text, or you can call our 800 number, 866-853-3510. Again, over 25,000 units to choose from, and we've got show prices that last until 
Sunday. And so many segments, too, as a matter of fact. Because one of the things, uh, it's my favorite thing we've done, Elise, yes. uh, since we started this RV show a couple of days, you say, Sean, what, what did I miss? Because there's so many incredible segments of everything you could possibly need. You say, you know what, I want a Class C. So we, we've done this. We've archived every single segment, Elise, where you can go on to ultimatervshow.com. You're like, okay, great. Then what do I do? Click the On Demand tab. It's where you get to choose. What do you need? Uh, Class C's? Boom. You got it. You can see everything you missed in the segments and the same show prices until Sunday. That's right. It's that easy. (laughs) I love you so much. (laughs) So we are. I'm sorry. No, go right ahead. We're just having a great time and we're enjoying ourselves looking at all of these incredible units and thinking about how safe and easy it is to get across the country. You get the family and all the comforts of home once you've taken everything from your house. It's not like you you travel and you got to grab the suitcases and you got to get on the airplane and you got to worry about how much each suitcase is going to cost. It's all there. You just load up the Par-V. I did say (laughs) Par-V, didn't I? I'm sorry. It's a habit. And you get in your vehicle and everything's already there. It's not like you have to unpack it when you get back home. It's just there. It's all the comforts of home and that's what this is all about. All about that at the Ultimate RV Show. We've got Ultimate Giveaways coming up, so stay tuned. We're passing it back off to Chris in the J Flight SLX. So I've had a good chance to hopefully show you some couples travel trailers that are over 30 feet that are mostly going to be rear living, rear, rear entertaining floor plans. We saw one where we had a TV in the back. We saw one where we had you know the, the kitchen and everything in the back. This one is the all new 2021 Jayco J Flight 265 RLS. This is one where I like to call it the Archie and E, the spot is in the back. You got your shared recliners right here where you can just sit back and relax and just hang out, chat with the loved one and have some fun. We got large windows both behind us and on each side with the wood balances. So if you wanted to open up this one, let the cross breeze go through, open up this, let the wind come through. People say that you can't really sleep on a recliner or rocker, man. When you're out and about and you're having fun with that loved one, does it really matter if you knock out in the chair for a couple hours, then go to bed? It's your RV. You can do with what you want. This one easily sleeps four, dry weight is 7,000 pounds, starting at $27,995 or $210 a month. Yes, for as low as $210 a month, you could get an RV that you and your family, your loved one, you could take with you all over the country. You could use to go see the family members, go to the beach, go to the mountains, have the weekend getaway, set up as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin. Travel trailers that are rear living usually give you more space to do just that, live and have fun. Take a look at some of the features we have here on this Jayco J Flight. Now Jayco, one of the top selling brands, they know what they're doing. Strut supported storage here, frosted glass inlay with the solid wood cabinets. And solid wood is important because that press board can absorb water a whole lot more and will start you know, to puff up and start breaking apart. Got my little shelf right there, so if I wanted to put a lamp, got a power port if I need to plug it in, maybe my books, whatever. A little storage right here on the campsite as soon as we walk in into the kitchen. I really like the layout of this one too because I have the space to sit there. If people come over or if I do have the kids, I got my little sofa over here. They can sit down and hang out while we're hanging out in the captain's chairs. If I needed to prep a meal, I got the space right here and you didn't even see me go behind Fritz because we have so much room here. Look at the area. With the kitchen, it's kind of recessed in, so there's more room for people to move around. If I need the prep space, it's right over here where people are probably already going to be sitting, but once again, with everything in the slide, I'm going to have that room. So a great floor plan. And if you like things like this, or you like this specific one, text Easy RV to 32094. We have industry specialists standing by to walk you through units like this, or even see this specific one, 25,000 RVs across the country right now at over 150 locations. If you got a trade in, we'll come get it. Guaranteed. Got the 50 50 sink right here, undermounted, deep well, brushed nickel, high rise faucet right there. Got my campsite window, so if I do bring the kids, I can see what's going on. Shaker style cabinets. Look at the storage space that I have here. I mean, that's just, that's right on, man. Flush mounted, three burner cooktop. Got the fold over glass right there. Got my LED accent light. It'd be a good night light, wouldn't it, Fritz? Don't have to worry about waking anybody up. Got my oven right there. Got the large fridge. 
I'm a fan of these. Check out the space that we have there. Runs on both gas and electric. Does More pantry storage here. That's another thing with the couples campers. If you do need to take those long trips, get it set up. You know, maybe you do bring the kids uh, or you know you're just gonna be sent outside for th that, oh, we're gonna do some seasonal camping. We're gonna use it for, you know, beach trips, mountain trips. We're gonna leave it out there. But we need to stock it for, for seven days. You got plenty of space to do that. Over here on the off-camp side, this is where the reconnection happens. This is where I like to call the love happens. Look. Let me just get real with you, all right? The Ultimate RV Show is all about us giving you an opportunity to take advantage of not only something that is just outrageously popular right now, the RV lifestyle, but a chance for you to see some great new units that you and your family can enjoy. But don't miss the main point. It's about you and your loved ones getting out and reconnecting. I could do my best to show you all the units that we have out here, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to find the one that's going to fit for you. And trust me, when you get a chance to get out and reconnect with that loved one, it is worth it. Bring the family, bring the friends. I mean, we've all had a weird year, and we all need something to give us a little bit of respite. Wouldn't it be nice to just grab your stuff and just go somewhere? Even if you just go out to some farmland and set up and just get away from everything and just just sup with the loved ones for a minute it's worth it because you got fresh tanks you have gray tanks you have black tanks you could sit out for a couple days if you want to do some boondocking this reduces down into a sleeper so if you do bring the kids along they have a place to sleep you got the wood balances like i mentioned before the storage over top of my sofa back there if people want to watch some tv Got my entertainment shelf right here. Put my TV there. Got my little command center with dual zone Bluetooth. Got the little DVD CD player in there. Boom. By the way, Fred, I did bring that mix CD. We're going to play it when we get done. Frosted glass inlay. Best from the 90s. So we're going to have rocking inside the all new 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 265 RLS space there and even mudroom storage. So if I came in, I wanted to throw my, my dirty muck boots in there. Absolutely good. Coming to the pass through bathroom, and I love the separation of space that they have here. What does that mean? The bathroom is separate, it's a walkthrough into the master. So if I'm sleeping in here and I need to go to the restroom, I don't have to worry about waking anybody up out there, vice versa. We both have our double entry. Neo angle shower, plenty of space, skylight in there with the glass doors, single vanity over here with the brush nickel fixtures. I got my towel rack right there. Another great feature that's important, a good spot down there for the trash can. Plastic bowl with the foot flush and plenty of additional storage over here. Not going to be lacking. Got my pipe access there if I need it. Coming to the master. The thing with Jayco's is uh, they have the Serta queen size mattress in here. And strut supported storage that goes all the way up and is accessible through the pass through outside. So if you want it like a laundry chute type of situation, maybe you bring the dirty clothes, just pop that up, throw them down in there. Mirrored ward storage on both sides. Got my shelves down there for my nightstands, power ports, and a second access point. So if me and my loved one want to come in, we do have the kids or we do have friends over, we can come and go as we please. Maybe we want to go watch the moon rising over the ocean. Does that happen? Let's just say sunset. I'm not a meteorologist. I know I'd like to see it, but you have a chance to just get out with that loved one, not interrupt what's going on inside the camper. High ceilings. And once again, it's 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 265 RLS, starting at $27,995 or as low as $210 a month. You like this one? Drop me a comment right now. Easy RV, gotta have it. Shoot text, Easy RV 32094. If you like this floor plan, maybe you don't like the interiors. Can I get that different? Can I get, yes, our specialists are standing by right now to help you out. Come outside, solid step over steps. Got the large grab handle right here. Sealed safety tinted windows all the way around. 
large awning on this one too with the LED light. I'm a fan of the outside spaces with the campers. Now granted these arms also have the adjustable pitch so if you need to move it up and down you can. Um, set up the outside entertainment, you can right here. This is actually a backer that will go uh, both inside and outside the camper so that if you uh, have a TV mount inside, you don't have to bring the whole, you don't have to like get a whole new mount. You can actually just take the TV off with the little clip mount, and it goes right there. Cable TV connection here, get your power port there, fresh water fill here, double axle travel trailer. You hear me talk about a lot, the Dexter Easy Lube axles. Um, once again, let the industry specialist explain it to you. What does that mean? I could go through it, but I only got like two minutes left. So, Easy RV32094. It's a feature that you need to ask about if you don't know. This is an aluminum sided travel trailer. Here is the access point going into the master bedroom. Got my leveling jacks there. Pass through storage that is accessible under the master bed right here. Got my twin 20 pound LP tanks and my power tongue jack. When you talk about setting up and the ease of camping, having something like this uh, to me, especially hooking up or just setting up, that is a must. But this Jayco J Flight, you like this one, 265 RLS, can sleep four, dry weight is 7,000 pounds, very open rear entertaining floor plan. If you like that style, starting at $27,995 or as low as $210 a month, we have over 25,000 RVs right now ready for you at over 150 locations at Camping World. The Ultimate RV Show, we're not going to be beat. You're going to get the best opportunity to get the best trailer that you want, guaranteed. If you got a trade-in, we got the ultimate trade-in values there too. We'll even come get it for you. And with the Good Sam Assurance, shop us for three days. If you beat it, you beat our deal, thousand bucks in cash. You want the cash? 24 hours cash in hand. Plus, we'll come get it and deliver your new camper to you. Text Easy RV right now to 32094. Let one of our industry specialists walk you through or just come in. We're open. We have over 150 locations at Camping World. You like this Zing, you like, you like this Jayco. You liked all the ones we've shown you so far. Come in and see it for yourself or let the industry specialists walk you through it. It's about your options, giving you as many as we can to get you the RV that you want. And right now, when they're starting this one at $27,995 or as low as $210 a month, that can't be beat. This segment is all about the couple's travel trailers, and I got more coming up. Hi, Dave. Hello. Thanks for joining me back here at the Ultimate campsite at the ultimate rv show i see that we brought our friend r2d2 oh this is a portable water softener a portable water softener that's awesome because i really don't like my water hard good point so here's the thing you there's some iron and other things that you don't want in the water and i don't know if you've ever taken a shower and it's like hard to get the soap off or something like that again you want to soften the water in those instances because these are rvs we want something portable, right? We want something smaller right. than something you might have it at a home. Again, you say, well, I don't have one at my house. Some houses don't. You might have good, uh, good clean water there. But if you're moving around an RV, again, we're back to that whole, do you really know what kind of water you're going to get? Right. I'm not going to shower out of my hose pipe. Correct. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I'm with exactly. You. So let's add something on the outside to give you soft water. Better water to drink, better water to cleanse with. Uh, to wash your dishes, everything's going to be a lot easier with soft water, okay? So I take this and hook it up at my campsite with this outside of my That's RV? That's right. That's right. Okay. And then whenever I'm done, I just put it in my storage. Put it all back in. Storage. Okay. Yeah. So I know that we had talked about filters. Mm -hmm. So where exactly does my filter go in this scenario? So it's always an inline scenario. So you got to think in and out. Same thing with the filter, in and out. So does it really matter where it goes? You're still using filtration with that. I can always say, I always prefer on the opposite side, on the RV side of the of this, of the softener. I've had others tell me opposite. So it doesn't affect necessarily the flow. You're still getting both the same thing. You're basically getting fresh water going through it. All okay. Right, so it doesn't hurt to go and have this in front of it as well, but I, I like to have the filtration afterwards after it's been softened. And it comes with pH strips? Correct, so, so you can test it. So do we test these in the sink? You can test the water first to see how, how bad it is, if it, if it really needs a softener at that at place. So you don't have to waste the salt, which really that's all you're really replenishing is, is table salt. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Just normal table salt is what goes inside of this. Uh, you can use iron out as well inside with the table salt uh, if you have high, high concentration of iron. So we can actually lower that as well. But that's all that you're really putting inside these things as it flushes itself through. It basically helps cleanse it. Those are pure, what's helped cleansing the water, making it soft, I should say. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess we should probably drop this off with the guys that are staying here at the campground, right? That's right. I heard someone complaining about water and water pressure and things like that. So they're probably not well equipped. Do you really want to take care of them though? I, I mean, mean yeah, okay. We should. <laughs> So guys, um, if you are interested in uh, grabbing the promo price for the Ultimate RV Show that's good through Sunday on the water softener, the regular price is $3.99. Promo price, we are looking at $314.73. And for good SAM members, you're coming in under $300 at $299. And all you have to do is drop that word camp below in the comments. You can text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Uh, so is this heavy? You tell me, do you feel oh. No. Not too okay. bad. There you go. Well, it, lo it looks really intimidating, so I just didn't want to like... Yep, that's even why they have the little grab handle, so you can just oh, okay. take it right off and Sweet. go with it. Sure can. And we have more fittings back here that come in the kit as well? That's correct. So if you have uh, any need for different types of hookups, they make sure they had added that as well. Okay, perfect. So, so you get everything that you need with your water softener here, guys. Uh, just don't forget, drop that comment below, send that text in, or give us a call, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, yeah, let me tell you, the thing I love about these rear living travel trailers for couples that are over 30 feet and the chance that we're here with the Ultimate RV Show with Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, is the chance to show you how many different styles and types. If you've been following along today, this is my fourth one that I've shown you here, you've seen each one of them is different, but each one we're calling for couples over 30 feet. For example, I'm here in, and I love these. This is the Forest River Alpha Wolf 26 RLL. Rear living luxury, baby. Sleeping five, dry weight is 8,700 pounds, and this one's starting at 34,995 or 255 a month. What's different from this one as opposed to the other ones? This style right here has opposing living room slides, which opens up the space tremendously. I get recliners, I get a back wall dominated by a trifold sofa, sleeper sofa, if you will, and I get an island kitchen. If you like this floor plan, you like this one, or you like any of the ones that you've seen here at the Ultimate RV Show, just drop us a comment, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094. We got industry specialists that are gonna walk you through and answer all the questions. Hey, what is this, blah, 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 blah. They got you covered. Let's start right back here in the back, Fritz. So check it out. You like these big zebra shades? These things are awesome. You need a little bit of light. You need no light. You want some light. You just want to go crazy with it. The zebra shades are great for just having multi functions. Open up these windows, get the cross breeze blowing, sit here. This folds out into a sleeper, can easily sleep two people. So, this one, we say for couples, but we know if you're a couple that has pets or if you're, you, know, have, you want to bring the family or invite the friends, you also probably need that space too. Sure, there's smaller ones, there's bigger ones, there's fifth wheels, there's a whole nine. I wanted to give you some options in the travel trailer range, just a little bit over 30 feet, so you could kind of see, wow, there are some best options out there. I need to ask questions about where I want to go and what I want to do, so I'm able to pick the right one for me. That's what I'm trying to get at. Frosted glass inlay here with the shaker style cabinets, brushed, matte black, love it. Would you just look at it. Plus, they go through some of the small things like giving you those residential features like the blown glass with the LED lights. You know, it's the little things because especially if you're first time camping and you're first time looking at a camper and you go out, we want you to enjoy it because if the experience isn't enjoyable, you're not going to do it again. That's what we want. Entertainment shelf here that has the TV backer with the mount. Now, when the TV's on, this will obviously hide a lot of this component shelf space. But look at the areas that we have here. If I do have my TV there and I want to hide the Girl Scout cookies from everybody, bam, got my spot right there. Component shelf down here, AM FM stereo command center, USB, HDMI, dual zone. I got my multi flame 30 inch 
fireplace right here that is backlit with the blower. Now we have a great furnace on this. You got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner on this. So you're gonna do okay heating and cooling the way you want. But you cut that on after, you know, get the little morning chill or whatever. You wanna sit back there and look at the sunrise. You wanna sit over here in the Thomas Paine recliners with your cup of coffee. That fireplace is right on when it comes to knocking the chill off. Frosted glass here on my pantry door. Love these features right here. And look at the space that I have. Now the great thing about RVs, um, sure, this says pantry space. This is my kitchen space. These solid wood drawers right here on the ball bearing full extension drives, that solid wood construction. Sure, this could be great for utensils or cookware or whatever, but if you set this up as a hunting cabin, fishing cabin, lures right there, separated. Stuff that won't help me catch fish, stuff that definitely won't help me catch fish, never caught a fish. That's how it goes. Solid, seamless countertop right here. And you'll notice too, with the 2021s, all the decors have been brightened up. They do add those little dark accents to give it that residential appeal, but look how beautiful this is. I got the farmhouse style sink with the apron, undermounted, residential style faucet with the sprayer. It's all about those creature comforts of home and making you feel like you're at home. Because at the end of the day, you're taking your home with you. That's really what it is. Prep and cook space over here with my three burner cooktop with the grill style grate, the backsplash. Got my door right there that opens, LED accent on the controls, Greystone oven, storage space underneath, coffee station over here. Man, the, the options are endless. And I could spend hours going through all the details, telling you about the insulation, telling you about the construction, telling you about the welded aluminum, the whole nine. At the end of the day, our industry specialists are standing by to answer those questions for you specifically because you have them and you have a lot of them. You're seeing these travel trailers that are meant for couples that are over 30 feet and you're saying, ooh, what can I do with X, Y, and Z? Oh, that'd be a good spot for the dogs. Hey, we're gonna take it to wherever. Is that gonna be right for us? Text Easy RV to 32094 or drop Easy RV down below. Let our specialists walk you through. Or just come on in. Camping World Gander, we're open, man. Over 150 locations, 25,000 campers ready to go. Microwaves here, more storage there. Fritz at 15,000 BTU AC with the quick cool feels good, don't it, buddy? Yeah, look at that. We got the dump going right now. So we cut that off, the air comes through the vents. If we're hot and need that quick cool bam open that up that cool air just dumps right on us got the dual usb charging ports there large furion fridge right here and freezer combo plenty of space right there they say these are for couples these are for couples that are going to be doing some long hauling Love the design here too. Solid wood doors going into the pass-through bathroom. Having a pass-through bathroom or the separated space is a good feature to have. Neo angle shower, glass enclosure, not going to be cramped in there up and down or left or right. Plus we have the skylight there to give us some additional headroom and let in that natural light. I'll tell you what man, these are beautiful. Solid wood on the ward storage bathroom storage right here good spot for the towels you can also split this with the bedroom if you need component shelf down there good spot for my trash can under there porcelain bowl with the foot flush now if you're digging on this alpha wolf 26 rll sleeps five dry weights 8700 pounds starting at 34,995 or as low as 255 a month and you want to sit there and get a plane ticket and set up hotels and all this stuff Man, forget that noise. I'm not having that. I'm going to get me an RV so I can go in my house. So I can take my house with me and my people with me when I want to go. Large. Look at the size of this mirror. Oh, Fritz, is that what I look like today, man? You didn't tell me that, bro. You're supposed to be looking out for me, man. Woo! So I'm going to hold the paper up here. Tell you what, I'm going to go through the bathroom. I'll open the door for you over here because this is... Or actually, I'm going to have to shut it for you. This is a uh, pass-through bathroom, and the great thing about the space being separated is if you need to go to the bathroom, you're not going to wake anybody up and vice versa. Coming to the master, got my pocket door going into the bathroom, solid door going into the hallway. Underneath, I got my strut-supported storage right there if I need it. Mirrored ward storage on both sides, dual USB charging ports plus power, and 
that frosted glass inlay here on my storage up top, push button LED lights, so if I needed to do some reading or my wife didn't want to do any reading, one could be on, one could be off. I mean, it's there's so many options. It's it's dizzying. And I tell you what, I'm gonna come this way, Fritz. It's dizzying just to see uh, all the ways you can go ahead and get out and enjoy this great country because RVs are the safest way to see America. If you got to do the homework with the kids, man, put them in there and take them up, let them do it. But hey, like Sean mentioned earlier, love that point that he said. If you want to get out and go play in the sand, you want to get out and play in the. We're going to go fishing. You got to do your homework first. How about that for incentive? Here's our entertainment area. You remember that little slide that we had for the TV? There's the mount backer. Dual zone, driven speakers, loud and proud. Got your cable satellite hookups right there. Power right there. So if you didn't want to set up some outside entertainment, you absolutely could. You're going to see beautiful shined up tires on those aluminum 15 inch wheels. Got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. Love it. Back here on the rear, a feature that, you know, Forest River, uh, they, they put tire or uh, bike racks on a lot of their travel trailers. Tip of the hat to them. An another good thing that they're known for is they reduce and reuse. They shrink that carbon footprint, which really allows them to pass along savings to you when they do that. For example, I mean, you've seen the amenities in this RV. Starting at $34,995 or as low as $255 a month? Dude. I mean, really? Yes. This is nicer than my apartment. Come on, man. Spare tire mounted on the back, 4x4 sewer hose storage. This is your chance as a couple to get out, see the world. You can enjoy the shade under this big, beautiful awning with the LED lights. I got my pass-through storage. If I want to bring the furry friends with me, got a leash latch. They're going to be safe and secure right there. And check out my finished off pass-through storage right here. We got the magnetic anti-slam latches. I got that beautiful fiberglass going all the way over the top. Look at the graphics that we have on this. I mean, this just looks good going down the road and set up at your campsite. But I can't emphasize enough, during the Ultimate RV Show, this is your chance to not only take a look at units like this, get on this unit like this. You say, Chris, I love that 26 RLL, man. Got to have it. How do I do it? Easy RV to 32094. Or drop me a comment, Easy RV right now. Or if you say, I like that floor plan, but can I get one with just one slide? Let the industry specialist walk you through. Get you the paperwork. You can even have that unit delivered to you. This has all been all about those RVs for couples over 30 feet. Ultimate RV Show is going to continue in a minute. the year of RV travel. RVing is fun, safe, and affordable. At Camping World, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget, starting at less than $4 a day. See what the buzz is all about. Click, call, or visit Camping World today. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet, portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. Now more than ever, Americans need to be responsible with their money. Did you know the average theme park vacation costs over $4,800? Rethink your vacation. We have RVs that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleep five for less than $5 a day. That's less than a drink or ice cream cone at the theme park. See America for less. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today for all that great information on travel trailers. It's the Ultimate RV Show. Welcome back. It is th day three. We're feeling extra frisky because it's Friday. <laughs> and of course, we haven't <laughs> been having any fun or uh, talking about many um, amazing prod uh, products. You know the, the thing I like about, we're going to use a couple of words, uh -huh. uh, like uh, Ultimate RV Show, I like Ultimate Freedom, but I know you like Ultimate Giveaway. I sure do, and we have a really good giveaway for you right now. The very first giveaway of day three. 
It is a $500 merch certificate. Hold on just a second. I said five. We're giving away. It's like a $500 Friday. Woo! That's what I'm talking about uh, right now. <laughs> and so we're going to give somebody like $500. They walk into any Gander Camping World, whatever, uh, into our showroom, and they have 500 bucks to do whatever they want. Yep, just for registering on our website, ultimatervshow.com. So uh, you think it's time to, to announce the winner? Let's make it official. The $500 Friday is now. Here we go. All right, I'm turning on my Sean Parr voice. Ready? <laughs> and now, giving away... <laughs> Please a $500 like dollar merchandise certificate. <laughs> congratulations to Rebecca Butler. Rebecca Woo! Butler, congratulations. And I really hope I don't sound like that. No, I'm just kidding. How'd I that do? was pretty good. Is that good? You got to say the Golden Globes on NBC. The Golden Globes on NBC. That's my girl. Hey, coming up, Chris is going to have much more stuff. We did not let a hurricane slow us down yesterday. Absolutely not. We had over 140,000 people check in. We can't thank you enough. And here it is today. Beautiful sunshine. Starting to actually warm up and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about in our next segment keeping cool in an rv and uh, one of the things we love about keeping cool of course is the fury and chill and if you don't know anything about this this is a truly amazing product that gets um, incredible reviews it's up to 50 percent better cooling capacity for your rv because you don't want to feel the outside when you're out you know if you're camping and taking the fifth wheel or the toy box out to the desert i mean right. you want to be able to just get in and relax and feel Feel that air conditioning. They've got the dual fan technology. They've got everything you need to bring the sound down because there's nothing worse than trying to sleep mm. when you've got the fan noise and you just can't get into it. And you're trying to get into a deep sleep. Up to 50% quieter sound with these single fan units. It's just truly remarkable. I, one of the things I love most about it was the lighting because they have mood lighting, uh, mood lighting selections. Yeah, this is the Furion Chill and it does everything it's supposed to do. Aerodynamically designed to get on the top of the RV so it doesn't slow anything down and the remote controls that will absolutely take care of everything you need. Multiple operating modes and fan speeds. You just set it and forget it. You get in there, you get a good night's sleep and most of all, it's the fury and chill that's going to keep you nice and cool nice i love that yeah it's awesome uh sean i couldn't help but notice yes are you are you wearing duck boots i am wearing duck boots today we had a we had a good time yesterday we had a lot of rain we had about six inches of rain from hurricane sally uh that came through and we're going to be jumping out there in the mud today. We're going to get a little crazy. You know, Peace. if you missed Power <laughs> Hour yesterday, you missed everything. But today gets even better. We've oh, got a goat wait. named Waffles coming in, for I goodness sakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Cannot wait for later. Seriously. So there are several things you don't want to miss. And you know what? Here's the thing, Elise. If you missed anything at all, we have everything archived right now. UltimateRV.com. There you go right there. You just go on the On Demands tab, and you can see any section or for any segment that you may have missed. About If you want a fifth wheel, if you want a Class C, whatever it is, Class A models, we've got them all right there archived for you, UltimateRVShow.com. Uh, you can't miss it. I know. I'll be going back there to uh, take a look at that Airstream, that Tommy Bahama Airstream. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that thing was nice. Absolutely. <laughs> see my little self driving off in that today. And our product specialists are always <laughs> standing by 866-853-3510 and if you need anything answered at all you can also text easy rv easy rv to 32094 let's get busy we've got keep your cool with the crazy family adventure coming at you right now I'm Craig. From Crazy Family Adventure. We are a family of six. We have four kids, Carson, Malia, Cannon, and Knox, who are out playing at their friend's house, who also travel with us full-time in our RV, and we have been on the road for over six years. We have. So back in that time, we decided normal life was boring, and we thought we'd change it up. So we <laughs> bought an RV, sold our house, sold everything in it, and hit the road, and haven't looked back since. So we love RVing and the way that we can just adventure and go out and explore as a family, yet have an awesome home base to come back to in our RV mm -hmm. and just live life on our own terms. That's right. All right. So if you plan on doing some RVing in the summer, there are a few things that you want to keep in mind. One, if it's going to be really, really hot, you may want to make sure that you go to an RV park where you can hook up and run your AC. Definitely. Um, no one likes to sweat. 
uh, unless you're on the beach. So, <laughs> yeah. So I would say if you can find a spot that has power that you can run your air conditioners, that's obviously a very easy way to keep your RV cool. Um, what are some of the other ways? Yeah, and if you don't want to do that and you're not looking to find somewhere that you can hook up, you can go out and boondock and mm -hmm. stay without hookups in your RV. And some of the ways that we recommend keeping cool during that is to make sure that you have really good ceiling vents in your RV mm -hmm. that you can turn on and open and have them running all the time to keep mm -hmm. nice, you know, fresh air coming in. Also, what you can get with those is a rain cover that you can put over the vents, which then means you can leave them open all the time. And even if it starts raining, the rain will not get in. Yeah, and those are really cool because they run off of 12 volt, which means they'll work on your house batteries. You don't need an inverter or any sort of power source from like a campground to run those. And they take very little power so you can run them for a long time. So, and what that does is if you open a few windows and you turn on the up overhead air vents, it'll suck fresh air in from the windows and kind of circulate through the house. So it's good to have that. You definitely want some fresh air coming in. Mm -hmm. We also recommend making sure that you have some fans that you can move around your RV. So at night when you're sleeping, you have fans that you can put on each of the people that are sleeping. You can either get battery operated ones or ones that you plug in. Mm -hmm. So really good to have that. Mm -hmm. Another thing is to try to look for a spot that has shade. Just natural shade can really make a big impact on how hot your RV feels because if you have the sun beating down on your RV it heats up really fast so mm -hmm. if you can find a spot with shade that's always good to have as well mm -hmm. or even just a spot where you're by water so you can just be out all day swimming in the water and then come back at night and usually by night the RV starts to cool down especially if you've been able to keep your windows open all day long yep yeah, and we also use our awnings a lot, which is provides tons of shade like outside. So we can sit out under the awning, keep cool, let the natural breeze, you know, run through it, and then also just stay in the shade. So that's really nice. Um, another thing that we have on this RV are something called slide toppers, which are these awnings that go right over our slide outs, and that actually acts as a first barrier of sun protection from the roof of the slide out. So that helps a lot with keeping some of the sun heat off of it. Um, I think that provides a lot of cooling effects inside too. Yeah, and so one of the other things that if we've been at somewhere, like we're talking like Arizona, 100 degrees, like it's just crazy, you may want to get, and I do not know what these are called, so I'm going to look at Craig and have him tell you, this like uh, stuff you put in your windows, that silver? Stuff, yes. <laughs> Um, it's basically a, uh, yes, like a roll. I can't remember what the name of it is now. Of course, I wasn't prepared for this. But um, a Reflectix, that's what it's called. So you can buy it at hardware stores and it comes in a big roll. And basically you can cut it to fit the shape of your window and it'll insulate basically reflect the sun off of your window and keep the cool inside. So that works out really well, especially for motorhomes where it has the big front windshield. Um, it's very easy to put that right in the front windshield and keep it you know, keep the sun come from beating in from the front. Yeah, so definitely something mm -hmm. if you're going to be in really hot climates for a yeah. long time. If you're just going on a weekend trip or a quick trip, you're not going to need to worry about that. But if you're going to be staying there for a while, it was nice to have that. And that also yeah. works for heat too, right? Yeah, it does. It does the same thing for heat. So it'll so. keep the heat in. It insulates the windows because these are single pane windows. So there's not really much insulation with the glass. So this helps with that. And you can also just take this route, which we took with our kids, and we hit some hot spots just recently, and we said, you know what? Back in 1980, we didn't have no AC in our house. Just our parents' bedroom was had AC in it. And they're like, oh, it sounds miserable, but this is 2020. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so the other option, too, is like, just enjoy it. Yep. To take the heat for what it is and enjoy it. Just keep your windows open, though, as much yep. as you can to let sure. the fresh air come in. And always, when you're checking the weather, check at night, because sometimes in the day, it's really, really hot. Like, we were just at a spot where during the day it was 100 degrees, but mm -hmm. at night it was 50 degrees. Yep. So we were fine sleeping at night, and during the day we were able to figure out ways to stay cool. So Yeah, and another big thing is humidity um, inside the RV. Basically, if you're in a part of the country where it's very hot and humid, having a dehumidifier really, really helps. Um, it, it cuts down on the moisture inside, which helps your air conditioner work better. Um, and it also just feels more comfortable. It's not like you're sleeping on wet sheets at night. So I definitely recommend a dehumidifier for multiple reasons. It keeps mold and mildew from growing, and then also it keeps your RV feeling cooler. Um, but that does require it to be plugged into shore power. So that's something to keep in mind. You can't really do that when you're boondocking. Um, so, but yeah, dehumidifier is definitely helpful. 
And when you're planning on your meals for the RV, if you're going to be somewhere really hot, when you run that propane stove, it gets hot inside. So you may want to make sure that you have brought like an outside grill with you mm -hmm. or some different ways that you can cook food outside so that you're not heating up the inside of the RV even more yeah. while you're running that stove. For sure. So I think that about covers our tips for what to do to mm -hmm. keep it cool inside if you're out RVing this summer. But above all, just go and enjoy it. You'll figure it out. You'll make it work. Just bring a few fans and you'll be good to go. Yeah. So next up, we're going to talk about how you transition your RV from winter to summer and vice versa. And let me tell you guys, I have absolutely no clue how you do this. So I'm going to change it or hand it over to Craig and okay. he is going to explain. All right. Well, first of all, if you're going from winter to summer, at some point in that process, you had to have winterized your RV to make it through winter so your pipes don't freeze. So um, typically that's very easy to do, and especially on some of the newer RVs, they have built-in um, toggle switches in your plumbing system that you can basically set to have the antifreeze run through your pipes or to flush them out. Um, or whatever you need to do. All that antifreeze stuff you can get at Camping World, they'll take care of you, and they also provide services on doing the winterizing, so you don't even have to worry about it. You just drop it off and it's all done. Um, but basically what that does, the winterizing, is it protects your pipes from freezing and breaking because they're all PEX, which is plastic. Um, so if it gets too cold and you have water in those lines, they're gonna, that water is gonna expand when it freezes and crack the pipes, so you'll have a flooded mess in the summer. So you don't want that. So in the summertime, when it's time to dewinterize, um, basically you reverse that process. You flush out all the antifreeze from those pipes, make sure that that's all clear because um, you don't want any of that getting into your drinking water or even when you're washing dishes or brushing your teeth. Um, so basically it's the same process, just reversed. You reverse the settings in the command center by your plumbing system um, and then run fresh water through. Uh, that takes very, you know, not, not very long at all, maybe an hour or two. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is to sanitize our fresh water tank. And basically, if your RV has been sitting in storage over winter, there could be some bacteria growth in your fresh water tank, um, and you want to kill all of that before you use it. And there's resources online to figure out exactly how much of a mixture of chlorine bleach you used and water to fill up that fresh water tank and how long to let it sit. Um, but basically what you do is you make a mixture of bleach and water, fill up your RV, uh, well, fresh water tank with that, let it sit for like 12 to 24 hours to let all that bacteria get killed, and then you flush it out, drain it out, and then you repeat that process with just water to kind of flush all the chlorine out. Until you make sure it doesn't smell like bleach, right? Yeah, We've basically, yes. Basically, you, you flush it several times and then you turn on your water pump and you smell the water at your kitchen faucet or whatever. If it smells like bleach, you got to flush it again with fresh water. Um, yeah, so that's the other thing that I would do going into the summer season. Also, it's a good idea to open up all the windows, let some of that fresh air circulate throughout the RV. Um, that's a good thing to do if it's been closed up for a while. Um, and then also check all your appliances. Make sure everything's working. Um, if you have any service issues, again, you can bring it back into Camping World and they can take care of it for you. And uh, yeah, checking your batteries, make sure those are fresh and topped off. Um, and just like in a house, check your smoke alarms, check your LP detectors, make sure all that is working to be safe for your family while you're in it. And um, yeah. And I remember, your fridge takes about 24 hours to really cool off, right? Yeah. So you got to do that ahead of time yep. and let it cool off for a little yeah, while. Yeah, I'd say um, turn the fridge on 12 to 24 hours before you go on a camping trip just to make sure that the freezer is, you know, at the proper temperature to keep your frozen goods frozen. Um, yeah, and again, it takes about 12 to 24 hours for a fridge to really cool down. So over the years, we live in the RV full time, but over the years we've done this a few times because either we've gone back to Wisconsin to visit family in the winter, so Craig has gone mm -hmm. through and done this so we could have the RV parked up there while we went and stayed like in his parents' house, and then we had to dewinterize it when we went back down south, and we've basically been able to do all of this even just at a campground, been yeah. able to winterize or dewinterize at a campground. It mm -hmm. wasn't anything too complicated. Yeah. But again, if you're like me and you don't really know what the heck's going on, just give Camping World a call. 
book an appointment, bring it into their service department, and they can also do it all for you, mm -hmm. which sometimes is just the better route to go or the quicker route to go. So yep. that's also an option if all of this, you're kind of like, ah, I don't want to mess with that. Yep. Just give them a call. They'll take care of it. Or if you want to do it yourself, they have the products there, and I'm sure someone in their service department would be more than happy to kind of walk you through what you need to do, mm -hmm. what products you need to use, and help you figure it out, or even go on their website, and you can ask them questions via there as well and figure out what products you need and how to do it. Yeah. All right, so now we want to talk about a time that we were unprepared for the heat. And let me tell you, we are not a hot weather family. We prefer cooler weather compared to hot weather. We found ourselves in Tennessee in July. Why were we in Tennessee in July? We were supposed to be in Alaska, but mm -hmm. we were in Tennessee in July. Plans changed. <laughs> so there we were, and it was one of those days that you open the door and it's like the heat is like whoosh, and you're like, oh, you oh can my chew gosh. on the air. It was so yes, humid. It yeah. was it was not good. Mm -hmm. But luckily we had our humidifier with us. Dehumidifier. That too. That's better. <laughs> Yes, because we want to remove moisture from the RV, not add it. Come on. Okay, he well, we had that. Yes, I take care of that. <laughs> but yes, we were doing that, and this thing was running constantly 24 hours, and I was literally dumping out like a gallon and a half of water out of this thing every single day. So that's how much it was pulling out of the air. Yeah, so it was very nice to have the de dehumidifier. Yes. So when we were inside the rig, our sheets weren't like all wet and sticky when we went to bed at night mm -hmm. and we weren't seeing mold grow places. So we were super happy that we had the dehumidifier. Yep. Another thing that we needed that unfortunately at the time we didn't have enough of them, which I wish we would have, was having the battery operated fans. What's nice about those is that you can move them around to wherever you want them. They don't have to be right by an outlet. Mm -hmm. So like at night when the kids are sleeping, Ideally, each of them have their own battery operated fan that they can put on them and that helps them sleep well at night and then we mm -hmm. can also put one on us. Mm -hmm. So of course, being the good parents that we are, we suffered through, we had no fan, we gave the fans we did have to the kids. But if we would have been close to a Camping World store, we could have just gone right into Camping World and bought some battery operated fans and then mm -hmm. everyone would have had a better night's sleep having their own personal fan. Yeah. So if you are planning to hit any weather, even, even if you're not thinking you're gonna be in hot weather, having a few battery operated fans with you is well worth it mm -hmm. because you do end up using them. We have multiple times. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend checking out either going into a Camping World store or looking at online and seeing the battery operated fans they have getting some of those along with some dehumidifiers so you are ready if you end up in any of that hot hot weather or just go to alaska <laughs> so when you are going to be in hot humid climates there's a couple things to keep in mind one when you're planning your rv trip if your family does not like hot humid weather pay attention to where you're going to be going what we have learned being on the road full time and traveling all over north america is there are some places that are considered high desert like in oregon and in montana mm -hmm. and in wyoming so those places that it is actually like a hundred degrees during the day but at night it gets down to a nice comfortable maybe 60 mm -hmm. 65 even less than that so those are what we would consider like dry hot climates yeah so those are not the humidity climates which makes you feel real miserable it's just hot and basically if you find some shade you're good to go like it's like probably a 20 degree difference between being in the sun and being in the shade in those like higher desert desert uh, arid climates like we did people tell us well 100 degrees in a dry climate isn't 100 degrees that it is in a humid climate we're like yeah sure whatever 100 degrees is 100 degrees well then we went and stayed in some of those mm -hmm. places and they were right it is definitely not the same yeah. so if you're looking to travel somewhere and you don't like the hot and the humid and you'd rather just have your windows open at night and sleep like that, definitely try to look for more of those high desert, dry climate mm -hmm. type of places. For sure. But no matter where you're going to go, I would say it's always good to have some of those battery operated fans, have a dehumidifier with you, have those rain cover vents on your vents and your ceiling so you can always keep the air just circulating through. It's just going to make it more pleasant throughout mm -hmm. the day and then once it gets to night, the RV will cool down. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check out either go into Camping World store or look online and check out those battery operated fans dehumidifier and those rain covers for your vents are going to come in really really handy yeah for sure all right so after years of RVing some of our must-have products for keeping your RV cool are those vents that you have up in your ceiling that do usually come with the RVs but 
What we think you need to do is also get the rain covers, which you can get either in a Camping World store or online. Mm -hmm. And these rain covers are great because then you can just leave those fans running all day long and keep that air circulating through. We also really recommend the Slim Shade for your door. So the RV door windows, you know, are those big, beautiful windows, but a lot of the times the sun just comes beating in through those. It can also be a privacy thing too. So with the Slim Shade, you can replace that window. You can put in one that has a shade that comes down, so then you can block it also helps the kids sleep in more in the morning which is nice so definitely recommend that and we also recommend a dehumidifier and you can get that as well in a camping world store or online so check out their selection of dehumidifiers definitely something good to have when it's the hot summer days and you don't want to get all that moisture inside mm -hmm. would you agree i'd agree with all of that but my favorite thing already comes with an rv and it's the awning you know you sit outside you have a beer you sit in your chair and watch you know look at the mountains or the lake it's amazing so that's or watch your favorite. neighbors are you gonna or you watch your neighbors yeah watch them <laughs> you know back in and try to you know whatever and just kind of nod and say i've been there buddy <laughs> <laughs> and the awning also helps protect the rv too, absolutely the yes it keeps not only you cool under it but it keeps the sidewalls cool which is a win-win all right perfect yeah. so those are some of our must-have products for when you are trying to stay cool this yes. summer when you're out RVing check them out in camping world in stores or online all right so there you have it our tips for how to stay nice and cool when the weather can get really hot outside so remember all those products we talked about you can find either in a camping world store or online at camping world so make sure to go check those out and get yourself prepared before you head out on the road in your rv for your rv adventure and if you want to learn more about rving or full-time rv travel with kids please do check us out at crazy family adventure we have a blog we have a podcast about full-time travel with kids we also have a youtube channel we also so are on Instagram and Facebook and we're giving TikTok a go. My daughter's teaching me all about it. So check us out all over the place and come learn more about RVing with kids. Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker and today I want to talk to you a little bit about powering your RV. For some of you that are new to RVing, the lifestyle, this hopefully will be beneficial. If you've been RVing for a while, chances are you'll probably know most of this information. Uh, but you essentially have two different types of power coming into your RV. You have 12 volt, which will be fed by your battery, and then you'll have 120 volt, which is what they generally call shore power, and that's what you will receive from the campground. So for your 12 volt system, that will power almost everything in your RV. It'll be able to power, if you have like a power tongue jack, it'll power your awnings, it'll power most slides, uh, all the lights in your RV. So that way if you go what they call boondocking, where you don't have hookup, or you go somewhere where you don't have shore power, most of the time you will be fine. Uh, there are some exceptions and things you will need 124, however. If you plan to run an air conditioner, you almost exclusively need to have uh, some kind of 120 volt power coming into the RV. Same thing with the fireplace, there's some chairs that require 120, uh, some refrigerators, and uh, most TVs will also require 120. And again, th there are exceptions. They make 12 volt TVs, they have refrigerators that run off 12 volt. Uh, a lot of times you will have propane refrigerators in RVs, again, unless it's uh, just purely residential. So that being said, um, you have your battery, that will feed most things. Shore power, you will have two different types of uh, power. You either have 30 amp or you will have 50 amp. And that is gonna all depend on what you have inside the RV that needs to be powered. If you have two AC units or a single AC and AC prep, for a second air conditioner, or you have a fireplace in an air conditioner, uh, most of the times you will have to step up to 50 amp. Otherwise, uh, a lot of RVs will just have the 30. Now they also make this right here, which is what they call a step down. If you have a 50 amp unit, I highly recommend bringing one of these, getting one of these and just throwing it in your RV. Because sometimes if you go to an older campsite where they haven't upgraded a lot of the uh, electric throughout the campground, they won't have a 50 amp in the post. They'll only have a 30. So what you'll want to do is plug your 50 amp in right here. That drops it down to a 30 and then you can plug it in. Now, mind you that, you know, you're only going to have the 30 amps of power there. So if you have two ACs, you know, you're not going to be able to still run them both at the same time. Uh, but at least it does allow you to have shore power. So let's take a quick look. I'll show you at the post kind of what that looks like. Come on back. So when you get to your campsite, 
You'll see a post like this, you'll open it up, you'll see a couple things in here. So as you can see, just like I was talking about, this one has a 30 amp, but there is no 50 amp slot on here. So if you, if you have a 50 amp unit, you would have to step it down like I showed you. Generally, you'll also have your uh, standard 15 amp or your you know, basic electrical outlet for anything else you need to plug in. And then right here, you will see fuses. Now, if there's a 50 amp, there of course will be a, uh, another fuse there. There'll actually be two fuses most of the time. Uh, they will usually be connected. They'll, they'll have um, both fuses will just be connected. So it's one big handle, uh, but there's actually two legs in that 50 amp system. So they have the two fuses. Now, something I always recommend when you're plugging into any campground is this right here, and that is a surge guard, surge protector. The reason for it is you have a lot of electronics in an RV, and the newer the RVs get, the more electronics they're getting. And as I mentioned, a lot of these campgrounds don't necessarily upgrade the electric in the campground very often because it's very expensive. So uh, you have a lot of old lines essentially running in there. And when you get a big holiday weekend and every campsite's full and if it's hot and everyone's running their AC, that's a huge power draw. There's that much better of a chance you're gonna have a blackout or a brownout. Uh, blackout, of course, being total power loss, a brownout being uh, you know, essentially a spike, right? Uh, both of those can damage electronics inside an RV from TVs to refrigerators, which can be very costly to replace, uh, as well as low voltage. That's another one that people uh, you know, just really don't think about. But you go to this campground, you plug in, you have low voltage, all of a sudden you fried your refrigerator in an RV and you know, it's a $1,500, $2,000 fix, which is not something you want. So I highly, highly recommend, if you're new to RVing, this is a necessity, something you will absolutely want to get is a surge guard. They make them for 30 amp and 50 amp. Um, and these ones, you know, right here are very simple. You basically just plug this into the post instead of the uh, cord itself. You plug the cord in right here and you're good to go. And it will show you, you know, if you have a uh, low voltage, it will protect you from those blackouts and brownouts. Definitely something that you want to invest in. So let's say you're going somewhere and you, you know, you don't have the post, you're not in a campground, you plan on going, you know, again, boondocking, if you will, where you don't have shore power, but you still want to be able to run the AC. You still want 120 volt. That's when you have this right here, which of course is your generator. Um, there are some RVs that you can have the generator built right in. Generally Cummins Onan is the brand that you'll find in most of those. Um, but again, it's usually only in your fifth wheels or toy haulers. A lot of your travel trailers, if you're planning on getting a travel trailer, don't have an onboard generator option uh, just because there's not the space. And to be quite honest, there's generally not the demand for it. So if you do fall into that category, something like this is highly recommended. Now, something I always tell people um, when you're shopping for generators, so they have what you have right here with in, front of, in front of me, which is the uh, generator inverter. This is what I recommend if you plan on doing any kind of camping um, where you have to be careful of sound, right? Because there are places where they have noise violations, things like that. The inverter is going to be much, much quieter than your standard generator. Uh, you're looking at almost half the decibel level, like this one right here, this Honda uh, uh, EU2200i is a very common generator because it is so quiet. Now, most of the time with this one, you'll have to get a companion generator and you will actually link the two up. They have a, a little cable, you can link the two up so they run in parallel, so you have enough power to run the AC. But I recommend that because they're easy to carry. You can have one in each arm rather than having this big, huge thing, so a lot of people will go this route. Uh, but that decibel level of this one is quieter than the normal conversation. So that way, you know, you're not disturbing everyone at the campground, or not the campground, but you know, or if it is a boondocking campground, wherever you are, if you don't have the shore power, this is a good option. So you can run AC, you can run your TV, do everything else that you want to do. Uh, another thing when we talk about power is solar. So come up here for a second. I'm going to show you a lot of RV manufacturers today will have some kind of solar prep. Now, uh, they will be a little bit different. You know, Zamp is one, Furion is another. They have a couple different solar prep styles. You can see this one right here. That's actually what this is. So if I flip this open. There you go. There it is. That is solar prep. Um, and you can see right here, you can see the cords, or the wires that are coming from it and they're going right into the battery. So that way it's a trickle charge. Now with solar uh, in, in that system right there, so that allows you to have a portable panel basically is what it is. And that's what I have right over here. 
Now this will be enough to trickle charge your battery. This one here, for example, is 150, or I'm sorry, 120 watt. Um, they go up to different amounts depending on the, the type it is prepped for. I think it can go up to uh, possibly 200. I'll have to double check. I know at least like 150. But that, that will give you a good trickle charge, right? But again, you know, people, some people are under the misconception that something like this is going to be able to power, you know, give you enough power for your AC and stuff like that. And that's just not the case. Um, if you plan on being able to run like your 120 volt stuff, like an AC or a TV that's not a 12 volt TV off of solar, you need a serious investment um, because you have to have not just the solar, you have to have the battery banks for it. You have to have the inverter. Uh, there's a lot of things that will go into it. This right here is an excellent option to trickle charge your battery. And that's exactly what it's for. So something like this will, you know, basically be able to keep the lights on inside, uh, but you know, it's not going to power a bunch of stuff. Um, but that, that's kind of you know, the, the, quick, the quick and dirty, if you will, of RV power. As I said, you have the 12 volt, you have the 120. If you ever hear the term shore power, that simply means you're taking the cord from your RV, you're plugging it into the post, and that is what's going to power your RV. Highly recommend a surge guard as well. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have a post, you're gonna want a generator, and then your portable solar is perfect for making sure that you're gonna trickle charge that battery. When last thing before we go, when you're done RVing folks, you will want to unplug your uh, battery. You wanna take the cables off the terminals so that way you don't have that drain because even if you shut everything down, it's still gonna have a constant drain on there and that's gonna kill that battery when you go to use it in the next camping season. So disconnect a post or if you have a battery disconnect, you can flip that, you're good to go. Thanks again for watching folks. This has been the Quick and Dirty on your RV Power 101. Traveling down the road, tire issues occur more often than you think, and you don't always know about it until a good Samaritan flags it down, resulting in thousands of dollars of damage and trouble to your trip. Introducing the Tire Minder Tire Pressure Monitoring System with external sensor, signal booster, and bright color monitor. This system wirelessly alerts you of any tire issue instantly. Winner of Reader's Choice Awards in Trail Life and Motorhome Magazine. Located in beautiful Stewart, Florida, Tire Minder, peace of mind for the road ahead. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. That was cool. <laughs> and for all you cool cats and kittens, make sure you join the conversation on our social media channel channels. We're over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. So come join the convo. Uh, we've been paying close attention to all your comments. Thank you all so much, by the way, for tuning in. We love... You know, we're not standing here... We love seeing your comments that are uh, that are coming in. There's been so many fun ones. We certainly appreciate everybody. And if you've got a question, and that's the great thing, is our social team is standing by with to answer your questions. Just text uh, EZRV to 32094. We make it so easy for you. we got some more incredible things to talk about here coming up. Because I'll tell you what, things are starting to heat up a little bit. And if you have not registered to win some incredible prizes, we gave away a $500 gift card already on a $500 Friday. And we gave away RVs yesterday. What's oh. next? Did you see the scooter we gave away? That was, I wanted that. The Coleman little mini bike that we gave away yesterday. We got many more things to give away all weekend. We're just getting started. And again, these show prices go through Sunday. Now, we've been talking a lot about the fifth wheel and, uh, you know, the couple getaways, the privacy, the amenities that all these incredible fifth wheels have. Uh, and we've talked about just about every size. But now, I think we should go a little bit bigger into like a fifth wheel that sleeps seven or more. And we're talking about those ones where you see it coming down the road, you just take a minute and you go, nice. Go big or go home. Yeah. These are the ones that you, you know, grab the whole kids baseball team. You say, hey, we're going to go down to the lake and have some fun. Soccer momming in style. <laughs> Which will be great. So listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it over to a guy that's been working really, really hard, my buddy Ian. And we're going to be talking about some really incredible stuff 
that sleep seven or plus. I'm talking Cougars, Atlas, Saber. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my is right, Sean. Here we are. We're in the beautiful Saber 36 BHQ. And, folks, this session is going to be Fifth Wheels That Sleep 7 Plus. If you have a big family, you like to go out with lots of friends, maybe mission trips, whatever it may be, you need something that sleeps a lot of people, that is what we're going to cover. Folks, as you can take a look around, you have a ton of space thanks to the dual opposing slides in this fifth wheel. It really opens up this main living area. When you have a lot of people, you need a lot of space, and that's what this provides right back here. Let's take a look at our campsite slide. So this right here, if you're not familiar with RVs, folks, you're just tuning in this week. This fascia right here represents that this is a slide out. And so this whole wall right here actually pushes out of the side. It's motorized. And when you're parked, it just gives you a ton of space in here, which is wonderful. Now you want a place to sit and eat, have a meal, play games, put puzzles together, whatever it may be. And that's what you get right here with the freestanding table and chairs. Uh, right next to me, if you take a look, is the theater seats. These are great because it lets you sit back, recline. This is going to be the best seat in the house because not only can you recline in these, but they also have a massage setting. They have heat. They light up. I push the little light up button. You can see the light underneath as well as the cup holder. And it is straight across from my entertainment center. So, you know, if everyone wants to crowd around, watch a game, maybe you recently got married and you want to show off your wedding video, folks, that is the place you can do it right there. You'll also see these zebra blinds right here. These are, these are something that are uh, exclusive to the Cherokee family. This is one of the products in that family line. And what you'll see is they kind of have the black and uh, white stripes. But when you move them, what it does, it allows you to control the amount of light that comes in the RV. You can see right there, that lets in a little more light. Or I can go like that, and that will block a little more out. So it gives you a lot more control uh, rather than just you know a standard pull them down, push them back up. LED lighting all the way throughout. Why is that important? Well, for a couple reasons. One, as you can see, this one has big windows, so it lets in a lot of natural light during the day. But what about at night? You want to make sure you can see. You don't want to feel closed in. So all these LED lights bring in a ton of light. You can see there's lighting behind the crown molding as well. So, you know, beautiful accent lights, and it just makes it feel, you know, again, very residential, very homey. You can, in a little bit, we'll see an accent wall that's really gorgeous. Uh, the color combinations they've used just really helps pull everything together. Folks, if you really like what you're seeing so far, remember, all you have to do is text EZRV to 32094, and that will lock in show pricing for you. Right here in the back is your love seat. So this is a bed as well. It's a tri-fold sofa. It pulls out into a bed, giving you that sleeping space. So if again, we talk about being able to sleep seven plus people. This is one of those. It can easily sleep one adult. If you're really good at cuddling up close, you can sleep two because this will be the, basically the width of the bed. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me just show you how this works. In case you haven't seen one before, Tri-fold sofas are their preferable type of sofa because of how easy they are to set up and how comfortable they are for your guests compared to the older style uh, beds, like your traditional pull-out where you have a big bar in your back. I know you've experienced that. Or an air mattress deflates on you in the middle of the night. You're constantly trying to fight. You're putting you know, soapy water on it, trying to find where the hole is, spending, you know, wasting hours of your vacation. No one wants to do that. Look at that, folks. Just like that, I set it up, put some sheets on there, a blanket, throw a pillow on there, and your guests are snoozing in no time. So, talk about sleeping spaces. That is one of them, and trust me, you're going to see plenty more in here. At its core, this is what they call a mid-bunk unit. So, that's what's commonly referred to. A couple manufacturers will use different names, like bonus room, or some of them will call it an office. And we'll see that in a little bit, again, if you haven't seen it before. You're going to love what you're seeing because what these floor plans do when you have a mid bunk or a bonus room is it gives you the rear living space. So in an RV, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you here. In an RV, most floor plans will have two major sections that you can modify. You will have the front and you will have the back. So in the front, you can get things like front living, front kitchen, or that's where they'll put the bedroom. Because the bedroom's going to have to go generally in the front or the back. So whatever doesn't have the bedroom will have the feature. So in most of your bunk models, your, uh, you know, your bunk houses, your corner bunk units, the bunk area is somewhere in the back and it takes up the majority of your living space. The great thing about mid bunks, and they've been around for about two years now, they're fairly new to the industry, 
is that you get this big, beautiful rear living space. You get a space, you get to hang out. You get to enjoy time with each other and you still have a ton of sleeping as we're going to see in just a minute. Right over here is the entertainment center. So as I mentioned, straight across from that theater seat is your TV. You have a view from the sofa, storage across the top, multimedia center here. This will control the speakers inside as well as outside. You have a couple different zones there. And then the fireplace right down below. Now the fireplace is not just to look nice folks, it is functional, that is a space heater. Uh, also something I didn't point out back here but I do want to is the fact you have electrical outlets and USB ports right there. Um, a lot of people are working on the road, you need a place to plug in your electronics. I know we all go camping to get away from them but you know you, sometimes you still have to be accessible so that way even if you're sitting out here you're able to charge those. Now because if you remember when I first started the video I said we had dual opposing slides. What that means is you have two slides that are directly across from each other. When you do that in a kitchen space, it gives you enough room to put in a center island. Because you have so much room on both sides, you're able to walk around it. You'll see the uh, the gray they chose here, which I think is good. I think they did a really good job. Um, you know, I've seen some manufacturers go white countertops, and that works too. They went with a little more gray tones in here, but I really like the, the countertops. And again, they are a true solid surface. And underneath, I really like this sink. This is some, something new we're seeing in the residential trend. It is an apron front, but the thing I really like about it is the color. It's that uh, black stainless steel that you're starting to see on a lot of appliances in like the home stores or higher end houses. It also has the high rise oil rub bronze faucet, a little more industrial looking on this one. You can see how the, uh, the cable is wrapped rather than just being one continuous piece. And then, of course, storage. You have to have storage. Not only is your center island functional for prep space, but folks, you have a bank of drawers all the way down there. If you take a look right there, you'll see you have enough space for a trash can as well, which if you've seen any of my videos, you know that's a big deal to me. I want my trash hidden. That gives you the space to do it. And again, prep space, prep space, prep space. You can never have enough countertop space in an RV. So this is huge. And you have more storage back here with the recessed cooktop. So all this is good usable space as well. But we also need a lot of storage. And so that's why a lot of manufacturers are starting to put in pantries. Another huge addition that we're seeing in the industry big space in here and you will also notice that the the shelves don't come all the way forward now they actually do that on purpose because what that allows is if you have like a swiffer or a broom it gives you a place where you can set those because those are bigger items and oftentimes you just don't have space in your rv so with the addition of the tall pantry now you have a space for it plus a space for all your food you can see it does have a light as well so you know it is lit up so if you're getting in there at night you're able to see that and uh, my hand is back here you'll see that it's blacked out it's glass so it still has that glass look but if your pantry's a hot mess like mine is you're not going to see everything tucked away in there uh, now folks if you appreciate some of the stuff that i'm telling you right some of the stuff you're learning if you're new to the rv industry what I want you to do is text Easy RV to 32094. The reason being, folks, we have people that are standing by. We have show specialists. They'll be able to help navigate you through that can help inform you on some of the different floor plans, like the difference between a rear living and a mid bunk and a front living or a rear den. That's what we're here for. Let us help you shop the easiest way possible. Right up top, you will see the microwave. You have a hood, storage there. Again, storage down below. And this one has a residential refrigerator. Again, this is another trend we're seeing more and more in the industry. Why? Because it cools a lot faster. You know, RV refrigerators, you generally have to cool that or start uh, cooling them down overnight. And it takes about 24 hours for it to get down to temp. These, a couple hours, they're cool, they're good to go. You have crisper drawers and nice big freezer compartment right down here on the bottom. I'll open that one up. And then you have another drawer style freezer right down underneath. So plenty of uh, freezer space built in. Again, you can never have enough cold storage. So we have to talk about the mid bunk area. That's what this is. So again, talk about residential trends. You can see you kind of have like the, the whitewashed wood on here, kind of like a, a vertical shiplap almost. It's gorgeous. You have the barn style door. And then when we come inside, this is what the floor plan is all about, folks. You need the place for the kids to sleep, you got it right here. This is a fold-out sofa, just like the one we had in the back. So again, you can sleep one to two people right here. You have lights built in, you have a window, and 
Maybe uh, you want to make this a gaming room, right? Maybe, again, it's a rainy day, the kids are bored, they're running all over the place, driving you crazy. If you want to bring a gaming system, no problem. You can put the TV right there, hook everything up, you're good to go. Or, again, maybe just a DVD player, you know, want to watch a few movies, you can do that. You'll see you have hanging storage. That's another big one. Hanging storage up top, you have shelves down below, uh, so that way you actually have a place for the kids' clothes to go. Or maybe mother-in-law comes camping with you and she doesn't want to sleep in the, in the living room. I understand that, you know, when I'm sleeping, I want some privacy too. I don't want, you know, people coming out when I'm still sleeping and they see drool all over the pillow and on my face and my hair is a mess. That's no fun for anyone. So with this, you got a place where you can actually, you know, just kind of rest and have a little bit of privacy for yourself. Making the way up the steps. Again, we talked about storage. Take a look at this. You have some coat hooks right in there. This is something else I really appreciate. I don't know about you, but at my house, you know, a lot of people will have mud rooms. I have a little area, as soon as you walk in the door, I have a coat closet. That way I can hang up my jackets, I can take my shoes, I can put them somewhere. That's what this gives you. So you don't have a bunch of shoes cluttering up your walkway. You don't have your jackets hanging out or your sweatshirts, whatever else you're using. Everything gets tucked right in there. For some of your controls, you have a thermostat here. This one does have two ACs. We'll see the second one when we go in the bedroom and they are individually controlled. So this is for the main living room. Again, the bedroom up front and then you will see your tank monitoring panel here. Uh, you will also see the, uh, this is basically the rest of all your controls. Sorry, it's a little small if you can yeah, get in there. But you can control your awning, your lighting, your slides, all of it right from uh, this touch screen, which is pretty great. So again, it's all just touch screen like that. You can see you're able to change all those lights, turn them on and off. Uh, it's just more efficient than having to have individual toggle switches. And then we make our way up the stairs. Again, we're talking about sleeping. Seven or more people in this session. Folks, take a look right there. That's right, you have a loft in here. Not only do you have the bonus room, the sleeping area down below, you have the loft, you can come up here. Again, you can plug in electronics. Uh, you know, you have the ladder built in so it's easy to get into. Just plenty of sleeping space in the Sabre. So make our way into the bathroom real quick. I'll just show you this before we uh, hit the bedroom. I'm kind of running out of time. Sorry, folks, sometimes I can be long-winded. There's so much to the RVs. I mean, I could talk about each one of these for an hour. Uh, but again, one of the cool things is when you text that Easy RV to 32094, folks, our specialists are able to give you virtual walkthroughs just like I'm doing right now, so they can go way more in-depth than I'm able to in this short amount of time. But I did want to show you how big the shower is. You can see, you know, I'm six foot tall, 200 pounds. I can easily turn around. I have a seat built in, the hand wand there, nice big skylight. You know, you have the big sink and countertop, plenty of room for your toothbrushes. Uh, when we make our way back out here, got to do a little dance, right? But when we make our way back out, we'll take a look at the bedroom real quick before we head outside. And I just want to show you, you do have windows right there in the headboard so you can get cross ventilation. The big bed right here, so that way you're not elbowing each other, you know, king size bed, not hitting each other in the middle of the night. Take a look at this. You have, whoop, it's locked. Let me undo the lock. You'll have the barn style doors for your wardrobe up front. So you have hanging space, you have plug-ins, there's washer dryer hookup, you have a ton of shoe storage in there too. And then when we pop this guy open, boom, you have more access. So your washer would go over here, dryer on the other side. And lastly, before we head out, just wanna show you, you do have a spot for the TV, as well as right down here is your dresser. So again, folks, a ton of things to love in here, a ton of places to sleep. We have the couch, we have the bonus room, we have the loft, you have the master bedroom. I'm telling you, you can sleep a small army. And when we do make it outside, come on up front with me. I'll show you a couple different things. One, as you can see kind of with the panning shot, is how much storage you get. This is a big storage area. You're gonna have a lot of people. You're gonna be bringing a lot of things. Maybe you have cornhole boards. I like to play cornhole when I go camping. You can slide them right in there and still have enough room for a table or whatever else you wanna bring. Speaking of tables, you pop that table out, set it up right here. You also have the outdoor cook space. So you'll have the sink, the refrigerator, quick, easy access to all your beverages. If we drop down, right there's a propane quick connect. So with that, you can hook up your favorite grill, be able to cook right here, have your table, and just really enjoy the outdoors. If you have any pets, take a look at that. You have a place where you can tie them up there. It makes it nice and simple. They're tied to the units. So they're not running all over the place. The upgraded more ride step above steps on here, aluminum treads, adjustable feet, and folks, these are extremely solid, so you have good control when entering and exiting the RV, and then you have the grab handle here to aid you as well. 
Again, folks, this is just one of many. So this is a mid bunk unit. We're going to go over a couple different units this session that are able to sleep a ton of people. I'm super excited. If you're interested in this one, you want to lock in the pricing, you know how. Just text EZRV to 32094. Drop it right in that comment se uh, section below. That way you can lock in your pricing and again, have the specialists here at the show who are ready, help you find the perfect RV for you. Welcome back to the ultimate campsite here at the ultimate RV show. Dave, um, you're going to end up getting put to work again. <laughs> guys, Kaylin and Melissa here, and we are going to uh, show you guys about some X trucks. I'm really sorry to interrupt your game, bud. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is going to help with stabilization of your camper. Uh, Melissa, is there anything that you want to point out before we put Dave to work on showing us how how this is going to go? Yes, definitely. So just a couple of key factors with these are, you know, you're always going to want to know what your extension is going to need, what, what you're going to need, because they come in just the regular X chocks and then they come with an extra large chalk. So you are going to want to measure your measurement between your tires and dimensions before you can get so your So it right goes one. between the tires. All right, yep. bud, this is where you come in. <laughs> Super easy. They come with the wrench so you can install them. Super lightweight, easy to put away. These are great for large families. If you have children, you know they do not sit still. Your camper's gonna rock from side to side. These x trucks right here are gonna prevent that. So, and that's also going to be taking uh, pressure off of your sta stabilizer jacks too? That is. It's also gonna prevent tire shifts. So super easy, as you can see, it's all it's taken. Yeah. And Dave, could you also like throw a drill on that and let it out? Uh, if you have an angle head bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. 90, one of those 90 head. So also before you lower your unit onto your, at, or onto your uh, tongue jack and everything, you're going to want to make sure you take those off as well. And they have a lock also, so you um, they have a clasp on them. You can buy a lock and you can put them on there to make sure nobody takes them if you want. Okay, so yeah, it's just going the extra step to keep it, keep everybody stable. Yep. I have three keep boys. There's down. no telling how much movement I'm going to get in there. So yeah, um, with the X chalk, are you? Is this like a standalone product, or should I buy it in conjunction with something else? Um. You, like always, you're going to want your tires, your chocks, and everything like this, but this is a standalone for your stabilization. This is going to take a good 40% of your rockiness out of your unit if you just have these on there alone by themselves. Oh, wow. So, but I could still use the regular wheel chocks yes. as well. Yep. Okay. And now, is that like an upgrade from what you see, the little yellow triangles that are kind of going to kind of gonna keep my tires stable this is like is. an upgraded version this is of that an upgraded version of that so just as long as uh, they would keep you from rolling away these are going to keep your tires from shifting any any kind of movement that they may have in them okay so yes all right awesome well guys if y'all need an x chalk if you uh, want to drop a comment below that is camp and you can also text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. And you know we are hooking you up with some mad awesome prices. And that is going to be $119.99 regular price for the x Chalk, Or for the Ultimate RV Show, you're at $93.65 through the end of the show. Only good through the end of the show. And our Good Sam members are coming in at 88.97 so if you feel like you know last time we went camping we really were kind of moving around a little bit extra yeah uh, don't forget to grab these for the ultimate rv show through the end of sunday and i know you guys are really excited to get back to see some awesome rvs uh, at those spectacular prices that we have going on so i'll let you get back to that and uh, don't forget drop your comment camp below or text to 32094 or give us a call and uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit. And we're in the Atlas 2942BHFs. This is another bunk model. We can sleep a ton of people in here. 
The great thing about this one, folks, it's a little bit shorter and lighter weight. So the mid bunks, as I mentioned, they're big, they're huge, they're gorgeous. They can sleep a million and a half people maybe a slight exaggeration, but they can sleep more than seven. Uh, but that being said, they, they're also, because they're big, they tend to be a little bit heavier. So you have to have a bigger truck to pull them. This one we're going over today is under 8,500 pounds dry. So that means some of your half tons may be able to tow it. Uh, again, I always, folks, let me, let me go off on a tangent here. One quick second. Uh, I want to talk about half ton towing. This is a question I get a lot. So when you're talking about half ton towing, a lot of your half ton pickups will have big tow capacity. You're looking at 9,000, 10,000 pounds on some of them, and that's great. What you also have to pay very close attention to is the pin weight, because your truck will have cargo carry, a certain cargo carrying capacity. We're talking half, three quarter, and one ton. Uh, that rating is how basically strong that suspension is, oversimplified, but how strong that suspension is and how much it can carry. So a half ton truck doesn't have the carrying capacity that your three quarter ton does. The pin weight on the fifth wheel is up front, and that pin weight is going to rest on the truck, which lowers the suspension. So on, when you're looking at half ton towing, you absolutely want to make sure you can tow it, but you also want to make sure the cargo carrying capacity that your truck can handle the pin weight of the fifth wheel. Enough about that. Back to what I was saying. So it may be possible to tow this with a half ton. You may be looking at a three quarter, uh, but again, you're not going to have to have a one ton or a dually or anything like that for this camper. The, this is actually a really cool setup because it is a little more condensed. As I said, it's a little bit shorter. Again, if you're looking at going to some certain campsites where they may have limitations like 36 foot or something like that, this is a great option. You will see the countertop space. This is really cool. Um, I like this for a couple different reasons. One, uh, you'll see that you, if you want to like prep some food here, you can. If you want to put some decorations here, you can. You have the big window out to your campsite, you know, so you get to see what's going on at your campsite, not looking out at your neighbors. And if you want to watch TV with the touch of a button, boom, there you have it, folks. The TV just lifts right up like so. So this is great, again, because, you know, if you don't want the TV to be the main focus, if you have your kids and, you know, you just want to go outside or you want to have conversation or you want to build a puzzle, I know all too well with the things that are going on. My five-year-old uh, now has used a tablet more than ever, more than I'm personally comfortable with, but that's just the life of the, the you know, life right now. That's the world we live in. So if I can get away from this for a while, I may drop it down. But you know what? Sometimes... You know, it may be a rainy day or maybe we just want to sit down and relax and watch a movie together because I enjoy that too and you have the capability to do so. Right underneath is the multimedia center. There's a DVD player right there built in. So again, if you want to watch Frozen 2, pop it in and have yourself a ball. You'll have the speaker so you can, uh, if you want to listen to music, you know, you can listen to music through here. Maybe have a dance party. I know kids these days that are big into TikTok at least for a couple more days till it's gone or so I'm told. Um, so, so that's a thing. Uh, underneath is a fireplace so that if you, uh, you know, again, you want to turn that on, kind of get the ambience. And more importantly is that that does serve as a space heater. And I, I know I reiterate this, but you know, a lot of people just don't understand that that actually does a decent job. Is it going to heat it up in two minutes? No, it's a, it's a space heater. But again, it will do a great job. You want to flip that on. You're sitting over here at the dinette. You'll get, you know, it'll just help take that chill off at night, early morning. Then we move into the kitchen space. You will see that uh, you have a, a strainer, straining potatoes there. There's that. Man, those are, those are weird looking props. Um, but right here is your, your three burner cooktop. You, you have the glass cover. Those are kind of gross. I, I don't know what those were, but I, I can't recommend touching them. Flip that up. You get a backsplash. The, as I mentioned, the three burner cooktop, that front one's high output. The knobs light up. Just flip a, flip a button up like so. Or if you flip it down, you will have your oven light turn on. And then, you know, if you want to uh, cook some casseroles, things like that. I know that's pretty popular sometimes while we're camping. A little bit of storage right there. Uh, the thing I like about this is if you have a smaller trash can, again, you can fit it in there. Nothing huge. You know, I would have liked to have seen it a little bit bigger, but you do get the space. And then you have uh, two drawers there as well. The seamless countertop. So if you haven't seen this before, folks, this is kind of a, what, a hybrid or in-between of T-mold and solid surface because uh, it's better than the T-mold because you don't have anything like popping off right here, less chance for any kind of water intrusion or water to get in. Uh, and it also allows you to undermount the sink as you can see right here, which not only looks nicer, but if you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love it because it's so much easier for cleanup, but it's also lighter than solid surface. So, uh, you know, again, if your, your weight 
uh, conscious in a unit like we are in this one. You know, we're a little bit smaller trying to, you know, get that weight down. Uh, this is a perfect option. High rise pull out faucet. So washing dishes is easier. And in this corner, you'll see the pop up power tower. So a couple electrical outlets there as well as USB ports. Storage all the way across the top. And I do want to point out but they put crown molding on there. Hey, that's, that's a nice touch that I like. I'm starting to see more manufacturers do it. And you know, again, it just kind of helps give that, uh, that overall residential feel. Now, uh, oh, I don't want to miss this. You do have the counter extension too. Just in case you didn't have enough countertop space, you know, with the, between like sink top covers and the cooktop cover and the space in front of the TV, they give you a little pop up here as well. But as I mentioned, at its core, this is a bunk model. And so right back here, you will see double over double bunks. 300 pound weight capacity there. So that, uh, you know, if you have adults sleeping in here, it's no big deal. And the reason I like this is because, yes, absolutely, you know, a lot of us have families. That's why we get bunk models. That's why I, uh, you know, use a bunk model. So I have a place for my kids to sleep. But as they start to get older and camping with mom and dad is no longer cool, um, you know, if you want to bring friends along or maybe, you know, you get a little bit later in life and, you know, we're talking about grandkids, you have a spot for them to sleep. And as you can see, it doesn't take up a ton of space back here. You know, you have a door. If, you know, maybe uh, you, you like to go camping and you want to bring the grandkids along, but they don't always come, that is A-OK. -okay. Holy cow, that new button. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, got it. All right. Man, it's making me, making me feel weak. Apparently I need to go to the gym. What is this place doing to me? So as I was saying though, uh, when you close the door like that, right, it, it, um, it, it may, it kind of blocks that area off. So if you don't always have the kids, you have a big storage area back there is basically what you have. You can load that with all your stuff you don't want people to see, and it's still very usable. The kids come in, great, open it up. Now you have a place for them to sleep. They have storage to themselves right back here. You can see the hanging rod there. And so again, it just doesn't take up a lot of room. And so that's something I like about it. When you open this up, you will see the fridge freezer combo. This one does run off both propane and electric. And I'm going to get to this in a second. First, I want to point out this up here. I'll show you why, because this is a pretty cool system. Uh, but I do want to talk about this real quick first, which is your sofa. So the, the reason I like this layout is because, again, it's good for conversations. So you can have people at the table. You can have people here. And this does fold out into a bed. So, again, we're talking sleeping space. You can sleep, you know, one or two people here. Storage all across the top. Now, back to the slide out. Okay, If you didn't notice, again, this whole thing is a slide. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, that's why you get so much space here. And with this one, this, uh, as you can see, it's a U-shaped dinette. So with U-shaped dinettes, again, I'm going to go into teaching real quick, and I just don't have enough time. So um, with the U-shaped dinette, a lot of people like them because it gives you more space up top. Uh, a lot of people, hover are under the illusion you can seat more people to U-shaped dinette, and that's not necessarily the case. While it does give you great room here, uh, you can, what will happen is you'll end up bumping knees if you get more than three or four people in here. That being said, the really cool thing about this one is it is convertible. So this does drop down into a bed, so you do get, again, sleeping space here. You can sleep an adult. Let me move all these beautiful props. And again, folks, this is one of those things where, you know, and, and I know I've said this, if you've been watching the stream the whole time, thank you so much. But, you know, I, for people that haven't, I have to let everyone know, text EZRV to 32094 because, folks, we have show specialists standing by and they can give you virtual walkthroughs like I'm doing right now and be able to show you all this stuff. And it, they'll have more time to dedicate just to you. It can be personalized. You'll be able to see the pieces of inventory you want to see. And they can show you stuff that's nearby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this U-shaped dinette to a standard one. You see how basically it was set up with here and here. So we're going to move these. There we go. Like that. And then I'm going to move these cushions. We're going to swap cushions boop, like that and like that. And then I'm going to move this dun, 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 like that. And magically, we're going to put this back and voila, just like that, you have 
uh, a, you know, a, a basically a four person dinette. And you can see it just gives you options based upon what you want to do. If you want the back, you want the U shape, by all means rock it. If you want this, if you want a little bit more space, folks, look at this. Look how much space I have between my torso and the table if I need be. You know, if you, if you need a little bit more space, folks, this will help provide it. So that U-shaped dinette, especially in the backside, can be a little tight. But here, pff, yeah, space for days. And look how, look how much room, again, between my knees and the table. A lot of room right there, just making this very usable. All right, let's head on up top here, and then we'll head out before we uh, run out of time again. The convenience center located right there. Max air fan, you do have a max air fan. Um, so uh, that does have a rain sensor on it as well, but you can touch a button. If you don't wanna run the AC, you can run that. It'll do a really good job of uh, getting some airflow in here and cooling it off a little bit. The bathroom, let's take, do a quick shower test. I'll stand in here. Six foot tall, folks, plenty of space, even without the skylight. You can see there, I still have, you know, a couple inches, can probably be six one, six two, maybe, not have to stand underneath the skylight. You have the seat in there. Toilet, it's a porcelain bowl, right? Easy to clean, that's a big deal to me. I don't want a stinky toilet, I don't want a stained toilet. You have the mirrored medicine cabinet up top, a little bit of extra countertop space, which is nice. And then in the bedroom, if we step right up here, You'll see the, uh, the cabinets across the top, a window in the front. That's something, again, more manufacturers are doing. It's a great look, lets a lot of natural light in here when you want it. Beautiful look outside as well. The queen bed here in the center, uh, mirrored, medicine, or mirrored medicine cabinet, mirrored wardrobe. So that way you have hanging space there, plus some shelves along the other side. The other cool thing, a lot of times in this uh, setup, there will be a step, but look, whoop, I don't have a step. I can step all the way up here at six foot tall. I can, you know, basically stand right up out of bed and head out. Uh, a lot of times when you're talking, you know, mid profile fifth wheels, that's not the case. So I really do enjoy the fact that you have a little more head height there in the bedroom. Then we come outside. Let's take a look right up front here. Take a look at the storage space you get, because again, that's something that's going to be important. You want to make sure you have enough storage. And if you take a look in there, one of the things they've done very well is they made sure that all of your water lines are out of the way. They didn't drop any water lines down the center, so you're able to utilize that entire space for storage. You'll also see the uh, slam latch baggage doors on here. It has a covered hinge. So if you don't have a covered hinge, what'll happen is when it gets wet, you'll start to see a bunch of rust and stuff coming down your door, and it's a magnetic catch. So you can put it up just like that and forget it. Now, the reason I like that is because if you have little ones and they go, you know, they go to shut this, the plastic cl uh, clips sometimes, if they just yank it down, they're gonna snap it and break it. Not a super expensive or, you know, um, timely fix, but why have to worry about it when you have magnets, right? Just making life easier on you. It's what it's all about, folks, making life easy. That's why I love camping. You just get to sit back and relax. You'll see here, you have the fold-out steps, aluminum treads. Uh, if you haven't seen these style steps before, I'm gonna show you on this one, just because I, I like to show people once in a while kind of what how they work. And it's this easy, you just flip it up into the door. You'll see this little latch right there, so it latches shut. You can take the door like so. There you go, your steps are put away, that easy. You have the grab handle just to make it a little bit easier to enter. And when we come in the back, TV hookup, might wanna add that too. Uh, but right back here is the outside kitchen. So I'll set this up a little bit. Two burner cooktop right there. Uh, you have the side shields. Uh, gotta be honest, I wish they would have uh, made a little more space here just so it doesn't stay up super well. But uh, I don't know, might just, I might just leave it right there, right? Still works. Um, and then you'll see over to the side, you have your refrigerator. So that way you have a spot for your condiments, beverages, everything else that you're gonna need. And folks, of course you have the ladder back here. So you have the fully walkable roof, but take a look at this. There's two things on the back that I really wanna show you. One is the big storage. Folks, anytime you can get storage, whether it's inside or outside an RV, that is a really big deal to me. I love having the storage. And then right down underneath, you will also notice that you have an accessory hitch. So that way, you know, if you need to put like a, a, a bike rack or something like that in there, you are able to do that. You can just plug it right in. You'll see the uh, attachments for chains there. And then underneath is a spot for your sewer hose. 
So again, folks, hope you love this one. As you can see, it's very different from the mid bunk we have. There's a lot of different styles of bunks, a lot of different sizes. Folks, we have over 25,000 pieces of inventory on the ground. There is a ton to choose from. You're looking at sleeping seven plus people. You don't have to be in a big 40 footer. You can do it in something a little bit smaller like this. And that's what our experts are here to help you with. Just text EZRV to 32094. At Camping World, we've always been about helping you Turn an experience into a moment and a moment into a memory. And we want to continue doing that just with a little more power. Chart the uncharted on a mini bike or go-kart. Explore the unexplored on a golf cart, UTV, or ATV. Coleman Power Sports, now available at Camping world. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Sean Parr, my friend Bria, and if we haven't said so enough, we're so thankful and glad that you are with us at the Ultimate RV Show. We are having a great time. And listen, questions, thank you for all of them. Easy RV, just text it to 32094. This is the Ultimate RV Show, and we've got an ultimate giveaway coming up. It is ultimate. We have a Coleman go-kart coming up. So make sure you head over to ultimatervshow.com. If you're not there and you're not registered, you can't win. I already registered. Did you register, Sean? Uh, no, I didn't register because we, we can't, can't win. win. <laughs> I still registered. You know, the interesting thing is, is yesterday we had 140,000 people stop by. Uh, we were in the middle of a hurricane today. We've got beautiful sunshine. It's Friday. We're getting closer to the weekend. And the deals are getting hotter as well. We call them show specials. And those will last only until Sunday. So if you see something and you say, you know what? Honey, you got to see this. You know, listen. I would get on it now, not wait, because they'll only last again until Sunday. And we are moving some merchandise this weekend. It has been so much fun. We are definitely having a blast. You know, we've got some great stuff coming up, too. Ian has some great stuff to show us. I can't wait to see. Ian, Ian has been working his tail off. I can't wait to see. We keep him busy. Next. I know. I know. Whew, he's making me hot over there with the Keystone Cougar. So let's send it back over to Ian. All right, guys, here we are. We're in the Keystone Cougar 364 BHL. Uh, this is honestly one of my favorite floor plans. They came out with this one, uh, I think it was late last year, and I absolutely love it. They did a great twist. We talked earlier about, you know, kind of having like a mother-in-law suite or different places to sleep. Um, when you talk about being able to sleep a lot of people, this is one that is really, really cool. One of my favorite parts too, is that this is a bath and a half floor plan. So when you talk about, again, having a space for someone's going to spend a lot of time, this way they're able to just get up, use the bathroom, you know, they don't have to go through the entire camper. And again, it just kind of feels like they have their own little actual space and apartment, which is pretty cool. But as we start on this one, one of the things you can just, you'll see right away is the beautiful interior colors. I really like what they've done. They kind of have like the white, uh, the white cottage style right here. You know, it's just, it makes it pop. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. Um, and I like the kind of little bit darker colors that they interlaced. So that way, you know, it just, again, it doesn't get washed out. Of course, microwave there, you'll see the storage, three burner cooktop with a glass cover, solid surface countertop. Now, something I want you to notice, something I, I really like, again, it's uh, one of those minor, you know, uh, minor details that for me really make things stand out. So you have the white, the, the, uh, the white cabinetry. Most manufacturers, right, if they chose a white countertop, like you'll see right here in the island, they would continue that all the way through. Why? Because it's less expensive. You know, if you're buying countertop, you're going to buy all the same color because that way economies of scale, you're saving a little bit of money. But what Cougar did is they, again, they didn't want that look that, uh, they didn't want to look washed out. So instead they put a gray countertop here. So they have two different countertop colors and I think it just blends seamlessly. Uh, I think if they would have put white, it would have been a bad look. And I think that was a great design choice. So credit to their designer. Uh, as far as the, oh, storage real quick, I'll show you that. So you do get some storage there. You can see as well as a little bit underneath the oven. 
oven itself. Again, you need to cook a casserole. You got the ability to do it. Maybe a wet burrito, something like that. Enchiladas. Now we're talking. The uh, kitchen itself, or the island itself rather, is a large island. So that's another thing you need to pay attention to. If you, if you really want an island, not all islands are the same, folks. They have different designs. They have different size. This one has a cool little bird, if you're interested in that. I, I don't think it actually comes with it, but it is a nice little piece. Um, it has a cutout here too, which I think the reason they did that is because if you notice, the fridge is here. And again, attention to detail. If your countertop is here, your fridge is here, you don't have a lot of space to come through. So they cut the countertop out so you're able to maneuver through here. Even me with my big butt, folks, I'm clearing it no problem, right? So uh, it's again, when manufacturers do things like that, I pay attention. Undermount stainless steel sink. When you have solid surface, you're going to undermount. It looks nicer. It's cleaner. Um, you know, and again, if you have the ability to do it, why wouldn't you? High rise pull out faucet. The double bowl sink, by the way, a lot of people like because it's easier for washing and rinsing dishes. You will see underneath how much space we have. You have the sink top cover there as well as the drying rack and a ton of space there for a trash can. So you can actually fit a nice large 13 gallon trash can like you would have at home. If you take a look up top, I do want to show you this as well. I really like the light fixture they have here. They kind of went with like the wood beam look, you know, a little more craftsman style. And then again, sticking with that farmhouse, you see the light fixtures right there. Excuse me. I love the, the um, you know, kind of the trends that we're seeing in RVs this year. Folks, manufacturers are killing it, and Cougar is no exception. Drawers all the way down the front. Great storage. Um, we'll get to this side in a second. But first, entertainment center right over here. So you have the TV. 50 inch TV, folks, in a bunk model, that's great because a lot of times, again, as I mentioned, you're sacrificing a lot in the living space, but not here. It it's, uh, has a good angle still. It's not directly across, but a great angle to the theater seating so that way you know, your, neck doesn't get hurt, your neck doesn't hurt from having to do this when you're watching TV because no one wants to do this all day, right? You see the uh, storage up top. Uh, it, it is backlit, which I like, so you know, again, it just kind of shines through a little bit. Multimedia center with the DVD player, got some drawers, or rather these lift up, sorry I say drawers, but a little bit of storage space there. And then the, uh, the fireplace down below, nice wide fireplace, looks great, kicks out heat. If you've been watching this whole session, I don't have to repeat it, you know, you know what I'm gonna say, that uh, that's a nice little space heater, right? Come on into the back though. This is where the 364 BHL really shines, folks. Look at this, I am six foot tall, just wanna show you. As an adult, got a pillow, I'm snoozing, good night. Not only that, look up above, take a look at that. You have two full-size beds in here, folks. So you have a ton of sleeping space. I love what they have done. You have windows galore, lets in a ton of natural light. If you can see up top too, you have a second AC in here. So that way you're not sweltering. Storage, let's open this up. Boom, whoops. Who put that there, did I break it? Shh. Nobody saw that. Open this up, you see a ton of storage, wardrobe up top, pull out drawer space. Oh man, I have a spot to put my socks, my underwear, my shirts. I love that. And then the ladder. So I've seen a couple manufacturers that have made this floor plan. If, in case you didn't know this folks, when a manufacturer comes out with a new floor plan in the RV industry, they will have that floor plan unique to them for a year if they're really lucky too. And if it's a good floor plan like this one is, you will start to see it pop up among other manufacturers. They will all put their own little twists on it, but a good floor plan is a good floor plan. So I've seen other manufacturers that have made this, and I haven't seen one with the ladder this beefy. And I think that is important because when you're talking about safety and you're going up into a top bunk, I love that they put side rails on here. Most manufacturers, again, don't do that, but it gives you that little bit more safety when you're climbing up here. Again, folks, I'm 200 pounds. I'm on this ladder, no problem. I can climb up in here. There's more storage space. Whew, it's actually nice and cool. I may stay up there a little bit longer. And again, generally not the case when you're up there, but when you got an AC there, nice and warm. The kicker to this, remember when I said it was a bath and a half? Come on in to my office. No, just kidding. So this is a uh, porcelain bowl. So, you know, as I mentioned, nice and easy to clean. You have a door right here. Now, I get people that get weirded out when there is a door in the bathroom, but here's the thing. If you notice, there's a window, there is a shade. You can close that shade so no one's seeing you. Folks, 
you have a deadbolt right there. That's all you have to do. Flip that. No one can get in here unless they have the key to the deadbolt, which they don't because it's yours and only you do. When you're done, you're good to go. The cool thing about this though, is that someone can come in, they can use the bathroom, they can head right back out. They're not bringing dirt in and out of your camper. And of course you have a sink in here so you can wash your hands, especially right now, please uh, folks, please wash your hands, right? We uh, trying to stop the, stop the spread of anything. Um, but I, I also like that. So if you just need to come in and just, you know, uh, wash your hands, you know, maybe you're eating outside. The kids need to come in. You know, why run in and again, bring dirt throughout the entire camper. Just have them head in right there. They can wash their hands, head right back out. Life is good. So as I mentioned with the entertainment center, you have theater seating, allure furniture. Folks, this is upgraded furniture. Absolutely beautiful. It's comfortable. It, right here with your, um, your cup holder, losing my words. Um, again, you have lights, you have heat, you have massage, USB port so you can plug in your electronics, and a nice spot there for your remotes. And when you're reclined and kicked back, as I said, you have a great view to that 50-inch TV. And then everyone's gonna want a place to be able to sit and have food, they wanna have a meal together. And so that's where this comes in. This, of course, is your dinette. Uh, when we lift this up, you will see storage on both sides. There's the poles for the dinette. Sorry, folks, I uh, just kinda wanted to show you what it was like when it's down. And of course, you would take, let's move these. You know, I, I love that the, the accessories in RVs are so beautiful, but they really make showing it sometimes a little inconvenient. So that is what your bed would be. Um, again, probably not perfect for an adult. As a six foot adult, I'm probably gonna struggle a little. Oh, but you know, it's a little, no, just kidding. It's, it's not terrible, right? Um, I, as an adult, I wouldn't wanna sleep here, you know, more than maybe one night if I had to. But uh, for a kid or someone who's a little bit smaller, a teenager, this makes a great bed. Another thing, is in, and I've done this before too. Again, as I mentioned, you know, I have young girls. If you remove these cushions, like so. Oh, you know what? I lied. This one's not gonna do it because of the style. Sometimes. So with this one, the reason I say that is because they built the wood right into the cushion, which is great because it makes it super simple to get to the storage. Other dinettes, if it just has a removable cushion, there'll be a piece of wood that sits there and you can put a pack and play up on top won't work in this one, but that's okay. Um, again, but as I said, it is a little bit bigger bed. The dimmer switch in here. So if you push and hold this, you'll see the lights in the slide dim down, they get brighter, or if you just wanna turn them off, just tap it. Same thing to turn it right back on. One of the big things about Cougar, folks, is the windows. Take a look at the size of those. You have panoramic windows, basically window coverage in this entire slide. Let's in a ton of natural light. You have a lot of uh, cross breeze if you wanna open some windows up, getting some ventilation in here too. And of course, talk about slide height. Look at that folks, six foot tall. I can stand up in the slide. And last thing I do wanna to touch on is the carpeting. Again, they, you'll see there isn't any, they got rid of it. They went to the marine grade vinyl. This is super easy to clean if the kills, if the kills, if the kids spill, uh, it's super easy again to just wipe that right up. And then if we take a look in the pantry, open that up, it's lit. This one here is motion sensor. So you have a couple different settings. You have off, whoops, off. You can turn it permanently on or you can flip it over and it'll be motion sensor. So that way when you open the door, it flips on for you. Heading up into the bathroom and bedroom, built-in grab handle. So that way you have control. The in-command system, folks, gosh, I just don't have enough time to talk about everything here. This is an, a great system. You have HVAC, you have lights, it controls your slides. With the HVAC system, this is actually really cool. Your thermostat and everything is built right in here. And I don't know if you can see this, probably not, but you can actually schedule your thermostat with this. So if you want it to kick on at a certain time, kick off at a certain time, if you're gonna be away for a few days, this system gives you the ability to do it. That is very, very rare in an RV, especially in a fifth wheel. When you look into motorhomes, some of them will, you know, you're higher end diesel pushers, but in a, in a fifth wheel, it's just not common. Porcelain bowl, you have the Neo Angle shower with the doors and the roller tracks so that the water goes right down in there. Again, quick height check, six foot tall, no problems here. You have the medicine cabinet sink. You'll see the, the faucet's kind of off to the side, so that way they're able to make the vanity a little bit narrower, which of course allows you to slit a swing in and out of here. And we step into the bedroom, folks, boom, there it is. There's your second AC, keeping things cool. You'll see the storage on the sides. 
uh, on both sides of the bed are big nightstands. If you have a CPAP machine, I have one. I take it camping. You see that I have plenty of space for it there. Also storage uh, in those. And of course, wardrobe. You have hanging space with big drawers underneath. And as you'd expect, there is storage underneath the bed. I'm running out of time, but I am going to run outside real quick just to kind of show you couple things on the outside here as well. Now folks, the Cougar, this one is capable of doing cold weather camping. So if that's something you're into, this may be a great choice for you. It has the climate guard system on there, excellent insulation. So it's keeping you cooler on hot days, keeping you warmer on cold days. You have, uh, again, the, the underbelly is heated. It actually has forced air going in there so that make sure that everything is staying nice and toasty. In your, your garage storage underneath, you'll see you have good storage. Your in-command system is here too, and that gives you redundancy. So what that does is for whatever reason, if the in-command system fails, there's a manual switch right in there, you can flip that so you can still operate your slides and awnings so you're not stuck out at your campsite. Speaking of awnings, take a look up top. You will see not one, but two power awnings. Both of those have LED lights. Both of them make great camp areas. It's nice and big and open. This right down here, do you know what that foot is, folks? That's auto level. You know, we're talking about easy camping. That's the Ultimate RV show is all about, making life easy. Auto level, you touch a button, you're good to go. Before you know it, you're out here, you're flipping burgers, you're having beers, giving the kids juice. Everyone's having a great time because that's what camping is all about, folks. And here at the Ultimate RV show, we're giving the best deals out there so you can start living this lifestyle today. Simply text Easy RV to 32094, lock in some of the great show pricing. We'll be able to talk to our show specialists, take care of everything over the phone and through the mail, and we'll be able to deliver the RV to your driveway. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here, my friend Lauren. Hey guys. <laughs> Lauren, you know, when you go camping, you want to be comfortable. Absolutely. And yes. granted, all the RVs that you're seeing here, all the ones you get, they have great mattresses in them. But what do we always tell people? Comfort is key. It really is. Yeah, and get your own. Yeah, get your own mattress. Get your own mattress. Trust, trust me on that. You'll thank me later. If I can get my hands on you, I'd tell you, get your own mattress. <laughs> now, the sleep number bed. Yes top selling, one mm -hmm. of the top selling brands in the country. We actually have a couple that we're doing special here at the RV show. Yeah, we do. We got the R3 and the R5. Yes. What, what's the difference between the three and the five? So the R3 is nine inches thick right? and the R5 is 10 inches thick. That's okay. the main difference. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 yes. pretty, yeah, pretty much a big difference. So there's so much that comes with these. You got tubes for pumping them up. You yep. got the components there, blah, blah, blah. Why don't we just go take a look at one that we have already set up? Great idea. That. Yeah. Now you have the handy dandy remote. I got the handy dandy remote. Now, what is the, and the remote, does that handle both sides? It does handle both sides. This controls the firmness of the mattress on okay. both sides. So how many times have you been with your significant other and you don't like the firmness yeah. of the mattress? Well, we're always complaining. I like it more firm than she does, yeah. vice versa. And if you see right here, you know, one of the standard intercoil, you know, spring mattresses. Uh, still a good mattress, but you know, with the price that we're going to give you on these mattresses here at the uh, Ultimate RV Show. This is one that you really cannot pass up. So, um, back here in the master bedroom, we got one set up. You're gonna see right away that this is plush. Yeah, you got it is. the comfort top. It's supported, but the sleep number. You get to pick what you want side by side. Exactly. I tell you what, I'm gonna get over there. Yes. You get over here. Definitely. And let's yeah, let's do it. All right. So now we're on hundred right now. We're on ninety five right oh. now. Oh, How see, does that feel? It, heavenly. I mean, you got this plush, soft top, which, you know, you got the airflow in it. You got the moisture wicking. It's going to give you a good, cool night's sleep. Now, I love being at like 95 to 100. You do. I love the firm. If it's like a rock, I'm good. Interesting. The wife, not so much. Right, exactly. So, all right, so let's take it down to 100. Okay. Or take it down to zero. All right, Which right. actually, well, you know, you can't. You can only go to five, right? Yeah, five. Okay, so take me down to five. Hopefully, Bobby, they can see when this Are thing you ready? starts. I'm ready. Go for it. Okay. Hopefully, when we, we this will see because you got the little compressor over here and the tubes that run back there. You feel it? And it's very quiet. Oh, that's oh. You okay. can barely even tell, honestly. That's awesome. Oh, 
Oh, but I can feel it. Oh, and I know. I tried it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, now this is like being hugged by my grandma. I could... Oh, this is nice, too. Okay. Sleep number mattress. Actually, I might be a convert. Yeah? W where I'm at right now? You're at 15. Oh, this is great. I'm going to be a convert. Side sleepers, back sleepers. This is pretty much great for everybody because yeah. you get to pick your number. Totally. That's the great thing about sleep numbers. You want the sleep number mattress? Here's the deal. We have a special price for you. Only during the Ultimate RV Show with the R3. If you want the R3, it's regular $14.99. How's that? What side are you getting on great. that? It's great. Okay. Mine's on 55. Nice. Regularly, $14.99. Promo price during the Ultimate RV Show, thirteen twenty-three. dollars Good Sam members, guess what? You can get the R3 for $1,297. This one right deal. here, that is a great deal. I know. The R5, the 10 inch mattress, regular $19.99. During the Ultimate RV Show, $1,681.05. Bam, nice. great price. But Good Sam members, $1,597. Yes, if you're interested in a sleep number bed. You want the comfort, you want to be able to adjust on the road. Drop that comment, CAMP, or text CAMP to 32094, or give us a call, 866-235-8751. Lauren, I gotta tell you, this is... It's great, isn't it? <laughs> this one's going home with you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet, portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power, with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. We are so excited to be back here at the Ultimate RV Show. Sean Parr and uh, Bria, I don't know what Ian broke in the uh, last segment, but I'm just so happy that we got to talk about those fifth wheels those <laughs> that sleep awesome. seven or more. He is an amazing uh, guy who knows so much about everything. that I mean, he is passionate about RVing and getting you in the quality product that you need. You know what we have right now? It's time for an Ultimate Giveaway, isn't it? I have a name. Oh, you do? And I know what we're giving away. Do you know what we're giving away? I think it was the go-kart. Is that would right? be correct. We have a Coleman go-kart. And the winner of our, and my new best friend, Coleman go-kart is Mr. Greg <laughs> Santangelo. So, Greg, you're my new best friend. You can put that in one of the toy haulers. It's going to be awesome. Greg Santangelo, is that what you said? Greg Santangelo. Greg, you just won yourself on a, a beautiful go-kart. I mean, this is what it's all about. A weekend of giveaways, a weekend of deals. We're making a little history. It's the Ultimate RV Show, where show prices, again, only last until Sunday. So if you see something, if Ian's talking about it, or Chris Young, who we're coming up with in a first look in a moment, is talking about, you need to get on that now. Do not wait. And speaking of which, we're going to talk about the Heartland Cyclone. This is a brand new, brand spanking new product. I can't wait to see it. As uh, Chris would say. I mean, a 13-foot garage. It's got all the amenities. It's got you everything in it. You put go-kart in it. Yes, you could. This is a first look. We get excited about these, and Chris Young has got it. Oh, I mean, that was when I found out you can't actually drive the boat up into the toy hauler. You did. I, I, I tried. Why didn't you just call me? I Because I didn't think. I was in Texas. I didn't know. Perfect time was, to call uh, me. Per, well, you think. Cause, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here with my buddy Serge from Heartland. Uh, don't worry about what you hopefully didn't hear. But what you are going to hear is about not only the brand new Heartland Cyclone 3413, which I'm excited about. You're going to hear about the easy RV process. Do you know what easy RV is? No, tell me. Dude, it's awesome. So what? check this out. Text four letters, E-Z-R-V, to 32094, or just drop easy RV down in the comments section. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. 
What is Easy RV going to do? If you like this unit right here, get in on it right now because you're about to see a first look at the 3413. But if you like this layout, we got folks that are standing by to show you ones just like this one. Well, maybe not exactly like, but close enough where you're going to be like, yes, I want that unit. And they're going to be able to answer all the questions that you may have that Chris and I won't get a chance to cover during this first look. They'll be able to tell you what you need to know. They're going to make sure you get everything answered. Then they're going to let you talk to a finance specialist. That person's then going to send you information in the mail, hmm. postage paid already, pre-stamped envelopes included. Ain't got to worry about that. You like the unit? Go through finance, get the paperwork, send it back in. One of our specialists is then going to deliver that unit wow. to you, show you how to set it up, either at home or at the campsite. Then all you do is enjoy camping. Sounds pretty easy. That's easy, man. That's easy RV. 32094 or just comment easy RV right now. Right now, world dude, premiere. World premiere. World premiere. I feel like we should have like champagne or something. Really? Because this has been a have some? I, well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. later. We had this has been a long time coming. How long have you guys been working on yeah. this type of floor plan? Uh, this one's probably about two years in the making. Right. Uh, we've been hearing a lot from customers that they want a shorter and a lighter unit. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of our cyclones, because of our build materials, they're a little bit heavier than most. Right, right. So this one, from the ground up, has been reconstructed. Okay. And uh, so we've cut about 1,000 pounds out of this unit, so you have more capacity to either put you know, side-by-sides, motorcycles, sure. golf carts, and still accommodate for everyone's clothes, water, things like that. Now, usually when you drop the weight and you drop the length of a toy hauler, it also means you kind of drop the garage space. So. Do I still have a 13-foot garage in here? You have over a 13. This is going to be 13-4. Really? That's one thing that we okay. did. Uh, when we design these things, we're trying yeah. to design them for space and still accommodate for these larger side-by-sides that are out there. Okay. Yeah. Well, before we get into the garage, let's talk about one of my favorite party things, deck. the party deck. My I love spot it. Too. You back up to the lake, man. You can do the casting right off the back. You can do some sun tanning out here if you want, or just hanging out, enjoying the outdoors. Yeah. What's, what's my weight capacity on this one? As a patio, we're looking at about 1,500 pounds. Okay. It's in the ramp position, it's going to be 3,000. All right. So more than easily, enough out here. Yeah, yeah, easily. More easily. than enough out here. And if you notice, I got the uh, awning on the back run out. Not all the way, so scissor arm awning. And it, the lights are still bright even here during the day. But the feature that I really liked you guys added. Ah, the new Three Seasons Garage Wall. Look at it. Yeah, so what's special about these, the old uh, the old style basically had a piece of vinyl that yep. velcro to the back. Yep. This one actually has glass. So if you're running the ACs or if you have heat going on inside, mm -hmm. you're keeping everything climate controlled in here. Plus, when they're down, great airflow going yeah, through here. Plus, absolutely. keeping all the bugs out. And they're tinted, so you get a little bit of privacy absolutely. there. Absolutely. So that's a, that's a nice feature. Easy to open and close. And I'm going to let you go on in up Come the on. beaver tail. And let's talk about this 13-foot, 4-inch garage that yes. we have here. All right, I see we got my diamond plate. We got my D-rings there. So I got multiple locations to lock stuff in. But the thing I really like about toy haulers, they're versatile. Mm -hmm. So, sure, you can haul your toys. You can put your side-by-side -side in here, your bikes, your golf cart. But if you have a big family, these right here, which are also the couches, double as a queen-size bed. Yep. And we have two of them. So we have a bed here, and we have a bed that also comes down from the ceiling. Yeah. So you can easily sleep four people right there. You're forgetting one bed. One bed. We actually do a reverse loft in Cyclone. Oh, a so garage this, spacing? Yep, a separate little counter, uh, space just for kids or whoever. Wow. But it's uh, we want to try and make this like a separate apartment back here for yeah. uh, customers. You notice we're not using like diamond plate going up the walls. We want right. to try and give it a true residential feel because you're absolutely right. There's a lot of families that use this. Yeah. But. One of the coolest things is the original folding half bath. Oh, So whoever's okay. staying back here doesn't have to go interrupt everyone up sure. front. They actually, with this, when you're first and foremost, when the ladder goes up, you can now fold this over, all right? Oh, that's cool. So we were talking about those large side-by-sides. Yeah. You're gonna get now 76 inches in between this wall and this bathroom, so even your Turbo S's. Yeah, those new ones just came out, yeah. Yep, the Maverick X3. Bring it on wow, in. Wow, dude, that's right on. Yeah. And we got a porcelain bowl in here in the half bath. Got myself a single basin sink here in the vanity with the brush nickel fixture. Got some a little bit of storage underneath. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's a nice little touch. I really like the garage facing bunk up there. And this just kind of, so this will go It'll either. lock up into place. Yep. Right. right over there. Bring it on over. Hang on over. And this also go like this. This locks up. You right. bring, you'll bring this door right over it right. and push it right in. Boom, so now we got a little half bath half back bath. here. 
That's and your great. privacy's still there. Privacy and because you know the kids, mm-hmm. even though we take them out or race teams, or, you know, whoever are using, you know, there's so many options for toy haulers. You got to have the entertainment in the back. Got to have the entertainment. Got to have entertainment in the back. Wash a dryer prep. If you're out mudding, you really want to walk all your clothes to the right. rest? No, bring it right through here. It's a big spot. You don't have to, you know, worry about getting this all muddied up. Yeah. You'd be good to go. Th- yeah, this we would just spray off. Yeah. You know, just run it down the beaver tail. Sweep it down out. Got, got storage up top. box. Yep. Still throw it up there if you yep. still need space for that helmet. All my controls right here. Um, now tell me about, because I saw this. And I yes. was like, I was like, wait a minute, there's something. So one, if you have a lot of toys, you right. know, fuel spills, you don't want to get the fumes going in. We right. actually have a vapor lock seal, but for me, three kids, you shut that. That's a, a sound lot seal. Quieter. Yeah, a lot do, quieter. Do you hear that? Hang on. Oh, is, is that Ziploc? Ooh, yeah. ooh. <laughs> That's fresh. That's so fresh. <laughs> That's fresh and easy. But with something special too that we do about here, changes the what we see over here. Right. Remember how I say storage is king? Yeah, absolutely. Let me show you what's going on in here. I want to check out this residential area because I've heard about, wow. So this is the all new residential look. All right, we've changed out the wood. We've done new vinyl on the floor. So what you're looking at here is a nice herringbone floor, beautiful cabinetry, lighter and brighter. That's what people have been asking us. I see you're trying to impress me, Christopher. Yes. Uh, yeah, the beautiful shaker-style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay, the graphite fixtures. You're right about the storage. Yeah, so when we you reverse this off, it. now we've created over a pantry worth of space. And like we said, this is a shorter unit. Yeah. Space is king. Space is king. And, yeah. and usually when you shrink units and you make them lighter, you're going to lose something. Right. And so. so what's special about this floor plan, you actually have an entry through a slide. I saw that. So now we're maximizing the space inside here. Right. Still giving you great TV placement, plenty of storage. Still give you the giant residential fridge, the Furion Gourmet Kitchen, yep. and a huge microwave. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to that Just here in a minute. Space. I love it. You have made toy hauling and living at the same time mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. You know what else is easy? What's easy? Easy RV. Oh, baby. It is. Easy RV at Camping beyond. World is on. It's on now, like a pot of neck bones. All you gotta do is text Easy RV to 32094. Leave us a comment down below, Easy RV, that's it. Or give us a call, 866-853-3510. Why are we doing it? Because look, you know how it is right now. Yeah. It's, it, there's a lot of trepidation about people getting out and about. Oh. I don't wanna put on my mask, I don't wanna go to the dealership, I wanna get in the car, I gotta take my pajamas off. It, people have been in this funk, mm-hmm. and we have devices, technology that can cook meals in 30 seconds. Yeah. So we have technology that can get you an RV the exact same way. You love this floor plan. You want opposing slides in your toy hauler that's gonna give you an island kitchen. It's gonna give you space, gonna give you entertainment, give you room to sleep and store. Easy RV, we got you covered. Specialists are standing by right now to walk you through one that's right in your backyard. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Leave us a comment, Easy RV. They're gonna get everything taken care of from beginning to you go camping. You don't even have to leave the comfort of that beautiful leather couch that Chris is going to tell me about Ooh. right now. What beyond is easy. this? Beyond easy. Oh, dude, that's way beyond easy. So, yeah, so this is our new uh, furniture look. But what's really special about this is every single one of these is going to be a recliner. Normally, when we went out camping last time in the Cyclone, three girls, they can all wall hug. Yeah. So they all turned on Moana and laid it back, and this is where they sleep. So you can actually sleep even more people right here. I say it all the time, you sleep in recliners. Oh. Because, I mean, take a look at these giant panoramic windows you guys have yeah. here. Open that up, let the wind come in, let the breeze go. That's going to be a good night's sleep right yeah. there. TV is easily viewed over here. I love the solid surface countertop that you have here mm-hmm. with the farmhouse-style sink. Farmhouse sink. Would you just look? Would you look at it? At it. I look at it. I'm looking at it. (laughs) And you got the sprayer handle right here, reaching all sides. Cutting boards, you know, the double as covers. Um, But dude, tell me a little bit about the design here with the chairs. Yeah, so if we want to give you a space to eat too as well. So this is a nice little spot. You can either move the vase. This doesn't come with it. But it's a nice place to just sit down, have a drink, watch the game, have a little meal in the morning. But it's a lot of fun. Plus, it can hold a decent amount of weight. (laughs) <laughs> that can't though. This is why we don't put bases in it from the factory. They'll fall. But you know it was good reflexes to catch it. it now good over time. here, I'm not gonna make you knock these over. But tell me a little bit about see because I I call this kind of the chill bar. Oh yeah. Because while you know they're watching, we can talk about what how we did at the race. We can talk about the golf outing. Talk yeah. about whatever. 
coffee station, yeah, a buffet style table if you want to. Got some dual power ports. I mean, phone charging. I mean, how often are kids yeah. on tablets? Throw them all up here. You got more than enough to cover pretty much the whole entire family. And like I said, set up for a Keurig. Anything that you know you need to plug in. Heck, a margarita bar, what have you. There Something you go. Right here for you. Got my LED Lid lights. Fixes, yep. Right all here. throughout the whole entire coach, so they'll all light up. And what type of fridge do I have here? Right here, you got the Frigidaire. It's a residential. So what's nice with this is you're also going to get a power inverter too with it. So oh, okay. If you're going down the road, it's still running this Keeps bad boy. Cool. Yep. So now that comes with it, right? Correct. Anytime now, you get the residential, then you'll get it that way. You get the inverter come with it. If I wanted to do the camp fridge, it runs on LP and electric. No extra Jesus. charge. Okay. No extra charge. We set it up that way just for you guys. Nice. We can't do for everyone. Love it. Making it easy. That's the easy, easy RV to 32094. Just drop a comment. Easy RV. You're going to hear me play that drum like the solo in Anagata DeVita all week <laughs> long. Now, I got my three burner cooktop over here. Love the grill style. Great. And the layout with the circle and then the oval yep. in the circle. Plus, you got the solid backsplash back here. And what's no. special about this, this is the Furion Gourmet Kitchen. Uh, oh. It's one of the largest ovens that's out in the industry. Okay. Uh, what's special about it, when you turn it on, you're actually going to get a convection style. So it's actually oh. churning the air inside there. Oh, so yeah. you're not burning the food from just underneath. You you're can feel that. it correctly with also your huge microwave. I was going to say, you yeah, got your giant microwave oh, here. Yeah. We, I, I see we got a little slide out storage there. Got the entry point right here in the, the slide. Solid surface or the solid steps, which is always a must. Those solid steps, are, yeah, yes. they are a must. And One of the like, reasons we're able to do an entry through a slide is because of those. Like how you did four, not three. On both this and the back. Because that really last cool. step is always a doozy. Oh, yes, it is. Now, we come over here, and what do we have here? Right here, we got a nice little setup for you. So we do have a working fireplace, which is mm -hmm. 5K. Okay. So to take the nice chill out of the air if you don't want to run your heater. Uh, you have the new JBL stereo system that we right. just installed. This is something new for 2021. Dual zone? What's that? Is it dual, dual zone? zone? Absolutely. Okay. Right on. Outside in the garage, let's rock it. And then you also have your doodle station. So this is a nice That's little great. place, little chalkboard. Yeah. You make notes, let your kids draw on it, what have you. The now, everyone seems to love it. I, I noticed right here, we have a power control system. Right. You're probably wondering what it goes to. What does it go to? So in Cyclones, we have three 15K ACs. Okay. So with this energy management system, if you're plugged into 50 amp service, mm -hmm. all right, it's gonna be able to run all three at the same time. Uh, now, if you, let's say we're running the microwave and you have it, you know, normally it'd shut sure. off everything. Sure, sure, sure. Well, not, not anymore. What it's going to do is it's going to shed the one in the bedroom, continue to run the fan. Right. And then once it detects that that's off, it's, it's going to pop it, it back, right on. back on. Okay. So it's like almost like automatic switching. That's the beauty of it. It's like a supercomputer inside a cyclone. And I see we have, we got yep, the little have home the system here. Yep. Yeah. So hook it up to your phone, connect it. You know, you got your lights. These are great. Everything. These control systems are great because they're touchless and they're easy to navigate. Very easy. Ness. So, as we make our way up the stairs here, let's come into the pass-through bathroom. Right away, I see a single surround shower with a skylight that is beyond fancy. And you, I got many options here. I got corner notches to store my soaps, my shampoos. I got brush nickel fixtures all the way around. Um, one thing that I would touch on what you said earlier, yeah. a lot of families are using this. Yeah. Also notice that this is a tub. So if you have a kid or anything like that, sometimes, especially in your RVs, you're a little tighter spots, a lot easier to give them a bath than it would to be give them a shower. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great point. Plus you got the glass sliding yeah, doors. That's something new that we added as well. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, yep. corner solid mounted surface. vanity, okay. solid surface. Got some storage down there. And I got the large mirrored corner mounted Medicine cabinet, got the raised lips right there, make sure stuff stays in transit and I open it up and all fall on top of me. Storage now, is king, like we say. Storage, and speaking of king, king you go through the master. Beds, baby. Tilted view, right? Tilted, yeah, so we're one of the only ones out there that actually use a king tilt bed. This is something that we did. You still have storage up underneath this. Right. Uh, but very nice, it's actually under here. You have to lift up the mattress and then this will fold up. Oh. Okay. So we just wanted to give you an extra little nice. spot. So if you have anything that you want to hide, you know, yeah. whether it be what have you, nice little spot to do it up underneath there. You got LED accent light underneath as yeah. well. So if Large you want to put window. a toad or something underneath this, it's yeah. kind of nice. You can see what's underneath that. Your little toggle switch up there is what controls the bed. Right here. Yeah. You can bring it up there or down. There it is. But if you were to bring it all the way down, there is something pretty cool that one of my, uh, my boss hid inside this unit. 
which oh, really? a lot of people don't know about. Okay, well hang on, let me bring it all the way down. Now, once again, if you like this style, you want this layout, we have them and specialists ready for you, standing by. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Drop us a comment, Easy RV. We're gonna make sure somebody's gonna be there to take you through a virtual walkthrough, get those answers, get those questions answered for you, and finance taken care of, paperwork's gonna be taken care of, delivery's gonna be taken care of, everything's gonna be taken care of with Easy RV. What's hidden in here? So, a lot of people would like to full-time in these. Sure. Maybe they're working out of it. This is kind of a cool thing. We're not gonna drop another vase here. Hopefully. Don't wanna do that. <laughs> so let's move this over. Sure. So, if I'm just sitting on the bed, this now pulls out, Dude. my TV now comes up here, I can recess it, and I actually have a computer desk. Now your toggle switch on this one. That is awesome. Let's see, it might be right around here. Oh, yep. it's on the side, it's on there the side. it is over there, there on the other go. side. So now your TV is gonna be able to come up, you can either hook it up as your monitor, Right. and now you actually have a computer desk, so if you wanna be away from the kids or what have you, <laughs> boom, come up here, hop on, do uh. your work, and go back out and enjoy your RV life. This is awesome. All right, so before we head outside, this closet right here with the sliding yes. barn style mirrored ward doors, I love the arch of this. I got some corner shelves over here on my right, and I have a solid surface Sorry, countertop right here. With I got dual USB charging stations on both sides. Very nice touch. Great way to polish off the end cap. So. All right, now let's head outside and take a look what we have out there with the 3413. Man, a lot, that's beautiful. Yeah, new paint scheme mm -hmm. for this year. Full body A little paint. bit more linear than what you normally have done. Done a lot of swirls in the past. Right, right, right. But yeah. what's really cool about Cyclone is gonna be our store more storage. Sure. This is something that we introduced. You obviously don't need 2020 vision to see that it trumps mm -hmm. normal, I would say, standard toy hauler pastors. This was something that I would easily put my dirty stuff in. Fishing gear, hunting gear, because I got the diamond plate on the bottom. And I like the addition of the flat screen. Yeah. I got a battery disconnect right there for me. We want to try and give you as much outdoor entertainment, as much space, especially if you have like, let's just say, wet chairs or anything sure. like that. Yeah, yeah, beach gear. You don't want to bring it in there. Yeah. Throw it in here, diamond plate, you're not going to have to worry about it. Nice touch. Twin 30s on uh, the yep. LP tanks on, on both, both sides. sides. Yep. Now, with this being, um, how about the underneath? Oh, there's our... Solar connection, quick yep. connect right there. So if you, you got those panels, yeah, can you just plug them in. Throw it on out, get them all charged up. But a big thing that we need to touch on is the wall itself. Okay. Our walls are different. Uh, a lot of people in the industry, they're gonna be using a Luon wood sidewall, mm -hmm. okay? The problem that you run into that, it's D-lamb, molding, yeah. rotting. Yeah, more so she gets in there, that's yes. bad. Yeah. So we use something called Asdale. Are sure. you familiar with Asdale? I am. Yeah, it's a graphite know, composite, almost yep. like a- uh, Better R value, yeah. lighter. Uh, won't mold, won't rot, but the best thing, one percent, less than 1% chance of delamming. So nice. it's something that we're trying to give back, obviously, to the customers to right. really build these suckers up. Well, I like the way you got the molded end cap here on mm -hmm. the front. That's a big one for me. Uh, is this Fury and Side Vision? Correct, yeah. So this is set up for your Vision S system. Yeah. So you have the two side ones, and you're also going to have the rear one as well. And we got an awning uh, that's running the entire length. Three awnings on this. So you're going to have one here, or at least one uh, on the 38 back. feet on this one. Sorry, yeah. 38 feet, wow. one back here. And then you're also going to have your rear one as well. Wow. Okay. Cover up those doors. Cover up the whole spot and make, yeah. make sure nobody's getting rained on. I see we got storage down there. Yep. Plus, does this have a generator on it? Absolutely. We got We're a generator. use the, the Cummings 5.5 Quiet Gen. So, nice. Yep. 5,500 watt. Yes. So you're going to run pretty much everything. Two right. ACs off of this one. Beautiful. So we make our way around. I see we got auto level. That's a great feature to have. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. If you get auto level, that makes life setting up and tearing down so much easier. Absolutely. There's our exhaust for the gin. Other Secondary side of the pass through. The, yep. So you're going to have your UDC. All your connection ports are going to go right into here. Right. So no leaking through the coach. It's a great touch. Look at that. Plus we got the little porthole down at the bottom. I mean, it's just, it's about making camping and life just so much easier. Now, do you guys have the heated and enclosed underbelly on this? Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. But this is probably one of the coolest things. <clears throat> Only toy hauler in the industry, 
I would say at this price point mm -hmm. with a power cord reel. How many times have you tried to wind up one of these 50 amp cords? Oh with yeah. Bare hands. Normally, every single one, it's all plug and play. And it's another thing you've got to throw in the back of your coach. Yep, 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 yep. So that's something that we came out with about last year and uh, people have been loving it. I was going to say, that's a nice addition to oh, it. Oh yeah. I see you got the fuel station here fuel as station well. Right it's there. locked right now, which is fine. Fuel dispensing system. Now how much? Uh, uh, what 50 was my gallons. Size? 50 gallons on 50? this one. Yep. Okay. So if I needed to fuel up my ATVs, yep. I'm good to go. You're good to go. Got my disconnects down there, my terminations, there's yep. my pump, there's my dump right there. Double axle. tires on this, 7,000 pound Dexter axles. Really? You're gonna have the Moride CRE 3000. Now that's a shock absorbing system in between those Correct. Dexter Correct, so it's gonna move axles. about three inches on each nice. side. So it really takes a lot of the absorption off this coach. And the G-rated tires, tell me about that. Definitely something, I mean, back in the past, I mean, this is maybe five or six years ago, mm -hmm. a lot of people were using E-rated tires. Yeah. The problem with that is, you know, it's not so much just the tire itself, it's the axles and you got a lot of tire wear and, you know, there were some China bombs out there. So once we've gone to G-rated, mm -hmm. it's actually really built this coach up and you're not seeing that out there in the industry. I like those 15 inch aluminums too. That's yeah. a nice touch. They're pretty. <clears throat> now we come over here to the roof access. Yep. Um, I like the stowaway ladder. Always been a fan of those. I like how they easy up. The one thing we didn't touch on on the inside are those the are your vents. vents. So this is something yeah. that has to go into every toy hauler. You have to be able to uh, vent these things out if right. you have fumes in the back. That's a, and believe it or not, even when you got families and you don't have vehicles in there, mm -hmm. this helps with kids. Oh yeah. If you're a family and you have kids, especially teenagers, you're going to want the vent because what the vent also going to get rid of? Stank. The stank. <laughs> the stank. The smells. Look, it's a fact of life. Teenagers. Teenagers, sorry. Love you. We were one <laughs> at one point. And of course, we got the party deck over here. And you can really see from back here how that awning with the LED light comes out and that scissor arm, how good that looks right there. Something cool, too, that's on this version that mm -hmm. we just brought out. Uh, a lot of customers, I've been at shows, they always complain about their exterior steps. Sure. Where am I going to put them? Yeah. I don't have enough room. So we just came out with the step caddy. So now all your exterior steps, mm -hmm. all are gonna go right down here. You just throw them on in and lock her up. Oh, right on. Yeah, and that lock. way you're keeping it out of the garage. More Safe. space for your toys, more yeah. space for your kids. And you got the fold Four up step. steps right here. Yep. Got the extra large grab handle here. A lot I'll of tell people you. ask us why we don't do the sturdy step back here. Well, one of the reasons, those do go into the coach. <laughs> yeah. So if you're out mudding and everything like that, it kind of makes those, you have to clean them off every single time. So with having these, they all nice fold up and still gives you, you know, that maximum reach. And having the, the having the extra big security handle is also a must oh, too huge. for me. I got to tell you, man, for a toy hauler that is under 40 feet, and what's the weight on this one again? 14.4. 14.4. With a 17 gross. Gross is 17. Yeah. A lot of capacity in this. Not one. a lot lost in there no. at all. No. Nothing. It's a it lot comes down to innovation. All yeah. comes down to innovation. Things that we do that all, you just don't see a lot of the competition. And I got to tell you, when I saw the entry point in the slide, mm -hmm. first thing that popped in my head was, what is Heartland thinking? But now I now get it. See. Yeah, now yeah. I dig it. I totally dig it. Because um, I'm skeptical. Oh, you have to you know, Well, yeah, you have to be, especially in today's market. Um, which, you know, we have a lot of people who are first timers looking at RVs, trying to figure out what's going to be right for them. What's going to be the right fit? Do they need toy haulers? How much space do I need? What vehicles can I take in a toy hauler? And I want to tell you this too. If you like this one here, this is all new 2021 Heartland Cyclone 3413. If you want this specific unit, you better get on it now. Yeah. Hopefully you've already texted Easy RV 2. 32094, or just drop us a comment, E-Z-R-V, because here's the deal. These are brand spanking new. You're getting a first look at a unit that is not anywhere yet. But if you love it and you got to have it, boom. World premiere. World premiere. Hit it right now. If you like this layout, you say, Chris, I love that toy hauler. I need a 13-foot garage. I would like opposing slides, and I would like that front cap with a king-size bed. We got you. Specialists are standing by right now. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Leave us a comment, Easy RV down below, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. Someone is going to virtually walk you through the unit that's in your backyard, the one that you want. They're going to answer all those questions that Chris and I didn't get a chance to cover today, and they're going to make sure you have all the information you need. Then they're going to let you speak to a financial specialist who's going to send you some paperwork in the mail. Postage already paid for the Ooh. return envelopes. Because, you know, we're going to make it easy for you. Then 
They're going to have it delivered to your campsite or your home, and you're going to get a professional walkthrough like you would if you were at the dealership. Then you can enjoy your camping. That's what Camping World's Easy RV is all about, making it easy. You don't even have to take off your pajamas to get your new RV. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you now, yeah. if I was inside this one, I wouldn't take my pajamas off either. Sir, the Surge Man. Dude, Dude, thank, thank you, you so for much. Us out. No, man, thank Dude, you this so is much. Awesome. This, this was great. This is a great unit. Hope the Ultimate RV it. Show will be back in just a minute. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. You want to do new things outside and, and sometimes it's about that change of scenery. Just fulfilling that love for the outdoors that I have. Woo! The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a motorhome that sleeps six for only $3.29 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With all plans currently 50% off, you can't afford to get stuck without it. And we are back. Did you see that RV. One word, amenities, and oh, let me use one more word. Awesomeness and our new, uh, you know, when we see a first look at a, a new unit like that, that is truly remarkable the way everybody gets excited about it. Even you online, we certainly appreciate that. Easy RV to 32094, that's where you text it. And 866-853-3510 is the number we love hearing from you. Now listen, if you love the walkthrough of that cyclone, guess what? We can set you up with a virtual walkthrough, a virtual oh, tour, yeah, sure. an appointment, if you will. So again, text Easy RV to 32094, and we can set up a virtual appointment in real time. So if you want to see the kitchen, if you want to see a deck, if you want to see the theater seating, we can set that up for you. Yeah, imagine you were just sitting there and you said, you know, I would really like to see, you know, the couch or maybe those chairs that everything reclines, but I didn't get a chance to see those, the cup holders with the buttons on them and the LED lights that you could actually push the button and it vibrates the chair or it keeps the the uh, the the what is it the beverage cold or the beverage hot whatever it is and we've got everything right now one of our product specialists will take care of you and do a custom view just for you you know what's coming up next oh oh we're i talking hear chris about is cutting up uh yeah chris is on the prowl uh we're going to talk about him in just a moment but we're going to do uh, units with outside kitchens so there's no fomo no fear of missing out when uh, everybody's tailgating you got to go and do the cooking and uh, you know say you're at the lake you catch a bunch of trout you come in, what do you do? You can actually clean them on the outside, cook them on the outside. Everybody's gathered around and nobody misses anything. Everybody stays together. Everybody stays together. Did you see that pop out uh, bar stool? Oh, that heck cycle? yes. It was amazing. Oh, and that's goodness. the kind of stuff we've been seeing all weekend. And we're just getting started. I hear Chris is on the prowl right Ooh. now. Let's get to him right, right there and see what he's working on. What do you got there, yes. buddy? Guys, I'm not on the prowl. Come on. I'm at a Prowler by Heartland. <laughs> and this segment right here is all about travel trailers with exterior kitchens. You're going to see a lot of bunkhouse models, a lot of things set up for the family, the pets. But the best part is one of the things I love most about travel trailers, having that external kitchen. So this one I'm standing out right here, the 2021 Heartland Prowler 315 bunkhouse. 
can easily sleep seven. Dry weight on this one is 9,600 pounds, but has an external kitchen and half bath, full bath and half bath. This is one I think you're really going to like. Starting at 32,995 or as low as 240 a month, 36 feet nine inches. This is one I'm telling you, you're going to want to get in on real quick. So if you are, just drop me a comment down below right now. Easy RV or text Easy RV to 32094. Because if you like this floor plan or you like something like this or you want this specific one, the Ultimate RV Show is all about action right now. Get in on it so you can have it and then I can come to your campsite and you can grill me some dogs. Let's actually start with the exterior kitchen because that's what we're talking about. So, travel trailers with exterior kitchens. This is where they actually will run a water line and sometimes an LP line to the exterior portion of the travel trailer so that you can have a spot to kind of gather everybody together, do some cooking, do some cleaning. For example, this one has the outside sprayer handle and outside two burner cooktop as well as a little prep area, your own little mini dorm style fridge as I like to call them or you know the college dorm fridges. Got the door that closes everything away, slides away easily. But if you notice, see if you can get this one in the shot too. You see how we got the exterior kitchen here, but we're not under the awning. The awning's over here beside us. That means when you are doing the cooking, you're doing all the stuff, all that's not gonna get trapped under the awning and kind of go down if people are out there playing or watching TV or something like that. They're not gonna get those smells. And you know how bad it is when you cook fish on the inside. Same thing if you do that out here under the outside. But having the exterior kitchen just opens up so many more opportunities. You can cook anything out here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, go fishing, drain the lake of all the fish, come do the cleaning, cook it up. When everything is said and done, you just push it away. You got the magnetic anti-slams, close it, lock it, and there you go. They also have key locks, so you're gonna be secure. Now, this some other features of this unit. You see your low point drains right there, the hot and the cold. This also has power leveling jacks. Power leveling jacks and power tongue jacks is one of those creature comforts when you talk about getting any RV that really makes life a whole lot easier. Double axle travel trailer on the 15 inch aluminum wheels, got the Dexter Easy Lube axles. Right here we got our fresh water connection, our power, our cable. So if you did want to set up a TV out here, there's your connections there. And if you notice right here, I don't know if the camera, you'll be able to pick it up. There's like a little blue light under there. This is underlit with a blue LED light. Let's see if you can get it on my hand a little bit. Talk about a great aesthetic for when you're coming back late or at night, added safety, added security, but also added aesthetic. That looks beautiful. LED running light. I got my dual zone speakers out here, sealed safety glass all the way around this unit. Black tank flush right here. Front power leveling jacks. Once again, I've got my magnetic anti-slam latch for my pass-through storage right here. Oh, hey, Kev. Get the camera, camera. Hey, Kev. <laughs> so I'm having fun at the Ultimate RV Show, guys. I'm sorry. We have one of the best production crews out here. Plus, we have one of the best teams at Camping World. Not only putting this show on from everybody from our social media team to our digital media team to our marketing team, but the folks in our over 150 locations across the country that are standing by right now to go through and walk you through and answer all of your questions one by one and do the checkoffs. What's the difference between the aluminum siding and the, the fiberglass siding. What's the weight difference? This is what my truck can tow. This is what I need. This is where I want to go with it. This is what I want to do with it. When you get a chance to speak to those folks or just come in, ask them those questions. I can't emphasize enough. The Ultimate RV Show is about taking action right now. That's why we're out here doing this. So you don't have to get up off your couch, leave the comfort of your home, or take off your PJs to see these beautiful units. But if you want to, you can absolutely come in. So you got best of both worlds, no skin off your back. Diamond plated rock guard right here on the front. I got my battery box, my twin 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack right there. Setting up is so much easier when you do have a power tongue jack and your power leveling jacks. So if there's one feature that I can say, do not sacrifice for, do not sacrifice for the comforts of setting up. You can take some of the comforts out from the outside, but, or from the inside, but do not sacrifice setting up. Right here, we have all of our terminations. Got your gray tanks, your black tanks. There's your sewer outlet connection there. This is our slide, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. I wanted to start on the outside because if you do have an external kitchen, you're going to spend a lot of your time on the outside. So most important, let's see that first. Gray tank number two, or a second termination. Flush, 
cable inlet there, city water connection, external shower with hot and cold. This is another feature that if you're going to be active, if you're going to do a lot of lifestyle stuff, hunting, fishing, going to be running with the kids, take it to the beach, take it to the lake, the mountains, wherever, grandma's driveway, you can come in, clean everybody off before you go inside so you're not tracking that stuff all throughout the camper. 4x4 sewer hose storage here, spare tire. We are set up for backup camera prep. Uh, this is one of those things too. Once again, creature comforts when driving, get the backup camera. Arch sealing on this thing too with those three inch rubber nozzles. That's going to help keep the rain, the snow off the top of the camper, off the awning, and off of you. So, all right, Kev, watch out. I didn't bring the sump pump, so we kind of moved Lake Ultimate RV Show to back here to the Prowler because they knew I liked to fish. Plus, they knew the way I fish, I'm not going to catch anything. Right away, when we walk into this all new 2021 Heartland Prowler 315BH. Now remember, Ultimate RV Show pricing is only good through Sunday, as starting at $32,995 or as low as $240 a month for a camper that sleeps seven, 9,600 pounds, roughly 36 feet long, with a bath and a half. Now, Kev, we just came from outside. It was hot out there. It's a beautiful day. We have a 13 5,000 BTU air conditioner right here with quick cool. Now here, I'm gonna let you walk under and watch what happens when I open up this dump. Oh, Kevin gets that, yeah, enjoy that one, baby. Now we're cooking with gas. Actually, you are cooking with gas, but this is running off of electric. Air conditioning, you got a 30,000 BTU furnace, so that will be cooking with gas. 30,000 BTUs in a camper this size, you're gonna stay nice and warm. As Soon as you walk in, you're gonna see we have shaker style cabinets, graphite style fixtures with the frosted glass inlays, a little bit of storage there, maybe your component shelf if you needed it. But you do have your shelf right here and right here. Bluetooth command center right here with dual zone. We saw those speakers outside. Check out my storage options right here. For a camper of this size, starting at $32,995, a sleep seven, a bunkhouse with a bath and a half and exterior kitchen, starting at $32,995, I, I'm not. I'm not pitching you, man. I'm not trying to sell you anything. But that's a, that's a heck of a deal. One thing we missed when we came in. Check it out. It's a walk-in pantry. Let me show you. Back here. So these pantries can double as both ward or pantry, and it's big enough that if I can step in there and I can get in, you can put fishing rods, you can put rifle cases, you can take those shelves out. But pantry, ward storage. That's the great thing about having an RV. It doubles for pretty much whatever you need. You get done with the day, you want to kind of hang out, come over here to a comfy jackknife sofa. This can easily sleep one adult. Got the large panoramic windows, the wood balances. I got my LED reading lights. Can easily watch my entertainment right there across from me. And enough space, thanks to this super slide, that I'm not going to be cramped if people are walking back and forth across from me. I mean, just look, I'm over six feet. I'm going to try to kick. You got good room in this bad boy. You're not going to be cramped. But since this is the 315BH, that means it's a bunkhouse. Great for families, great for those trips, great for just couples that have dogs, or you know that you're going to be using this for the weekend getaways, whether it's the guy's hunting trip, the ladies' beach getaway, that wine tour. Let me tell you what. Could you imagine taking this to a winery? for the ladies getaway, the bachelorette party. Yeah, yes. You go out there, you set this up on the land, y'all get your bottles, you got views everywhere. You can easily walk back and forth. Then you have room to sleep people with these double over double bunks right here on the campsite that's separated by its own solid pocket door. Separating space, separating privacy. Got another double over under here. Once again, those teddy bear bunk style mattresses, fur covered on both sides, comfy. They'll have a good night's sleep. Kids will have a good night's sleep. They'll have fun fighting over who gets to be on the top bunk. And right here in the back, my own half bath. So, not cramped, up and down. Got plenty of leg room on the plastic bowl here with the foot, foot flush. Got a large single basin sink right here. Got my mirror. Got some shelf storage here that's about yay long. So plenty of room, got storage underneath there too. But a half bath. This travel trailer has a half bath. Did you hear me say this travel trailer has a half bath? You wanna do the camp chef. All of a sudden, 
you are Gordon Ramsay of the campground. Look at the prep space that I have here. Got the textured decorative backsplash. Got an L-shaped kitchen with plenty of room. Plus, when I'm over here doing this, or I'm doing that, cooking, because I'm recessed in, people have plenty of room to move around behind me. Entertaining space is enjoying space when you have the space to do both. Trust me on that. Grill style great right here with the three burner. Got the glass cover for my cooktop. Got my oven so I can roast my cookies and my turkeys. I can look outside and see what's going on with the campsite window over here. Wood balance. Shaker style cabinets once again with that frosted glass inlay giving me some more space for my cups, my plates, my cooking utensils, maybe the stuff I'm going to cook. Got a large Dometic fridge that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch right there. But more than anything, it's, a, it's about the comfort and the space and enjoying it. So when you finish that camp cook meal or you want to have your cup of coffee and you want to sit here and look at the sunrise or the sunset and have my plate of donuts and just reconnect with the loved ones, get out and about, see America the safest way possible. It's a good spot to do it. This reduces down into a sleeper. That's a sleeper. We got the bunks. We got separated space. We have another full bathroom right in here. Got the single shower surround. Got the bowl with the foot flush. Got the large single basin sink. <clears throat> Plenty of room in there. You're not going to be cramped. But your full bath, separated once again from the living area and the master bedroom, we come in here. Solid pocket door right there for me. Large bed. You're going to get storage underneath. Plenty of room for your bags, uh, your fishing gear, whatever you want. And right here, since we're on the end cap of the camper, you got shelf space right there. So if you need to set up, you know, whatever you needed, night light, you got a power port down here if you needed a CPAP machine or a reading light. Got your ward storage right there, mirrored on both sides, windows on both sides, and a TV backer right there behind Kevin. So if you wanted to set up <clears throat> television, you got all your connections right there. But they didn't skip on the storage space either with this one. You have a wardrobe right here with the shelves and the hanger, plus some drawer storage, solid wood construction on the ball bearing drives with those graphite style fixtures and some little shelves down here for shoes or whatever. You're going to see that solid wood construction all the way throughout this camper. So this one that I'm in right now, right here at the Ultimate RV Show, the 2021 Harlan Prowler 315BH. Easily sleep seven. Dry weight, 9,600 pounds. Starting at 32,995 or as low as 240 a month. You can't beat that. Now you say, Chris, that's all nice and good. I like the way that one is. That Prowler's pretty cool, man. I like the bath and a half, but can I get one with, instead of a booth dinette, a U-shaped dinette? Or can I get it to where it's flopped? We have over 150 locations. Over 25,000 RVs waiting for you right now. The Ultimate RV Show is about showing you the latest and the greatest, but also about letting you know how great the RV lifestyle is and how easy it is to get your dream RV. We have industry specialists standing by right now. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Drop me a comment, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866 853 3510. They're going to walk you through your RV. Then they're going to let you talk to somebody in finance. They're going to mail you the paperwork, postage paid, so you can send it right back. Then someone's going to bring you your RV, give you the walkthrough as if you were at the dealership. And if you have a trade-in, they're going to take that back with them. It does not get any easier than that, trust me. And since we're at the Ultimate RV Show and I'm showing you travel trailers with exterior kitchens, hang on, because wait until you see the next one.
Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker and I'm joined by my good friend David. We are at the ultimate campsite for the ultimate RV show. We have an amazing product today. We have the Equalizer 10K Hitch. So my man David here is going to go over. He's going to tell you all about it. Folks, if you're interested in this one, you're going to want to write this number down. The phone number to call is 866-235-8751. Even easier because this show is all about being easy. You can text CAMP to 32094 or even better yet just type camp in the comments section on whatever platform you are watching to lock in the amazing pricing we're going to go over there we go. david hit us with the equalizer 10k 1k right. 1k 10k 10k <laughs> there it is i love it all, all right. right so uh this is the equalizer system one of the mainstays in the uh in the weight distribution uh all the weight distribution hitches that are out there um we have several different models the the 400 a 600, uh, 800, and a thousand, and even a 1200 and a 1400. So we okay. can we can cover however large your RV is. Okay. Okay. Any travel trailer typically needs a weight distribution. Uh, even when you have a smaller travel trailer, most people are towing with a smaller vehicle. Yep. So when you're in those scenarios, that smaller vehicle is going to sit. It's going to squat. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to get that that all that distribution of weight placed into the front wheels, spread out amongst the rear wheels. We want it to be right. Right, so okay. that way you're, you're riding flat, you're riding oh, true. Yeah. yeah, you want it to, it, number one, it'll help with the aerodynamics, Okay. Uh, keep you from having wear and tear on the wheels on the travel trailer. Sure. Again, the most important, you gotta have steering control. Yeah. If you're up in the air, and, and you know, I'm staring in the sky. I need to be looking here, and I need to have my wheels touching. All right, <laughs> right, I need right. to be on the ground. <laughs> Don't want to so, be doing wheelies yeah. with a travel trailer behind you. Yeah, and then honestly, the, <laughs> the way you look at these, it's almost like having a, a, a wheelbarrow handles. So okay. you're like lifting the rear of your truck, which pushes the ball up, which pushes the that's, front. Of the that's end. a good way to look. I, I never thought about. I never heard someone say that, but I like that analogy. I like to make it where everybody can understand it. Yeah, so as we're easy as it, possible. So, exactly. So these are, and speaking of easy, these are one of the easiest ones to put together. Instead okay. of those chain styles that are all clunky, messy, you got this this sway control on the side that you got to have installed and it's it's a, just a brake pad in there that's all it is it doesn't really help you much sure. this is going to do far superior in weight distribution and okay. sway control because okay. you don't want those those trucks going down the highway messing you up they don't want the winds off the off the uh, mountains yep. so again these guys very simple slide the bars in put the pins in yep. uh, slide this of course into your receiver okay uh, you take your cheater bar put yep. it together and you just pop that bad boy up into our L brackets. So it'll be sitting something like uh, something like that. There yeah, it is. And just that simple when you put it together. Slaps like on. I like that. Locks right. in place. You're good to go. So I mean, very simple setup. Um, it, you know, we and we also instruct you. We will definitely instruct because uh, we also want to make sure that we, as a professional mm -hmm. at Camping World, we want to install it for you. So okay. Camping World yep. Gander stores. We're going to definitely do that for you. If you want to do it yourself, the instructions are great in, inside of them. You can definitely do that, but we always recommend that we handle it for you. Well, and a couple of things too. Uh, one is that the initial setup is a, a little more intensive, right? There's the measurements you have to do. You yes, kind of have to take yes. some looks at it. Yep. And another thing, look at the size of those bolts. <laughs> those are big bolts on there. They have to have a certain torque put on them. So again, if okay. you don't have a torque wrench at your house, eh, it may not be another reason that you don't want that. So right on. high impact uh, wrenches and stuff. So again, we have the tools for it uh, and we do it every single day, multiple times a day. We want to be able to do that for you. So Perfect. Yeah. All right. So David, for the, for the equalizer hitch, the whole system here, right. what are we looking at for pricing? What kind of specials well, are you going to get me today? Hit let me. me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. So... Uh, regular price on this normally is $759.99. Okay. For this ultimate RV campsite, for this ultimate RV show, yes, sir. We're going to run a promo for anyone at $669.98. All right. That's good. That's now, really good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But you could be a good SAM member and save even more. We're going to take get care your, of our members. That's right. Got to take care of them. So for a member, $659.97. So, wow. Yeah. We're going to drop this price down. $659.97, folks. Yes. yes. The Equalizer 10K. Mm -hmm. Equalizer 10K has sway control built in. You don't have to worry about taking the sway bar off when you're backing up. Everything is built in, has the superior weight distribution. Easy to use. If you're interested, yep. call 866 235 8751. Text CAMP to 32094 or in the comment box, just type in C A M P and you're good to go. You can claim that offer. Thanks, David. Very easy. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. What's up? It's Chris Young. This segment is all about travel trailers with exterior kitchens. Because when you do get a chance to get out and about, 
You do want to have fun. You want to have some family time. You want to enjoy the outside. Having that exterior kitchen is almost going to seem like it's a must. Love the Keystone Bullet Ultralights. These are Keystone's initial, very first ever lightweight travel trailers. They built these so that people could still have fun, still have all those creature comforts of home, but in a lightweight travel trailer. For example, <clears throat> this one, the 2021 Bullet 290 BHS can easily sleep six people. It is a bunkhouse, 7,600 pounds, starting at $31,995 or $233 a month, as low as $233 a month. That is ultimate RV show pricing that you're not going to get anywhere else, and it's only going to last through the show. But here's the deal. With the way things are going now, with as many people are checking us out here at the Ultimate RV Show. By the way, thank you for joining us. I think we were sitting at over 140,000 people yesterday. So if you're coming back to us or you're just now hop hopping in, thank you so much for joining us. This is your chance to see campers virtually, not even have to leave your couch to see, buy, finance, and then have delivered your RV. That's how easy we're going to make it. Just drop a comment down below, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094. Here we go. X Interior kitchens, all about the fun. This one has the little dorm style fridge right here. I call them that, little mini fridges, so hot points. These are great because you have the little storage, you can keep your cold ones in there and keep your fish in there, you know, whatever. If you do end up going fishing and you have a good catch, do your cleaning and do your prep right there. You got the little sprayer nozzle. This actually attaches over there on the other side, but I threw it in there. Got my two burner cooktop. Now with external kitchens, a lot of times they'll run water, they'll run gas to these areas so you can do the cooking outside. It's more convenient, especially if you have people kind of hanging out here, having some fun. You want to do the prep there, the burgers, the dogs, the breakfast. Imagine coming outside and cooking breakfast on your external kitchen while watching the sunrise. You got a beautiful large awning here with the LED light strip, dual zone speakers, this is a fiberglass travel trailer, which means it's gonna be a little bit more lightweight. Keystone has innovated uh, a lot of things in their travel trailers, including Key TV. So you're gonna see there's two nozzles there. So if you have satellite or you have cat TV or antenna, you only have to plug it in in one spot. You're not, you can switch between the two easily just by plugging it in. They've combined all those sources into one so you're not chasing cables. Got your TV mounting bracket. The backer for it is right here. So if you wanna bring an external TV, you could. This is a double axle travel trailer. You'll notice we have those 15 inch aluminum wheels with the extra wide distance in between them. That extra wide berth is gonna help when you're going down the road with that rocking back and forth. You're not gonna have as much of the chucking, bucking up and down as you're pulling with these. But I can't emphasize this enough. With what we're doing here at the Ultimate RV Show, we're giving you very brief overviews of some beautiful travel trailers. Like these Keystone Bullets, they are light and beautiful, which is everything I'm not. If you have questions, you need to ask your industry specialist, hey, uh, I wanna go to the Antarctica with my travel trailer, what do I need? Or, you know what, the equator sounds nice around mid-August. Wherever you wanna go, you need to make sure you tell them what you're gonna do so they can guide you in the direction of what's gonna be best for you. You like this floor plan, you like the bunkhouse with the external kitchen, Start getting ready. Text Easy RV to 32094 so you can get in on this and get in on it quick. Going to make our way up here along the campsite. Got the solid steps going in with the extra large grab handle that doubles as a door guard for additional safety and security. Friction hinge door, which means it's not going to slam on you. Got the Solera arm with the adjustable pitch. The Solera arms are nice because to adjust the pitch, you just pull them down. But they also have a technology now where if it's too windy, it'll pull the awning back in. Magnetic anti-slam latches on these pass-through storage. And take a look at the space that we have here. Finished off, good and roomy, good spot for if you want to go hunting or fishing, got room for the rods, the reels, the guns, the cases, you know, beach towels, beach chairs. But Chris, I got a premium rod, man. I don't want to just throw that $300 rod in there. Okay. Right here's a pegboard. You could set your hooks up, hang your premium stuff on there if you want to. Make sure it's not bouncing around and getting slammed around. Just like the doors won't get slammed around. There we go. Mini diamond plated rock guard here. Got that fiberglass molded, beautiful painted end cap here. And it also has a seamless super flex roof that goes all the way over the top. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, power tongue jack. 
got my satellite connection, or excuse me, my solar power uh, quick connect right there. So if you have those 10 amp panels, you can just plug them in right there. Good location. Come around to the other side of the pass through storage. This is where you have your external command center. Key TV multi source connection. This is where you plug everything in. Got my battery disconnect, my powered leveling jacks on the front and the rear. Very nice feature to have. And all my water connections city water, fresh water, black tank flush. And down here is your port. So you can run your stuff, your connections, your cables, your water through the bottom of the travel trailer. And since this closes and locks, you don't have to worry about anything being messed with. True, flit, uh, true fit slide here. And if you're going to notice, there's just this piece right here. They build these to fit perfectly and they're insulated all the way around. And when you minimize components moving slides, you minimize the chance that something's going to break. Down here are my terminations, my dumps, if you will, gray tank, black tank, sewer outlet connection there, external shower with hot and cold. Got me some additional storage right here. I love it when they put these little areas in because if you have the muddy shoes, or you got the dirty gear, you can just tuck that stuff in there if you got your grab and go bags. Bam, boom. Close it, it's not gonna slam, I'm off and running. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back, spare tire. Got those arch ceilings with the three inch nozzles on both sides, making sure that the rain and the elements aren't gonna stay up there. They're gonna come off, those nozzles gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slides. Plus we're set up for backup camera prep. Now this one has a double access. I'll show you that once we get inside. But I want you to go with me through the inside of this beautiful all new 2021 Keystone Bullet 290 bunkhouse. And just take a look. Mama said wipe my feet on the carpet. Come on in. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the space, the airiness, the roominess, how welcoming and inviting it is, bright and beautiful. Imagine your family going to see the country the safest way possible in a beautiful RV like this. Imagine coming in and feeling that quick, cool air conditioning. Look at that. If it's hot outside, you cut the AC on, you open that up, that cold air just dumps right on you. And oh, it feels so good. Oh, love it. Am I getting the John Travolta hair yet? Close it off. Air goes right back through the ducts right here. And the way Keystone does their ducting, they have these tough lock systems, these, these big plastic things that go in between the joints that make everything solid and almost indestructible. It's a great feature to have. Which, you know, by the way, I'm, I'm going to mention again, I'm not going to get a chance to go through all the features I would love to um, because there's so many things that make camping great when you get an RV. So please, when you talk to your industry specialists, ask them everything. Run them through the ringer. Just, hey, well, what about the slides? What about the height? What about in here? You know, hey, is this light? How do I cut it on? Ask them everything so that when you do get a chance to get out in your RV, you have an enjoyable experience and you've got everything that you want. We have the best people in the industry from stem to stern and over 150 locations, over 25,000 RVs waiting for you right now. The opportunity is yours. I'm just here to try to help you take it. Seamless countertops, molded edges right here. Love the beautiful light. They've lightened up all the interiors, but they've added some gorgeous dark accents. Got my cutting board on top of my undermounted stainless steel sink with the brushed nickel high-rise faucet. Got the backsplash right here. Got the window there. Shaker style cabinets here, solid. Once again, brush nickel fixtures, hideaway hinges, good residential construction, flush mounted microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover, LED accent on the lights right there. Got my oven. Kevin and I were baking cookies earlier. Full extension on the ball bearing drives right here, solid hardwood. I mean, this is a well-made camper. Keystone makes campers well. They are solid. And that's also one of those things you need to think about when you're looking for yours. This one, the 290BHS, starts at $31,995, or as low as $233 a month. That's less than a car payment. For you to get out and see the country the safest way possible with your friends and family, to come over here on the off-camp side with a dream dinette, which means it's a booth that doesn't have legs, and it lowers down. This is how you make the bed. This goes all the way down. These cushions come out. 
But when it's in the upright position, it's where you can just hang out and have your meal. It's locked in. I'm not knocking my knees against any poles down here. I tell you, it's, it's a great feature, but it's one of those ones that when you talk to your industry specialist, ask them about that. Hey, what does it feel like when you sit down? Or just come in and see it for yourself. We're open. Giant panoramic windows, decorative wood balances all the way, all the way around. Got my dual zone speakers mounted in the ceiling. Got my Thomas Payne recliners back here. My double over double bunks on the off camp side with these plush three inch thick teddy bear mattresses. Look at that plush thing right there. Got my access to my water down there and a little additional storage if you want it. Got the bunk up top, windows there. And Kev, I don't know if you can get up there and see. It's, it might be kind of hard. There's cubby hole storage right here on the side, both on the top and the bottom bunk, plus dual USB charging ports and power. Got me some pantry storage right here. All the way down. You're not gonna be lacking for space in this one. Access point into the bathroom. This is what we saw on the outside at the rear of the travel trailer. So if you do have the kids or you bring in the family along, you don't have to worry about them uh, coming and going in there near the master bedroom and waking you up. They can have their own space. They can come and go as they please. Plastic bowl on the foot flush. Single surround shower tub combo. Now, I do need the vent fan in here to give me some additional headroom. I'm, I'm six foot two. If I didn't have this giant seven, eight, nine head, I'd probably be six foot even. I got my little powered vent fan right here. Give me some additional headroom there, but I do need that so I don't knock my head. Shower handle, corner notches, but I'm not cramped left or right. And this is a great spot if you have the kids or the dogs, you can put them in the tub, spray them off, get them clean, come in through this point, clean them off there, and that way you're not tracking crap all through the, through your camper. Nobody wants that. I sure as heck don't. And if I bought it, you're going to be cleaning yourself off before you come in. Look at the decorative frosted glass that we have here in these shaker style cabinets. All right. Once again, adding just a beautiful residential feel to this RV. TV is on a swivel, so no matter where I'm sitting, I can easily view it. And here, I'm going to leave this side open and swap with you, Kev. Got space back there, so if you wanted to hide the good Girl Scout cookies from your friends, your family, maybe the Christmas presents, Grandma, boom, there you go. She is notorious for stealing the cookies, Kev. I buy those things at Camper World and Gander, and she takes them every time, but you can't yell at your great. You can't. That's grandma, man. She runs a house. All right, component shelf right here, deep component shelf, too. A lot of times on the entertainment center, the component shelf is only about, you know, three to six inches deep. This is a good half Chris arm deep. So, Furion AM FM control center right there. Once again, controlling my, my dual zone entertainment as well. Stainless steel Dometic fridge freezer combo finishing off. The living area here, look at the space and size that we have there. Runs on both gas and electric. Now there are a lot of fridge freezer combos you can get inside your campers. That's another option that uh, you need to talk to your specialist about when you get to Camping World or you get a hold of one through Easy RV by leaving a comment down below or texting it to 32094. Um, because there are some that run on 12 volt, there are some that run on just electric, and there are some that run on gas electric They have the automatic switch. Um, the 12 volts usually have an automatic inverter in them, so you shouldn't have any issues, but just, just ask them. If that's an issue for you, just ask them. More pantry storage or ward storage right here. You got the adjustable shelves right there. Master bedroom with camp size queen bed in it. Double solid wood pocket doors, almost like French doors, giving you plenty of space to walk in. Over here on this side, I got myself a little laundry chute with access to the outside. See my muddy grass down there. Mirrored ward storage right here. Full extension drawer on the ball bearing guides. Love it. And little cubbies back there on the back. With dual USB charging ports, power, got shelves, you know, the whole nine. So this segment is all about RVs with exterior kitchens. Um, if you're looking for one, you like this one. 
This is the all new 2021 Keystone Bullet 290 BHS, starting at $31,995 or as low as $233 a month. Get on it right now. Text Easy RV to 32094 or drop us a comment down below, Easy RV. If you like this floor plan, one of our industry specialists are standing by right now to walk you through one that is right in your backyard. Well, Chris, tell me a little bit more about what Easy RV is. How does it work? Tell you what, I'm going to let the pros do it right now. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. The wait is over. Our bags are packed. And this summer, we're hitting the road. We will travel. We will explore. We will spend time together. 2020 is the year of RV travel. And Camping World is here to make sure your RVing experience is fun and easy. Well, I'll tell you what, that Chris Young knows everything about those travel trailers with the outside kitchens, and I love that. We talk about making breakfast for the family, and I like to do that when we're out camping and my kids are getting ready to go motorcycle ride. i got to fill them up with some good breakfast because Dad knows the secret. You get one of those big outside grills that has, you know, the flat surface. You know, you just throw everything on there at once, get some egg whites over there, get some pancakes because I do a special pancake. But uh, With the crispy edges. Oh, we were talking about crispy <laughs> edges were. earlier. It's so good. And listen, you say, Sean, we were talking about the kitchens on the outside of these trailers, but I, you were saying something about Class C's, and, and uh, are you going to talk about those? Listen, if you miss something or there's a particular section you want to see, all you have to do is go to ultimatervcom You can do that right now. Click the On Demand uh, button right there, and it'll take you to wherever you want to go. We have archived every single section that we have done here in the last couple of days. It's day three. And we also have virtual appointments. So if you want to see any layout, any floor plans, anything like that, you can set up a virtual appointment in real time. Just text EZRV to 32094. And our specialists, our show specialists, they've got you covered, okay? And that's the cool thing. And Chris was saying that. He said, look, I want to look at the outside. I want to look at the bimini. I want to look at this. I want to look at that. Whatever it is, I want to look at the storage underneath, you know, wh whether it was a Cougar or whatever the brand was that we saw. That's what they'll do just for you. And you know what? Chris is so busy right now. He's got the Jayco J Flight SLX. And Chris, you are busy, my man. Oh, I am just so busy right now. You know, it's all about cooking the waddle. Got to get that thing up and tanned right. Yes, we are talking right now all about travel trailers with external kitchens. Because when you want to reconnect with the family, you want to have fun outside or make it more inviting, having an external kitchen just adds a complete another dimension to the fun of your RV. This one is actually one of my favorite aluminum travel trailers. I'm with the 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 284 BHS, a bunkhouse that has a great external kitchen. Now, check this out. It looks like I have just brought the marble sink outside look how beautiful that is love the way they did the top they put the stainless steel faucet out here with the large sink and i got my suburban two burner cooktop now a lot of times people say oh well, that doesn't have a whole lot of prep space actually you can use these solid tops as your prep area you can do the cutting and everything on here there's nothing wrong with that i mean it's it's useful i mean yeah sure you got some prep storage spots up there but you can't really get in there and do the cutting Absolutely. Use the top of your covers. That's why they're there. Then when you're ready to go, after it's been cleaned off, maybe it's the fish, whatever, do your cooking right there. You're not under the awning, so the smells and the smoke and everything aren't going to be permeating down the awning to your friends and family that are going to be sitting there in the campsite. 
When you're done with it, just push it away. I got my mini dorm style fridge. So if I need, you need a cold one? Let me get you a cold one. Y'all tell you what I mean, imagine if you're just coming back from the hunt, the fish, the beach, the ladies, or you're at that winery. <laughs> And you want to sit outside or you want to go inside. You could pull this up to the winery if they allow it or not. Have your fridge right here for your Chardonnays, your mimosas. And then when it's time to go, just close everything up, lock it, and you're good to go. Plus, I like the graphics package and the, the color combination that Jayco has done this year with their Jayco J-Flight SLX series. Just a good looking trailer going down the road plus set up. Now, I'm going to show you this bunkhouse unit. First, we're going to go on the outside, then we're going to go on the inside. Uh, but if you like this one and you say, hey, I want to get my hands on that one, Chris, easy. 2021 Jayco J Flight 284 BHS. Easily sleep six, 7,500 pounds rough on the dry weight, starting at $30,995 or as low as $226 a month. That's less than a car payment for you to get across the country and see America the safest way possible in an RV. If you haven't heard by now, it's kind of a big thing. You should probably get on it. Now, got the Goodyear tires here, 15 inch aluminum rims on that extra wide berth, Dexter Easy Lube axles. That extra wide berth down there is really gonna help with the rocking and swaying. But look, I, at any time, if you text Easy RV to 32094 or drop the comment down below, Easy RV, or you just come in and see us at Camping World or Gander, you can talk to your specialist and ask them, how does this affect the way I tow? What do I need to look for? What's the difference between aluminum and fiberglass? What's the weight difference? How about the exterior kitchens? What do I need? Here's what I want to do. Here's where I want to go. Let them guide you through the process because that's what it's all about, making life easy for you. Now, out here, I got my low point drains under there. You can't really see it that well. Got my fresh tank fill, cable hookup, power right there, and Jayco has done such a good job of innovations. One, and it's those, it's those little small things that make a world of difference when you're thinking about enjoying camping just a little bit more. For example, this right here is their patented mount. This is a TV mount. So it's actually just a little slip and slide mount that you don't have to keep worrying about remounting a TV for inside or outside. You can just grab it, go, and set it. Step over steps right here, solid grab handle going in, which we're gonna go in here in just a minute. Friction hinge door, so I'm not gonna be able to slam it. You got tinted sealed safety glass all the way around. And as I walk my hand around this space right here, you're gonna see the two plus three. Two year limited warranty, three year structural warranty. It's one of the best in the industry. Large awning with the LED light, adjustable pitch. Finished off pass-through storage right here. And you're going to see this is also accessible from the master bedroom. You see that strut right there? Strut supported and accessible through the master bedroom. Just making life a little bit easier when you need to get the stuff. Diamond plated rod guard down here on the bottom. Twin 20-pound LP tanks up front. Plus my power tongue jack making setup life just a little bit easier. Come around here to the off-camp side. Once again, the other side of the pass-through storage here. Got my leveling jacks there, my slide right here. Just an all around good looking camper. External shower, city water connection, black tank flush, and my drains. This right here is, to me, is a must because if you're gonna have an external kitchen, chances are you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff outside with the family, with the kids, or with the dogs, or with all of it. So you need to have something that's going to be easy to clean yourself off and clean the kids and the animals off so you're not tracking that stuff all throughout the camper. Leave it out here. Don't take it inside. Cable satellite hookup right there. All right, Kev, did they super glue it again? Ah, just trust me, it's there. Backup tire covered. I didn't have my Wheaties this morning, so I can't open stuff as well as usual. Plus, I had grandma's cookies. 4x4 sewer hose storage there. Set up for backup camera prep. These windows right here are for our bunk area, which you're gonna see inside in just a minute. Big, giant arch ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles. Making sure that if it does rain or if it does snow, those elements aren't gonna stay on you or on the awning or your friends. They're gonna go off the sides. Now, let's walk into the beautiful Jayco J-Flight. Now right away, 
you know, the thing about travel trailers and bunkhouse, the one thing I really want you to see is the space in the room. Look at the area that you have here to move around. You're not going to be cramped. It's welcoming. It's pleasing. And that's about making sure that your friends and family have a good time when they're out camping. Come on, Kev. I'm going to put the dump on you. Here we go. Ready? It's closed now. There it is. Get that call there. Yes. These air conditioners that they have, you wouldn't think could put out as much air as they do. Close the dump. The air now goes through all the ducts. I want just a quick cool. That's why it's called quick cool. I just open it up. Air dumps on me. Stepping over here to my kitchen. Right away, you're going to see that's some good countertop prep space. And it's lightened interiors, beautiful accents, a textured seamless countertop, 50-50 deep well undermounted farmhouse style sink, brushed nickel high rise faucet. I got my window over here so I can check out what's going on on the campsite. Easy to access control panels too. I got to check my battery, my fresh tanks, my black and gray tanks. See if I need to do anything. Plus cut on my pumps and my heaters. Flush mounted, three burner cooked up with the LED accent light and glass grill cover. Now, I'm only getting a chance to show you some, some brief options inside these RVs. Let your industry specialist walk you through and answer all your questions because you're going to have a lot, especially if this is your first time seeing an RV. Or you say, hey, Chris, no, no, I know it. I know what I like. I know what I want, but I got mine. Sure, I like this virtual walkthrough. I love this stuff you're doing for the Ultimate RV Show. I, I texted Easy RV to 32094, but how are you going to do my trade-in? Don't worry about it. I got you. The Good Sam Assurance Program is going to make sure that we give you the best value possible for your trade-in or you get a thousand bucks in cash. Go ahead, shop us for three days. You can't find a better deal, if you, or if you do, we'll give you a thousand bucks. 24 hours, we'll have you cash in hand, then we'll even come get your RV, pick it up, bring it back, bring you a new one. You don't even have to leave your pajamas. How nice is that? Solid shaker style cabinets, brush nickel fixtures. You're gonna see that all the way throughout J these uh, Jayco J Flight SLX is one of the top selling brands for years. Jayco makes a good camper. Here we have our fridge freezer combo. Come over to the entertainment center and I love how far back they recessed this TV. Look at the countertop space that I have here. Not only could this be a great component shelf, but a good storage shelf. Because if you have an external kitchen, you got a big bunkhouse, chances are you're not going to spend a majority of your time in here. So you can use this for storage space. But when you're ready to do some entertaining, it's on the swivel. You can easily see it from anywhere in the camper. Plus, it's a, it's a big 50-inch HD TV. Got my command center right there with Bluetooth, CD, DVD, HDMI, and it's dual zone, so I can play the music inside or out. Frosted glass inside the shaker cabinets. That's tinted, very nice. Got me some storage down below. And once again, this camper is starting at $30,995 or as low as $226 a month. A price that, I mean, you really can't beat. For a camper that's roughly 7,500 pounds, can easily sleep six, plus you got an external kitchen. Can't beat it. Kev, this is bigger than the cheeseburger we had last night. These plush teddy bear bunk series, that is over three inches of padding right there. Plush, comfortable, easily sleep, an adult up here, maybe two, double over double bunks. Plus we got some access down below, storage if you need it. Privacy curtains there. The kids are gonna have fun fighting to get up there and see who's gonna get the top bunk. Plus we got windows, you remember we saw those on the back? Those are the windows for our bunks. Got my LED lights there as well. Come into the bathroom, plenty of space. Not gonna be cramped at all. Plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got my solid surface countertop right here with the deep well sink, brush nickel fixtures. Got my mirror there. Good spot for my trash can if I need it. And I got the shower curtain in this residential size, sized single surround shower. Look at the space on this one, man. I can do a pose. Yeah, catch that on camera. Skylight laid in there, corner notches. This is almost a double shower. Come on, Kev, get on in here. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally, I wouldn't do that to you, Kev. But you could, we could get in there. That 
is what as my dad said oh, big old shower boy so come out here into the entertainment area this is what I like to call the reconnection spot you got your jackknife sofa here large panoramic windows I got me some storage over my sofa there that is strut supported wood valances plush and comfortable these are soft I actually have seen people use these as the pillows these are the armrests but since they're not attached you can move them around and use them as a pillow as well the u-shaped dinette I have that reduced down so you can kind of see what it looks like when it is in bed mode kind of see this just kind of slides out this comes out and that goes down and there we go we got a bed I think you get two people on there pretty easy one's a big spoon one's a little spoon but for the reconnection space when you get finished cooking those camp meals and you want to have fun with the family you want to play the card games you want to just enjoy the meals this u-shaped dinette can easily fit six people and we have storage on both sides underneath so if you need more room you absolutely got it Over here, as we enter into the main bedroom area, up against the back wall of the living room is more storage. That's a good spot for just about anything. Now, sure, these are good for families. These are good for couples with dogs who are active. Got the mud room right there if I want to put my shoes, got my hangers. But at the same time, if you're looking for something you want to set up, out near the lake, out near the beach, set up as a hunting cabin, set up as a fishing cabin, or just set it up. You wanna do some seasonal camping. Man, you can't beat these travel trailers that are bunk houses with external kitchens. You have versatility from practically everything you're gonna do outside and options of who's gonna come visit you if people are gonna need sleeping space. To be able to sleep six at 7,500 pounds, Starting at $30,995, or as low as $226 a month, my hunting buddies would go in with me to get this. And why not? Now, you remember outside we were talking about that TV mount? It's actually, you can see it right here. Same thing. So when the TV's mounted, it comes with this system that goes on there and it's easily retracted. There's all my connections. Got my solid pocket door going into the master. Large master bed. Big shelf space too for my nightstands over there with power ports on both sides. So if I needed a CPAP machine or reading light, I got the spot for it. Got a big shelf up here and mirrored ward storage right there. And if you remember, that strut supported storage, look at all the stuff and goodies we found under the bed here. Uncle Chris just found himself a new TV. Look at that. Look, look at all the space you can put in there, seriously. I mean, I, I joke, but look at all the space that we have under there. And it's strut supported. Another feature that when you get a chance to talk to your industry specialist at Camping World or Gander, ask them about. Because holding that thing up and trying to load stuff with your elbow is not fun. So if you're looking for all those creature comforts of home, write down that list of questions before you get a chance to talk to an industry specialist. Say, hey, what do I need to do? How do I do this? I want to do this. I want to do that run them through the gamut that's what they're there for and they absolutely love it but if you love this jaco j flight 284 bhs starting at 30,995 or as low as 226 a month or you like this floor plan you want to see one like it and you need one i do text easy rv to 32094 right now or drop me a comment easy rv i got more campers coming up but right now we're going to talk about grills Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Right now, it is all about grilling. I'm gonna show you two grills with my friend, Miss Kaylin over here. She trusted me on the grill to get her some dogs. Now, if you're interested in any of these products, just drop us a comment down below. Camp, or text CAMP to 32094. Give us a call, 866-235-8751. All right, uh, the first one I wanna show you over here. Love these. These Coleman Road Trip grills, this just happens to be the blue top one. Not only do you have the large grilling cook area, plus you have the black top. These are lightweight, portable, really make life easy. And Bob, see if you can get in there. You see that flame? That's 20,000 BTUs total that you can get on this thing. 285 inches square of cooking space. 
matchless lighting. You have a little automatic starter there. And all right, Kaylin, you about Dog ready? Dog me. Are you ready? I've been ready. Oh, are you hungry? We're Coming gonna... at you. Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you just look at it? That's how it happens in real life, kids. <laughs> now here, flip that over. Look, we got your mustard. <laughs> we got this your is, okay, we okay, got your you're, you're pushing you got your it. Hand, you got your okay. Hand. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> at the ultimate campsite, it's all also about having fun. But if you're looking for a good portable grill that is versatile, tailgating, camping, the whole nine, this one here, I recommend highly. You have the legs that extend out, plus you have the foldable trays right here, which are retractable. Once again, lightweight, can easily stow away. But the one that I'm a big fan of, I love flat top grilling. No, you throw the hot dog down, I'm gonna throw it at you now. No, not really. I'm really not going to throw it at you. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't need a lawsuit. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. I'll lose an eye, but I'll be okay Probably. with it. Hey, part of my five-year plan, laid up with a work-related injury. <laughs> Just saying. Now, these Blackstone flat tops. This is actually on our standing foldable table. The Blackstone tabletop right here, we are looking at 268 square inches. It's 17 inches across. You could easily do pancakes. Just take a look. That's one hot dog. Yeah, you could look cook at how much space not even like there. just but you could hook up like pancakes, throw some eggs up here, get it all done at once. That, got the bacon. My favorite camping meal is breakfast. Throw it ever, all on there. Oh and gosh, yeah, and on the griddle, you got that whole entire cook space to do everything. And with these receptors, both on the mini grill over there on the Coleman Road Trip and on this one, the Blackstone, it, you can put the mini tanks, which I'm a huge fan of because you don't have to lug that 20 pound LP tank around. But if you needed to hook it up, you absolutely can. You can also get the connectors that go right to your LP over there or the LP Quick Connect under the travel trailer, whatever you want. This one has a little grease pan right here. Comes out on the front. Obviously, when you get done, you just scrape all that off. You sure you don't want this one? No, I'm sure I don't want you this sure? one. I'm sure? You sure? I'm sure. I can get you with it. No. You ready? Go deep. No. Go deep. Montana! Okay. So. <laughs> Ultimate campsite, ultimate RV show. If you are interested in any of these grills, we have fantastic prices on them right now. Kaylin, which one do you like best? I think I'm also with you on the, the tabletop. The tabletop, I just feel Love like it. it's more versatile and more compact. Compact, easy so, to store away, easy yeah. to clean. Obviously clean it, you just scrape it up. So the price on this one, once again, just give us a comment. Camp or text camp to 32094. Give us a call 866-235-8751. For the tabletop, regular price, $99.99. That's still a great deal. $84.17 during the Ultimate RV Show right now, or Good Sam members, $79.97. Would you like to have the road trip, the Coleman over here? Let me tell you about this one. $249.99 is a regular price, but during the show, $204.97. Yes, that is a discount, but Good Sam members, you get it under $200, $199.97. Once again, Kalen, what do they gotta do? Text camp to 32094, comment the camp down below, or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Bob wants a dog. There you go, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>you know, I didn't think about it while I was sitting there telling you about the grills. Um, a lot of these travel trailers I'm showing you that have the exterior kitchens also have LP Quick Connect for your grill. So you have, like for example, uh, I, I, I like the Jayco J Flight so much I thought I'd show you another one here at the Ultimate RV Show. Um, let me show you this exterior kitchen on this J Flight 32 BHDS. Now this is a little bit bigger of a bunkhouse than the last one I saw th th that I showed you. But take a look at the opulent exterior kitchen that we have here. Solid surface countertops. You got the sink with the brush nickel fixtures in there. Check that out, Sam. Boy, I tell you what, we take this up to Michigan and catch us some steals, some flats. We're going to have ourselves a good time cleaning up and cooking them right here on the two burner cooktop by Suburban. I am a fan of how they laid out these exterior kitchens. Plus, I like the head room that we have here with the strut supported doors that just adds yet again another dimension now sure if you're going to be cooking that that smoke that smell it's probably going to come up here and get caught a little bit but it's not going to be under the awning we have a big 11 foot awning there with the led light strip uh, but right over here 
if we do have some inclement weather and I still want to come out and grill, because I will do that. I No problem grilling in the rain. Get the burgers and the dogs going. Keep the family happy. You have your cover here, and I have an access point. So I can easily run in and out, and I'll show you that once we get inside. But love the space, the way that they designed this here, and the prep countertop space. Now, I've been saying this you know, the whole time here at the Ultimate RV Show. I love talking about the options that you can do with your campers, how you can use it. I love hearing from you what options you do with your campers. But one of my favorite is the ladies' weekend getaways. Imagine going to the winery or going to the beach and having a space like this to do prep, cook, clean, and hang. How cool would that be? You got all this space, everybody's hanging out. We got the big dorm style fridge right here. Look at the room that we have there. You got space for the bottles, the drinks, the cans. Got me a little drawer right here, so if I need to store some stuff, I absolutely could. Plus, I got the LP Quick Connect underneath. So even if I just bought one of those awesome grills I was telling you about a few minutes ago, you do the Quick Connect right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Strut supported storage outside, plus I got my little push button LED light right there. Got me a little boop, boop, blue light too. So when it's time, Sam and I know about the parties now. When it's dark out and you don't really want to attract the bugs, but you need a little bit of light, we got ourselves a little blue light right there. Another little feature that Jayco's thinking about. Now, this is an aluminum sided travel trailer, and this is a beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside. The Jayco J Flight series has been one of the top selling travel trailers for a long time. It's a good reason why. It's some of the innovations and things they think about when they build their, their campers. This one easily sleeps eight. Dry weight is almost 10,000 pounds, starting at $40,995 or as low as $299 a month. You can't beat that, man. You can't beat that. For a chance to sleep eight people, with all the room and I'm going to show you all these features and all the room that's in there but I won't be able to get to all of the features or get to all of your questions if you do have them please text easy RV right now to 32094 or drop me a comment down below easy RV we have industry specialists standing by right now who can walk you through these RVs they can tell you all the options you can come to Camping World come to Gander we're here we're here for you we will make sure your safety and security is paramount so we're gonna do the social distancing but easy RV is set up so that you can shop buy and have your camper delivered from the comfort of your home without even having to get up off your couch Double axle travel trailer. Love the aggressive 15 inch aluminum wheels here. The Dexter Easy Lube axles. Low point drains right here, midway down the campsite. Got my cable TV hookup, my TV mount right here, plus my power. My low point drains, my solid step over steps, my friction hinge door that we have right here. Sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around this camper. And we got the Solera arm here on these awnings, which means they're, they have an adjustable pitch. You can just pull and bring them down and move them around if you need to. Powered leveling jacks both on the front and the rear. And as you can see, that's easy operation. Just push the button and boom, they start coming down. Look here at my pass-through storage. It's finished off. And this is our master bedroom right here. So when we go in there, you're going to see how that kind of coincides with the pass-through storage on the outside. Diamond-plated rock guard on the front. Twin 30-pound LP tanks on this one. Between the 20 and the 30, having the 30, it's a good feature. Trust me, that extra, that extra 10 pounds makes a big difference. Power tongue jack right there as well. Seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top to uh, insulation in here. Uh, that's one of those things uh, where... If you get a chance to talk to your RV specialist or your industry specialist here at the Ultimate RV Show, ask them about the insulation. Say, hey, I'm planning on taking my camper to Michigan. I'm planning on keeping it there from you know, February through August. Or, hey, I'm going to keep my camper in Miami. We love going down to Arizona. We love going wherever you want to go. Talk to them because that's going to help them point you in the direction of which camper, which thermal package, which outdoor package, which insulation is going to be best for you. So don't get caught in the weeds on that one. Coming up into this beautiful Jayco J Flight 32 BHDS, look at the space that we have here. They did a good job with this separation of space in this one too. Look at that beautiful, yeah, we're gonna get to that. That's plush. It's like that micro micro leather. Feels good. As a matter of fact, what do you say we start in the back, Fritz? Come on. Love this. The J-Cube Sofa. Look at that. 
Down at the bottom is a modified sofa system. So these cushions can be moved around and modified pretty much however you want. You want to set it up looking back and forth. You want to set it up looking front and back. You want to set them up as just a lounger. You can lay them down, spread them out. Now you got a bed down here, or you can stack them up on top of each other, and now they are a super plush. I mean, look at that. That's over three inches thick right there. That's a super plush bed system that you can keep. But regardless, the kids are going to have fun with this one. We got a 300 pound capacity twin over bunk right here. Look at the teddy bear bunk series mattress that we have there. Thick and plush. Got my own window, got my LED lights. Come over here. I got a double over bunk right here. I'm liking this leather accent that they put there too. That's residential and that's appealing. That looks good. Almost looks like a study. This could be like an entertainment room. Maybe this could be the... Now, if this is set up as a hunting cabin, think about that until just now. If this is set up as your hunting cabin or your fishing cabin, dude, this leather thing right here, this is where I would come to play the cards. I don't smoke the cigars, but I could see where that could happen. This could be the hang room right here because I got my entertainment space, got my plug right here for my TV, my component shelf, got my hideaway ladder for the kids or the pets to help get them up there, some storage right there, even a little mudroom spot so I can put my shoes right there. If I need the windows, Beautiful, airy space, open that up. The cross breeze is gonna come through. And this is a great spot for uh, the kids, for the weekend getaways or those. If you wanna set this up as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, you got a separation of space. This room is completely separated off from the rest of the camper. Here, I'm gonna move by you, Fritz. We got a pocket door right here, solid wood that's keeping us in. Got some pantry storage right here. And I'm going to let you come on through and I'll open this up and I'll show us the bathroom too. But just having that separation of space. I mean, look at the beautiful roominess that we have inside this Jayco J-Flight. Got my bar right there. Boom, boom. Got the bathroom right here. Now, the bathroom is where we saw that additional access space. I got myself a porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Access single basin, deep well sink right there, brush nickel fixtures, mirrored vanity, solid wood, shaker style cabinets. Look at that rustic distressed appearance that they have on there. Once again, just so appealing. Neo angle shower, single surround, shower shub, shower tub combo. One of these days I'm gonna get it right, Fritz. All right, brush nickel fixtures all the way around. Now, with as high as, as these ceilings are, I do not need this skylight that's inlaid. So, you know, this is great height, great room left to right, up and down. Got my corner notches. Got the little tub surround too. So if I needed to wash the animals or the kids, I could bring them in here through the access point and spray them down. Now, once again, this Jayco J Flight 32 BHDS, starting at $40,995 or as low as $299 a month. Easily sleep eight, dry weight, almost 10,000 pounds. Now, only thing is, if you got a camera guy with a big old camera, getting through the bathroom and the pantry might be a little tight. This is the tightest spot in the camper right here. So, Shaquille O'Neal, hate to tell you, man, you're probably not going to make it. U-shaped dinette over here on the off-camp side, and this is, is what I really found to be awesome about this one. The fabric that's on here has almost like a micro suede or micro leather appearance. It's, it really feels good. It's plush. It's comfortable. And if that's a feature that you, know, you want to have in your camper, talk to your industry specialist about it and say, hey, what does that feel like? Is it plush? Is it thick? Does it feel firm? Uh, does it feel fluffy? Does it feel soft? I really like the way this feels. This reduces down. U-shaped on that can easily sleep two people. But at the end of the day, if you got a chance to disconnect and reconnect with those loved ones, this is a good spot to do it. You just got finished cooking a great camp meal. Now everybody's here or they're playing cards or they're just having fun or talking or enjoying something on the TV, talking about what they did for the day. Maybe everybody was on a wine tour. Who knows? This is the spot where those moments are made that makes you say this decision was one of the best decisions I ever made for me, my family, and my sanity. Because getting out and about right now, 
is a plus. Large panoramic windows with the wood valances. Beautiful cabinetry is going to continue here on the kitchen. Got some pantry storage. Got the Norcold big old fridge freezer combo right here. Take a look at my space in there. It's a good spot. It's a good storage space too. I mean, a lot of times on these bunkhouse models, you're going to have campers that have bigger fringes. Flush mounted three burner cooktop, 50-50 stainless or 50-50 sink with the stainless steel brushed nickel high rise faucet and sprayer handle. Plenty of countertop prep space on this solid surface countertop. Got the textured decorative backsplash. Got my window so I can look outside and see what's going on on the campsite. And same thing with that plush material in the U-shaped dinette. We got right here on the jackknife sofa, the, or the trifold sofa. Love this. Plush and comfortable. That folds out into a sleeper, easily fit two people. Now, entertainment center, TV's on a swivel, and hang on, Fritz, before we go in, I'm going to do something here. Let's see. See if I can get to it. Oh, yeah. Got to unbuckle it over here. The TV is on a swivel. And on the other side is a mirror. How about that? Hey, guys. Here's Chris. <laughs> hey, guys. Now I'm on the other side. This is great for the couple that wants to entertain the family, but also when it's said and done and they want to watch TV themselves, they can just spin this around, have the TV right there. It latches into place when you're not using it and locks right away. And since we have the double solid pocket doors right here, you have walk around space, shelf space over there, nightstand space, if you will. Plus, I got power ports. I got the angled ward closets with the mirror. Very nice touch. Got my shelf space in there. I like the angle on that, too. Having that, I don't know, it just looks nice. Strut supported right here. And got my own AC here. Having that is a very nice feature. So you're looking at a bunkhouse that can easily sleep eight people, roughly 10,000 pounds. We have two ACs. We have ourselves a bunk room that's separate with an awesome bunk room just in general with that little J-Cube system that they have in there. Plus, we have the strut-supported storage under here, too. Check it out. You can see that that is also accessed through the pass-through storage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little bit of dust in me when I lifted that up. 12 volt plug over here too, by the way. But plenty of power options, so if you have a CPAP machine or a reading light, you got your options here, and you can separate your space. So, um, when it comes to enjoying time with the family, you, know, you want to do stuff inside and out. Look for a travel trailer that has an external kitchen, and if you need that additional space, you say, well, Chris, right now it's just me and the two kids, uh, or it's just us, you know, a couple of dogs. The bunkhouse is a great option, versatile. You got space, style, comfort, and ease of use between having multiple access points, exterior kitchen, and a bunkhouse. You cannot go wrong. If you like this one here, the Jayco J Flight 32 BHDS is what I'm in right now. Starting at just $40,995 or as low as $299 a month. Get on it right now. Text Easy RV to 32094. Like this floor plan, we got an industry specialist that's going to walk you through one that you can have yourself. The Ultimate RV Show is going to continue in just a minute. Thanks for joining us. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was oh, that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. So great to hear Chris talking about the travel trailers with outside kitchens. Did you see the flip on that television? That was my favorite part, and I just love when he gets into that. I mean, this poor guy's out there. He's working hard. He's probably losing his voice about now. Sean Parma, good friend Morgan, and we are just here having a great time, but making sure you have everything you need shopping from home and the ultimate RV show making some history this weekend. You know what's great is we're going to go into some luxury 
uh, best-selling vehicles here, some fifth wheels in just a moment, but we've got a lot to give away today, too. Oh, my goodness. Ultimate giveaways with the Ultimate RV Show. So we have two $100 merchandise certificates up for grabs oh, right now. Yes. I've got two winners, Sean. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's, let's hear it. I love giving stuff away. All right. Two $100 <laughs> merchandise certificates, two winners. The first winner happens to be Kelly Baker. Kelly Baker, congratulations. Yes, Kelly, nicely done there. Thanks for registering. You can't win if you're not registered, so make sure you do that. UltimateRV.com, and we have number two. Number two happens to be Josh Dilks. Josh Dilks, you have won a $100 merchandise certificate with the Ultimate RV Show. Congratulations to you. Look at that. That's how fast we do things around here. We're going to be giving stuff away all weekend long, and that's what the Ultimate RV Show is about. We've given away uh, mini bikes and go-karts. And, and now- RVs. And RVs, for goodness <laughs> sakes. And a whole lot of gift cards. And we can't thank you enough. I'm going to say thank you always. Uh, during the weekend because it's important that you're here. We thank you for being here. We're breaking uh, some barriers here, and we're talking about history making RV show stuff. We've never done this before. This is it's, this is the new standard, honestly. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I love this. I love what we're going into, but you know what time it is. Wait, wait, wait. It's time for RV or Speak 101. Here we go. That's right, folks. I've got a trivia question for my friend Morgan here, and you can play along at home. What is a hula skirt, Morgan? A hula skirt? A hula skirt. Is it A, a shirt placed, a skirt placed around a trailer hookup to keep it warm in winter? A B, a skirt placed on the back of a motorhome to prevent debris from damaging vehicles behind it. C, a tire cover. Or D, an actual hula skirt. What (laughs) is a hula skirt? I'm going to go with B. B. Yes. A skirt placed on the back of a motorhome to prevent debris from damaging vehicles behind it. Is that correct? That would be 100% correct. Yay. You have not won anything, Morgan, except the knowledge <laughs> that you are an RVer speaker. I'm learning so much, but I really want to tell the people, our viewers, that we have a discount happening <gasps> right now at CampingWorld.com. We have a 10% discount happening right now just use code code rv save rv save on campingworld.com 10 percent off all rv essentials wow okay so think about that you could save some serious money also on rv essentials rv save yes. that's where you go right now just type in that code you know what we're going to do we're going to take a first look right now you know how excited we get about first looks this is the alpine luxurious delicious 3910 Hi folks, and welcome to the first look of the Alpine 3910RK. I'm Ian Baker, joined by my good friend John, and today we're going to take you through this absolute beauty. Folks, if you love cooking, you're looking for luxury, you like something a little bit lighter and bright and airy, this is one you're definitely going to want to pay attention to. You're going to fall in love. And when you do, I want you to text EZRV to 32094, or you can put EZRV in the comment section below, or you can call in. Folks, that's going to do a couple things for you. One, it's going to lock in the show pricing. It's also going to get you in touch with one of our show specialists, which will be able to help you locate the perfect RV for you, they'll help you find a 3910 RK that is near you, so you can come out and see it yourself, or they can do a virtual visit and show you exactly what it's going to look like. Folks, we can take care of everything right through the mail and best of all, deliver it to your doorstep because here at the Ultimate RV Show, Easy RV is truly the easiest way to shop for an RV. Enough of me talking. John, show the people what they want to see. Let's take a look at the Alpine 3910RK. Perfect. Well, I appreciate that, Ian. I appreciate you having us out to give us a quick tour of the new Alpine 3910RK. Brand new floor plan for us for this fall. A couple of the great features I first and foremost want to start out with is right behind you is our second entrance. Uh, This floor plan might seem familiar to you from a couple other brands throughout the years in the past. Uh, We just took our spin and put the Alpine uh, fun on it. And one of the first things is that second rear entrance. A lot of our customers have told us that we need an entrance into the kitchen, a way to get into our fridge, maybe our pantry while we're traveling up and down the road with our family. And we've accomplished that with our with our second entrance right here. 
Right behind you as well, you're going to see our 18 cubic foot Norcold RV refrigerator. This is a standard feature for us uh, with every Alpine that we build. We do also option in a residential Samsung that is okay. an 18 cube as well. So uh, we check all those boxes for you and your family, whatever works best for you. Perfect. Yeah, and, and John, can you kind of tell uh, real quick, you know, the difference between like the RV fridge and the residential, just people that don't know, because I know there's a lot of people out there and I get the question a lot and just kind of hit on why you maybe want one over the other, because they're both great options just for different uses. Absolutely. That's why we offer both. Uh, yeah. First and foremost, with the RV fridge, what makes it great is it can also run off of propane, not just electricity. So mm -hmm. for our customers that are out uh, parking in the uh, the back 40, as they say, yeah, and want to sure. and want to boondock, we, we give them that opportunity to run this off of propane. Love it's it. still 18 cubic feet. You still get the, the massive refrigerator and freezer. Yep. But with the residential, if we jump over to the other side, yep. you run it on electric only. Okay. A couple of the highlights with that, it's still the same size, mm -hmm. but you do now get an ice maker as well. So gotcha. that's, that's one of those either or type situations. Whatever yeah. suits you and your family best for camping, we kind of check both boxes with Alpine. Perfect. Appreciate it. Yep. Next thing we're going to talk about is our big pantry. Uh, we put that standard in almost every single Alpine floor plan. As you can see, nice uh, stackable shelving. They are removable shelves as well. So if you choose to rearrange the uh, the configuration, you can do that. Remove one if you want to have a little bit taller items, such as your cereal boxes or anything like that. Sure. We do give you that option in every Alpine. Yeah, and, and I like that too because you know if you want to, for example, like remove maybe a shelf or two on the bottom, it lets you have some taller items. Like if you want to bring you know, a broom or a, a Swiffer, something like that. Absolutely. It gives you that uh, flexibility and versatility. Great place for uh, any of your other small appliances as well. If they kind of don't fit on the countertop, you want to get them out of the way. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. Next thing we're going to talk about here is our solid surface countertops. I uh, yes. want to point those out because we simply use them across the board in everything that we build. You'll notice uh, here in a few minutes when we venture up to the bathrooms as well. Make sure to take a look at that because we do offer the solid surface standard everywhere on every top in Alpine. It's impressive. So it gives you gives you that nice little uh, solid residential feel that you don't get from some of the other brands out there. Yeah, and, and John, one of the things I like too is, I, like I said, I, when I started the video, I think you guys did a really good job with the colors in here. <laughs> You have the nice bright countertops, you know, you have the lighter wood, and it really just makes it feel, especially in a kitchen, for me it just kind of feels like uh, fresh and open. You Absolutely. Know? It doesn't feel closed in. And when one of your main focuses of a floor plan is the kitchen, I love that it feels that big. Absolutely. And in addition to all of that, we also give you our convection microwave. It's a 30 inch microwave. That is standard across the board, again, in every single floor plan. And it is the convection that a lot of our customers are asking for. Mm -hmm. And that ties hand in hand with our Furion Chef's Collection kitchen. Uh, this Chef's Collection consists of our nice cooktop with the iron grates that are removable just like at the home. You can take them out, clean them however you want. I like that. It does have the direct spark ignition. Okay. Gives you the ability to, to light it without having to worry about the flame or any exposed uh, flame in your hand. And finally, our nice big Furion glass door oven. It's much wider than the standard ovens that are out there. It gives yeah. you the nice glass door that is heat uh, retardant as well. Okay. So you're not going to have to worry about bumping into it and burning yourself like mm -hmm. you have in the past. And it also does have the direct spark ignition. Oh, now that's, that's big, right? Because that's, that's one of those things where you know, you're talking about the cooktop. Like, yep, I get it, but with the oven, mm -hmm. most ovens, you have to get in there, you have to get underneath, get down on your hands and knees, and so that's, uh, for me, that's huge. Absolutely. We used to call them the eyebrow remover. Yeah. Now we've got the, the standard direct spark ignition. I so. like it. As we walk right backwards, we're actually going to get into our living and kitchen area, okay. uh, dining area, excuse me. So one of the nice things that you're going to find with every Alpine uh, is our dining room table. Uh, as you notice underneath, if you can zoom in on the bottom, you're actually going to see that it does not have a pedestal leg. Oh, yeah. uh, that's that's one thing that we've removed a couple years ago and we've run standard with now. Okay. Uh, we used to call them the knee knocker. So you <laughs> sit down, bang your knees as you're trying to play cards with you and your friends and family. Yep. Uh, put that on the wall, gives you a much cleaner space underneath. Uh, as well as storage underneath the table with a leaf. Yeah, so oh, yep, I'm going to knock okay. over our uh, vase here. That's so okay. no you problem. can charge Keystone for the extra parts that we're going to have. So <laughs> and then the uh, storage under each individual chair as well. Okay. As you're looking down on the floor, you'll notice there is no carpet as well. 
So yeah. we have removed oh, all gosh. carpet from the entire uh, unit in every Alpine that's out there. Okay. Uh, it gives you a nice seamless look with your slide outs, uh, with the linoleum. And as always, underneath all of our linoleum in the slide out is our insulation, our bubble wrap foam insulation, astrofoil, that gives you some great insulation properties. Uh, we actually get the Alpine down to negative 14 degrees wow. for 48 consecutive hours. That's wow. some outside testing uh, that we had done a few years back and it allows us to have the coldest insulation package out there so you and your family can camp year round. So John, if someone's looking to you know move in full time, would you <laughs> consider this a good option? This is a great option because Keystone will actually warranty this for full time living as well. Okay. So you and your family, you want to take this out and live in it, park it on a lake in a, lake in a full time site. Uh, we're going to we're going to warranty that and give you some great options in all of our Alpine floor plans. And, and that's huge because I know you know you say that, but a lot of people, if they're new to RVing, don't mm -hmm. realize that most manufacturers out there don't. Absolutely. And if you live in it full time, they consider that a void of warranty. So exactly. In fact, you do. Uh, and you have that that you know, that four season package on there, if you mm -hmm. will, all that extra insulation. That's a pretty big deal if you're considering full time. No, absolutely. It's it's one of our greatest selling points. It's it's a full time RV for you and your family to uh, to live in and, and actually use your RV. We we don't want this RV just to be that weekend fun. We want it to be a lifestyle. Uh, you choose to spend the amount of money on an Alpine and upgrade some of the features that we give you standard. Why not enjoy it? Love it. Love it. As we're still here in the living room, you'll notice one big selling point with every Alpine floor plan is you notice the distance between our couches. Yeah. Every one of our platforms is a 100 inch wide body. Okay. So we're actually going to give you four extra inches of space the entire length of the camper. No matter if it's 32 foot all the way up to our 42 footers, you're going to get four extra inches the entire length of the camper. All right. So great selling feature there for us, gives you more real estate for your money. Uh, mm -hmm. At the end of the day, as a consumer, you're going to want to purchase something, the best bang for your buck, and, and we give you that uh, simply right on the frame, giving you four extra inches. Now, John, with that, I, I assume these are these, are these uh, trifold sofas? Yes. What do we have? Yeah, okay. both of these are trifold sofas, so we yeah. get uh, sleeping capacity for up to six. Okay. Uh, they do both open uh, at the same time and allow you walking space because of that extra four inches. And, and that's what I was going to say. Like, I, I, for for me, that's that extra four inches is really important because Absolutely. you can actually still make it through. Absolutely, and, and it gives you the seating capacity, the the, the fun area to entertain in, have your friends over, have a yep. conversation, uh, and not have to worry about sitting back in a kitchen or up in a, in a front area. This is a great layout for, for a lot of consumers out there. Yeah, it's perfect for entertaining. Absolutely. Right in the middle of the RV, right where you want to be. And you know, I like the fact that if I'm in the kitchen, if I'm preparing food, preparing snacks, mm -hmm. I still have a great view to the TV. Absolutely, absolutely. When the game comes on or the race or whatever you choose to enjoy, yeah. got a nice feature wall that we've just come out with this year. The TV recessed into it with lots of uh, hardwood crown molding uh, throughout. The recessed new Jensen uh, head unit that we now have actually added a third audio zone so you can actually listen to audio in your bedroom as well. Okay. Uh, and we do have the nice recessed glass uh, stone fireplace as well. Yeah. It's a standard feature for us again everywhere throughout throughout the entire coach. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and folks, remember, if you want to get your hands on one of these, the, the what you want to text is Easy RV to 32094. Just text Easy RV or you can put it down in the comments section and that will lock in your pricing for the Alpine 3910RK, as well as get you all set up uh, with one of our show specialists so we can take care of you and make life easy. Awesome. A couple of the last features we want to talk about while we're down here in our yes. living area is our slide room height. You'll notice the extra headroom that you're going to get. I, I currently stand right at about six foot, six foot one. You can notice the headroom and the height difference between my head and the top of the slide out. Our yeah. customers have begged us and asked us to give them more headroom while they're at the dinette table, while they're entertaining. Their friends can actually stand up and not have to worry about knocking their head but it also in turn gives us the largest windows in the industry. Right behind us in the slide outs, you have five foot by four foot windows on all of your main floor slides. Wow. And every single window is accompanied by two sets of roller shades. You get the night shade and then you get the day shade. So every single one of our shades do our windows do come with two sets of shades as well so it gives us a great opportunity to enjoy our campsite or full blackout as you see currently and, and kind of as we as we talked about john if you are planning on living full timing having those bigger slides just makes this whole space feel open especially with the bright airy colors when you're spending a lot of time in somewhere you mm -hmm. want to make sure 
you have that open. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a great feature. Just openness and goes right back to what we were talking about earlier, Ian, with the real estate. We're selling you more bang for your buck. And a couple of things I want to hit on, John, just real quick on the ceiling. This is how I'm seeing things as we're going by. Yep. So, so one of them is is right here. We have it spinning, and that is the the ceiling fan. Yep. Just kind of help recirculate absolutely it looks like is that a whisper quiet ac you it, guys have it is a whisper quiet ac we okay. do offer two standard fifteen thousand btu whisper quiet acs okay. gives you and your family the most cooling for your uh for your rv as well as not having to deal with that residual sound yes the great feature with this rear whisper quiet ac as well is it does have a sixteen thousand five hundred btu electric heat pump Okay. For those of you at home that don't quite know what an electric heat pump does, it, <laughs> it basically pulls the exterior air into the AC system. It recirculates it inside the AC. It blows down heat through your AC ducts and allows you to have electric heat in conjunction without having to use your propane gas furnace. Yeah, so it's perfect, you know, when, when the temperatures start to drop just a little bit. You know, Absolutely. Like that, that, you know, that 40, 50 degree range, it just starts getting a little chilly. You can kick on the heat pump, kick on your fireplace and... Suddenly you're nice and toasty. Absolutely. You've got roughly 22,000 BTUs of electric heat in every Alpine that's built. So unless it gets below 45 degrees, you'll really never have to use your furnace. So that's it's a, awesome. It's a great full-time option that we give you standard on everything we build. Love it. One last thing I missed on, if we're going to work our way back, I apologize yeah, yeah, to the camera, okay. but uh, okay. want to uh, point out our cabinetry. Uh, yeah. That's one of the greatest selling features of all Alpines, and I simply missed it in the first go around. But all of our cabinet doors drawers and styles are solid hardwood okay what i mean by that is if you were to take your hand rub on the back of these you won't find a seam with alpine what we have done is we've given you solid hardwood everywhere throughout the uh, coach gives you the opportunity to have residential style screwed and glued cabinets yes. so you don't have to worry about paper wrap you don't have to worry about any of your fading or any of your deterioration over time from the uv rays it's a true residential cabinet build that we do standard again with every alpine and, and for me that's a big thing john you know i i'm i'm one that while i definitely uh you know like a great looking product which you guys have here I still want quality construction. You know, I, don't, I don't want it to just be flashy. I don't want it to just look nice. Mm -hmm. I want it to last, especially Absolutely. something like this. If you are thinking about full timing or you know you plan on spending a significant amount of time in it, maybe you know six six and six or something like that. Yep. You know you want it to last, and, and when you start putting in things like residential cabinetry. That certainly helps in that endeavor. Absolutely, and that's that's one of the reasons why we went with it standard. We didn't want you to have to pay for any kind of upgrade with the Alpine. If you, we want you to encourage you to the uh, the full time or that residential style living and lifestyle. Yeah, very cool. Perfect. Well, as we work our way back a little bit yeah. more, we'll come to our first main entrance as well, uh, as you can see that. But it ends right into our half bathroom. So this is one thing that really separates this floor plan away from a lot of the others is this second half bath. Mm -hmm. As I pointed out earlier, we do have that solid stone yeah, uh, countertop. Yeah. One thing right behind you as well, or right in front of you, excuse me, is our nice storage. A lot of people think oh, uh, it's just wow. storage, but at the end of the day, it is also has those removable cabinets and is your stackable washer dryer prep. Uh, we put that stackable prep in everything that we build as well, so you can have the option of whether to use the combo unit or the stackable units uh, that I'm sure they could purchase at uh, any of the Camping World stores uh, here locally as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm actually glad that you brought that up because if you are looking at doing, you know, again, spending significant time in here, the stackable washer and dryer can be mm -hmm. so much nicer in a combo unit. We're talking about speed. Absolutely. It's it's more efficient. It, it does the job that much faster, that much better, and uh, the, the small price increase is definitely worth it. A couple of things I want to hit on, John, that I noticed, and one is the angle at which you have the toilet. So, yep. so this is always something, whenever I do videos, I always sit on the toilet because far too often, you know, they, they cram them in a corner and I just don't have space. And not that I want to spend all day there, yep. but I still want to be comfortable. No, so, absolutely. You know, you have a nice porcelain bowl, it's on a great angle, and it's right across from the main entrance. Absolutely. So if someone needs to come and use the bathroom, they can come in, do the business, head right back out, and, you know, not bringing dirt and everything all over the, through the trailer. Um, and I really enjoy that. 
And then speaking of dirt, I also noticed this guy right here. The central vacuum system, it's the Intervac system, uh, comes with a 30 foot collapsible hose and accessories. Okay. That is standard on everything that we build. Again, allows you to vacuum out the entire coach, but also with that 30 foot hose, it actually will reach up to your uh, to your tow vehicle as well. Oh, wow. So it allows you to, uh, to vacuum out your tow vehicle as well uh, while you're traveling throughout the country. That's pretty impressive. Absolutely, it's That's just cool. one of those little check marks that we've added to uh, the additional standard features with every Alpine. Love it. As we're walking up the stairs here, a couple things we're going to come to. Uh, first and foremost is our in-command system. This in-command system is standard on every Alpine. It allows you to control all of uh, your slide outs, all of your awnings, all of your lights, all of your HVAC systems, and as well allows you to control your generator if you choose to add the generator option uh, on every Alpine. Perfect. What's great about this system, not only is it digital, but it also allows you to connect an iPad or a cell phone to it. So you have okay. remote connectivity. Yep. Uh, this hooks up directly to your cell phone or iPad while you're out by the campfire enjoying uh, enjoying your company. You can adjust the lights. You can adjust the AV HVAC system. You can adjust your awnings uh, through the Bluetooth connectivity. So great feature standard again on every Alpine. Love that. Right above that, you'll notice our Suburban control. Uh, this is going to seem a little unfamiliar to most because it's a brand new standard feature for every Alpine, mm -hmm. but this will actually control your on-demand water heater. Mm -hmm. Every Alpine comes standard with a Suburban on-demand Nautilus water heater. There is a three gallon recirculating tank inside that water heater, so it actually allows us to have instant and endless hot water. That is great. Standard feature, again, residential feel, what we're going for here in the Alpine. Yes. It allows us to set the temperature up to 130 degrees. Okay. It allows you to also lock it and put a timer on it so you and your guests, you don't have to worry about anybody fumbling around with it or oh. adjusting it or even having any of your kids get burned because you can set the temperature. I, I love that. You know, being a family man myself, that is a big feature for me. Absolutely. And then right above it, finally, you do have your uh, max air vent uh, controls as well. So we do have power vent fans everywhere in this coach great let's walk up into the bedroom as well yeah just want to remind folks one more time if you're lo loving what you're seeing you're just going to want to text easy rv to 32094 put easy rv down in the comment section you'll take advantage of the amazing show pricing we're offering here at the ultimate rv show so right behind you ian you will notice our standard king bed and everything that we do it is a 70 inch by 80 inch king platform okay. uh, we're not going to skimp on any corner here so it gives you the much uh the much bigger bed standard on every single floor plan yep. uh, underneath this bed you will also notice all of the storage. Uh, oh, if you look under there, not only is it large storage, but it also gives us the opportunity to finish it off, give you a nice clean look. Uh, some of the other manufacturers out there, they, they kind of just put it together and give you storage. Yep. Again, it's the residential touches that we put in Alpine that kind of separate us from our competition. Absolutely. We'll set that down. You do have your nice bank of drawers here uh, for any of your uh, any of your storage, any of your uh, garments as well. Yep. Right above that is a standard bedroom TV. Okay. Uh, every Alpine comes with a bedroom TV uh, with the uh, movable arm as well, so you can adjust uh, any of the direction that it sits in. And as we talked about earlier, you can see that you have the quiet cool, so if you are laying in bed watching TV, you can actually hear it. Absolutely, <laughs> and right above that bed next to the quiet cool is that third uh, zone of our Jensen head unit. This oh, nice okay. speaker right up here gives you the opportunity to have music in the bedroom, okay. to have music or media out in the living area, and then finally outside as well. Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm in the third zone in here, maybe. You know, wife and I gonna play the Marvin Gaye. You there you know. go. It'd be a, that's that's one addition uh, this year. We're we're having some fun. <laughs> Right back here is our is our front bath as well that goes with our rear kitchen floor plan. Uh, we've added some nice cubby storage, whether it be for towels or toilet paper, there right behind you with the vented window. Okay. We do have the dual vanity as well, uh, so his yes. and hers vanities, cabinets, uh, as well as medicine areas for any of your storage, and the nice little uh, front seating area. You can get a nice stool or bench seat. Yeah. Uh, for the, the wife or whoever might need to finish up the makeup or, or touch up whatever they might need right there in the center. And again, kind of like you said earlier, John, I love that you're still continuing with the solid surface all the way throughout. Absolutely. 
Right behind you, you'll notice our fiberglass shower as well. I wanted to point that out to you because it is seamless. Yes. It is full fiberglass. It gives you the opportunity, just like at the house, the residential uh, ability to have the fiberglass shower. It is 48 inches by 30, so a much bigger shower than most others out there as well. Yeah, and having that residential, you know, like I said, one piece shower for, for me is a big deal. That way you don't have the seams, less chance for leaks. It's Absolutely. nice and solid, easier to clean, being fiberglass. Absolutely, and, and we do add the bench seat in every thing uh, for anybody that might need assistance sitting down in the shower shaving your legs whatever we might need to do perfect last thing here up in the front is yeah. our full closet uh, you'll notice our nice accent piece with our shoe storage that we've built into this uh, front closet it goes the entire 100 inch or 96 inch wide uh, platform as well so much bigger closet nice hanging rack and shoe storage for you and your family perfect well john let's Hit the outside here All before right. we run out of time. Perfect. And uh, for the for the folks watching, if you're loving what you're seeing, you're loving the rear kitchen feel here, simply text EZRV to 32094. They'll lock in the pricing. Plus, you'll be able to get in touch with some of our RV specialists, be able to help you through the entire process. And Ian, we're going to start right up front. A couple of our great selling features with every Alpine is our six-point hydraulic auto level. Okay. Uh, hydraulic auto level, in our opinion, is uh, is the way to go. Yep. Uh, it gives you the opportunity for one touch of a button for all six legs to go ahead and level. Love it. The, the hydraulic system is a, a little bit beefier, a little bit stronger, a little bit more robust system than some of the other traditional leveling systems out there. Absolutely. Right here is your front storage area. That's what we think, except That's for when you cool. open it up and we've got the outside. <laughs> Outside kitchen All so right. uh, nice little TV there for you and your family underneath the awning nice cooktop as well as some drawer storage so we put a little hidden gem there for you most people think it's just storage but we yep. do give you the outside kitchen I like it Let's open this guy up and, <laughs> and there we are full pass-through storage you'll notice it's uninterrupted the full width of it most people have little Johnson Johnson and little pieces of uh, any of their plumbing or HVAC systems you'll notice all of ours is hidden it's put away so you don't have to worry about knocking it down, disrupting any of your water lines or anything like that. And John, one of the things I like is this right here, the fact you guys actually have tie downs. Far, far too often I'm putting big heavy stuff in there, whether it's cornhole boards or toolboxes or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and it's just sliding around, banging up in there, so you able to tie it down, that's... Absolutely. Sometimes it's a small thing. Absolutely. It's just one more little box that we don't have to check anymore. It's standard with every Alpine. Got it. Right up here, if you want to take a look, we do have the frameless windows on every single one of our Alpines as well. Uh, the frameless windows at the end of the day have taken all of your seals and put them inside the windows. It's a great, great feature for you and your family because they are going to last longer. Mm -hmm. Some of those seals that are on the outside of the windows are exposed to any of the rain, the elements, the snow, the wind for our full-time campers. Right, yep. Those are now included inside the window, so you're not going to have to worry about any cracking or dry rotting. It's Excellent. a great standard feature for us again. Plus it looks nicer. Just looks better. A <laughs> <laughs> couple other things before we finish up. Uh, yeah. Number one is our side marker prep. Uh, okay. We put the rear camera prep on the on the back of every coach, but we also do the side marker cameras as well. So it gives you an opportunity to visit the parts store again and give you uh, add some of those cameras for full 360 views as you're traveling throughout the country. Great. Our solid steps with uh, every Alpine, a couple of great features of these is the 18 inch platform that we give you right up on top, ease of use as you're coming in and out of the camper. A nice solid metal kick plate so you don't have to worry about damaging your coach as well. Nice standard feature for us, goes right hand in hand with the extra large elongated grab handle. Yeah, I like that. As you can see, you can reach the grab handle from the very bottom. You're not gonna have to worry about getting up on the step to use the grab handle then. Yeah, fantastic. One great selling feature for this uh, for this floor plan as well is the dual awnings. We've been asked multiple, multiple times to add a second awning to most of our slide outs, and we've checked that box with the 3910. Give you basically 40 feet of uninterrupted uh, awnings for you and your family to enjoy that picnic table or any of your other friends and family, even when there are some harsh elements out there. Excellent. Well, John, looks like we're running low on time, my friend. Is there anything else you want to hit real quick? Is yeah, there just you want to talk about? two real quick things. Number yeah, one is our G-Range tires. They're standard on everything that we do. 14 ply rated to 75 miles an hour. They actually come with a six-year warranty and two years of free roadside assistance. Excellent. And right in between there, you'll also notice our upgraded suspension. We give you the road armor suspension, so six inches of vertical travel on rubber gaskets. It's a much softer ride, much better ride for you and your family. Perfect. And again, folks, John, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Guys, this is the new Keystone Alpine 3910RK. It's a beautiful floor plan, great amenities, both inside and out. 
Folks, you're going to want to take advantage of the Ultimate RV Show and the amazing pricing we have to do so to lock in that price. Simply text Easy RV to 32094 or put Easy RV in the comment section or you can call the phone number that is listed. With that, you'll lock in the price to be able to get in touch with one of our show specialists, be able to walk you through the process. Something like this, you probably already have a trade. You're probably upgrading from something you have. That is wonderful. We will take it, folks. We will give you the best value uh, for a trade in the industry right now. So don't miss out. Text Easy RV to 32094. John, thank you so much. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate it. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Sean Parr, Elise Gibson, and uh, how about that? Keystone makes an amazing vehicle, and I told you, I used the word delicious Ooh. before we went to Ian, and he was talking about that gorgeous Alpine. I'm telling you, luxury, class, it's all there, and we've got something special coming up in just a little bit. We're going to go from fifth wheels to outside kitchens. Remember, earlier we were talking about some of the travel trailers with outside kitchens. We're going to talk about fifth wheels with outside kitchens. That's right, Sean. So while you've been up here working all day, I was out here playing a little bit and seeing some of these fifth wheels. Yes, you were. Trailers. Yes, you were. Yes, and i got to tell you, the next thing we're about to see, the Avalanche, whew, so nice. It's got pull-out bed features. It's got stools that pull out. You can sleep, you know, you and some of your friends, a great fifth wheel. And, you know, we do have 25,000 units across the country. So, you know, if you're not seeing something that, you know, it's not not yours yet, that's okay. You reach out to our show specialist. They are standing by waiting for you. All you have to do is text EZRV to 32094. That's right. And you, you said, Sean, look, we're doing fifth wheels right now, but I want a class C or a class A. I need something right. I can drive to my destination. I want to pull up to that lake and I want to unload the back and get everything all set up on the outside and just throw my rod into the lake there and get a little fishing in and, and cook and catch dinner. But and we're going to get to that. And if we haven't seen it yet, you just go online to ultimatervshow.com. And of course, you can see push on demand. Anything you want to see is right there. We've archived or archived every single segment that we have done here. So there's a lot still to come. And listen, those show special deals that we've been talking about, they only go through Sunday, so they're not going to be around the entire time. We've got something very special. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. You know, we, we talk about outside kitchens a lot. It's my favorite feature. And I'm sitting here, and I look at this headline, and I see it. Chris Young dives into an avalanche. That was the headline. My and dreams are coming true. Yes, yeah, suddenly we find him inside one. Chris Young, <laughs> what do you got, buddy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You said you wanted me to dive right in, jumping into an avalanche. Let me tell you what, I would jump into this avalanche and ride it all the way to my dream camping spot. Last segment, I talked about travel trailers with external kitchens. Now I'm going to be talking about fifth wheels with external kitchens because it's Friday, it's the weekend, and we are all about having some fun, getting out and enjoying the great country that we live in and seeing it the safest way possible in an RV. How about an RV that had an external kitchen like this? Now, this is the all-new 2021 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK, which to me means good kitchen, both inside and out. Wait until you see what's in there. I think Robert Irvine's gonna come running to grab this one. Got the Capitol Grill on the outside with prep space both, both here and on top of the grill cover. A lot of people don't think that you can actually do your cutting and your cleaning on this as well. I mean, sure, it might get cut up or scratched up, but if it's yours, it's absolutely fine. We have our key TV multi-source connection outside. So if you want to set up an outside TV, get your cable, get your satellite, your satellite, you got your connections right there. Plus, we have a little LED accent light right there. Check that out. Wouldn't that be nice to be hanging outside with, Fritz? 
How cool would that be, man? Everybody just hanging, chilling. Maybe you're doing the family trip. Maybe it's the weekend beach getaway. Maybe you're just, you just want to sit outside because you're tired of being in the house. So you say, you know what? This avalanche has been parked in the driveway for a couple days. I'm just going to go hang in it. Even outside here in the external kitchen, Keystone has the solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives with the brush nickel fixtures. You're going to see those features, that quality of construction all the way around this fifth wheel, both inside and out. Now, the great thing about fifth wheels, especially the high profiles, um, they do give you more room. A lot of times you get more comfort, more amenities, way more space, but they are absolutely some of the most beautiful campers you're going to see on the road. And when you're towing a fifth wheel, they're a lot easy to tow. I'll talk about that here in a minute because that weight is going to be distributed in the bed of your truck. Now, if we take a look underneath this one, see if we can get under there for just a hot second, Fritz. You're going to see that double axle right there, 15 inch aluminum wheels. You got the road armor suspension. You got those G rated tires. That combination is going to make the drive of this fifth wheel so much easier. You're going to have that not as much rocking and swaying to and fro. Plus, we have a six point leveling system on this with hydraulic automatic leveling. I call this the infinity glass because it looks like it just, just keeps going. There's no edge. Sealed the safety glass all the way around this window. Double awnings with those Solera, Solera adjustable pitch awnings. LED light strips giving you pretty much entire coverage when you're outside. And to me, Keystone did a phenomenal job putting the awnings coverage on this fifth wheel. Because if you think about it, if you're outside, you're doing the cooking, you're doing the grilling, you're having fun, you got the outside kitchen, you want to be out here. So you want to have the coverage, you want to have the shade, or you can run one in, have some sun. It's just going to be a good time for the friends and family. And right now, during the Ultimate RV Show, this 2021 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK sleeps four easily, 15,500 pounds, 37 feet, 11 inches. This one is starting right now at 63,995 or, th or as low as 389 a month. You can't beat that for a fifth wheel. Now, Fritz, I'm gonna step over here. I don't want you stepping in this muck, but take a look at this finished off heated pass through storage right here. With Keystone, when they make their fifth wheels, they have a drop frame. So that allows you to have some more storage through here. Plus it's finished off, it's heated. Great spot for shoot, man. You might be able to get a kayak in there, I don't know. Hunting cases, rifles, bags, pretty much everything you don't want to keep inside your camper, you can easily put in there. Got, here's my pumps. Got my batteries right there. My satellite quick connect. Now, this unit was so awesome that our wonderful production team who's helping us make this ultimate RV show happen even decided, they said, man, that avalanche has got so much space, we're going to put the broadcast box in it. So right here, some of the storage, this is also be your gen box. Look at that. The whole production box is right there. They don't know that yet, but since I have a studio at home, that's coming home with me. Automotive coating on this front end cap, and you're going to see it's molded, goes all the way around the edge here, multi-sealed and welded. That's also a, a benchmark of good construction. So if you're interested in a fifth wheel like this or any unit you're going to see here at the Ultimate RV Show, whether it be this specific one or this style of floor plan, yeah, man, I need me a fifth wheel with an external kitchen. Text Easy RV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below, Easy RV. We have over 150 locations, 25,000 RVs right now ready for you to go through and check out. Got the True Fit slides. Love the way they have this drive system. Minimizes the use of components to move the slides in and out. Plus it's true fit, it's level, it's sealed and insulated all the way around. You minimize components, you pretty much minimize stuff that can break. That's how it works. Let's see if this is open. I don't think I brought my key. Here's your electronic leveling system. Easy to do. Front, left, boom. Auto level, makes setup a breeze. Over here, come on baby. There's my twin 30 LP tanks. There's the other side of my pass-through storage, and right here is my external command center. So you got your spray port if you want to do an external shower. Got your key TV multi-source connection. That just combines everything into one. So you're not going to be chasing cables, looking around, trying to find, well, where's my satellite? Where's my, you know, where's my antenna? So and forth and so on. Plus all your water connections, your winterizations, your black tank flush, your gray tank flushes. And Keystone also color codes everything from their tubing all the way down to their wiring. So it makes fixing and finding so much easier. But we've seen the outside of this beautiful 338 GK Avalanche. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors, on the inside? Love 
everything that they did to the 2021 model here with the Avalanche. Upgraded features, solid step over steps with extra large grab handle. And Fritz, my man, look, I'm gonna put these on right here because this spot right here, this is just cool, baby. You can't beat the inside of this all new 2021 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK starting right now at $63,995 or as low as $389 a month. Tri-fold sleeper that folds out. This right here can easily sleep two people. You got large panoramic windows, wood valances, get those cross breezes going, ultra high ceiling, solid construction. This is a high profile fifth wheel. Now with fifth wheels, the one thing I really didn't get a chance to hit on, because here at the Ultimate RV Show, we got so many RVs we wanna show you, but we can't go through all the details. That's why our industry specialists are standing by to help you with that. So this one here has a road armor hitch. That stops at chucking and bucking whenever you pull in a fifth wheel RV. Up front, the weight of a fifth wheel is distributed more evenly into the bed of your truck. Whereas with a travel trailer, it's all bumper to bumper. So you got more turning radius and the pull is a whole lot easier. Now they are bigger and they're heavier, but you get six feet more of usable space in a fifth wheel than you do in a travel trailer because that top part, the front cap, is over the bed of the truck. I'll show you how much space we have up front here in just a minute. Curved storage shelf here, shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures. I mean, come on, man. Keystone knows what they're doing. Do I even need to talk about it? Just look at it. I got my dual USB charging ports right there. Power on both sides. I got my Thomas Paine leather recliners over here with the windows. Once again, some of the largest in-class windows you're going to find right across from my entertainment center. With my fireplace, multi-flame settings, LED backlighting. Component shelf, Furion AM FM command center, large TV on a swivel, frosted glass inlay here on these cabinets with the brush nickel handles. Look at this one. Let me tell you, fifth wheel travel trailer with an exterior kitchen that's rear living with plenty of space can easily sleep four people. You can get two people on that easily. But if you ask me, you lay down in those recliners when they kick out, you got the breeze blowing across and that massage chair is going. And before you know it, the Z Monster has won. Come over here to the freestanding dinette, just an elegant space to reconnect with the loved ones. This slides out, giving you a little bit extra space if you need it, but you got the solid wood chairs, wood inlay with the LED button lights, and just look at the space and view that I have right here. You talk about pulling up to the lake or the beach, or you're just going over to the friends and family's house and you wanna watch the kids play in the front yard because everybody's been cooped up and going crazy and now is our opportunity to get out and do something. And I can do it for as low as $3.89 a month? Yes, I'm gonna pay that. But then, Robert Irvine, Gordon Ramsay step in and they see this kitchen. They say, we are gonna have some fun here. Solid surface countertops over here on the bar top with my own separate chairs in the back. Continuing down here, light, beautiful, inviting with the dark accents. Huge stainless steel sink right here with the multi-pot. I got the high-rise faucet with a sprayer that reaches multiple areas. But just look at the prep room that I have here. Prep space here, countertop space here. I got shelving down here a pull out with my recycling and my trash. Solid wood construction, hidden hinges. Man, I am showing you the fifth wheel that I'm gonna be walking away with from the Ultimate RV Show unless you get it for me before I finish this walkthrough by texting EZRV to 32094. Ginormous high point microwave. Got the grill style grate on my three burner cooktop. My oven's right here. Plus, Got my pot storage right there and an 18 cubic foot residential fridge freezer combo with ice maker right here. Now, once again, our time is limited here at the Ultimate RV Show. Ian and I have so many things we wanna show you, but our industry specialists want to spend the time and walk through all of these options. They want to show you the ice maker inside this 18 cubic foot residential fridge. They want to tell you that yes, you can swap this out for an RV fridge. They want to talk to you about the frosted glass inlays of your pantry storage here, the backlighting on the decorative slide there, the full extension, the walk-in pantry, 
All you have to do is call 866-853-3510 or text us Easy RV to 32094. They even covered up the circuit breaker box with a solid, well, look at that. I wouldn't have thought of that. I guess that's why Keystone doesn't have me. I'm not that bright. Got my command center right here as well. Absolutely love the attention to detail, those little things that once again, that's gonna be the difference between you really enjoying the camping experience and possibly not enjoying it. If you like those creature comforts of home, you want to check out something like this Keystone Avalanche 338 GK, especially if you're looking to have fun outside, you got the kids you wanna take with you, you know, if you wanna sleep four people, good one for it. Porcelain bowl right here with the foot flush, Got my single basin vanity sink right here, countertop, large medicine cabinet, walk-in shower with a single surround, I mean, just bench seat, corner notches, brush nickel fixtures. Man, come on, Fritz, let's check out the bedroom here, man. Look, king-size bed on the slide with the padded decorative pad headboard up there and the decorative valances on both sides. This is just an enjoyable experience. Plus we have a solid barn door coming into the bathroom. This is a pass-through bathroom. Plus you have a solid door going out. I mean, I can't say anything bad about this beautiful all new Keystone Avalanche 338 GK. Washer dryer prep right here as well. Plenty of wardrobe, wardrobe storage. 15,500 pounds is the dry weight on it. Can easily sleep four. This one is starting right now at 63,995, or as low as 389 a month. It's not gonna last. These show prices that we're doing for the Ultimate RV Show are also not gonna last. So if you wanna wake up and look out over a beautiful armoire through a solid, through a, through a beautiful window with the solid wood balances. And you say, Chris, I want that exterior kitchen. I want the opulence here like you have inside this avalanche. How do I get it? Talk to one of the industry specialists. They're standing by right now to find you one like this or even this one. But these prices, it's not a gimmick. They're only gonna last through the show. So, once you get that beautiful RV, you're also probably gonna need an RV cover. We got that segment coming up here in just a second, and I will have another beautiful fifth wheel with the exterior kitchen coming up, so hang on. Kaylin and Melissa and Scott and Christian back here at the Ultimate Campsite. We've got some helpers helping us out with this segment. Uh, so we're gonna show off our Camco RV covers. Melissa, which covers are we looking at here today? So today here we have our Ultra Shield and then we have our Pro Shield. So a lot of people would ask, you know, what's the main key factors of difference in these two? Um, what I can tell you, the Ultra Shield is for all weather, rain, sleet, snow. So if you're further up north, this is something you're going to want to look into getting. The Pro Shield, it does the rain and the weather, but it's also the main protection is for UV. So if you're down here in the south and you know that sun can beam down, you're going to want to protect that roof. So the Pro Shield's really great for you. Scott and Christian are uh, putting on an Ultra Shield for us today to show us how to do that. So you can see they're just walking it back. And uh, I wanted to let you guys know, of course, we're running all of these awesome promotional prices for the Ultimate RV Show. We have the Ultra Shields starting out at four, five seventy eight ninety one and our good sam members are actually getting five percent off of all of our prices through the ultimate rv show so just keep that in mind and uh the promo prices on all of the covers um, are starting at 308 38. Uh, these are all the Camco covers, all the different sizes that we have in the Pro Shield and Ultra Shield. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm sure you get a lot of questions about measuring the RV. Yes, so you're not gonna wanna go by what's in the book, what it says that the length of your RV is. You're gonna wanna physically get out there and measure it. So you're gonna wanna have a helper with you. You're gonna wanna measure from the front to the very back of the unit. If you have a ladder or if you have tanks on the front, you're gonna want anything you want under that cover, you're gonna wanna measure from point A to point B, and that's the length. If you fall between sizes, you're gonna wanna always go up they do come with cinching on the sides, so if it is a little loose, you can tighten it up. So we have our straps here. As you can see, the, that's what the guys are doing now. It also has underbelly straps, so it'll connect under, that's how it stays on. Oh, okay, so whenever the wind picks up again out here that was knocking our flags down a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to take the RV cover out. It's not. And if you ever, if you, if you want to go into the camper and get something out of there, because throughout the season, you, you might forget that you left something in there that you need inside the house. Um, on the sides of it, it's going to have zippers, panels, so that way you can still access your RV. Oh, because I always taking the, the cover off of com completely. I always leave something somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and so the ventilation on the sides. Yes, it's got ventilation so that it lets that moisture out. You don't have to worry about mildew or mold or anything. So it's covered air vents. They help prevent that moisture. And then, like I said, you got the front and rear cinching and then the underbelly. Okay, awesome. So uh, once again, our promo pricing for all of these Camco covers is going to start at three oh eight. 38. Uh, if you drop the comment camp below or text camp to 32094, uh, we'll get a specialist with you and they can kind of walk you through any questions that you may have about measuring your camper. And also give us a call at the 866-235-8751. Scott and Christian have done such a great job covering our, our RV for us. Today. They have. Yes something we can sit back and relax now for the rest of the season. Yeah, and that's also gonna cut down the temperature in that thing for so long. That's protect that cool. roof, yeah. key factor. You wanna protect your roof. Oh yeah, because the beams are getting a little serious out here. So yes, <laughs> we'll see you guys again in a little bit. And don't forget, drop your comment, give us a text, give us a call for your Camco cover. Let me tell you what, guys, I ain't no joker, I ain't no smoker, but I can fly like an eagle with this Jayco Eagle fifth wheel. Now, this section, thank you, Jace, for that line, by the way, this section is all about fifth wheel travel trailers with external kitchens. We want you to get outside. It's the weekend. We're thinking about going out. It's beautiful weather. Fall's coming. Look, tailgating. Imagine pulling up a game in this bad boy. You're going to absolutely love it. And that's why I wanted to start each one of these outside at the kitchen. This is the Jayco Eagle 317 R-L-O-K, or the R-Lock. We're looking at a sleep capacity of three. Dry weight on this one, little under 13,000 pounds, starting at 58,995 or as low as 359 a month. You can't beat that. We got the Capital Grill with the Radiant Burner right here. We got the Eagle Claw bottle opener because you know, if you are gonna do some tailgating, why not go ahead and pop one and, and have some fun with it? You're outside, you're entertaining yourself as well as the others. But this exterior kitchen is all about beauty and functionality. Just take a look at the metal prep top that we have here. Plus, this comes pre-wired with the Furion Lit, which is where you can plug in a Bluetooth speaker, but you can also charge your phones because you got those uh, iPhone chargers right there, the old USBs. 12-volt plug there for a television bracket if you wanted to mount one. Got power ports. Strut supported frosted glass inlay cabinets right above the R Vision fridge or the little mini dorm style fridge. The external kitchens are all about ease of use, functionality, and giving you another option to not only get outside and enjoy, and enjoy the outdoors, but if you do go fishing, you don't want to take this stuff inside. You can prep it and cook it right here. When everything is good to go, just close it away. You have a strut supported door right here that'll come down, lock up, and get you away from this beautiful side panel on the campsite of the Jayco Eagle. So look how beautiful that is. Now you have two awnings on this unit. We got a 10-6 awning, and then we got a 17-foot awning, both of which have the LED lights running underneath. I like to call this the infinity glass. It's that sealed safety glass going all the way around, solid. Looks good going down the road. Looks good once you set up at your campsite. Got the Solera power awnings too on this one. So when the wind blows, you can also pull the, pull, pull the pitch down to adjust it, but when the wind blows, that's gonna help move it back in. Underneath, 
Got the CRE 3000 suspension on this one on those big old tires. Those are G-rated tires too with the tire pressure monitors. And that suspension right there is gonna help with that equal weight distribution going down the road. This also has multi-point leveling, external speakers. Got my light switch outside for my external lights. Got a spray port there. Anti-slam with mag anti-slam latches with the magnetics on this. Boom, for your pass-through storage. Take a look at the room that we have here. What I like about what Jayco did, they not only gave you a port to run some stuff through for your connections right here, but they put the diamond plate rubberized mats down here. So if you do have the wet stuff, the uh, the chairs, the towels from the beach or whatever, fishing gear, hunting gear, you can put it there and it's not going to get dirty and make the carpet interior look all nasty. It's going to stay clean. Get your satellite and antenna outputs right there. Plus, they give you a handy dandy tire pressure gauge thinking about the convenience. Come around to the front cap. Molded end cap right here with the multi-seal. Beautiful fiberglass end cap that's painted. Looks good going down the road. Jayco, the Eagle brand, has been one of the top selling brands for a long time now. Here's our fifth wheel hitch. Come around to the off camp side. We got the other side of our pass through storage. And the external command center right here, which is color coded and gives you a, a list of things of you know what each what each option is for and how to use it. Plus, I got my terminations right there, my spray port slash shower right there, and my automatic leveling right there. Now, auto leveling is one of those things that when you're talking about a creature comfort setting up, get auto leveling. Just just get it. Just bite the bullet and get it. So we've seen the outside a little bit on this 2021 Jayco Eagle 317 R-Lock, R-L-O-K, but I'm not going to give you a chance to really see all the features of this unit. The Ultimate RV Show is about showing you as much as we can, as quick as we can, but making it as easy as possible for you to get the information through one of our industry specialists by texting EZRV to 32094 or dropping us a comment down below, EZRV. They are standing by to walk you through units like this or this specific one and say, hey, tell me about the trifold sofa over here and those pillow top cushions. How comfortable is that? that let me tell you, it's super comfortable. They will answer everything for you. They will get everything set up for you as well. They'll get you set up with a finance specialist, get the paperwork sent out to you. Your unit can be brought to you and walked through and set up for you. If you got a trade, we'll come get it and take it away. Easy RV, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Now, let's continue through this beautiful, oh, Stacy Stewart collection pillow top. Oh, 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 it's like a hug from grandma, man. You got massage, you got heat, I got my cup holders right here, I got my notch, but take a look at the size of these windows right here. Open this up. I got my control for my ceiling fan right there. We'll get the TV on, get the fireplace on if I'm cold, kick this out. These plush top seats can absolutely be sleepers. People say, no, you can't count them as a sleeper. I've passed out in these so many times camping, it's not even funny. But this is your second bed. It's a trifold, so it comes out, easily fit two people there. We also got the large panoramic windows with these textured, almost leather wood balances all the way around. Frosted glass inlay with the shaker style cabinets with the hideaway hinges. Given this RV just a great residential appeal and beauty to it. Over here with my fireplace, you see, we got that barn style decor, giving it that rustic look. 34 inch Furion glass LED backlit fireplace with the JBL command system. TV is on a swivel so you can adjust it if people need to look around. And since this RV has opposing uh, slides on it, we're able to have an island kitchen. But Fritz, check out these slides, man. Tell me how beautiful this just cut in the wood is. That's solid wood and it's molded to look almost like the porch of a beautiful old antique house. Got residential style lights with the blown glass LED lights. Great spot to reconnect here with the textured distressed wood looking out into the campsite with big windows. Solid wood chairs that are also decorative. Solid surface countertop with my pop-up power station. Double 50-50 stainless steel sink, undermounted brush nickel high-rise faucet with a sprayer nozzle. Even got the little pump spot for sanitizer or soap. 
plenty of room. I got my spot for my trash can down here. Got my spot for storage space. Got prep space over here. Once again, there's my Furion uh, lit port. Solid surface, beautiful, just light with the dark accents. Same thing here with the Shaker style cabinets. It almost looks distressed. The high point fridge, or excuse me, it's big enough to be a fridge. The high point microwave, three burner cooktop. Just look at the drawers. Full extension on the ball bearing drives, solid wood construction. That's another thing that you want to look for. So when you get a chance to talk to that industry specialist, ask them about that. Say, hey, can you pull the drawers all the way out for me? Show me what they look like. Are they good? Are they solid? How big are they? They'll even measure them for you. Anything that you want or need to know, that's what they're there for. Got the residential fridge freezer combo over here. Look at this. Got the ice maker, got the water filter, the fresh flow. This is one of those RVs that when you do set up at campsite or you do decide, you know what, we're just gonna bite the bullet. We need to get an RV that we're gonna take down to the beach and set up. And you know what, we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna bring the home. We're gonna bring something that we want to be in. We want a ceiling fan. We want lights coming out of a wood inlay. We want all the stuff. We want the 15,000 BTU Whisper Quiet AC. We want the handcrafted cabinetry and trim. We want all of that. Then you want a 2021 Jayco Eagle 317 RLOK starting at $58,995 or as low as $359 a month. For your chance to get out and see the country, you can't beat that. Even if you just take the kids with you. They can sleep over there. You got plenty of room love the tinted glass there very good touch jaco storage spot up top it's a good spot to hide the cookies so the kids can't get to it more here i mean you're just not going to have you're not going to run out of space here for storage even got my hangers in there if i need it got my bm pro command system right here that'll run out my my awnings, my lights, set up all my HVAC, all that stuff. Come up here to the master bathroom. Got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush, the solid wood cabinetry, single surround shower that is textured and decorative, plus glass door. I got my bench seat, my corner notches. Now, with this being a full profile fifth wheel, we don't have to worry, you know, pretty much about the headroom, even though we're coming into the front cap. That's where you're going to have the least amount of headroom, but it's still over six feet just because of how high and how big these are. I got my frosted glass inlay right here. My brush nickel fixtures all the way around, just residential, appealing, and clean looking. Take a look at the backsplash that we have here for the sink. That is a solid backsplash. Plenty of prep space here. The bowl is undermounted, so you don't have that lip around the edge out here that can get dirty or the caulk that can come apart. Got the residential style medicine cabinet too. Look at that. Looks like a framed mirror, but it's actually your medicine cabinet. Towel holder there, pantry storage here, hangers. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. I, the, I love fifth wheels. And I love having the outside kitchens because you get into that rut sometimes where the kids don't want to get outside. They get in here and all of a sudden they get on their electronics or they're watching the big screen TV and you don't, you don't get them outside. But if you say, hey guys, come on, let's go fishing or help me cook the hot dogs. That's when they want to get outside and that makes it so much more fun. Got the TV mount here, got your dual USB charging ports. Plus you have the 12 volt option here. So if you have a 12 volt TV, got your power there. If not, cable satellite and power connection here. Here's the duct for your whisper quiet AC and a king size bed in its own slide. Space, beauty, style, and comfort. That's what you're going to get with the Jayco Eagle 317 RL OK. Strut supported storage underneath as well. There's the other chairs, by the way, for the uh, booth dinette. For those that are thinking, why are there only two chairs? Eh, we just want to set out two because for a camper, they can sleep three. Think about being a couple that's active, you want the creature comforts of home, or you want to do some seasonal camping, and you say, all right, I want to take my lovely spouse on a tour of wineries around the Pacific Northwest. 
here you go. Imagine setting this up out there. Doesn't that sound like a great trip? By the way, if anybody wants to do that, you need a third wheel for your fifth wheel, your boy Chris is right here. Please reach out to me. Just text Easy RV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below. Easy RV. Chris can go with us. Uh, you'll have to pay for my for my stuff as well, too, if you don't mind, though. Solid cabinets here. Large arm wash. So you're not going to have space. Brush nickel fixtures. Good spot for your clothing. And one last thing about this one before we have to go. Washer and dryer prep as well. So we got the wardrobe here with the shelf storage, the solid bar, the lip. This also comes prepped for washer dryer. Just right there behind those hideaway hinges. You can just take that shelf out or our service folks can do it for you, which is what I would recommend. But if you're looking to get out and about, see the country the safest way possible, let one of our industry specialists walk you through it. Or just come to Camp and Roll to Gander and say, hey, I, I saw Ian or Chris talking about X, Y, and Z. Can we see one of those? Absolutely. But if you want to get the Ultimate RV Show pricing locked in, you got to do it by Sunday. We got 25,000, over 25,000 units ready to go right now. But since we have over 140,000 people watching us, by the way, thank you for tuning in. You might want to jump on it now. That's not a good number combo. So starting at $59,995, $58,995, or as low as $359 a month for this one, the 2021 Jayco Eagle 317 RLOK Ultimate RV Show. We are all about the fifth wheels with the exterior kitchens. And Elise, I know you love the fifth wheels. You were checking them out earlier. You know I do, Chris. We were looking at them earlier. I cannot get over that outside kitchen. It's so great when you want to wake up, make breakfast this outside on beautiful days like today i want no i need an <laughs> rv now you also need an rv sean at least you are so funny uh, because <laughs> the whole time and chris there's nobody better uh besides chris and ian describing the interior he's talking about the backsplash and i don't know what it is about the backsplash when it comes to our amazing kitchens or even that bathroom that he was just showing us when it comes to that, it's like my wife loves to watch the Do It Yourself channel sometimes, and and she's always into the backsplash. So I constantly look, and every we talked luxury, we Luxurious. talked elegance, and that's what we're talking about with these yes. vehicles. And he did mention, listen, if you want to get these show stopping prices, the ultimate RV show show price, you got to act fast. Easy RV makes it so simple for you. You just text Easy RV to three two zero nine four. And my favorite part about this whole three days so far. Uh, day three, more to see. Uh, thank you. Um, is that our our busy our uh, callers our answer uh, phone answers <laughs> show Goodness. specialists. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> have been standing by. They've been really, really busy. Our show specialists, it's 866-853-3510. They're so excited because the phone, they just know from sun up to sundown, they're not going to stop talking to people and answering your questions. And that makes us all very happy. What I really liked about what Chris was saying about this fifth wheel, he said the word residential. And that really stuck with me because, you know, you want it to feel like home when you're out on the road because it's the safest, best way to see the country in one of these fifth wheels or in any of these RVs. We have 25,000 units across the country, over 150 Camping World sites. So uh, there's one near you to get you in your RV. Yeah, you mentioned uh, the safest, easiest way, and especially with everybody uh, working at home, playing at home, schooling at home, being able to get the kids in the RV and get away from it all for a little bit and just take a minute and uh, get them to do their homework and then get out there and have some fun. But uh, you know what? We found one that's a little bit smaller that you can lounge in. It's me size. That's right. We like to call that fun size. <laughs> all right. And we're tossing it back to Chris, I believe. Oh, Chris is always working. Look at him. Look, Look at him. how He's busy doing, he is. working so hard. Wow, Chris. <laughs> you sweating over there? Are you breaking a sweat? I mean, of course. Of course, I found something you can lounge in. It's a little bit small. I've had a good chance to show you some wonderful fifth wheel travel trailers with the external kitchen. But when I heard you say that, I was like, wait a minute, hang on. I did have one more travel trailer with the external kitchen that I wanted to show you because of this setup right here. Kev, take a spin around. Look at the separated entertainment space that we have here in the all new 2021 Forest River Cherokee 306 MM. This is a rear living travel trailer where they incorporated the front living fifth wheel floor plan into, if that makes sense. So you get the features of an opposing slide uh, living space that you usually see mostly in fifth wheels, um, or a lot of times if it's opposing slides on a travel trailer, it's a bunkhouse. But in this one, we get the living space. So you have the great entertaining room. Now this is one that'll sleep seven easily. 
Dry weight on this one's 11,000 pounds. And once again, 2021 Cherokee 306 mm starting at 34,995 or as low as 255 a month. But I call this the whoa, because just look at the openness. Look how giant the windows are. Get the cross breeze going across this one. Now, these sofas will jackknife into beds or you can sit there and just you know watch TV. You got the recliners over here, the captain's chairs, if you will, and you could absolutely just watch the sunset, watch the ocean. Look at that panoramic window in the back. I got my Furion 30-inch fireplace down here with the multiple flame settings. I mean, man, alive. This is beautiful, look at that. I saw this one for the first time here at the Ultimate RV Show, and you know, I, I hope the boss man doesn't get mad at me. I know we were focusing on fifth wheels, but I said, man, you gotta see this travel trailer right here. Look at that, got a power port over here. Got some storage space over here. Fireplace there. Big old giant window right here. Slip resistant residential style flooring. Just entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Large window walking over to the campsite and a bar separating the living room from what I'm gonna call just the dining room because that's really what it is. You could sit here, check everything out. And oh, by the way, that, that top back there, Kev, guess what comes out of the top? A TV. Yep. That thing right there slides up and a TV comes out. I mean, wow. I saw it and I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta jump in it, I gotta have it. Actually, I, I hopped in here because my boys are outside right now hooking it up to my truck so that when we're done, I'm gonna take it away. But if you think you want it, by all means, text Easy RV to 32094, drop me a comment down below, Easy RV. This one starts at $34,995 or as low as $255 a month. You get some of the features and amenities you would regularly get in the style and layout of a fifth wheel inside of a travel trailer. So Cherokee and Forest River came together and said, hey, we're going to try it out. <clears throat> now, you got people up here having a good time. They're entertaining. They're having fun. You got your campsite kitchen right here. I'm cooking up whatever, or we're cleaning up whatever, and we're having fun. I got prep space. <clears throat> I got a flat, recessed three burner cooktop with the grill cover. Push button LED light right there. Plus I got my stove, my oven, decorative backsplash. Got my microwave right here, my f glass inlay. I mean, we got the undermounted brush. I love this matte black finish that they have on these limited editions. High-rise faucet with a sprayer handle right here. My apron on my farmhouse style sink. My cutting board cover. Everybody's having a good time. I got people over there watching TV. Kids playing games. Mom and dad sitting there in the recliners. I got my uncle and my aunt sitting right here at the bar top. They're hanging out. Do you see where I'm getting that? This is the family RV. And then if you say, okay, everybody appreciate y'all coming by. Y'all gone, gone home. Um, if it's just you and the loved one, you and the family, you can sit right here, be separated from everything else, and have your little reconnection space right here in your booth dinette. This also reduces down into a sleeper. Once again, I can't get over how big <laughs> these windows are. They must have heard somebody say, I'm not getting enough light, and just decided to take that to the nth degree, because this panoramic window, that just huge. Plus you got the curtains, the wood balances, the decorative accents, just make this an appealing home style trailer. This reduces down into a sleeper. I got my Everchill fridge right here, the fridge freezer combo. And of course we have that big old quick cool AC on the roof as well. 10 cubic foot, this is a vibration smart uh, fridge. Got the little lock handle right there. Good pass space, pantry storage right here. I mean, I just can't get over this one. I am really happy with what Forest River did with the Cherokee 306 MM. They made this an extremely inviting rear living RV. And we haven't even gotten to the outside to show you the external kitchen yet. So, got my plastic bowl with the foot flush. 
sink with the graphite style fixtures right here, prep space, got my plug, my mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lip right there. I got my single surround shower with the bench seat. Got to step up a little bit for this one. How's my head going to do? Oh, okay. All right. Well, do have to get right back here into the skylight. Now, me being six foot two, um, now granted, even here, I'm not really cramped. I just got to lean down a little bit. But I got my shower nozzle here. I can still do my stuff. Or I can sit on the bench seat. You know, if I wanted to do that, got my corner notches, but I always try to show you a little bit of what it's like with the headroom because with the experience of camping, I want you to have the best experience possible. That includes trying to get all the creature comforts of home, what's going to happen when you're in it, where you at, how am I looking left to right or up or down. I don't want you to walk away saying, oh, sure, I'm 6'5", I can fit in there. Um, but when you text Easy RV to 32094 and you get one of our industry specialists, love the window right there, ask them to show you uh, everything. Ask them to walk you through it. Answer all the questions that you have and just have them show as much of this camper as they can because that's what it's about. They're standing by. We get over 150 locations, over 25,000 campers for you to choose from. Take a look. Pick the one that's right for you. TV backers right here. Got my plug and my power. Mirrored ward storage right there. Plus I got my little shelf and my power port plus dual USB charging if I want to set up a CPAP machine, light, whatever. Got the same thing over here. And I got side opening storage up here. Got my LED lights and even under here, some storage. It looks like it's accessible through the pass-through. So with that said, if you like the inside, of the all-new 2021 Forest River Cherokee 306 mm starting at $34,995 or as low as $255 a month. Get on it right now, because I'm gonna walk to the outside. So Kev, I'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna step out here through the other access point, which is the master bedrooms access point. And let's talk about the real focus of this segment right here, the exterior kitchen, or just having fun in the exterior, because as awesome as it is to sit inside, and I just can't get over that living room right there. What a good job. Um, I really hope somebody jumps on this one. I really do. I hope you're able to get this one wherever you're at because that is a great floor plan. Please check that one out. Um, it's all about the outside. It's all about having fun at the outside. We got a huge awning with a blue LED light strip running here. Cherokee did such a good job with the color scheme, giving us the gray on the blue. I've said it numerous times. I'm not a fan of the old brown on brown that they've done in the past. Love what they did here. Got my TV mounts. If I want to bring my TV out here, I could. Got my cable ports, my power ports, my backlit speakers for dual zone because I can play the music inside or out. Plus, I got my black tank flush. This is actually uh, access, as it says right there, not a storage compartment. That's how you can get to some of the wires, panels, and whatnot. Got my LP Quick Connects down here because in front of the double axle here, the 15-inch aluminum wheels, I have my external kitchen. Got the two-burner cooktop. Got the mini fridge right here. Got my sprayer nozzle because who knows what's going to happen after I've had a couple of the outdoor bourbons, but you can't have the outdoor bourbon without the ice. That's why we have the ice maker. So if I say, you know what, I need me just a little bit of hit of water with my three finger pour. Psh, there we go right there. Ice maker knows it's coming. It knew I was coming. That's why. I know I'll be done in a minute. Sheesh. So, Two burner cooktop here, you got your little spray area here, so if you did need to do some cleaning, you could absolutely do that. Um, mini dorm style fridge here, so if you needed to store, you know, fish, soda, water, whatever, you have the space to do that. But the outside kitchens are all about getting outside and just enjoying life. Now, we've been cooped up for I don't know how long now, and everybody's at that point where we're saying we, we have to do something, we gotta get out. And this is where, like my wife and I had this conversation a couple of weeks ago, we wanna take the kids somewhere, but how do we do it safely? How do we do it securely? Well, we do it in the RV. So you don't have to buy a plane ticket. You don't have to go set up reservations at places. If you wanna just take the RV out somewhere and set it up on land, I mean, we, granted, we have some of the best campgrounds in America with the Good Sam campgrounds, but if you just wanna take it and go just to get out and go, 
It's your RV and that's what you can do with it. Imagine taking that on the guy's getaway or the lady's getaway with that living area that we have right back here in this 306 mm. That is right on. So before we cap this one off, let me show you the pass through storage. We saw how we could access it through the master right there. As you can see, uh, I apologize, it's not pass through, it doesn't go all the way around, but it does go around to the master bed and you can access it right there under. So if you had some of those large, odd things, like maybe you know beach umbrellas or something like that, you can stick that in there and kind of work it around. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack, which is an essential when it comes to setting up your campsite, or at least in my opinion. Um, and then just hanging out under the awning enjoying what you've cooked, what you've caught, and what you've had a chance to get together with with your family. Because um, at the end of the day, that's what it's really about, is just getting out and enjoying life. And if you can do that with camper, fifth wheel, motorized, whatever it may be, by all means, you should take that opportunity. And during the Ultimate RV Show, you are not gonna have a better opportunity than right now. Uh, this is one of those ones where if you say, Chris, you know what, I, I don't know what I can tow, but I have a X, Y, and Z that I want to bring in and get checked out. Bring your vehicle in. We're open. Camping World and Gander, we got over 150 locations across the country. Uh, if you got a trade in that you want us to take a look at, we got the Good, Sam, the Good Sam Assurance Program. That's where we're going to give you the best value for your trade in guaranteed, or you're going to get a thousand bucks in cash. Give you three days, shop it, see if anybody can beat it. They can't, so don't. Cause you get 24 hours, we can get your cash in hand in 24 hours for your trade in. Can't beat that either. If you're looking to trade your RV but you don't feel like coming in and bringing it to us, guess what? We'll come get it for you. I mean, Easy RV is making it easy all the way around from stem to stern. Finding the one that you want, talking to an industry specialist, finding the paperwork, that's gonna be right for you as far as financing, having it sent to you. It's gonna be set up so you can, the stamp's already gonna be on the mail. Don't have to pay for that, you're gonna send it back. Then something like this is gonna be delivered to your campsite. It's not, it's gonna be delivered to my campsite. But this could be delivered to your campsite and set up by an industry professional just like as if you were standing inside the dealership at Camping World or Gander. Or you can just come in. It's just that simple. So if you wanna jump on this one, jump on it now. Easy RV to 32094. The 2021 Forest River Cherokee 306mm, sleep seven, 11,000 pounds is the dry weight, starting at 34,995 or as low as 255 a month. Easy RV down below or give us a call, 866-853-3510. You saw how beautiful that furniture was in there. Ian's got some furniture for you to see right now. Hey everyone, here we are in truly the ultimate campsite. We are sitting in perfect comfort. I have Dave on my left, Kaylin on my right, and folks, we have some Thomas Payne furniture, and I don't know about you guys, but I am comfortable. It, I'm comfortable too. Yes, this yeah. is, you know, it's very uh, luxurious, and, and I like the foam that's used. You know, I'm not sinking in too much. It's not too hard. Absolutely perfect, and folks, I'm super excited to go through with you today what we have to offer. If you see something you like right off the bat, you're like, you know what, I love the color. This is gonna look perfect in my RV that I'm renovating. The number you are gonna to wanna to call is 866-235-8751 or you can text CAMP to 32094 or type CAMP in the comment section. Start off over here, Kaylin, show us what you got. I show us the comfort. Have. Look at that. Laid back. <laughs> there it is, you guys. This is the Euro Recliner. It is in the walnut color. Um, you know, the, a couple things I really like about this. One, I really like the wood finish that's on it. Uh, I think it has a very rich look to it. I think it's a perfect pairing with the darker color. And also it's lightweight, so it's easy to move around. And that's something that you need to think about because sometimes with the chairs, uh, you have to move them in order to bring slides in. Like if you have a rear living layout where the chairs are in the back and you plan on putting a Euro recliner, a re different chair in, you have to move those. So having a Euro recliner like this, super simple to move around. Pretty comfortable? Pretty comfortable. And you know, I was also thinking there's a lot of campers that don't come with the chair yep. that you want. You still want to bring in your recliner, but you don't want this 
big giant bulky thing so it's a it's a definite good add yeah another thing that's nice about this too is the back actually folds down so it is easy to be able to fit through that door it's not a big bulky thing you're gonna have issues bringing into the rv Pricing on this one, if you're interested, folks, standard pricing is $449, but we're running the promo today for the Ultimate RV Show. You're looking at $312.60, but if you're a good SAM member, you're going to pick it up for $296.97. Right next to that, of course, is the one I am sitting in. That is the Seismic. This is a uh, theater seat kind of sectional. You have different pieces that you can put together. There is a center console if you want something in the center, if you want a little more room, uh, you know, something to be able to rest your arm on, or you can have it just like it is, depending on the space you have. When you're putting new furniture in your RV, that's something that's very important. You need to bear in mind what you're taking out versus what you're putting in. A lot of the RV furniture is specific to those sizes because, you know, a lot of times it is a little bit smaller than your big residential furniture. This right here is extremely comfortable the backs are removable again so you can fit them through that doorway the thing i love about the seismic is all the options it has right here on the cup holder you want to get a close-up of this show the people what we're looking at uh, now i don't have power run to it so you're not going to be able to see it in action but you can kind of see right here that the back will actually go down and lift up as will your foot rest right here so you do have uh, some different options and then your light as well you can light it up you have a light in the cup holder plus it is heated and it has vibration all built in so you really want to talk about the ultimate chair when you're camping folks the seismic right here is it this one is in the tan color pricing on this one you're normally looking at 829 a piece but today for the ultimate rv show for this week that we're running the show you can pick it up the promo price of 60473 and folks if you're a good sam member you're getting it for under 575 dollars you're looking at 574 50. That is a phenomenal price for such a high-end piece of furniture for your RV. Dave, why don't you hey. talk about what you got over there, my friend? How's it going, Ian? So I'm in the uh, cobble tan uh, pushback. Okay. Uh, it's a very small, compact chair, great for fitting in those tight spaces, but you still want to have an extra chair in, in your RV. Um, one of the good things about this is the woven colors that are in there. You have a lot of your earth tones in here. So again, it'll match a lot of your older RVs, your newer RVs, and a lot of those tones and those wall colors and things that they have. Mm -hmm. So you can really get this chair to match and surprisingly match almost any type of furniture that's in, in any RV. That's a great so that's, point. It's been a very popular one in, in that sense. Okay. okay. So, but a lot of people, when they look at it, like, it doesn't look like it has a lot of cushion or anything. This thing's got some cushion. It's got some look bounce. Look at that. It is, it is great. And simple as can be, full on layback, take a nap thing. I mean, I'm that, like, that thing good really night, y'all. And I'm gonna get a tan while I'm at it. <laughs> but I, I swear, this thing is, it's actually really great. I'm, uh, these have been very popular. Uh, in, in our stores. So again, you could pick this bad boy up uh, $4.99, but for the ultimate RV show, we've got it for $3.33.65. Okay. Uh, but good, good Sam Sam's, you know, you know me with good Sam's, I got to take care of my good Sam members. That's right. $3.16.97. Yep. Yep. You guys, this is take some... away a piece of furniture for just that little. Yeah. The, the Thomas Paine collection is I mean, it's wonderful, wonderful furniture. Definitely something that you're going to want in your RV. If you're thinking about, you know, upgrading, maybe, like you said, it's a little dated with what you have. Maybe you have a floral print that you're just not feeling anymore. You want something a little more neutral, a little bit easier to redesign with. These pieces right here, as Dave mentioned, can go in just about every RV out there. If you're interested in any of the furniture that we have, you're going to want to take advantage of the pricing that we're offering for the show. And you can do that one of three ways. You can call, you can text, or you can comment. The number to call is 866-235-8751. You can comment CAMP in the section below, or you can text CAMP to 32094. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. 
You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialists will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. And we're back. Hi, and welcome to the Ultimate RV Show, day three with more to see. My name is Elise. Chris, great job, you know, oh, on that you. review of that last trailer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that 306mm, let me tell you what, that's one. That, that Now, look, I know we've had a chance to kind of go through and see a lot of them today. You know, mm -hmm. we walked through some of those fifth wheels earlier. Yeah. I know you really like that Fusion. I like it. All ten. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, yeah, I it's, it's so hard to choose from. You know, I think which I think that's a good problem to have here at the Ultimate RV Show because not only are we out here going through all these RVs, you know, Ian's running through some, I'm running through some. You have a chance to see all of this without having to worry about the hassle of a regular show because you know you have to get in your car, drive, pay for parking, pay for entry, go in, pay for food, blah blah blah, the whole nine. How about we're letting you see everything that we see the easy way with Easy RV. So if you want to see anything that we're doing, just text Easy RV to 32094. Drop us a comment down below, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. I mean, it's easy. Ultimate days, ultimate yeah. RV shows, ultimate giveaways, which Wait, we'll get to here in a minute. Did you say giveaway? I, I, oh. Yes, I did. I did. We'll get to here but in a minute. But first, I wanted to add on to that. Also, if you missed a segment, yeah. don't forget, we have archived yes. other sections yes, yes, on yes. our website. What's the website? It is ultimatervshow.com. Yes. And let me tell you, if you missed any of the fun that we had yesterday, now, did they put up the power hour oh, from last goodness. night? If you missed the power hour, you better go back and watch that. And then also get ready for tonight's because it just keeps getting better and better. I was actually kind of hoping that the boss wouldn't put up the ultimate power hour from last night. I mean, Ian and I had a lot of fun, but that might not be our shining moment <laughs> when it comes to professionalism. But it, it's, it's so much fun out here at the Ultimate RV Show. You have the ultimate chance to take advantage of it. From looking at RVs to looking at all the segments we're doing, the influencer sessions, the retail sessions. If you got trade-ins, we got yeah. you covered there too. The right. Good Sam Assurance Program is rolling. We're not going to be beat. We're going to give you the best value possible or a thousand bucks in cash. Try to beat it. You can't. You can get your cash in 24 hours cash in hand. We'll even come get it for you. That is what ultimate means. Ultimate fun. Ultimate giveaways. <gasps> Speaking of. I was going to say, wait. Yes. Giveaways. It is time for another giveaway, Chris. Is it? Yes. Bum, ba -da -ba -da. Oh, you know, <gasps> what, what are we wait. giving away? Oh, we are giving away three $50 merch certificates. Oh, so, yes. so this is, okay, so the boss handed me these names. I thought that was just like people I needed to call back because I said something I shouldn't have said. <laughs> these are actually winners? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want to try your best Sean Parr voice? Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Cross country, Sean Parr. Oh. And we are here at the Ultimate RP. If I could do Sean Parr, I'd be Sean Parr. I Nobody mean, can do Sean Parr but Sean Parr. Are All you right. kidding me? That dude is a pro, man. I tell you what, that's, that's, that is more gold than Fort Knox when Sean Parr comes up on this stage. <laughs> I love it. The man is a ham bone. I love that brother. All right. So All I'm right. not going to do my Sean Parr, but I'll do my Harry Carey. Oh. <laughs> do you like giveaways? You want a hot dog? Okay. <laughs> $50 gift certificate going to Ramiro Ordonez. Woo, congratulations. Congratulations, Ramiro. Woo, Looks just like got yourself a $50 Gamping World gift certificate. Jody Kitchen. Ooh, congratulations. Jody you just got Kitchen. yourself Jody Kitchen and Kitchen Sink. Jonathan <laughs> Coke. You just won yourself a $50 gift certificate. Congratulations, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ultimate RV Show. I think yesterday we, we capped over 140,000 people tuning in. Thank you so much for making this one of the most historic events ever and one of the biggest RV shows that have ever been. Only at the Ultimate RV Show. you got to love it. Now, one of the best things about the Ultimate RV Shows is those first looks. Fresh <gasps> off the press RVs. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking new that <laughs> haven't even been seen yet. Coming up next, I know you wanted to see this fifth wheel. We didn't get a chance to no. go in it earlier, but my buddy Ian Baker is going to show you the all-new Keystone Cougar 22 MLS. If you've been Ooh. thinking about the fifth wheel for the family, check this one out. Big dog, it's all you. Hey folks, welcome to the first look of the all-new Keystone Cougar 22 MLS. I'm Ian Baker, I am joined by my good friend Joe, and folks, this is a beautiful, kind of a little bit smaller travel shutter than what a lot of times is offered by Cougar, and I love this floor plan. I think you guys nailed it. Folks, 
you're going to love it too. And when you do, you're going to want to make sure you text Easy RV to 32094. It's going to do a couple things for you. One, it's going to lock in the show pricing that we are offering during the Ultimate RV Show. It's also going to get you in touch with one of our show specialists. That way we can help you locate one of these because it is brand new. It's going to take a little bit of time to get off the line. We can get your name on it so that way you can be camping in your 22 MLS in the spring next year and truly enjoy what this has to offer. Joe, my friend, please take me through it. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, welcome to our new 22 MLS. Uh, Cougar is really excited to have this floor plan here. This is something that uh, we see a big increase in the market and demand for are these small, light couples coach travel trailers mm -hmm. that don't sacrifice any of the big features. So the only yes. thing we're giving up in this is size and weight. Yep. Uh, all the standard features that you've come to expect and know from Cougar are still going to be here. So Love it. big AC systems, 15,000 15, BTU ACs. Uh, big furnaces, so extended camping, Yep. in-command system, king beds are standard in all our travel trailers. This one's no exception. Love it. Uh, windshield for additional light and just opens that up. So the only thing little about this 22 MLS is the length and the weight. It's a great floor plan that's got got uh, everything Cougar does. So. And, and it's I, I'm actually glad you mentioned that, Joe, because you know, you're know you a pretty tall guy. Yeah. And, and as you can see, with the barreled ceiling, I mean, you have a ton of space in here. Up. Like, it doesn't feel closed in. You right. know, again, if being a little bit shorter travel trailer, you don't feel that closed in claustrophobic yeah. between the height, the size, the slide, and the color really right. helps open it all up. It does, absolutely. And so you mentioned color. This is our new driftwood decor. This is part of our Amy Gray signature series. That's our designer. Um, you know, we sat down and looked at what do campers want? What do they expect? What's the hottest trend? And I think she knocked it out of the park. This is an I would agree. awesome little unit. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, let's get to it. What do we, uh, where do we want to start? I mean, we're right here. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's hit the awesome. bedroom. We'll make our way around. Okay. So as we mentioned, all Cougar travel trailers are going to come standard with a king bed. This one's no exception. A couple notable items in, in our bedroom feature in this 22 MLS. As you get underneath here, nightstands on both sides with cubbies underneath. So things can be stored, they're discreet. But they also have USB ports and outlets on both sides. That's something you'll see in everything. We understand a couple of things. One, everybody's got cell phones they need to charge. Uh, a lot of times people have alarm clocks that you want to plug in. And CPAP machines are very, very important. So mm -hmm. having both on both sides is simple. Okay. If you use a CPAP or you have your, your, your charging on and at home you sleep on the left, well, in your Cougar, you can sleep on the left. If you sleep at home on the right, there you go. Uh, so your Cougar is your home away from home or maybe your home all the time. Who knows in today's world. So outlets are very important. We make sure all of our bedrooms have that. So, and, and you know, it's funny, Joe, because that's actually one of the things I look for. Uh, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them I use a CPAP machine. Right. Uh, you know, I have sleep apnea, and that's just not something I want to deal with when I camp. And so anytime I, you know, go, go to look for a camper looking for RVs, that is 100% something Absolutely. I look for. Yep. Make sure, make sure you're good to go, whether it's a CPAP, cell phone, tablet. Yep. There's a million things that need plugged in, and you've got plenty of it here in a Cougar. Love it. So LED lights you'll see throughout interior and exterior. All of our lights are LED. Uh, nice, bright, lights it up, mm -hmm. keeps the heat down. Uh, you know, back in the day, some of those, some of those old halogen bulbs, you put your fingers oh, on here, dude, you're taking, you. taking a couple layers of skin <laughs> off. So LEDs, this has got a nice feature where as you reach in, it's a reading light, pop it on and off. Okay. The windshield, there's a roller shade down there. So it's great for during the day, mm -hmm. lets all that light in, but at night you've got that privacy as well. You pull that down and it's a blackout shade. And, and I think that that was a, a really smart move when designing this is putting that windshield in there. Because again, when you have a little bit smaller RV, you want to let in as much light as possible. Exactly. And, and that does it. I mean, it lets a ton of natural light in the front, looks great. And you know, if you have a nice view, like we do out the front here, you know, you're able to enjoy that. Yep, so absolutely. Uh, great addition. Awesome. So the other thing that, that obviously campers are, are high on their list and Cougar is one of the things we always focus on is storage. So you've got a lot of hangers here. Okay, we talked about the cubbies underneath. You've got the overheads, under bed storage on this as well. So that's something that, you know, in every Cougar, we try and incorporate kind of some of those core values that when you buy a Cougar, this is what you get. Towability, storage, innovation, floor plans. That's kind of what, what puts Cougar out there. Love so, it. Yep. So uh, bedroom features, uh, as we talked about, kind of 
kind of this is it. It's a it's a unique floor plan where it's kind of open. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely a little couples coach. We do have other floor plans. If you want that private wall, go to our website. Go to Camping World. Uh, but the twenty two MLS. This is a great open spacious little little unit. And folks, and actually, I'm glad that uh, Joe brought that up. Again, if you're interested in this unit as we're going through it, make sure you text Easy RV to 32094. And as I said, that will lock in the pricing for this unit and get you in touch with one of our show specialists to be able to help you out. Joe, let's move over on to the uh, camp side because this is another thing I love when manufacturers do, especially in smaller campers, and that's give you a campsite dinette. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when we design this floor plan, uh, when you get this small, a lot of times if you have your entertainment center and your the theater seating, mm -hmm. you lose your dinette. It's one or the other. Yep. This one's got both. You can see here there's a big window. So as you're sitting here having breakfast, having coffee, reading the paper, you're looking out on your campsite. Yes. You're not looking out the back window at your neighbors. You're on your campsite. Your scenery's out there and everything else. So the dedicated dining space plus your entertainment center and your seating, phenomenal in this floor plan. Yeah. So, yep. uh, as we get into it, big TV. So again, a little unit, but you get a nice big 40 inch TV. And the, and the thing I like about that is with the placement, you're able to put it right across in the theater seats. Right. Exactly. Love that. So big TV, you've got um, your Furion stereo system. So music, uh, DVDs, you can stream outside it as well. Other side over here, when you talk about innovation and technology, there's our in-command system. So even this little guy is going to come with your in-command system. So you get all your convenience. HVAC is controlled by that. Lights, slides. Um, this is always a cool feature that a lot of people get away from. This is a panic. So not only do we build in convenience, we build a little safety. Oh. So when you hold this down three to four seconds, this is going to go off. And now your interior and exterior lights are flashing, which says, hey, man, I might need some help. That's really cool. Okay. I like that. That's a, that's a cool feature. I, I Honestly, I never knew that existed. That is so, awesome. Again, we want you camping. We want you safe, having fun. But if you need help, boom, there it is. It's also, when you sync that to your phone, it's a great way. If you've been out and you're wandering, you're at a big campground, man, where's my unit? Hit that panic and like, oh, there it is. there's my homing beacon. <laughs> I'm going that way. So there's a couple multiple uses to that. But again, dedicated dinette. You've got your theater seating directly across. As you look into this slide box here, you've got big windows cross from each other. You've also got, with being the open bedroom concept, you've got another window there. So you get a ton of cross ventilation in here. I love that. Light, heat, massage on your chairs. Okay. And if you had to sleep, okay, that's not an awful spot. Yeah, no, okay? no it's right? It's a great spot to take an afternoon nap. There you go. Um, if you're taking the grandkids, drop this into a bed. Someone sleeps here. It's doable. It's functional. Yep. If you notice, USB there's another port. charging port right there. So as you're sitting there uh, at the campground, maybe mom's shop shopping Zappos on her tablet. It starts to die. Reach over your shoulder, and you can plug in right here. Now you're not draping cords across the aisle or anything like that. And you know, Joe, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. One of the things I saw was right under here. We have an electrical outlet, and I know, especially you know, today, more and more people are working from home, working on the road. Yep. Then this basically becomes your mobile office right here. Absolutely, love yep. that. Cross over to anything you want to do. Yep. We good on in here? We sh sh could we slide? Yeah, into yeah. The let's kitchen? let's slide into the kitchen. Okay. Beautiful kitchen. Again, I love the cabinetry colors you guys chose. Yeah. The the driftwood decor we're really excited about. I think I think people will be too. Yeah. So, um, starting with that, okay, we've gone to solid surface raised panel hidden hinges, residential hardware. This particular unit is built with an LP Dometic gas electric refrigerator. Yep. Okay. We are also going to offer the 12 volt and it'll be a stainless steel refrigerator. So you got a couple of refrigerator options Very nice. to whatever suits your camping style. If you're going to okay. be dry camping, uh, different needs, things like that, let us know what you want. We'll build it that way. Now, Joe, let me ask you, if you're getting a 12 volt, do we have mm -hmm. solar options? We do. Okay. So Cougar is, is, is I want to say kind of the pioneer again that innovation mm -hmm. our OTG or our off the grid package uh, I can put five solar panels on this unit wow uh, 2000 watt inverter so I can get you a lot of dry camping capacity that is awesome yeah. that, that is something that like you said a lot of manufacturers they may have prep but you know you're only getting you know a, a 150 to 200 sure. watt panel max yep so that is very cool so Cougar offers the 
like I said, up to five, up to five panels, uh, four on the roof, one in a briefcase pack. The standard OTG package direct from the factory will come with a 170 watt solar panel, okay, 2000 watt inverter, and then a charge state. Charge Very center. awesome. So, Very awesome. Um, plenty of power if you want to if you want to get off the grid and disappear you can do it in a cougar love it so uh, as we move along here lots of countertop space lots of storage you've got some deep overheads four drawers uh, we do the the cooktop here with the the heavy duty grates but you get the flush glass top so crosses over into additional countertop space we went with the low profile hood here that really opens up this area gives you a lot of space and then along back here more overheads, more storage, drying rack. Okay. Dual cutting board. Love that. And then that. you've got your you've got your double sink with your high rise pull out faucet. That's a nice deep sink there too. Um, Absolutely. You know, and, and I know that it's always one of those points people go back and forth. I you know personally like having the double bowl. I like a big single bowl too. The double bowl though makes it so much easier to wash and rinse dishes. Absolutely. You know, it, it just makes sense. Washing and rinsing is the key. So the reason we went with this again. Cougar's got 165,000 units on the road today, okay? So when customers come in, they like this, they like that, and you know, roller shades versus wood blinds, there's always some preference items, and sinks are one of them. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the reason we went with the double bowl sink, having that many Cougars on the road and know what customers need, we, we kind of came down to the decision that let's go with this for the concept of water consumption, yep. right? If you're gonna go dry camping, okay, um, when you fill and wash, you're gonna obtain that water level to a certain depth, right? So you yep. can rinse. With that single bowl sink, you're gonna consume twice the water to do the same washing. Absolutely. Split sink saves that. Not only do we give you this more for water conservation, but this 22 MLS is gonna have 60 gallon fresh water tank. So again, one more example of a little small unit with huge features and content. And when we're talking about you know being able to boondock and get off the road, having that 60 gallon tank is a big piece of that. Absolutely. Our thought process is, is with smaller tanks, um, you use it twice as fast. In a Cougar, 60 gallons of fresh water. Wednesday, you don't have to spend a day filling your tanks, you make it all the way through your trip dry camping. Love so, it. So again, gives you a little bit more value and more options and things like that. Very cool, Joe, so. very cool. And last without least, um, big window back here, mm -hmm. okay? So if you're out dry camp and you back this up to a river, lake, creek, whatever, uh, you're standing here working in the kitchen, you've got a great view as well. So a nice big sink or a big window right behind your sink as well. Great. So. Lots of storage too. I mean, you got storage up top, got storage down below. Excellent. Slide in here. Yeah, let's check well, out the bathroom. Okay. You want, want me to get in there? <laughs> One of us has to go. Let's, I don't let's think we're come both on going. in. Let's come on in. See what we got. All right. This is one of the things I always do, Joe, is I always like to sit on the toilet and test size. Um, you know, not that I plan on spending a ton of time here. In fact, my wife will tell you I spend too much time here. But, uh, you know, I, I do want to make sure I have space. And that's a, for me, that's kind of a big piece when you start getting into smaller right. travel trailers. A lot of times you sacrifice bathroom size and you feel squeezed in. Uh, but honestly, I mean, I have a ton of leg room here. You got the cutout. My shoulders are fine. Very doable. Absolutely. So you've got storage. We've got it uh, behind the medicine cabinet, down below the sink. You've got a rack there for to the left of your leg so you can do towels, things like that. You even oh, yeah. have a window. Not that you want to share your business with everybody, um, but it does open that up. And a really big shower. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a step in there, see what we got. Oh yeah, you're not kidding. I can, yeah, I can fully move around, I can turn, can actually be sideways. You know what, I'm a, I'm a fairly wide guy in the shoulders yep. and I can actually turn around in here. Uh, I got the skylight, Say I'm six foot tall, I got plenty of space there, hand wound. That's great, again, for being a, a smaller unit, a lot of times I'll go with a neo angle and it just right. starts to get really tight. Yep. I, I love that you guys are able to put the, the bigger shower in a in a smaller unit. Yeah, it Fantastic. was, a, it was, you know, you're, whenever you're looking at bathrooms, it's got to be functional. Yes. Um, you don't want to take, away, especially being a small camper, you don't want to take away from where you're going to live every day. Yep. But it's got to work. It's got to work. And I think that bathroom does it for about everybody. Awesome. Again, folks, if you're interested, this is the all new Keystone Cougar 22 MLS. You're going to want to text EZRV to 32094, put EZRV in the comment section. And folks, this is the Ultimate RV Show, and it is truly the easiest way to shop for an RV. 
because once you do that, you will lock in the show pricing that will get you in touch with one of our show specialists. They'll be able to uh, help you. They can give you virtual walkthroughs on units, show you what's available nearby so you can make sure you're getting the RV you want and love. We can take care of all the paperwork right over the phone and through the mail. And the best part, Joe, is we can deliver the RV straight to your driveway, campsite, or wherever else you need it. That sounds easy. Yeah, <laughs> that's that exactly easy. right. You guys build the RVs for comfort and uh, ease of camping, and we try to make getting those RVs as easy as possible. Awesome, awesome. All right, bud. Well, is there anything else you want to hit in here before we head out? Yeah, so a couple of things that Please. to think about when you're talking about bigger. Um, bigger ACs, 15,000 BTU, so the biggest AC on a little trailer. 35,000 BTU furnace, biggest furnace on a little trailer. Uh, as we go outside, we'll point out E-rated 10-ply tires. So with this little light unit, this little 22 MLS, big shower, big ACs, big furnace, king bed, all the extras that you expect from Cougar, value, value, value. Love it. Yeah, I, I'm really, I'm amazed that you guys are able to get a king bed in here and still have so much room. I mean, you, got, you guys did it great. Let's head right on out, Joe. So as we come out here and we're looking back into the coach, one thing that I wanted to point out was a little tight before is as you walk in the door, you've got oh, a shoe nook right there. Yes. So dewy, grass a little dewy in the morning, you got your flip flops on, uh, you're coming back from the beach, as soon as you walk in, kick it right off, you don't drag that stuff all throughout the coach, you've got an easy spot. Uh, and if you're like me, I can never find my flip flops. I find the left one, like where my <laughs> other one go? So there, kick them right off and you're done. Put them, put them both right where you know where they go. Absolutely. Everything has its place. I love that. And that's, again, that is one of those things that, you know, when you're camping, a lot of times it's just not thought about. You, you enter the RV, like you say, you have dirty shoes. There's just no place for them to go and right. they, they clutter up the entryway. Yep, absolutely. So, or they sit outside and then it rains when you're not expecting it. Right. <laughs> so moving on with kind of some of the innovation and things like that. Yes, please. All of our Cougars come standard with we talked about LED. This is these are all LED um, interior, exterior lights. But this one also comes with a side camera prep. Okay, very so cool. On the back, you'll see we've got backup camera prep. This is a system you can actually mount a camera on both sides. It makes checking lanes, changing lanes, traffic, blind spots. So again, we want you camping safety. Uh, innovation, all of this are standard features on a Cougar. And, and you know, Joe, the thing I really love about that too is it, you know, I've seen these, but every time I see it, it's on a motorhome or a super high-end luxury fifth wheel. Right. So I love that you're able to take some of those features and, you know, put it on, like I say, again, a little bit smaller yep. travel trailer, just goes to show you the high-end amenities you guys are putting on here. Yep. We're known for our fifth wheels. Our travel trailers are no joke. And what, we, what we've kind of seen over the years is as as people have made their way, right? They bought their initial travel trailer. They had yep. bunk houses. Then they moved into a big fifth wheel. Uh, then they moved into a motorhome. And now people are coming back. They're like, you know, I yes. want to go smaller again. Yes. But their expectations aren't going away. Yep. And so with Cougar, you've got small light feet, light coaches with incredible big features in it. Yeah. No, I, I think you're kind of filling a filling a void or a gap. You know, that's because sure. like you say, that a lot of times the lighter weight units are also a little more. Um, you know, entry level, if you will, and that's not all the case. At all the case here, you're getting yep. that high end amenities in that smaller footprint. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, a couple things: heavy duty slam latch baggage doors. You can see the metal clasp here. They're going to lock in place. Uh, you've got the magnets, so they're out of the way. You don't have the struts. It's easy to get deep in there. And you can just flip them closed, and they latch. You can hear how solid that is. Yes full pass-through storage all the way across. We have our brains to the in-command system set up right here. Uh, so you can kind of see Keystone's patented color-coded wiring. This is an automotive standard that, that only Keystone does. Um, you know, that tells your technicians, hey, here's, here's everything. This is going to, this is going to a slide system. This is going here. So the color-coded wiring tells everybody what everything on this unit does. And then for peace of mind with our in-command system, I showed you the digital this dial right here will operate all your motor functions. So you do have a physical solid switch to put awnings in, to put slides out. So I you don't it. ever have the concerns of, okay, if I'm out camping and my phone won't communicate, screen goes out, you've got one, two, three ways to operate your coach, put those awnings in, put the slides in. So we give you the convenience, but we also give you the peace of mind back here as an override. I love the redundancy. Yeah, it's great. Very cool. And, and like you said, just the, the size you have in here, you know, it's, it's a nice big pass through. You can Absolutely. definitely fit some larger, you know, some larger chairs, grills, things like that in there. Absolutely. Cool.
What do we got next, Joe? All right, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna keep going down this way. And okay. again, oversized features, pluses, the friction hinge door, okay? I don't have a gas strut down here, which allows me to open this door all the way up. Okay. Um, you can feel when you swing this, mm -hmm. that it's got some tension in there. This is a higher end door, so if you have grandkids with you, if they're running in or out, guess what? You're not gonna slam fingers. You get some wind, you're down on the beach and that wind starts blowing and it's not gonna slam your coach. Yep. Upgraded door as well on your Cougar 22 MLS. And then this is something that just goes all over is the solid steps. They fold yeah. out, you've got the adjustable feet here. So no matter your terrain, you get a good solid step. It goes down a lot of times with the rollouts as you go up and down here, you're rocking the coach, you're pulling it back and forth. These steps are great for kids, for pets. Um, you know, there's there's so much stability in this. It just gives people a good peace of mind that, you know, I'm buying a quality product. Absolutely, and, and this is one of the innovations I really enjoy. Um, you know, it, again, I can run up and down these steps and you don't get that like flex or springboard right. feel. Super solid. And something that was brought to my attention as well and something that I, I really like is the fact it's pet friendly. You know, if you if you have dogs, they're able to walk right up there, and that's you know a little bit tougher on on your standard uh, RV steps. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Joe, walk me through if you will, or seeing right yeah. here the climate guard. Yep. So let's let's talk a little bit about climate guard on the Cougar. Sure. So what what climate guard has is full summer and winter protection. Right. We want to be out longer, start camping earlier, uh, and it encompasses everything that we have. So when you start with the underbody, we're a full heated and closed underbelly. Okay. So you're sealed up underneath. We also then do a layer of astrofoil insulation. So you've got your underbelly, then that secondary level of astrofoil insulation. We do a two inch ducted heat in there as well. So the difference okay. between ducted heat versus just having radiant heat is as soon as you turn your furnace on, I'm physically filling that warm dead air space with warm air, okay? Yes. So you're now, this particular unit's on a six inch I-beam frame. Before you get to your heat ducts in the floor, you're sitting on six inches of heated airspace, okay? Excellent. Another component while we're in the underbelly is every single tank, fresh grays and blacks, they're gonna have 12 volt electric heat pad standard as well. So Very cool. other protection, um, I'm from, from Northern Indiana. I know you're yep. from Michigan, yep. right? Yep. So you and I have both taken that trip in March oh, yes. from Northern Indiana down to Florida. Yep. And you can get into some inclement weather heading for spring break. So with the in-command system and the app on your, on your phone, if you've got water in your tanks and you're coming back from Florida and you're heading to Michigan and you start hitting a, a, a late spring snowstorm, guess what? Pop those tanks on, make sure your, your, your water stays protected with those 12 volt tank heaters. That's standard on every Cougar as well, okay? Uh, the other components of the Climate Guard in the summer, we talked about it, this little unit's gonna have a 15,000 BTU AC. Yes. You're gonna have astrofoil insulation in your slide box floor for further insulation. Okay. Um, and then ducted ACs, ducted heat in the floor. So a full, full package of protection against the elements. I love it. And again, you know, when we kind of talk about the boondocking and, you know, being able to go out and kind of explore anywhere, the thing I like about this is it lets you, it kind of opens up that, uh, that horizon, right? If you want to go skiing, yeah. You know, you can take this down, you can go skiing, you have the heat pads. Right. I love that. Right. The other thing that, that's really nice partner with this Climate Guard is, again, when you talk about the in-command system. Okay. Um, your HVAC components are included in that. So what's nice about it, you talk about going skiing, if you're going to go hunting in the fall. Yep. Um, you're going sightseeing in the summer when it's really cool or really hot. Okay. All you have to do is an hour before you get to your camper, Pop on your in-command on your app, turn the ACs on, cool the unit down before you ever get back. If you're up in your tree stand, right, turn the furnace on, get that, get the coach nice and comfortable for when you get back and, and you can be out all weather. It that's, works great. That's super cool. I love yep. that they have that on there. Cool. Anything else you want to hit on out here, Joe? Just a couple other things. We yeah, do please. E-rated e 10 ply tires standard. Okay. okay. So again, storage and towability, that's kind of the core of what Cougar is has always been about more mm -hmm. value for your money. Um, so E-rated 10 ply tires. We've got outlets here um, for the key. You can see the key TV. So outlets, TV hookups, power awning, and the rear uh, on the rear wall. Then uh, you've got some additional storage with a two inch receiver. Throw a bike rack on there. Throw a cargo rack on there. Coolers, whatever you want. Looks like we have a spare tire and a rear mounted ladder on there as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Walkable roof, walkable slides. Perfect. Get up there and clean stuff off. 
Well, Joe, thank you so much. Again, folks, this is the all new Keystone Cougar 22 MLS. If you want to get your hands on one of these, and I know you do, especially for the great price we're offering, debuting it here at the Ultimate RV Show, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094, type EZRV in the comments section, or you can call the number below that will lock in the price, as I mentioned, get you with one of our show specialists so you can get your hands on this beautiful Cougar 22 MLS. Joe, thank you. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. At Camping World, we've always been about helping you turn an experience into a moment and a moment into a memory. And we want to continue doing that just with a little more power. Chart the uncharted on a mini bike or go-kart. Explore the unexplored on a golf cart, UTV, or ATV. Coleman Power Sports, now available at Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Back to the Ultimate RV Show. Elise and Chris here. It's day three. It's Friday. We're feeling good. Chris, I also got to uh, let you know something. Sure. I'm glad I now know a different definition of the word cougar. Oh, okay. Thanks to Ian. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he did a good job explaining the right way, didn't he? <laughs> yes. But um, you know what's funny is when I think of RVs, <laughs> when I think of RVs, I think yeah. of the ones that look like trucks that you drive. Yeah. So, uh, the Class you, C's. Can you kind of explain that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's funny you mentioned that. Class C's, that's what people think of when they think of RV. They got the bunk over the cab. You know, they're probably the most versatile, easiest RV to get out there and see America the safest way possible. And you know what? As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go into a section where we're going to highlight some Class C's. Okay. I know you liked that little one over there. Mm -hmm. Ian's, size. Yes, Ian. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the least <laughs> size. Ian's going to show you that one. But right now, because it is the Ultimate RV Show, oh. we got the Ultimate Deals. Boss Man just told me the next five people who put in a lead on a new Class C, text Easy RV 32094. Drop me a comment. Easy RV down below. 866-853-3510. The next five people right now. They give me a lead on a new Class C. We're going to give you an additional five grand off the price of that new Class you C. You just do that? We I, just, I did just did that. I just did that. Boss man just did that. I didn't do that. <laughs> Chris would not be here in 10 seconds after this if Chris did that. That's the boss man That's right an there. So deal. you got to get on it right now. It takes Easy RV right now to 32094. That 5000 bucks is going to go quick. So if you got it, if you got fast fingers, lightning tips, get on it so you can get that five grand off that new Class C for the next five leads. It's the ultimate RV show. Anything clearly can happen here. Yeah. So uh, now, you know, you were talking about taking on the road, dancing with the stars. Is that the show that's you like? That's right. Because, you know, when I like to go on the road. I got to keep my entertainment coming with me. I got to keep up with, you know, Days with the Stars. Well, the good thing is we're going right into a segment where we're talking about satellites. So 
Right here at the Ultimate RB Show, we're going to find out the best way to get Dancing with the Stars with some info on satellites. Hey everybody, welcome once again to the ultimate campsite here for the Ultimate RV Show. You know, right now we're going to talk about entertainment. Got my buddy David T joining me again. David, a lot of times when you disconnect, I just, we got so many people viewing the Ultimate RV Show right now, yeah. finding the perfect RV for them. They want to get out, they want to disconnect, but whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. I still want to catch some of my programming. This is where this stuff comes in. Now, if you're interested in any of these products at the Ultimate Camp site, you can just comment CAMP. You can also text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. David, please tell me, what is this giant thing and how do I get it? Well, here at the Ultimate Camp site, mm -hmm. you've got your Traveler satellite. Okay. All right, so you can get that in DirecTV or DISH. We have right. the DISH model here, as, as you can see. The Traveler satellite is the number one. If you're stationary and you want to get every single TV with programs, you want to have everybody watching something different, sure. the Traveler Sally is what you're looking for. So if I got a nice big Class A or Class C, I got four TVs, this is the one I want to go with. Yeah. Okay, all right. Bigger, better, more power. Oh, got oh, it. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right. This is what you go for. <laughs> this will get you everything you need. You can see all of it, the viewing you want. Mm -hmm. You don't have to change the channel if somebody else is wanting to watch something. Sure. Um, this thing folds right down to the roof, so there's no worries about that. That was going to be my question, because it looks pretty. Yeah, you don't want to go down the road with this up. It will stow away. Now, is there any type of system or any type of warning that if I take off and I forget that it's up there, will I get a notification? Uh, typically, no. You actually will have to hit the buttons and stuff, but when you're cutting your yeah. TV off and everything you shut down, it will It'll go down. Away. You'll okay. go through the process. When you're cutting your TV off... Because I notice it rotates. It's on that hard, solid yeah. mount. When okay. you first cut on, it'll come up and it's going to start searching. So it'll auto-find the signal. Yeah, when you're connected with your receiver, and that's the mm -hmm. simplest thing. We're going to uh, install this for you. Right. Yeah, we're, you're going to want us to do that. We'll install it. You tell us how many TVs we're going to give you a price for that, how many areas want to set up, we'll get you get you going. Now, let's say I got a travel trailer, I got one or two monitors, one or two receivers I want to take. Tell me about these right here. What are these? Well, let me tell you about this actually. This is the T4. Okay. So we do have a, a model that you can put on a travel trailer, but this mm -hmm. will be what you use for more for a motorhome. Okay. A reason why, these are in motion. Okay, ah, so in motion. Okay. Yes. Now so what so is, you see the benefit from that to this? Yes. You can only yeah, work yeah. stationary. It's got to fold up for, for go. Right. These guys, they're going to keep tracking that satellite through the sky. So when you say in motion, explain to me about that. What is in motion? Exactly. You're inside your RV. You know, I'm driving, driving down the you road. Want the kids not to be running around in the RV. You right. Want them belted down. Okay. But you got to keep them entertained, right? Right. Or even the wife wants something to watch versus watching you drive because she can, you know, I, so I can imagine in, you drive pretty crazy. A little bit, a little bit, a <laughs> little, bit, little bit. There's a couple of states you can't go back into. Yeah, so what you're saying is the kids can watch TV while I'm driving? Yes. All right. So let's talk about this one right here, David. Let's do so. Same that? thing? White and black. Same no, these thing, actually come thing. in white yeah. and black. You got to color coordinate. You got to yeah. color coordinate. You oh, got, got to. You got ACs or whatever to match it. Make it all match. So, of course, we got it in white and black. But again, um, you can have a single receiver or a secondary receiver. Okay. So, you can have at least two receivers hooked up. The secondary receiver is going to be basically the one that's, um, that just watches whatever satellite is looking at in the sky. So, sure. the big thing with satellites, remember, you've got satellites up there and they're going to have different programming on each one. Right. So, it's got to move between them. Right. Back and forth. So, whichever you're tracking, let's see if you're tracking this one. This guy's going to watch it, and Got the person it. in the back will just pick one of those channels that's on that same lineup. Hopefully you know a little bit more now about some satellites and what's going to be right for your motorhome. If you want one of these, let me tell you, with the Ultimate RV Show, Ultimate Campsite, Ultimate Discounts, regular price on these right here. These are the road trips. You are looking at $1,499, but promo price during Ultimate RV Show, $1,329.97. Good Sam members, yes, you save even more, $1,299.97 to enjoy entertainment on the road in motion wherever you go. You want the hard mounted, you want to get this one right here. Now, this is the T1000, is that what it's called? Isn't that the Terminator? Yeah. T1000. Right. <laughs> the price on this one, $1,899. Promo price, $1,471.54. Good Sam members, $13.97.97. Now, if you want to take advantage of those discount prices, it's only during the Ultimate RV Show. Message us. Leave a comment down below. Camp. Or text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. Specials you're only going to get during the Ultimate RV Show.
And here we are inside the Sunseeker 2400B. I'm Ian Baker. I am joined by John Pagano. And we're going to take you through this beautiful couples model. It's on the Mercedes chassis, a little bit higher end. So if you're looking for something, you know, you kind of want to take a step above, that's where the Sunseeker 2400B is going to come in. And folks, if you're interested in this Sunseeker, another Sunseeker, what you're going to want to do is text EZRV to 32094. That will get you in touch with one of our show specialists. We'll be able to show you over 25,000 products and find the Sunseeker that is closest to you so you can go take a look at it for yourself or even schedule a virtual visit so you don't even have to leave your home and we can show you the exact model that you will be getting. John, my friend, please take us through this beauty. Ian, thank you very much. My name is John Pagano with Forest River and welcome to the Ultimate RV Show. Today we're going to take a look at the Sunseeker NBS and specifically this 2400B, a beautiful 25 foot diesel motorhome uh, that can get up and go anywhere you want to go for all of your camping or roaming needs. Uh, as Ian alluded to, this is a little bit higher end uh, in terms of the uh, comparing it to some of our gas motorhomes. And this is really for the roamer, uh, that, that motorhome owner that really wants to get out and see all of this great country mm -hmm. uh, and or many other great countries if you want to cross borders. So yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, unique layout, which we're going to get into in a second, but I want to start with the engine first. And one of the sure. big changes in the 2021 excuse me, 2020 and 2021 model year, was we're building on a new Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Uh, it's still a 3.0 liter diesel engine. It's gone from a six to a seven speed. Uh, it has 188 horsepower, which gives you that fuel efficiency, mm -hmm. but it has torque of 325. So if you really want to get on the highways and accelerate, uh, or get up and down hills and undulated areas, much like we're in right now. Yeah. Uh, this really is the motorhome for you. And, and that's what I, I really like, John. When you when you talk about uh, you know a little bit better fuel economy on the Mercedes, mm -hmm. but you know you still have you still have that power, like you said, to be able to to get up the hills. And I love the changes they've made. You yeah. know, you get the nice big dash there. I'm sure I'll, I'll let you cover some of the features yeah. on it, but man, they have done a lot. Uh, on the upgraded chassis. Yeah, and there's not, there's not much I have to say. You, you can look at this, and if you own any vehicle that was made in the last five or six years, you can probably identify most of these features. We'll run through them very quickly. But first and foremost, which hits you right in the face, is this 10-inch, what Mercedes is calling the M-Bucks system with Hey Mercedes technology. Yeah. It is a touchscreen. You have toggle switches on the actual smart steering wheel itself, or you could simply say, Hey Mercedes, and it will launch uh, so you can control everything through voice command. A couple of safety features that Mercedes has added that are super, super important. I'm really excited about, and I'm gonna read off this list. There's so many I can't there's a, remember. There's a ton, I completely understand. Uh, we've, gone for, we've gone to six airbags in the cab right here, which is obviously a great safety feature uh, for anybody that's gonna do a lot of driving. We have new rain sensors. So what that means is you're automatically gonna have your windshield wipers turn on when, when it starts raining, and it's gonna stay at the level that that rain is actually coming down. So if it's, it's pouring down rain, it's gonna go to the highest level. Uh, if it starts to lighten up, it's gonna sense that so you're not toggling back and forth between low and high, which I love that feature. Mm -hmm. You've got new headlamp assistance. So if you're a motorhomer that likes to drive at night, you don't have to do the same thing with your high beams. It's automatically going to turn on. If you turn this on, it's automatically going to be on. When it senses a car coming towards it, it's automatically going to turn those off. And as soon as it passes, they'll automatically turn back on. So very a cool. really, really cool feature. You've got adaptive cruise control, which I think everybody is pretty familiar with at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, once you have it, you can't go back. Yeah. You set the cruise at whatever miles per hour you want to be at. Say you're cruising at 65 miles an hour. It will keep you a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you. As soon as that vehicle gets out of the way or if you'd like to pass it'll get you right back to that 65 miles an hour i love this feature it, and it's, especially in a motorhome yeah. you know what really like you say this is built to be a roamer you're going to be doing some traveling and you know sometimes just playing with the speed can be a pain so like you said just put it on and you can literally just kick back and relax you can and you can also set the distance so if you're somebody that likes to get a little bit closer to the vehicle <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's me that's not always recommended <laughs> you can set uh, there's three different settings for close middle and and further away uh, but a great great feature moving on from that you've got new attention uh, assist which this motor oh, this chassis actually can tell you if you're not paying attention so uh, if you're kind of dozing off it's going to beep at you and it's going to slow down uh, and alert you that um, you need to put your hands on the wheel. It actually gives you a little coffee symbol on the dash to tell you that you need to wake up and pay attention. Which, which I think that in conjunction with the adaptive cruise, right? I think they kind of go hand in hand because like I said, you can kick back and relax, 
but you know you don't want to you don't want to get tired you don't want to be falling asleep so having the warning letting you know uh for me is is cool you know i love yeah. that they did it i love that too with that you've got active um, distance assist you've got three stage active braking and then you've got lane detection assist which essentially tells you if you're going in and out of your lane so really coupling all of those things together some really really great safety features that yes. would be pretty much standard on any automotive vehicle but when you get into motorhomes uh, they aren't necessarily, but they are on this chassis. So a really Love great it. thing. One other thing that we, Forest River, actually add to this chassis, you mm -hmm. can see these black circles up in the A-pillars. Oh yeah. Those are actually your uh, blind spot monitoring system. So you have okay. sensors on the back of the motorhome. If you have a vehicle that is in your blind spot, 20 feet behind the motorhome, up to 10 feet in front of that sensor, it's going to alert you visually by these things, these LED lights flashing. If you have the blinker on, it's gonna be visually and audibly, just like it would be in most cars that have been built in the last five years. So another great I safety feature that. that is specific to the Sunseeker MBS uh, that is not actually done by Mercedes. So super, super cool right there. Absolutely. Uh, in, in summation here, one of the last things I'll talk about with this chassis, even though there's a ton of things to talk about <laughs> is, Mercedes now has added pow six-way power, swivel, and heated seats. So wow. these can swivel, they're six-way power. You can see on the door there that it actually has the power switches to be able to, to power this seat uh, forward and backward, recline, and they are heated as well. So a really cool feature this year for us. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, a ton of, ton of things with the Mercedes yeah. chassis. I love... Oh, there it is. Hey, Mercedes is talking to yeah. us. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I love uh, you know the the chassis changes. John, why don't you hit us on on some of the the floor plan, some of the features here inside the Sunseeker. Sure. Real quickly before we move back there. Oh yes, yeah, sure. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it's, I just get so excited about talking about this stuff. I go over on time here, but you got you got your traditional bunk here. I just want everyone to know that you can do what we call a low profile. Trekker front cap, which is a B-plus style front cap, meaning you would get an entertainment center here and no overhang. You'd still get that molded fiberglass front cap with the wraparound sides, but this would look like a centered TV with side cabinets. There'd be no bunk area. Sure. A lot of our couples that don't have yep. uh, kids anymore in the house yep. like to have that, and that is available on any Sunseeker MBS floor plan. So, okay. Uh, getting into the actual floor plan itself, we have this great U-shaped dinette here. Uh, you have an optional 12 volt theater seat recliners that can go in place of this. So again, a lot of those couples that don't need this for sleeping space can option that, that power theater seat. She's still talking to us, sorry about that. <laughs> um, and uh, it's a really comfortable way to motor home um, and you can even travel in style while going down the road because they do have seat belts in those as well. Okay. And you do have a couple of seat belts in this dinette. So, so one of the things I really like about this, John, is that makes the, the 2400 MB here very versatile. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if, if you have people that are traveling with you, you have the dinette. So everyone can kind of sit there and have a meal together. Yep. You have a place for you know the family to hang out. You have sleeping here, you have sleeping here, or if it's just a couple, you can con completely convert it for two people. Correct. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. That's a great point. And thanks for interjecting with that. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice here we have our 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, again, a compressor-based refrigerator with great interior space. Uh, the alternative that some of our competitors use is the two-way or uh, air compressor refrigerator, which means you have outside ventilation. Uh, this has interior ve ventilation, so you don't have an exterior vent. Runs solely off of 12-volt power. I love this refrigerator. Yeah. A great, great uh, feedback. We've been using this now for two model years. We love it. Look down below. You've noticed we've eliminated a, a feature that a lot of motorhomes have. And we've eliminated the oven and now we have a 1.3 cubic foot convection microwave oven. This allows for more space in the kitchen because you would tip typically have your microwave up top and your oven down below. So it gives you about 50% storage space in the kitchen. Yeah. And now you can do all of your cooking in one place. The one thing we've noticed with uh, a lot of class C ovens is they just don't have a lot of space. It's about three inches above the grate. So it's really hard to fit anything in there except maybe a pizza or biscuits. This allows sure. you to cook way more things in it. So we're really excited about that feature as well. Yeah. Uh, looking back to the bedroom here, you have a full queen walk around bed. Um, th plenty of windows. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're camping in a really scenic area, I love this bedroom setup. And we've switched this from previous models when we switched the old, to the old Mercedes chassis to the new. This used to be a much larger storage space. We thin that up a little bit to be your pantry for the kitchen. Okay. And now you have this huge deep closet in the back. Oh, that is awesome. With storage down below as well. 
So a really great usage of space. I love the change in this layout because uh, it really gives separation in between bedroom and kitchen in a 25 foot motorhome. And also a very spacious bathroom, side aisle bathroom here. Oh yeah, look at that. Where you've got your toilet, you've got your sink and your shower all in one space. And, and John, I'm noticing something else. Is that a water heater bypass we have right there? It is a water be heater by bypass. Excuse awesome. Me. Thank you. Yeah. So for those of you that are living in, in colder climates, you can easily winterize this coach. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm from the Midwest. It's one of those things that I have to look for. Absolutely. You know, I'm trying to make life easy. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so with nothing else really to touch on inside, unless you have any specific questions, let's, the, let's touch on the outside. Yeah. The only thing I did want to say, John, is something that I, I really like mm -hmm. that you guys have done is uh, the color you have in here. Like you have a nice oh, light great. wood, so it seems bright, but you have kind of some dark accents that I think you do a really great job of pulling yeah. it all together between the two-toned wood, the color you have on the dinette, which as you will see, you have the, the uh, piping that is a different color as well, and the poles are a little bit darker. So everything just flows very well, all comes together. I see you have the MCD blackout shades there yeah. as well. Um, again, just it has high-end amenities and a high-end look here inside. I appreciate you saying that. And real quickly, just to, to kind of expand on that, this is our Vermont oak interior. It's our lighter wood. We also have a darker wood that's called black diamond walnut. Uh, then we have three interior uh, leather choices that you can choose to pair with those. All of those are, of course, online at forestriverinc.com uh, if you need to check those out. Excellent. Yeah, there you have it, folks. And again, yeah, before we head outside, I just want to remind you, if you're interested in this Sunseeker or you do want to see some of the different uh, color variations and see what is near you, what you'll want to do is just text EZRV to 32094. You can shop our inventory of over 25,000 units we have on the ground. And again, folks, that'll instantly... But when you text that, it will lock in the price of this Sunseeker. So whether you want this one or a different one, it's worth just doing it to lock in that price. That will get you in touch with one of our show specialists, and we can guide you to the nearest one, so that way you can see exactly what you're getting and make sure you're getting the interior colors you want. John, let's go check out the let's outside, my outside. friend. I'll follow you. Yeah. I love this exterior, by the way. It's a great paint job. Yeah. This, is, this was new for our 2020 model year. We have two really exciting paint jobs. Again, both of them are a little more contemporary, completely different from our gas options. Yes. Uh, this looks really sleek and really cool. Yeah, I love it sure it. does. So uh, as Ian just mentioned, this is a full body paint option. You can get a high gloss gel coat finish with, with graphics. Uh, most of the inventory you're going to see out there does have this full body paint. Typically, this buyer likes to have a full body paint on it, Yep. just like this one is. But, yeah. Um, Expanding on, on the exterior of the motorhome, we still do a molded fiberglass front cap, whether you do that Trekker low profile front cap or the standard uh, Class C cap with the, with the wraparound sides. Again, the benefit to that is if you have forward facing seams, those can be forced outward over time and it could be a point of leakage. Having those sideways wraparound seams ensure that you're gonna have a nice secure cap uh, for the length of owning this motorhome. You still have side view and backup cameras on this motorhome. Again, it gives you a full 360 view when you're going down the road. Mm -hmm. A big concern from our customers is visibility. You actually have less blind spots on this motorhome than you'll typically have on most vehicles. Uh, so these do turn on when you turn your blinker on or you can turn them on manually. Your rear view camera also can be turned on manually or it turns on as soon as you put it in reverse. So uh, you can see what's behind you while you're going down the road up to four lanes and directly down on your hitch. When you put it into reverse, you do get the reverse lines, so you can actually see you know, what you're backing into. Very point. cool, very cool. Other cool features, um, you do have an exterior television here on your MBS. <clears throat> on this particular floor plan, it's 28 inches. On other floor plans, it could be as large as, as 32 inches. Um, again, everybody loves to watch TV while they're outside. Underneath their electric awning with LED lights and speakers, which is connected to your interior entertainment system. So a great place to entertain uh, if that's something you're into, if it's just you and the hubby and you want to sit out here and watch a movie, you can do that too. Very cool. John, is there any features you want to hit? Let's look, we're running out of time. Anything else you want to hit real quick before we wrap it up? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to really quickly point out, you can see the sensor for the blind spot monitoring system that I, I talked about earlier. So this okay. is something you certainly want to look for, folks, if you're, if you're looking at a Sunseeker MBS. Um, a couple other small things, I shouldn't say small, but things that we want to cover very quickly. You do have valve extensions on your, on your rear wheels here, so uh, you have access to your interior and your exterior wheel, if you, if, or tire, excuse me, if you're getting some low tire pressure readings. You can easily uh, air those, those tires up. 
This does have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Okay. So a 25-foot motorhome with a one-piece fiberglass roof. This does have super light composite substrates. And remember that that will give you complete water resistance, so it greatly reduces the chance for delamination. A lot of our competitor, competitors use a product, uh, use Luon, which is wood, which can hold water, and that can cause a bubbling effect, which can, again, cause delamination down the road. So That's a amazing. A couple of uh, construction features I just want to talk about real quick. Wonderful, wonderful. John, I'm sure there's so much more we could <laughs> talk about on here. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Folks, if you're interested in this Sunseeker or a different Sunseeker, you want to get more information, you want to lock in the price on this one, simply text EZRV to 32094. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Ian, I appreciate it. Thank you. The RV industry is in my blood. I've grown up with it all my life. East to West was founded um, really to fill a void in the marketplace. We kind of started from nothing. We started from scratch and I'm proud. It's a team, it's a family. East to West RVs, they're quality built. I would venture to say it's the best stick and tin unit that's out there. RVing is a great adventure. You'll come back with a lot of stories every time you go. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Well, those five leads sure went fast. You know, when you think about <laughs> Ultimate RV Show, Ultimate RV Show pricing, and you're dealing with Class Cs, I mean, anything can happen. Anything can happen. And yes, uh, you know, you, 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 we were talking just a minute ago about how great the Class Cs are, how wonderful it is to get out and see the country the safest way possible. And Elise was like, how long do you think it's going to be before, oh, hey guys, those leads are gone. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, okay. They were well, going instantaneously. Guess we don't have to talk about it now, but thank you so much for tuning in and sending in the leads. Now, Ultimate RV Show pricing is going on right now, but these prices are only going to last through Sunday. So if you've been thinking about making the jump and you're on the fence, get off the fence. Off. Now's the time to go. What do they text? Easy RV to 32094. Or give us a call, 866 853 3510. Or just drop us a little comment down below, Easy RV. Right now, we're in the middle of seeing some beautiful class C's. My buddy Ian Baker is out yeah. there. Now, easiest way to see America, safest way to see America. True. And class C's are way easier to drive than you think. I know you like that uh, Forester. I'm a fan. Yeah. It's real pretty. I'm, I'm a big fan of that Forester, too. So Ian's got a friend with name him on this on one. The license plate, though. At least, well, it's at least size. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Put my name on license. Yeah. Plate. So, yeah. if you want to check out the brand new Forza LE 255 1 DSF, Ian Baker's got it for you right now. All right, folks, and here we are at the Forester LE 2551, and I have a special guest today. I am joined by John, and folks, we're going to go over the Forester, and remember, we are here at the Ultimate RV Show, and this is one of the easiest ways to buy an RV. Simply text EZRV to 32094. John, my friend, tell me all about the 2551. Ian, thank you very much. I appreciate it. My name is John Pagano with Forest River, and welcome to the Ultimate RV Show. We're taking a look now at the Forrester LE product and specifically this 2551. This is a dual slide motorhome, excuse me, that measures 29 feet, two inches long and has a very unique interior layout with a complete flush floor design. Now we're gonna get in the inside in a second, but before we do, I wanna take a look at some of the exterior features that make this motorhome so great. So for one, and I'll just cross paths here with yeah, you. Yeah, you're good, please do. When you're searching for a motorhome, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of driving, you really wanna have a molded fiberglass front cap. And more important than that is having sideways and under-facing seams. The reason for that, Ian, is because wind going down the road, debris, moisture, mm -hmm. if you have seams on the front of this cap, they can be forced outward over time, and then you have a point of leakage problem. Absolutely. Maybe a year down the road, two years down the road. If you have a wraparound uh, front cap, you're not going to have that issue. Yep. Very, very important. In addition to that, we put full fiberglass insulation behind this cap to keep the inside of that motorhome nice and cool on those hot summer days. Perfect. In addition to that, close this door really quick. Sure. So you can see this full sidewall. This full vacuum bonded sidewall has a super light fiberglass composite substrate. The importance of that feature is that it's completely water, mold, and mildew resistant. Okay. 
So it greatly reduces the, the chance for delamination, uh, again, in the lifetime of owning this motorhome. A lot of our competitors will use Luon, which is a wood product. When bonding that wall together, Luon can hold water. Mm -hmm. uh, if it does that, you have a chance of a bubbling effect. You have a chance of delamination uh, sometime owning this motorhome. Secondly, you have an R value of two in that uh, fiberglass substrate product. Okay. So on a two inch thick sidewall, which we have on our Forester LE, you have an R value of nine and a half. If you're a competitor that doesn't use this product in your sidewall, you're gonna have an R value of seven and a half. So it gives you a lot more insulation for winter and for summer days. Very, John, very important. John, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's lighter weight too, right? Absolutely it, lighter weight. It's a better sound barrier. Yep. Uh, so you're gonna, if you have your generator on or if you're going down the road, it's gonna be much quieter inside the motorhome. Thank you Excellent. for bringing that up. Yeah, I well, it's, it. it's an important thing when you're looking at motorhomes, you know, because you, you have a carrying capacity, you wanna make sure you can fill them up, you know, as, as much as you want, especially if you're gonna be towing something on there. Absolutely. So anytime you can save weight, it's a huge deal. Absolutely. Uh, another great feature to this motorhome, which you can't see unfortunately here on the ground level, uh, but we do have a rear ladder that you could do that yourself if you check this out in person, a one-piece crown fiberglass roof. I can't stress the importance of this feature. You have a one-piece material membrane that's stretched over the entire roof of this motorhome. It's much thicker than the alternative, which is a TPO roof, which is a thin vinyl material. So less maintenance required. You don't have to treat it with any kind of chemicals, mm -hmm. and it's much more durable, meaning if you had uh, hail, if you had a bird up there, if, you have, if you're walking on there and you have a rock in your boot, if you have the alternative material, the TPO material, you could easily cut into that material, which again is a point of leakage at some time owning this motorhome. Sure. Having a one-piece fiberglass roof is really the way to go. Absolutely. And, and John, I'm actually glad that you brought up you know, being able to come out and see it for yourself because we have a virtual show here today. Mm -hmm. But if folks want to come check it out, and I highly recommend you to do it, simply text EZRV to 32094 and that'll get you in touch with the show specialist and they can help guide you and direct you to the nearest dealership so you can go see the product for yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'd love that. Uh, what we're standing right in front of too is an electric, full electric awning. All of our Forester LEs have that feature, including an LED light that runs the length of that awning. And if you'll notice, our integrated speakers, which is tied into our interior entertainment system, which we'll talk about when we get on the inside of the motorhome, is actually integrated into this awning. So a really cool feature uh, sometimes gets overlooked in the process because these are <laughs> usually retracted in. Uh, so we retract it out a little bit. This does retract out to about eight feet. Right now, we only have it at about a foot and a half. Really well, cool feature. And John, the other thing that you know I really like about this awning is how easy it is to adjust. Correct. You know, when you're looking at these awnings, sometimes you'll have pins and things that get in the way. They can be a little tough. You know, pinching fingers. With this one, it's just an easy pull. Yep. Fully extended. Those speakers are playing down on your campsite rather than blasting yep. out at your neighbors right where you want it. So yeah, definitely a lot of features built into an awning. And as you said. Something that's oftentimes just overlooked. It is, and, and thanks for bringing it up too. Once it is fully extended, even in that down position, you can roll it in from the down position without having to readjust it. Yes. So if you have a quick storm rolling in, you don't have to worry about messing with all of those different steps to be able to roll the actual awning. And so I yeah. love this awning. Yes, sir. It's a great feature. We're actually gonna move to the rear of the motorhome right now. And okay. If you, if you can kind of pan up on this slide, you can see at this Forester LE price point, which is kind of a rare feature at this price point, we offer a full um, slide topper cover on every single slide that we offer. Now, the great benefit to this, obviously, is it keeps water uh, off of the top of the slide, which over time, obviously, can again, it could be a point of leakage issue if you mm -hmm. don't have that slide topper on the top of that roof. Yep. But more importantly for me, debris gets caught on the top of that. Yes. So you have seals all the way around this slide that if the slide is all the way out or all the way in, they catch to cause compression, which keeps moisture uh, outside, obviously out of the outside of your motor. <laughs> right, right, uh, where you want it. We don't want it inside. We don't want it inside. <laughs> we want everything to be on the outside. So all of that debris that is caught on the top of this slide will automatically roll off the slide uh, topper as the slide rolls in. So a really, really great feature. One of those things that also gets overlooked in the buying yes. process. Yes. And we have it standard on every Forrester LE product and especially on this 2551 that we're highlighting today. And, and that is a big deal, um, you know, because again, especially like you said, this price point, having it standard, a lot of times that's an option. And I love when manufacturers take great features like that, something that's very functional and make it standard. Because, you know, it, if you decide that you want to trade in in four, five, six years, you're going to get the full value back out of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really great point. We're going to now move to the back of the motorhome before we go inside. So if you'll follow me around here, 
Take a look at this ladder that is also a standard feature that is backed uh, into this back wall so you can easily walk up in your fully walkable fiberglass roof. Okay. But there's a couple other things I want to point out on the back of this motorhome and they're actually down low here. One is your class four hitch right here actually has the towing capacity of 7,500 pounds. So basically any wow. vehicle you want to tow, you can tow behind this Forester LE. We have the seven pin connector as well to be able to uh, hook up to the electronics of, the, of your tow vehicle or your boat or your trailer. Yeah. So most of our competitors, especially at this price point, are at 5,000 pounds. Yep. We've upgraded the hitch to 7,500 pounds. Um, I don't know if you have any questions about that. But yeah, that's no, that's, I, I like that you bring that up because that is a big deal. Because a lot of times with the Class C, I mean, even though this one is a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter, right? It's kind of that in-between mm -hmm. stage. And while you can absolutely still drive it around, uh, a lot of people do want that extra vehicle, you know, the, the towed behind them. And right. sometimes it just doesn't have the weight capacity at that 5,000. It's right at that, right. you know, that border, especially if, you know, you're uh, not having all four wheels down. So having the 7,500 pounds is great. Absolutely. Very well said. Um, secondly, back here, if you look, if you'll pan all the way up here and look at this rear view brake light, you'll notice the little black square in there, and that's actually your rear view camera. Uh, and we call this our eagle eye technology. Essentially what it allows you to do is while, while you're driving down the road, you can see everything that's behind you up to four lanes wide and as back as the, far, far back as the human eye can see, but you can also see directly down on your hitch here. So okay. a, a wide range, more than the human eye can see, uh, of spectrum of visibility while you're driving. Additionally, that works if you put the motorhome in reverse, you're going to have the uh, reverse lines to tell you how close you are to something to help obviously in your reverse mode. And then you have also, also you have side view cameras, which we unfortunately missed, which we can take a look at as we enter the motorhome, that also turn on when you turn your blinkers on or you can put them on manually. So you have a full 360 view of this motorhome. I talk to people all the time at Chosey and that are really uh, just scared of length sometimes in motorhomes. Yes. Now this is 29 feet, like you said, it's an intermediate length. Mm -hmm. But if you go to 32 feet or 23 feet, you're gonna have the same 360 view on any of our Forester LE floor plans. Love it. And it's solely based on this feature right here, which is great. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. So uh, with nothing else on the exterior of the motorhome, we're yeah. actually going to take a look inside. So Perfect. And, and remember, folks, if, if you're interested in the Forrester LE, whether it's this floor plan or another floor plan, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. That way we can get you in touch with a show specialist. And as I mentioned, be able to show you exactly the RV that will be near you on a lot. So you know exactly what you're getting, all the options and everything. Absolutely. Before we head inside, I just want to I just want to show you where these side view cameras are. They're actually mounted down here on the sidewall. Okay. Sometimes that can get missed. We do that specifically so you don't have a blind spot of this awning on the passenger side of the motor. Okay. Home. Okay. Another great thing to point out, a lot of our competitors, if they even do a side view camera, put it on the mirror. They're gonna put it on the mirror, and then you have actually have a blind spot on your passenger side mm. when you put that camera on. Oh, good point. Okay. Heading inside the, the door here. Notice we have the gas strut on here, so it stays at 90 degrees. Nice and convenient if you have things in your hand. You don't have to worry about it slamming against the side of the motorhome. Yeah. And if we could quickly just get a spanning view of this floor plan, I'd kind of like to show everybody the unique layout of this 2551 Forester LE. And how open it is. Very open, specifically the fact that we've, we've reversed typically where people put the sofa and the dinette to kind of give you a mid-entertainment area. Yeah. The TV being uh, here right in the middle of the motorhome, which I particularly love. I do too. Uh, just gives it a really, really cool flow. So, yeah. Uh, especially because, you know, most people in this motorhome are going to be anywhere from four to six people and you can really kind of spread out throughout this motorhome. Well, another thing I love about it, John, is just the countertop space Great you countertop get here. Space, I mean, yeah. you have, you know, the entertainment, you have a ton of prep space. And like you said, if you have, you know, four or five people in here, because the slide out, you can still easily navigate around each other. And when the slide is in, you still get a full walkway back to the bathroom. Perfect. Absolutely. Well said. Okay, so we'll start up front here. This is built on the brand new Ford E450. This is the 7.3 liter V8 engine that Ford has just introduced in the 2021 chassis model year. Uh, gives you a little more horsepower and torque and it's gone from a V10 to a V8. I've driven this in many times. Mm -hmm. The power and torque in this engine versus the older Ford E450 is very, very noticeable. Also a, uh, a much tighter suspension. That's when we great. talk about suspension, um, it, it's it's important to, to note that 
the the sway bar has been upgraded on this. Okay. Uh, from from the older Ford E450. Okay. Um, and that that really helps with reducing that wind wash when going down the road. Excellent. When you look up top here, this is the whole reason Classies exist. Is this bunk area <laughs> right here? That's right. We cut this out to be 60 by 80 inches. So this is a full queen size bed, meaning your fitted sheets that you buy at any retailer are going to fit this. You don't need to buy specific sheets to fit a you know, a, a bed that may not be a 60 by 80. Mm -hmm. So you can go to Walmart, Target, anywhere you buy sheets and they'll actually fit here. We give you two cubby holes uh, for the kids stuff that also have power sources in it. So a great space up here. You get a ladder uh, to be able to get up there for safety, although kids love to just jump up off the dinette usually, but we do <laughs> give you a ladder. And my favorite thing about our bunk setup is we actually give you an AC duct on the other side of the privacy curtain here. Many manufacturers will stop that back here. So when the kids are up here with the privacy curtain closed, you're not getting any kind of air conditioning into this space. So really, really important feature uh, in the way that we build this motorhome. Love it. Well, John, let's let's move into the kind of kitchen, main living area. Why don't you kind of hit some of these for me? Because as I said, I love the big countertop. I love the fact that right across from the sofa, sure. you have the TV, you have uh, some extra seats here, uh, or extra seat belts, you know, Correct. so that way you can ride legally. Yeah storage behind it, storage all the way across the yep. top. Just a ton of storage in this floor plan overall. There is, and I, I, I appreciate you bringing it up. There is, and we really pride ourselves on storage. If you look around this, even behind that TV that pulls out, you've got storage. So there's storage galore. We've got a, a trap door here that if you can see this, that actually goes out to your exterior storage to easily grab things. Uh, if you run out of storage on the inside here, which would be really hard to do. <laughs> Six interior seat belts. This floor plan can sleep anywhere from seven to eight, uh, depending on how large or how small the children are at the time when you're camping. Sure. Uh, a couple other great features here on the inside. This 10 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor based refrigerator. So what that means is it runs directly off of your house batteries. Uh, compressor based meaning it runs much like a residential fridge would run. It's completely vented on the inside of the motorhome, so no vents on the outside, which if you go back and review the video, you'll see that there's no vent uh, right here by the entry door, meaning that's, that's just one more place where bugs or moisture or debris can get inside this. Uh, if you look inside of it, if you can kind of get around here, you can see that this is laid out like a residential refrigerator, meaning it has great usage of space. A vent or a uh, two-way fridge or a, um, excuse me, a gas absorption fridge has ventilation that comes out to about where my hand is. So it leaves a really awkward usage of space inside the refrigerator. So we're super excited about this fridge. And, and John, yeah, it, it's an excellent fridge. Like I say, we have a ton of space back here. It looks like we have a corner bed on a slide, bathroom in the back. I know we could talk about it for hours. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are out of time, guys. But this is a, an excellent floor plan. Look at the Forester 2551. Uh, as you mentioned, for the price point, you just have a ton of features in this RV. Folks, if you're interested, make sure you text EZRV to 32094. John, thanks again for joining Ian, me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. your time. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Right now, it is all about grilling. I'm gonna show you two grills with my friend, Miss Kaylin over here. She trusted me on the grill to get her some dogs. Now, if you're interested in any of these products, just drop us a comment down below. Camp, or text CAMP to 32094. Give us a call, 866-235-8751. All right, uh, the first one I wanna show you over here. Love these. These Coleman Road Trip grills, this just happens to be the blue top one. Not only do you have a large grilling cook area, plus you have the black top. These are lightweight, portable, really make life easy. And Bob, see if you can get in there. You see that flame? That's 20,000 BTUs total that you can get on this thing. 285 inches square of cooking space. Matchless lighting. You have the little automatic starter there. And all right, Kaylin, you about Dog ready? Me. Are you ready? I've been ready. Oh, are you hungry? We're Coming gonna... at you. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? That's how it happens in real life, kids. Now here, flip that over. Look, we got your mustard. <laughs> we got this your is, okay, we okay, got your you're, you're we pushing got your it. Your hands, you got your okay. Cats. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> at the ultimate campsite, it's all also about having fun. But if you're looking for a good portable grill that is versatile, tailgating, camping, the whole nine, this one here, I recommend highly. You have the legs that extend out, plus you have the foldable trays right here, which are retractable. Once again, lightweight, can easily stow away. But the one that I'm a big fan of, I love flat top 
grilling. No, you throw the hot dog down. I'm going to throw it at you now. No, not really. I'm really not going to throw it at you. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I don't need a lawsuit. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. I'll lose an eye, but I'll be okay Probably. with it. Hey, part of my five year plan laid up with a work related injury. <laughs> Just saying. Now, these Blackstone flat tops, this is actually on our standing foldable table. The Blackstone tabletop right here, we are looking at 268 square inches. It's 17 inches across. You could easily do pancakes. Just take a look. That's one hot dog. Yeah, you could look at how much space not we even got on there. like just but you could hook up like pancakes, throw some eggs up here, get it all done at once. That got was, the bacon. My favorite camping meal is breakfast. Throwing ever, it all on there. Oh gosh, gotcha. and on the griddle, you got that whole entire cook space to do everything. And with these receptors, both on the mini grill over there on the Coleman Road Trip and on this one, the Blackstone. You can put the mini tanks, which I'm a huge fan of because you don't have to lug that 20 pound LP tank around. But if you needed to hook it up, you absolutely can. You can also get the connectors that go right to your LP over there or the LP quick connect under the travel trailer, whatever you want. This one has a little grease pan right here. Comes out on the front. Obviously when you get done, you just scrape all that off. You sure you don't want this one? No, I'm sure I don't want you this sure? one. You sure? I'm sure. You sure? I'm sure. I can get you with it. No. You ready? Go deep. No. Go deep. Montana. Okay. So. <laughs> Ultimate campsite, ultimate RV show. If you are interested in any of these grills, we have fantastic prices on them right now. Kaylin, which one do you like best? I think I'm also with you on the, the tabletop. The tabletop, I just feel Love like it. it's more versatile and more compact. Compact, easy so, to store away, easy yeah. to clean. Obviously clean it, you just scrape it up. So the price on this one, once again, just give us a comment, camp, or text camp to 32094. Give us a call, 866-235-8751. For the tabletop, regular price, $99.99. That's still a great deal. Eighty-four seventeen during the Ultimate RV Show right now, or Good Sam members, $79.97. Would you like to have the road trip, the Coleman over here? Let me tell you about this one. $249.99 is a regular price, but during the show, $204.97. Yes, that is a discount, but Good Sam members, you get it under 200 bucks, $199.97. Once again, Kalen, what do they gotta do? Text CAMP to 32094, comment the CAMP down below, or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Bob wants a dog. There you go, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs>John, thank you so much for helping me out with those last two absolutely beautiful class C's. And now we are in the Jayco Red Hawk SE. 22C. And folks, again, this is a smaller Class C motorhome. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more maneuverable, something that's easy to drive, this is definitely an excellent option. The thing I really like about this one is you have a slide out bed to give you a little bit more room. We'll see that when we go in the back. And what that means is what you see right now, all this space we have, look how big your walkway is. That's one of the big things about not having a slide in the main living area. Although your main living area isn't quite as big when you get to your destination, your walkway is huge so you're not trying to squeeze if you're going to try to go back to the bathroom or back into the refrigerator. Uh, so we take a, a look right up front. So of course, as I mentioned, the Class C has the big overhead. With Jayco, folks, this has a 750 pound weight rating. I know I've talked about that before. You know, some of these are a little bit lighter. You're looking at 350, some of them 500, but this is 750 pounds. Uh, you know, I'm not great at math, but I'm pretty sure that you can fit two people up there pretty easily. You'll also see that you have the TV right up on the wall. You can swing that around, be able to watch TV. Also, if you're sleeping up here, a great view to it. The other thing I like about this too, right? So as I mentioned, this one does have a slide out bed, but let's say you're going somewhere and you just want to pull off on the side of the road. You don't want to pop your slide out. That's what this is for. Just fold that down. You can just climb right up there and sleep and you don't have to worry about putting the slide out. You can just, uh, you know, take a little, or maybe you're tired, just want to take a nap. Gives you the ability to do it. As you drop down, you'll see the cab. So this one is on the Chevy chassis. Now, some people like the Chevy chassis because you get a little bit more leg room. So if you're a taller person, I do recommend trying both the Ford and Chevy chassis out in some different motorhomes, kind of get a feel for it to see what maybe you prefer. Take them both for a test drive. I know, you know, the state of the world right now, but folks, we do have safety precautions in place. So if you want to go to one of our dealerships, take an RV for a test drive, you absolutely can do that right now. And again, folks, if this is the one for you, you simply text Easy RV to 32094. And as I've mentioned before, we will deliver this bad boy right to your doorstep. 
Big AC right in the center with a quick dump. I like the quick dump option. Why? Because that way as you are loading or unloading, you can open this up and all the cool air just goes boof right down here, right where you're gonna be. Cools you off. You can just stand right here, <sighs> right after carrying in some heavy totes whatever it may be and then as it cools off a little bit you can close those and then it will uh, take it through the vents and cool down the rest of the rv now part of the, uh, the motorhome experience is traveling with people right i've when i talk to people and you know cause it's always one of those questions i get you know should i get a motorhome should i get a should i get a towable you know travel trailer fifth wheel class c class b and folks it, a lot of it depends on your personal experience, what you're looking to get out of it. One of the things I really like about motorhomes in general is that the travel experience is generally more fun. The reason being, everyone is going to be here together. You get to have conversation at the dinette. You can talk to the driver. You can talk up front in the passenger. And it's a nice, comfortable seat. You know, everyone's just kind of sitting here, hanging out, um, you know, and everyone is at the table. You have more space. You can stretch out a little bit. So with that, you will see seatbelts. So you have two seatbelts on that side plus two seatbelts over here. So you have plenty of seating at the dinette to be able to travel down the road. You also notice some cup holders there. I've talked about that before. If you have a drink, I mean, you know, this isn't, might not fit, but come on, you shouldn't be drinking wine while you're driving. Um, but if you have like a McDonald's cup or something, you can drop it right in there and that way it doesn't fall off the table. Storage all the way across the top there with LED lights underneath. Thermostat will be here and folks, this does control both your AC and the heat. We move over to the kitchen, double bowl stainless steel sink and the two burner cooktop. Now, you'll notice the cooktop is recessed and that actually makes me really happy because otherwise you wouldn't have a ton of prep space. And that's one of the things you kind of need to look for, you know, when you're talking about lengths of RVs. I know some people get scared to drive bigger ones and that's why the 22 may be a great option, but just know that in that length, you know, you generally don't have a ton of kitchen space. So you have to work around it. So what do you do? You have a recessed cooktop with the glass cover so you can use this for prep. You get sink top covers that you can put over it so you're able to pr uh, do some prep right here on the sink. You just kind of have to be able to work with it to make sure that it's going to work for what you want. High rise faucet there as well, a window so you can see out to your campsite backsplash and underneath you will find storage. This right here, folks, if you've watched me for the last couple days on this stream, you probably know what I'm gonna say. I love when manufacturers put a spot for a trash can underneath the sink. Very important to me. I hate having it hang out. You'll see here a couple of drawers, right? We'll make it look fancy, stack them. Watch this. Ooh. <laughs> but nice full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see how far that pulls out. That's the full extension, right? So that way it's not like this. We have to try to reach it in the very back. You're able to access everything you put them in or put in there very easily. And then Take a look at that. Underneath that cooktop, you have a nice big drawer. And what is this used for? Mainly pots, pans, things that are gonna be a little bit larger, you're able to set in there. Hood right up top, convection microwave oven. So this is another one that, um, you know, some people love it, some people don't. I personally like a convection because as you can see right here, it cooks in half the time as your standard oven and it's a lot easier to clean. You'll find more storage right over to the side. You can open that up. So you have storage in there, pantry storage, good for uh, some cans of soup, or if you have, you know, maybe a little box of cereal, Pop-Tarts, stuff for s'mores, got some uh, marshmallows, some graham crackers, roasting it over the fire. Now we're talking, I'm getting hungry. Norcold fridge freezer combo. Open that guy up, you will find there's plenty of space, folks. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. And then, now let's hit the bathroom real quick. We'll head on in here. Couple things I always like to check in the bathroom. One is when I sit on the toilet, do I have enough space? Uh, with this one, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, you kinda have to play a little game with your right leg. So my left leg has plenty of space with the right one. You just gotta kinda turn it, otherwise your uh, the door's in the way. Other than that though, I do have good shoulder space. And again, honestly, this would probably uh, make me a little more honest man. So I'm not in here, you know, scrolling through Facebook, playing on TikTok. Who knows what I'm doing these days, right? Looking at Snapchat. This way though, uh, I'm off the toilet. My wife quits yelling at me for spending too much time in the bathroom. You'll see stainless steel bowl built in there. 
storage space underneath. And the thing about this is, uh, you know, it gives you a good spot for toilet paper or black tank chemicals. If, again, if you're new to RVing, uh, that's one of the things that you need to have is some kind of chemical for black tank. Sometimes you can get liquid form, or if you've been watching the stream, you've watched some of the power hours, you've seen us talk about the bio packs. Those are fantastic. It's just drop it and forget it. Super simple and easy to use. Highly, highly recommend them. You will also notice the mirrored medicine cabinet up top, a window to let in some natural light, vent fan up on the ceiling, and the shower. So when I step in the shower, a couple quick things. You will see this one does have the built-in door, so you can nice and easily close that off. It's much better than a curtain because a curtain, a lot of times, you know, if um, when you go to like open it up, or sometimes it just falls out. Because as you'll see, the threshold on the shower isn't super isn't super deep here, right? So what happens is the curtain falls over, and then you just have a big puddle of water when you go to step out. Nobody wants that. This makes it much simpler, so all the water goes down in the shower pan. The hand wand, then I have this bar right here, which is to do pull-ups. No, just kidding, don't, it'll break. Um, what this is actually for is for clothes. So uh, some people, when they go RVing, they will use whatever shower the facilities have. So if you have that ability and that's what you wanna do, you can, but they put this in here so you can use it for extra clothes storage. Uh, if you've seen a lot of people that, you know, again, they go for extended periods of time. You know, if you're just going for a weekend, no big deal, right? I mean, unless, you know, you have to have 15 outfit changes per day, probably not going to be an issue. But if you're going to maybe be full time or you're planning to do a lot of traveling, having the extra clothes storage can be very beneficial. If you come around the corner, let's take a peek in here because we talk about clothes. And again, it's not like you, you don't have a space to put them because you certainly do. So I don't want you to think that you have to put them in the shower uh, because you, you have that big wardrobe there. You saw the drawers underneath, more storage up top, a couple of different, uh, uh, well, it's the same light, but you can have a couple different things happen. So if you want just like a, a reading light, you can, or if you want to, you know, set the mood, you can do that too with the blue lights there. Or of course you can just turn it off. I don't know if blue lights really set the mood. I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know why they turn blue. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe the color, it's, it's I, I don't know. But they do it. Um, you'll see the vent right up top. So that way, you know, again, if you uh, just want to get some airflow, you can. TV hookup, of course, is going to be right there. So they show you where you mount it and the TVs are right next to that accordingly. Um, let's take a, a look outside. There is a lot of uh, features on the outside of the Jayco that I really want to talk about. They do with some things that a lot of other manufacturers just don't do. And I think that's the kind of the big selling point. Um, you know, when you're talking about class C's, as I said, they do have a lot of different sizes. And, you know, being a 22 footer, being a little small, this one does have a lot of benefits to that. Just because, as I said, you can get this in a lot of different places. If you like to go tailgating, things like that, that little bit shorter frame uh, can really help you get in, again, some of those tighter spots. But one of the things I really, really want to point out is this right here this for me is absolutely amazing i'm i'm a big guy when it comes to construction um, and this i absolutely love and what they do folks is they use a molded one piece fiberglass cap so this whole thing you're seeing right here it wraps up and over around the front and on the other side and that is all one piece and what that does for you is a lot, a lot of manufacturers, when they make a class C, there will be uh, essentially a seam right here. They take you know, the fiberglass, they put it together right in the corner, and there's a seam that runs up both sides. And that's great, it's, a, you know, it's a, a good enough construction method, but what could end up happening over time, especially if you don't have proper maintenance, or you're not taking it in to get proper maintenance, is that water will start to, dr start to drive into that as you're going down the road and rain, stuff like that. And if, again, it's not properly maintained, that water can eventually work its way inside the RV. But with this, your seal is down here. So what would have to happen is the water would have to hit here, come down, come back in and around, and we all know that's just not gonna happen. So uh, I really do like the one piece molded front cap. Again, that for me uh, is a big selling point when it does come to the Jayco. Making our way down a little bit further, this is another thing right here too, the J-Ride. This simple little sticker uh, represents a lot of different things that Jayco does to this Class C. They have helper springs to, to help with the suspension as well as when you're doing uh, any kind of cornering, right? You don't start to feel this. They also have some shock absorbers. So as you're going down the road, it helps take out a lot of that chatter. It has a computer balanced drive shaft on here so that again, it's not shaking as you're going down the road. I'm sure, you know, 
know, you've taken a U-Haul truck before and you start going, you start going over 50 and it feels like it's just gonna vibrate your arms off. Nobody wants that. You're not gonna wanna tour the country if that's what's happening. So again, they do some things here uh, that definitely aid uh, in the overall drivability of the Class C. If we take a look right down in this compartment, you'll see solar prep. So if you do want solar, there you go. You can just hook that up, a plug and go. You also have TV connection because if you take a look up top, you have a nice big power awning on there. So that way you are underneath uh, the awning, you're able to watch TV, you can pop up a little table there, good to go. Another big one is storage. You need to have storage. So we'll see a couple different compartments. You'll notice one right over here. And as we come around to the other side, Come on back. We'll get to the storage on the off-door side in just a second, but I do want to point this out as well. This one has a 5,000 pound hitch. As far as hitches go on Class Cs, that's going to be pretty standard. Uh, but what that allows you to do is tow a lot of vehicles behind you because folks, even though this is smaller, if you want to disconnect from camp and drive this around town, you absolutely can. But if you do choose to tow a vehicle behind you, you can do that as well. Because again, this has the same engine as some of the larger ones that are built on the Chevy chassis. So, you know, because it's lighter, you'll have a little bit more uh, power, I guess. Even it's, you know, same uh, engine that's in there, but because you have less weight, you know, move a little bit easier. Makes sense. Coming around to the off-door side, a couple quick things. Again, I do just want to show you the storage that you're going to get there. So nice big storage. You can see how that is lit up. And then as we come over here, black tank flush. Folks, this is uh, something that's very handy. What that is, so instead of having to stick a hose down your black tank to wash out your toilet when you're done, just hook the hose up right there. There's sprayers built into the black tank and it washes out for you. By the way, if you currently own an RV and you're not washing out your black tank, that's why your camper is stinking. I highly recommend you do it. You will also see right here, you have the Cummins Onan 4,000 watt generator. This is one of the big draws to motorhomes because this makes you self-sufficient. So that way, if you don't have shore power, you can fire that bad boy up and it will power everything in the RV, including your TV and your AC. Lastly, another storage compartment right there. So again, folks, this is the Jayco Redhawk SE 22 footer. It's nice and short. You have the slide out giving you that space to be able to walk around the bed. If you're looking to take something, you know, again, maybe you want to go across country. Maybe you just want something to go to your kids sporting events. Maybe you just want something to take to a hotel. This can be an excellent option for you. If you're interested, you want to text Easy RV to 32094 to lock in your pricing. Plus, it'll get you in touch with our specialists who can help you navigate the Class C world. Sean Parr having a ball talking about the great products at the Ultimate RV Show. And listen, Furion Vision S cameras are incredible. The motion sensor is my favorite that wakes the monitor when the camera senses movement. Imagine that. Also, they're weatherproof. They're durable. They've got five and seven inch monitors with touchscreen. You can see four cameras at once. Get the Furion Vision S cameras right now and make your camping experience the best ever. We're here at the Ultimate RV Show with Furion Vision as cameras. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Thanks, Ian. Wow, those C-Classes are pretty awesome. I really liked that Jayco Redhawk. I mean, I know I keep saying this, but it was also a favorite. Definitely a top 10. I guess I really can't pick my favorite. You have some but. serious issues when it comes to choosing just it's, one, and that's the problem. I have commitment issues. What can I say? <laughs> that's nice. Oh, my girl, listen. You know my favorite part of the show is giveaways. Yes, you are like the queen oh, yes, of giveaways, yes, yes. especially the last couple of days. All right, so giveaway, you have to be registered to win. If you are not registered, 
You can't snag these ultimate giveaways, so go to ultimatervshow.com. Register for a chance to win because our next giveaway happens to be a Coleman BK200 go-kart. Okay? okay. Serious we're, business. We've got a segment coming up. We're going to be talking about these go-karts, talking about the uh, the little mini bikes that we're uh, also giving. We gave away a couple of those yesterday. We already gave away oh, one good. go-kart earlier today. Uh, my favorite thing about uh, this power sports that we're going to talk about with our influencers coming up. When, since I was a kid, I raced motocross. And since I was a kid, I've had a toy box or a motorhome or Class Cs. We've always driven them. My kids and I, when I became older, they raced motocross. And uh, we've just gone all over the place. And we've always had motorcycles, RVs, toy boxes. That's what I call them. Uh, and we've always been on the road. And now that we're doing a radio show called Across the Country, um, across the country, literally in an RV, it's um, it's, it's a parvy. Just, that's it's a parvy. We've been, I know we were talking about, about that. that. But this is the cool part about being out here. It's really hard to choose because for 2021, the units that we've been showing you are fresh off the line. These just came off days ago to be here for the Ultimate RV Show. So our industry experts that they they can show you all the new fangled stuff. As a matter of fact, I said we were going to talk about power sports. Let me introduce you. We've got a couple of influencers coming up. Uh-huh. You guys, I know you're ready for this. Zach and Mary, they're going to tell you all about Coleman right now. I'm Mary O'Neill Phillips. I'm Zach Phillips. And we have a show called Country Outdoors Live, which airs on Outdoor Channel Digital and Mossy Oak Go. We have been RVing for a little under a year. We did a turkey tour across the country, starting in Florida and went all the way up to Montana. And we camped, uh, we lived out of the RV the entire time, which was wonderful because we were able to social distance and still turkey hunt. I'd say we probably knew very little to nothing about RVing before we went on that trip. So it was kind of a good way to get thrown into it and learn on the go. And uh, yeah, you pull it all the way across the country, you're going to figure out how to do it. I've, uh, I've been hunting and fishing my entire life. Uh, from the time I was a little kid, my dad would take me and I'd go sit in the deer stand with him. He'd make me sit all day. And I remember just being curled up on the floor of the deer stand, sleeping, ready to go home. And he'd like the best part of the day was we'd walk back to the truck and have sardines and crackers for lunch. And uh, yeah, so I just grew up with it and fell in love with it. Turkey hunting, the first time I did it, just, I don't know, I kind of got hooked on it and that's been my whole life. Just, I've always wanted to be outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I met her, she hadn't hunted yet. So being able to get her into it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I grew up in Australia and my family had a house by the beach and then a farm. And so I've always loved the outdoors, whether or not it was swimming in the ocean or being down on my farm riding motorbikes and just helping get the cattle up. and. I had a bow, uh, I just had nobody to take me hunting and then I met Zach and he took me hunting and for me it was kind of just, I was hooked there on out. Any time in the outdoors for me is just, you know, so cathartic and I think one of the things that we've definitely realized a lot more lately since the pandemic and everything broke out is um, we can be really self-sufficient and sustainable by ourselves when people weren't able to go to the supermarket and they were really scared and didn't know exactly what we were dealing with. We were able to look after ourselves. We had our own wild game and we had our camper stocked with some tin food and we were really able to kind of sit it out for as long as we needed to, which was fantastic. We'd have been fine on that camper for at least six months. Yeah. Well, I work in entertainment and so a lot of my life is spent doing content and social media and all of this stuff which i think is great but i also think it's really important to disconnect and so for me um being involved in the outdoors it keeps me sane it keeps it keeps my mental health um in check just being able to disconnect hunting for me is the only time where i'm not on my phone um, and so it's really important for me and I think that it's re- going to be really important for us when we raise our kids to be in the outdoor lifestyle as well. I think it's also just great skills to have. You know, these are, these are life skills that are really important to have. Yeah. And for me, it's just being able to relax and get away, put the phone down, be outside and just be where I'm at and not have to worry about anything else. And I think there's a lot of good life lessons to be learned in the outdoors. And uh, it's always kind of been that space for me to, I feel small and you don't have to be in control of everything. And 
I don't know. That's always been my kind of my safe place. Our current RV, which is a toy hauler impact vapor light, has a full size kitchen. Um, we were recently in Charleston and we were able to go and buy a whole bunch of fresh shrimp boil it up in the kitchen and then sit outside under like this beautiful setting with our fairy lights and everything and eat our food. I'm a huge fan of ambience and one of the great things about a camper is you can set up all your lights with your, what do you call that thing again? Morning. You can set up all your lights with your awning over there, you can have your dog there and you can have the meal that you've cooked that you want to eat right there in your lovely outdoor setting. Yeah and for us like being traveling or being somewhere new if we weren't in the camper we'd be eating out a lot more than we do right now yeah. and from a health standpoint it's been nice just to have our camper and have all our own food where we can cook and not oh. spend a ton of money if you're like us outdoorsmen you love to hunt and fish the toy hauler makes a lot of sense because we're able to take our ATV with us we're able to take kayaks all of our hunting gear all our fishing gear and there's just space for it without giving up functionality and you know if it's 30 degrees outside and we have muddy boots muddy shoes we can come in through the back use it like a mudroom and it just it works for us uh, this spring we took a camper all the way from South Florida to Montana and just stopped and did outdoor stuff hunting fishing all along the way and it was right when the pandemic first hit and we were able to social distance and stay away from everybody in our camper and you know most of the time we weren't even staying at campgrounds we were just pulling up in the middle of nowhere and that was nice we were within minutes of where we were hunting minutes with when we were fishing hunting and traveling out of a camper has meant that we've been able to stay in super remote locations with extreme conditions we've stayed on mountains in wyoming when it has been snowing and blizzard and it has been super cozy on the inside of the camper which has made it perfect for us because we'll go out hunting of a daytime and then be able to come back be snuggled up looking out over this fantastic view and it's just the perfect life for us Probably the coolest place we stayed on our entire trip, I thought, was uh, Wyoming. We were just outside of Hewlett, right by the Devil's Tower, and our campsite actually looked over the Devil's Tower. And the first day it was snowing, and uh, yeah, that was just a beautiful spot. That was probably my favorite. Um, I think my favorite spot that I stayed in was a campground down in South Georgia. Um, the people that I met in the campground were just really lovely and welcoming and they were super dog friendly and we were able to go out fishing and see all the small towns and I thought that was really lovely. First time we went hunting together, the very first time, I had never shot a shotgun before and I think he had more confidence in my ability than, I, than he should have and um, pretty much two gobbling gobblers came running up and I did not shoot. I screamed at him. I didn't know what I was doing. We got into a big argument and I said, I'm never doing this again. And then I took the gun from her and I wound up yeah. killing the turkey. And then like that, that afternoon, I went and shot at some tin cans and I got my confidence up and everything. And um, him and his friend called in two gobblers from about 500 yards away. We we're in the sand hills in Nebraska and um, I shot my turkey five yards away and then we went through the whole process of cleaning it and eating it and so within that kind of you know day I went through that whole process and I just thought it was amazing like I was like oh, I've been missing out on this whole lifestyle for me knowing where your food comes from is so important and especially now when there's so many toxins in every product in the supermarket and I think that's what I love about it not only is it time in the outdoors but it's really um, empowering to know where your food comes from. I grew up in South Georgia, so turkey hunting has always been my go-to first love. Uh, anything where the animals respond to you, and it's it's kind of a back and forth chess game with them. Uh, turkey hunting just for me was number one, but other than that, if I could do it every day and could afford to do it, elk hunting is my, my number two. Uh, they're just such awesome animals, that, and the, the places you hunt them are such special places too. For me, I would have to say whitetails. Um, there is just nothing like the start of season when you've got your, you get up at 4 a.m. and you've got your coffee and you creep into the stand and it's like this whole world exists that most people don't ever get to see and you're sitting in a tree and the sun starts coming up and you see a spider weaving a web and little critters coming out and even if you don't actually get a, any game for weeks and weeks, you're kind of involved. It just it really makes you feel like you're a part of nature and not disconnected from it. 
One of the great benefits of Camping World is the fact that it's a one-stop shop. You can go there to get your RV, your fishing supplies, your cooking supplies, your ATV, pack it all up and get straight on the road. If you're already into power sports and ATVing, a toy hauler makes a lot of sense just for the standpoint of having all your stuff with you at all the times. And a lot of the locations you're going to, pretty far from town. So being able just to stay out there and be with it and spend more time in the field, it's uh, very convenient. Yeah, anything that can make more time in the outdoors more convenient is amazing. I mean, I've always been an adrenaline junkie uh, since I was a kid, whether or not it was riding motorcycles or bungee jumping. I've kind of done it all, parasailing in Indonesia, in Bali. Um, I, I am definitely an adrenaline junkie. I think it kind of keeps life exciting. And that's why I love hunting as well. And um, that's the convenience of having a toy hauler because you can bring those toys, which add that excitement onto your trip. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things in the outdoors that get my blood pumping. You, know, you hear an elk bugle at 20 yards, that's one thing. And then being able to buzz around on the ATV and see new things, that gets me pretty fired up. So, I think power sports are wonderful because it's another excuse to get outdoors, whether or not you pack your fishing poles onto the back of an ATV. Or in our case, if we you know, get some big game and we need to load it up onto the back and get it back to camp or back to our camper, that makes it a lot easier. And it's just, it's a fun sport to enjoy, but it also gives you access to places that you couldn't go otherwise. Exactly. So, yeah. When I was a kid, we had four wheelers and we'd go fishing on the weekends and we didn't have driver license yet. So we couldn't go all over the county, but on the, the four wheelers, as long as we stayed on the back roads and the dirt roads, we were fine. And uh, we used those to go fishing and hunting everywhere. We tore all over the place and it's nice to be able to cover more country with them. Uh, if you're staying at a campground and you're just on your feet, you can walk a mile or two. If you have an ATV, you can see a lot more country and get to places that you otherwise wouldn't go. I would say if you're new to RVing and you go to Camping World, just ask a lot of questions. Uh, their service department's super helpful. And when, when we started, I had no idea what I was doing, so I just asked a ton of questions. And they gave me a full walk through of the camper that we were getting. And then I just asked, what do I need in the store? What do I need to have on the camper extra gear? And they were super helpful, let me know what all I needed, which probably saved us a lot of time and frustration down the road. Mm -hmm. My dog next to Zach is, I mean, arguably the most important thing in my life. I think he's probably, sorry, Zach, equal playing field. I'm here. Um, he's here. He is my absolute angel. And I always have this remorse and guilt every time I've had to leave him somewhere and not bring him with me. And that is a very real thing. And for anyone who's watching who has a fur baby, they are family, they're not a pet. Um, being able to have him with me on all of these adventures is just, wonderful it is like a breath of fresh air he loves meeting all these little dog friends in all the campgrounds and everything as well it's a great conversational starter when you are staying in a campground and i don't know i just i think it's really liberating to be able to take your whole home on the road including your pets for us traveling and having the camper with us has kind of been a way to maintain normalcy mm. if we're in and out of people's houses or we're in and out of hotels we can't have our dog with us we can't have all of our things with us but having the camper we're able to have all the necessities that we need and our dog and it just kind of makes it feel like home no matter where you're at yeah our dog has been able to see more of the united states than most people have i think what motivated me to get the rv initially was i've every year for the last probably five years i'd travel the country turkey hunting and when you're a single guy traveling around doing that, you can sleep in hotels, sleep in your truck, sleep on buddy's couches. But uh, yeah, nowadays I have a wife and I have a dog and yeah, being able to maintain some normalcy and stay on the road, it just, it was the best way to go about it. It was the most convenient way to, to travel for sure. I think we talked about this the other day. I used to, when I was younger, I would think of RVing and campgrounds, I always thought of old retired people. In South Georgia, that's all we'd see, old snowbirds coming through. And nowadays, being in the campgrounds, I notice it's a lot younger crowd. There's a bunch of families with their kids running around. And I told her the other day, I was like, man, what a great place to bring kids whenever we have some. And uh, it's a good vacation for them to stay in a campground, run around and just be wild. Yeah, even if it's just for the weekends, how much better is it to pack up your kids in the RV, take them out somewhere outdoors to be able to play and enjoy the outdoor lifestyle rather than just sitting at home in a Game Boy or doing something inside. It's a it's much cheaper option than going to a hotel and it's just a great way to be able to pack everybody in and take them on the road.
everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young for the Ultimate RV Show. I am here because Coleman Power Sports is available at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. It's all about having fun with the kids and the family. I'm gonna show you just a few models that we have available, but as always, please, I want you to think safety first. Think about wearing the protective gear, the helmets, the gloves, the pads, the whole nine. I want you to think about that when I show you all of this, especially for the kids. Speaking of, let's start with something for the kids. How about the Coleman CK100S Go-Kart? Easy steering. You got a rugged four-wheel drive tires all the way around. If you come back here in the back, you're going to notice right behind this rugged four-wheel drive tire, you got hydraulic disc brakes. Easy pull handle start, three horsepower, 98cc engine with the proven and rugged clutch and chain drive. Easy to start. You're looking at probably, I'd say 150 pounds max weight on this. Easily get up to 15, 20 miles an hour. Foot brakes, pedals, easy to use. And we have the safety harness right there, or as I like to call it, the four corner contact harness. Making sure that safety is paramount even when the kids are having fun. Got the solid roll bar and there's also padded up here and you have the mesh pack right there just love it it's all about the fun and enjoyment when you go out camping now if you got a kid that's looking for an atv how about the coleman scrambler this is the 125 290 pound max capacity easily get up to 200 or to 200 miles an hour no kids you're not going to be able to do that but you can get up to 20 miles per hour you got a great up front Got a great on the back, so if you want to do some hauling, you absolutely could. Rugged four-wheel drive tires. And Bobby, check this out. Look at these tires over here on the side. We're going to get to that in a minute. But you see those orange knobs right here? This makes the tires weighted, so it's harder to flip. More safety, more safety. Semi-automatic clutchless shifting system. Got the brakes right there. It's a CDI ignition. And underneath, you got the dual front A-arm suspension. Take a look at that A-arm right there with the suspension. Got the shock absorbers here. Lights. This one is going to be fun. Your rear, your reverse, your neutral, and your drive are all right here on this side. 290 pound max weight on this one, too. LED system right up front. So you got the LED readout screen right there that's going to tell you how fast you're going, if you have any, you know, how much gas you need, the whole nine. So let's go over here and let's talk about some bikes. We got go-karts, we got ATVs for the kids. We also have bikes for the kids and the adults. Up first is the Coleman CT200U. Now, this is one of those bikes that I had when I was a kid. I loved it. It had the big bench seat right here. It was comfortable. I got the rack on the back if I want to transport some stuff. Rear drum handle operated brake. Look at the fat four wheel tires on this too. These are low pressure tires. Easy pull start operation on this one as well. And it has a powerful 196 cc engine. And you're looking at 200 pound capacity on this one. I'm 200 pounds. Yep, maybe if I'm lucky. Okay, right over here, we got, I like to call these the scooters. These adults, kids, I mean, obviously for adults, once again, safety is gonna be paramount. This is the CK100. Front hydraulic forks on this one. You got a 49cc air-cooled four-stroke engine with that CDI ignition system. 330 pound max capacity on this one. Plus you got front and rear hydraulic disc brakes on this one too. It also has rear mono shock on it too. This is just a comfortable, stylish way to get around town. And you know how fuel efficient they are. So when you go camping, this is great if you have a toy hauler, even if you have one of those RVs that you could easily put this in. This is great to take with you if you want to try to get around town, you know, do your thing a little bit. You need some space, put the uh, bags on the back. There you go. Got the beautiful mirrors. And these are all DOT approved as well. So uh, you can easily take these on the road. So bikes, ATVs, power sports, power sports, power sports. Now, I'm gonna come over here to some ATVs. Bob, take a look at this beautiful right here. Coleman Delphi. This one is the UT250 hard shell. It looks like it's tight, but kids or adults can easily get in there. Here, Bobby, I'm gonna open up this side for you so you can see. Got the solid doors. Got the safety belts, and the great thing is about these too, this will not start unless the safety belt is attached. You got the handle here, the grab handle for security, 
It's heavy weighted on the bottom, so it's not going to flip on you. Hydraulic disc brakes all the way around. Once again, if you look up underneath that dual front A-arm suspension and a semi-automatic clutchless shifting system. Take a look on the inside before we get back here to the back, Bobby. Take a look on the inside. Comfortable seats, grab handle, have an LED readout just below my odometer. Got your lights, hazards, turn keys, signals, high and low, and oh, what is this? A winch right below my 12 volt plug? Yes, we come around to the front. This one has a winch on it. Strong one too, automatic winch. Look at that. 290 pound max capacity on this one. Cover, got the adjustable mirrors on the side. This is, for being an ATV, this is a fun ATV. Sure, I got the rugged rubberized back here, so if I needed to haul some stuff, I could. I got the rugged four-wheel tires, but this is also fun. This is a fun vehicle right here. Now, another one, if you're looking about a, a UTV, because some people will take these with them in their toy haulers, and it's about, you know, oh, sure, you know, we take it to the beach, we ride around in it, but we also know we have to pull some stuff, but we also like to go to the mountains. Let me introduce you to the UT400. This is a four-wheel drive unit right here. 3,500 pound winch on the front. Take a look at that. So if you needed to pull some stuff out of the way, you absolutely could. Rugged and beautiful all at the same time. Headlights, enclosed, four-wheel drive. Once again, that push button's four-wheel drive. And this has a 392cc water-cooled single overhead cam four-stroke engine on it. Man, this is one that your boy would be taking with him. So come back here to the back, four-wheel drive. Get that out of there. Yes, this does lift up if you need it. So if you needed a dump, you got the dump. And there you go, Bobby, you got that side. Look at that, hydraulic. And underneath, you get to see that 392cc water-cooled single overhead cam four-stroke engine. 400 pounds capacity on this bench seat right here. Once again, will not start unless the seat belt is connected. Plus you have the solid cage, you got the roll bars that are padded safety and security. LED readout right here on the display, 12 volt plug, you got your winch operation down here, brakes, and uh, speaking of brakes, um, Bobby, have you seen Kalen with my, have you seen Kalen with my uh, go-kart? No? Oh, I hear Kalen with, of course. No power sports would be complete without a go-kart, and here comes my buddy Kalen. <laughs> Wheeling in. <laughs> do you need this? Yes, we do need that. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. This is the 200. Ground clearance is 5.9 on this one. Wheelbase is 75 inches. You got disc brakes, nine horsepower, front and rear hydraulic discs, automatic CVT clutch, load capacity is 400 pounds. And once again, a four stroke, one cycle, 200 cc engine. Kaylin, how was that driving around? Uh, how long did it take you to notice that I had taken it? <laughs> Let me tell I'm not going to lie. I was, I was worried because I was like, okay, what, oh God, where's my golf cart? I thought for sure because so many people have been so interested in this BK200 golf cart that we found it extremely difficult just to get our hands on one to, you know, kind of show you what it's all about. You got the four-point harnesses here on the seats, padded. You got the floodlights up top, the roll bar with the pads here that's covered. Safety, secure and just all around beautiful. This BK200, if you're looking for a fun go-kart, this is gonna be the one. Now, I'm also surprised you didn't have me in there because you knew I'd have been grabbing that handle while oh, yeah. you were going to town. Your old crap handle. <laughs> <laughs> but how did it handle? How easy was it and how smooth was it? Oh, it's so easy to handle. I'm not typically super comfortable mm -hmm. uh, in recreational vehicles, I right. guess you should say. Right. Um, but I mean, that's not the first time I've taking her for a spin so, right yeah no i'm very comfortable in it easy to drive forward neutral and reverse you know plus you got the automatic clutch you don't have to worry about changing anything got lights all around got the adjustable mirrors beautiful and sleek 
That's a go-kart I know you're probably going to try to take home with you. I am not going to lie. I've thought about it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Ultimate RV Show has proven you that it's so much more than just RVs. We got power sports. If you want more information, just check out CampingWorld.com or drop camp down in the comment or text camp to 32094. We would love to see you check out how we are doing with these power sports. Did you know you can own an RV for as little as $98 a month? Let's see which one suits your family and budget. Travel trailers are by far the most popular. They come in a wide variety of sizes and can sleep up to 10 people. You can take your family of four camping for as low as $98 a month. Need more room? Some travel trailers can sleep six to eight people for only $114 a month. Next up is the fifth wheel. Smaller fifth wheels will sleep four to six and start at $186 per month. And some of the bigger ones sleep eight or more for just $194 a month. If you want to drive your RV, we have motorhomes that fit every lifestyle and budget. The most popular is the Class C. Class C sleep five to nine and start at only $322 a month. The biggest motorhomes, the Class A's, they can sleep up to 10 and come in at $456 a month. For even more info and to browse over 30,000 RVs, check out rv.campingworld.com. At Camping World, we've always been about helping you turn an experience into a moment and a moment into a memory. And we want to continue doing that just with a little more power. Chart the uncharted on a mini bike or go-kart. Explore the unexplored on a golf cart, UTV, or ATV. Coleman Power Sports, now available at Camping World. Sean Parth, the Ultimate RV Show, and i got to tell you about one of our amazing partners, Ultimate Partners. I'm talking about King because for almost two decades, King has been a leader, an innovator, a pioneer in manufacturing and designing Wi-Fi, cellular, over-the-air antenna systems. King has always taken great pride in creating products that assist, that assist you, our customers, in connecting the internet and TV programming wherever you go. You need the system. We've got the system for you. It's our friends at King. It's the ultimate, the ultimate ultimate magic. I mean, just like that, boom, we went from day to night, <laughs> and we have so many wonderful things coming up still here. It's day three. There was a lot to see tomorrow. Day four, it's low prices galore. How about that? Ooh, I've been working okay, on that Sean. all day. Nice. I wrote it down. I've been practicing <laughs> it. I feel good about it. Listen, we have some big things that are going to be happening here. Speaking of low prices galore, something is going to happen here. Ladies, you know this. Uh, Morgan. In about, oh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes from now, something amazing is going to happen just over here to our left, and you are not going to believe it. And if you need something at a bottom barrel price, what do we call it? The Power Hour! Yeah! We it's look, coming up. You practice that without me. <laughs> <laughs> Because you've been looking at every unit today. I have. You've seen so many wonderful units, as a matter of fact, and you were doing some work in some uh, units, just kind of getting the feel of what it would be like to kind of hang out. And how'd you like it? I loved it. You know, I love the good comfort. I love the theater seating and a lot of these RVs. So, and I was Netflixing like, oh. and chilling. Uh, yeah, we're oh. Netflix. Oh, hey, yeah. now. Home away from home. Home away from home, definitely. I know definitely. you uh, saw a lot of Class Cs today also. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And we're going to take a look at uh, Montana soon. Oh, Now, man. that's the top line luxury Beautiful. RV. We spent some time in uh, Montana yesterday and uh, the lighting, all the amenities that you're going to see from the kitchen sink to the island to the different things that Montana offers. This is an amazing vehicle. We've got a first look coming up and we get so excited about our first looks because uh, at least these just came off the line. These are 2021s that you're going to see with some brand new stuff that nobody has seen yet. And again, we're going to offer those show prices that are only good until Sunday. That's right. Brand spanking new. Haven't been seen yet. We may have got a few peaks here and there, but we promise you, you're going to want to see these. We're all about the exclusives here at the Ultimate RV Show. And speaking of exclusives, 
You know we have giveaways. <gasps> oh, here we go. I'm real upset about this one. Oh I'm yeah. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah. So we have <laughs> a Coleman Power Sports BK200 go kart <sighs> up for grabs right now, and I have a winner. Okay. Sure, it's before, not my name. Yeah. Before she says the winner, though, you just saw uh, Chris talking about it with um, Kaylin. They were talking about we're giving away one of those go karts that you just saw. So let's do it. You got the name? I have the name. Are you ready? All right. Let's go with it. Norman Miller, you are our winner. You've won yes! this Coleman Power Sports BK200 go kart. It's yours. Congratulations, Norman <laughs> Miller. I tell you what, you saw how much fun they had in the. Uh, in <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> no, Norman, let me drive it. This one here wants I'll a go kart. She wants one so bad. <laughs> Listen, if you haven't registered yet, you still have plenty of time. It's ultimatervshow.com. And then if you have a question, we saw so many incredible units today. We're not done by any means. We talked about Power Hour coming up. Just text EZRV to 32094, or you can call our 800 number and get a hold of one of our specialists. We have another giveaway to tease, too. Oh, my goodness, yes. Go. We have a Coleman Lantern up for grabs. So, again, make sure you are registered for a chance to win at ultimatervshow.com. If you're not registered, you can't win. So get to it. You know what it's time for? It's time for the first look. Cool. We promised you the first look of the new Montana. This is exciting. We get excited about things like this because it's worth it. Pay close attention. The first look at the Montana is coming up. It's going right now. Hey, folks. Welcome to the first look of the brand new unit, the Keystone Montana 3763 BP. I'm Ian Baker. I'm joined by my good friend, Chris Stender, and we are going to walk you through the brand new unit today, folks. If you love it, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments section. And folks, it is truly the easiest way to shop for an RV right here at the Ultimate RV Show. Chris, the 3763 BP, great twist on a floor plan. I love what you guys have done. Walk us through it, my man. Well, Ian, we've taken a floor plan, which we introduced in 2004 as the first front living room in the fifth wheel business. We've had different floor plan ideas through the years. Most recently, we have the 3760, 3761 front living room bath and a half. Yes, sir. What we've done is I'm going to share. We're actually going to talk about two different floor plans using one floor plan. So I do want to talk about the 3761, also 3763. And then as we feed into the kitchen, we'll break them out separately. Perfect. The 3760, 3761 FL, the reason we use two numbers, 3760 is the 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator, mm -hmm. 3761 is 18 cubic foot residential. Just like the 3762 Butler Pantry, 3763 Butler Pantry. What I want to talk about first, Ian, is how the front living room has come a long way. The first one we made in 2004 didn't even have a slide on the door side upstairs. <laughs> so the invention of slides in the RV industry have really helped us through the years. Sure. What I want to talk about first is in the Montana, one of the two floor plans, a few floor plans that we have with the windshield in it. Yes. Okay. Sir. And on the TV here, it's actually on a power lift. Okay. It has a remote control, takes it up, remote control that takes it down as well. So when you're not using it, you have a full automotive windshield in the front, just like you have in your automobile, yep. just like they have in the motorhome industry as well. Love and it. plus we have a nice pull down shade up front as well too, okay? So when we talk about front living rooms, there's a lot of variations. Not all front living rooms are the same. Not all rear dens are the same. Mm -hmm. Not all rear livings, not all bunk houses. Yep. I wanna talk about what do you get for your dollar? We have 75 inch trifold high to bed sofas standard in the upper deck. What does that do for you? First of all, it gives you more a three cushion couch. An actual couch, not you, a love seat. You can actually set eight people up here comfortably. Okay. Also, what you're seeing now is bunk houses have been popular for years, mm -hmm. but you, you have people that may have older children or may have an idea that maybe in two or three or four seasons, they may not go with them anymore. Yep. So instead of mom and dad going, oh boy, we got this bunkhouse we need to unload, we're seeing people taking a look at the rear den, also taking a look at the front living rooms. And I'll show you why. Because if we look right back here, you're gonna notice a curtain that we have on the front living room. This curtain right here will slide over and it will separate the upper deck from the kitchen area. I so love that is that. an abbreviated 
version of a bunkhouse. Yeah. So when we talk about trifold high to bed sofas, high to bed sofas have come a long way through the years. For years, we had the one inch cushion with the springs <laughs> yes. and the bar across the back. You know it. <laughs> then it, the faucet shut off one night. Then it went to high to bed air mattresses. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Where's the pinhole? Yeah. Oh my gosh, can't find it. Yep. And all of a sudden, the faucet shut off on that. But look at this, folks. Talk about comfortable. But more importantly is talk about how easy it operates. By just pulling the legs down here, then you pull down the cushion right behind it here. This floor plan right here allows for both of them to open up. And it leaves you about a 6 to 12 inch gap between them wow. for walking space. So this is nice and cushioned. And I always recommend to get on it and try it out because that is very, very comfortable. It's the most comfortable trifold high to bed sofa I've ever seen. Okay. And it's easy to put up and easy, easy to put down as well, too. And like you said, okay. Chris, the, the thing I really like about <laughs> this is kind of like you mentioned, you're you're taking a, you know, what normally would be a, a couple's style model, right? Uh -huh. You're taking a front living room. Perfect to be able to sit back, entertain, which I know, you know, is a lot of couples, that's what they like to do. They, you sure. know, they have friends at the campground. It's what camping's all about. But in case the older kids, like myself, want to go visit, I have a place to sleep. I have a dedicated place. You get the curtain, you get to close it off, you get the privacy. I love that you're able to take, you know, what again would normally be a couple's model and turn it into a family RV. It's multi purpose. And you're seeing a lot of that today. You know, I got 17 year old twin daughters, mm -hmm. you know, they have short attention spans, all kids do, they're glued to their phones and so forth. But right. listen, we may want to go out one week and they may not want to go with us. Sure. Okay. So we go out and all of a sudden, I don't want to be stuck with a bunkhouse where your kitchen and family room are just very minute. Yep. This is multi-purpose and you can section it off. Yep. And hey, you know what? I've gotten the elbow at nighttime before. I've never heard myself snore. My wife said I snore. I don't agree with it. <laughs> but I get the elbow. I got to get up. And guess what? I got to go sleep somewhere else. So you know what? A man could come out here and sleep and have his privacy. There you go. Okay, dual yeah. trifold high to bed sofas. You also have a power theater seat looking straight across to the TV on the Montana. Not only is it power recline, but you also have massage. You also have heat. And you also have a light as well, too. Okay. And then you have a nice center armrest right here. Gives you separation. This floor plan does not give you the pontoon cup holder. Right. Or just you sit on it, it gets it, between you. It moves, it spills, whatever is in it. Gives it gives you six inches of separation. <laughs> there you okay? go. I'm six foot six tall. Our ceilings, whether it's a front living room, rear den, bedroom, six foot eight height upstairs. There you when go. When we talk about the front living room also is, through the years, is the TV has always tried to outrun the air conditioner, but in RVs, it just can't get away. So we use the Coleman Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning. And the biggest complaint with RVs is the noisiness of an air conditioner. So by like eliminating the shroud, again, when the shroud, the shroud, if it's exposed, it's not quiet. Right. Because that's where the noise comes from, okay? By eliminating these, your air returns, it's 35 to 40% quieter than a standard RV air conditioner. So in relationship to the TV, you can keep the TV at a reasonable volume yep. and you don't have to talk over all of them. Plus you also have an electric heat pump built into it. You have three heating elements in the Montanas. You have a 5100 BTU fireplace, which runs on electric. It gives you the flame look, the nice pretty light, the ambiance. Mm -hmm. Also it does have a fan in there for additional heating. That's 5,100 BTU. The heat pump is 16,500 BTU. Wow. That will give you heat all the way throughout the coach out of the AC ducts in the ceiling. That will take the chill out of a unit, especially in the morning or oh, night absolutely. time. Oh, absolutely. Save your propane. And then you do have your furnace, which is 35,000 BTU. Save your propane. There you go. Okay, so use the uh, quiet air conditioning there as well, too. So <clears throat> with the upper deck here, uh, largest in out of any front living room as well too. But notice all the windows that you have because on the Montanas, not only do you have a day shade, but you also have night shades as well too, rollers. Mm -hmm. I want to point out to you as well too, you're seeing a lot of RVs that are eliminating the legs. Yes. They may put their headers here, they eliminate the legs, okay? The bad thing about that is, now all of a sudden you don't have anything to deflect the light at daytime or nighttime, okay? It may look cool. 
you know, with the wood frame about it. Sure. But functionality, it's not there. Yeah, yeah, you're you absolutely know? right. An idea is one thing, but practicality is the next. Sure. I mean, yeah. the, the idea of a blackout shade is to black it out. And absolutely. if you don't have the side there, the light's going to show through. Yeah, your side curtains, you're going to have op exposed. Yeah. So Good how, point, about, Chris. how about we go down in the kitchen area? Yeah. So uh, again, folks, if you're interested, this is the 3763BP brand new floor plan from Montana. <laughs> Simply text Easy RV to 32094. Put Easy in the comment, Easy RV in the comment box, or call 866 853 3510. We're getting closer to the secret. <laughs> no, the secret. To unveiling the secret. <laughs> what I want to talk about is a pedestal free dinette table that all Montanas have standard. Montanas we have with two hard chairs. We also do have two wooden chairs that do fold in this floor plan. They'll be located underneath the bed. What I want to show you is the elimination of a pedestal. Okay. The biggest pet peeve I have is sitting at a table and banging your knee on it. Yes. Okay, everything falls over. This is very easy to operate. It extends out, it lifts up. You have storage underneath. Now we also want to extend the eating area or the surface, pull these out, flip this down right here, and now you can fit at least two to three more chairs here if you want. That is extremely so you can one on the easy. Two here. Okay, very nice and easy to operate. Yeah, I love that. Okay, again, it's nice, sturdy. It, 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 a lot of times, you know, they have like spring loaded and you're fighting to try to pull them out, push them back Absolutely. in. This is goes that's right, simple. Goes right back in here. Love it. Also, I want to talk about the 110 USB ports as well also. Okay, when they're not in use, they do fold down. Tuck them right away. eliminates them right there. A lot of people are using RVs for work now on the road. Yes. Uh, traveling nurses is huge. Yes, sir. But for me, this would be an office for me right here. Yeah. Thank God for wireless. You know, so it's really <laughs> helpful. So again, here's my power to charge my phone, my computer, anything as well too. Also, you have the chair buddy underneath. So when you're getting ready to travel, okay, this chair buddy lifts up right here, and then you slide the chairs right underneath, here and here, and it goes right back down and holds the chair in place right here on top of the chair. That's fantastic, Chris. Right you know, uh, rather, than, rather than having the straps, because you know, I've, I've had to unstrap a lot of RVs when they come in, and a lot of times they're hard to get to. Absolutely. Uh, they can, to be honest, it kind of hurts the fingers sometimes with the hooks. And it's just a pain. You have to find a place to put them somewhere. We can never figure out how they did it initially. <laughs> Correct. Like, right. My God, how in the world did they ever do that? And that way it doesn't scratch the wood as well to the solid wood. Yeah, okay. that's great. Now, what I want to talk about in the f this floor plan as well, too, is we gave you an eight-foot tall slide over on the off-door side. Typically, we go six-foot, six-tall slides to give you the big windows. We want an eight-foot slide right here to give you taller cabinets in this floor plan right here. Because by adding the half bath and the butler pantry here, yes, it eliminated storage. Yep. So we brought it over here as well too. Okay, we also gave you the nice soft closed doors. Love it. Okay. Also, <clears throat> soft closed drawers. Okay. Fantastic. Here we go. Ian, you ready? All right. I'm ready, buddy. I'm Here's ready. Here's the introduction of the 3763 Butler Pantry. Dun, dun, dun. We still do have the 3760, 3761 front living room. Okay. Which gives you the half bath right here. Yes. Still a great seller. Absolutely. We, we've had people say, you know what? Love the floor plan. Really don't need the half bath. Sure. I'd rather have additional storage. Yep. A separate room area multifunctional. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we added the butler pantry to it over here on the off door side. Nice doors and drawers with a countertop and also a nice window for ventilation. Very okay. good. Over here on this side, what I want to show you here is you have nice large deep storage here. Here, This is what I want to show you. Look Let's at this idea. It. Look at that broom closet. Look at that. Who would have ever thought to put a broom closet in a butler pantry? <laughs> you know what? You can you have that 25-foot expandable hose for your central vacuum, which you can hook in here. Yep. But also people take a broom with them as oh, well, too. Certainly. So now this also separates off. You have a nice preparation area here. You have a nice place for a, um, a coffee maker, a Keurig. Yeah, a toaster. A toaster. 
ice maker. We have one at our lake uh -huh. house. Love the ice makers. Yes. It's, it makes those funky ice cubes with the holes in the middle. <laughs> so, and then again, nice storage here again. Attention now, to detail. You know, Chris, if it was me, and this is just me, but that would be my bar. I could have my ice maker there. Exactly. I can set up some drinks in there. I got a you know spot to make them. It's out of the way. It is. You see I a lot it. of houses, you know, today, whether it's in the kitchen area or transition from kitchen to family room, yep. where they have a nice area for, you know, making sodas. cocktails, making sodas. cocktails, sodas. Hey, that's what our is <laughs> about, right? That's it's right. getting out and enjoying it. You yeah, know, that's exactly right. You never know. Like I said, however, whatever you want to use this for, it's up to you, folks. <laughs> but this is the introduction of the Butler Pantry, 3762, 3763 Butler Pantry. Let's take a look up in the bedroom here. Yes, please. And Chris, one of the things I want to mention as well is, is how well lit Montana's are. It's one of the things that I always really enjoy. No matter what room I walk in, if it's the bedroom, if it's the bathroom, if it's the kitchen, every single room that I step into has great lighting. I mean, you talked about the, the eight foot high slide. You have lights up top, you have lights down below. It's very well lit, big windows. The LED lights have made a big difference in the RV industry. For years, they used halogen. Mm -hmm. Halogen would get hot. Halogen would not last long. Halogen would use a lot of power. Yep. Okay. And you had to replace them more frequently than LEDs. These here do not get hot. We actually lowered our converter. We used oh, really? to have 95 amp converters. So we actually lowered them because LED lights do not take power. So you're seeing like even we use LED lights on the outside of the coach as well too, all around. Also your tail lights are LED as well too. Oh, very cool. What I want to talk about in this floor plan here is the bedroom and bathroom area. Sure. This is the only front living room that has a double sink in the bathroom and a full closet right behind you, Ian. Look at that. And if you can open that up right behind you is where your stackable washer dryer go. Oh, there it is. Only 5% of all RVers actually use a washer and dryer. So for the other 95% of people, which we appeal to the majority at times, sure. it's that much more hanging storage. There are other brands out there that will have two sinks, but no closet Yep. or one sink and a closet. No two sinks and a closet. I love okay. it. Then we come back here into our bathroom area. Yes, sir. And now we get into our double sink, okay? Again, if you're not gonna be home, it's nice to take your home on wheels. There you I always go. like to talk about the 30 inch by 48 inch one piece fiberglass shower with a seat. I'm 265 pounds on a good day. Okay, but when I step in here, it doesn't sink. Yep. It's fiberglass. It doesn't have the plastic surround plastic pan where the double-sided tape releases, you get yep. the old wave. And it's one piece, less chance for leaks. Absolutely, it's not held up by two by twos underneath. And the other thing I like about the seat too, Chris, and this is just for me, like I know my wife loves it at home mm -hmm. to shave her legs, sure. right? Because you know, it's a lot easier to be able to put her leg up there, shave her legs. And so I love that it's in the RV too. Well, I see you smile when you say that. So I don't, <laughs> maybe you shave your legs too. I don't know. <laughs> you can see here. I mean, maybe I need to. I'm a hairy guy. Lose your know. legs, or you're riding a chicken. So, <laughs> but if you notice a nice porcelain foot flush toilet. Yeah. Okay. I, I got a ton of room here too. Even if you have kids with you, I always talk about kids for years. You should have those trigger plastic marine grade toilets. Yep. And the kids never flush the toilet. <laughs> this year, Ian, it's almost a game. Yeah. And where you're flushing it up and down. Yep, yep. But I always like to talk about the recessed sinks where they're not elevated. When you get elevated sinks, you get that caulking around there and after yes. a while the caulking breaks out, it gets dirty, you get grime and nasty in there, mm -hmm. and it just gets ugly. This is a pet peeve of mine where at home, yes. it's nice and easy to wipe off and you don't have to, you know, pick that caulk up all the time. And, and Chris, it's funny, because I talk about that a lot in the kitchen, about having an undermount sink. Mm -hmm. for, for that, right, you're prepping food, you can put it in there. Mm -hmm. But it's also a big deal, like you said, for the bathroom. My wife gets mad, because you know I keep facial hair, sure. and shave it off, and it makes a mess, and this just makes it way easier for cleanup, bud. I like it. And the benefit of this floor plan here, you have other manufacturers that are putting the washer dryer closet back here. Yep. Had a customer tell me that he was told by a washer dryer supplier in the RV industry that if a washer dryer is in the back of a unit, mm -hmm. total unit, it could void the warranty. Wow. Because in washers, they put concrete in them. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, your washers have concrete in them, and if it bounces, it could break the concrete. Oh. So, but that's why we put it in the closet here. 
Makes sense. But not only do you have storage on the inside, but let's talk about storage on the outside. Yes, sir. And, th and that's one of the things that excites me because when it comes to a front living floor plan, generally, that's kind of one of the one of the downsides is that you just don't have the exterior storage. But that is not the case at all. Not at all. When you talk about front living rooms, you talk about front kitchens, you have less pass-through storage in the front because Ian, there's only one room upstairs. Yep. Typically in most fifth wheel floor plans, you have a bedroom and a bathroom upstairs. So your upper deck is longer. Uh -huh. So it makes your front pass-through storage much longer as well too. Gotcha. Not a problem anymore. We made it up in the rear, okay? But I want to show you here the cat's meow. Yes, sir. We were sir. the first manufacturer to go to this Moride step a number of years ago. Okay. And it's just gotten better through the years. This buyer has a tendency to be places days, weeks, months at a time. Yep. The benefit of the Moride step above with the strut assist, notice how easy it is. Mm -hmm. Just takes one finger and it lifts right up and it goes in. That's no awesome. No more of the flip, flip, <laughs> and kick in. It's wide, it's sturdy, it doesn't rust, it doesn't creak, but more importantly, I'm a dog owner, it's pet friendly. Oh, I never I've thought about that. I've given tours in our point. factories before with customers yeah. that have had their pets. Yep. And I actually had one take a nap on one, but it is pet friendly. Can't forget about the pets. Yeah, absolutely. And and for, you know, I, the thing I like about it too, Chris, is that you guys put a bigger grab handle on here. And absolutely. so if, if you have bad knees, you know, getting up the steps can be a problem. And mm -hmm. so you have to have that extra support. And I love that it extends out further. More I does make an arm that will fasten onto this as well too. Okay. On Moride's website, it gives okay. you additional assist. But again, this is awesome right here. It's very user friendly. But let's talk about the awnings here, which moves us to the space in the back. Yes. Yeah, full awning coverage across the whole thing. It poured earlier today, didn't it? Ian? Yes, it did. Poured for like two hours. Can you imagine if you're camping and you gotta sit inside and watch it rain? <laughs> Look at these two full length unobstructed awnings that you have, the full awning space that you have in this floor plan. I love spending time outside. That's what RVing is. If I want to stay inside, I'll stay home and do that. Yep. But people want to sit outside. This is a tailgater. We're in the Carolinas. Okay. <laughs> We've yep. got college sports, pro sports, whatever. Uh, NASCAR races. Yep. Okay, when they start inviting people, hopefully soon. <laughs> but notice the space you have out here. You can put a big old spread out here. Have your friends over. Well, and, that, and it's all great usable camp space. You don't have a bunch of vents or anything out here. I mean, you get you get full use. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, and you can be out here by yourself. Yeah. If you're in timeout, <laughs> go out to timeout. <laughs> Look at the storage here, Ian. This, this, Chris, is what I love about the floor plan. I mean, there's a lot to love inside, but when we're talking about, you know, for me personally, I'm all about the storage outside, and I love this. What was, is it huge? Oh, it's massive. Is it gigantic? It's <laughs> massive? Unheard of? Right. Nobody else has it? But look at the eight foot width that we have. There's some other manufacturers that have this to a point, but then they put dividers in there. Right. That makes no sense at all. Yeah. That's like putting a fence in the middle of a football field. Well, and, and you know, it's funny because a lot of times, you know, when you're going camping, Chris, it's, it's hard just to try to find a place to fit one set of cornhole boards. And this, I mean, I can fit six in there. Cornhole boards, <laughs> ladders, fishing poles. Wait till we get in the back because I'm going to show you something else. The biggest thing with RVers are doing right now and people on the lake. But let's move to the back okay. right here. So we have okay. storage here. Yes, sir. We also have side saddle storage here as well, too. Okay. Ian, do you, realize, <laughs> do you realize how popular kayaking is? Yes. I'm not a kayaker because they don't make a kayak that can hold me. Well, and I'll tell you what, it's <laughs> tough to find a kayak right now if it tells anything about popularity. It is. I tell you, it's. I've been in the gander stores and my gosh, they're gone. Yep. So you look at this in the back right here. From this entry right here, Ian. Wow. To that wall is 14 feet. That is awesome. Do you know how many people through the years have said, Chris, I've got a, I only thought they made kayaks in six foot. But all of a sudden they went eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, 14 foot. And it's important. People yeah. want to get out kayak exercise 14 feet from this door to that wall right there. That you get at is least amazing. We have a couple kayaks that came with 
uh, the place we we're renting this summer. Yeah. I didn't know they had double seaters. Oh. And those would fit in there just perfect. But just massive storage in there as well, too. Most of you, of the manufacturers, we do have floor plans that will give you a slide tray. The rear den has a slide tray. The sure. front kitchen has a slide tray. We wanted to change it up a little bit. Yeah. And take that 10 foot depth and make it 14 feet. Chris, that's again, and I love that you guys did it on a front living floor plan that historically lacks outside storage. And this is some of the biggest storage I've ever seen this. on a fifth wheel. Look how big it is, Ian. <laughs> Curled right up in there. Curled right up in here. I'm good, in timeout. Good night. <laughs> but it's large. Yes. Now, Chris, I see you also have a, a hitch down below as well, right? You talk about being active and, uh, you know, maybe this, biking. On this floor plan right here, being we have the drop frame, this is an accessory hitch here. This will support 300 pounds. Awesome. Now, our, many of our other floor plans that don't have a drop frame will have a tow hitch. Okay. Same again, 300 pounds support, but also it have the chain loops and your four pin wire connector. So it have gotcha. 300 pound capacity plus 3,000 pound towing. Okay. Again, you'll want to check with your state laws on that. All states yes. in this country are different. So you want to investigate that as well too, because I'm not here to get you in trouble <laughs> and I'm hard to get a hold of about after 9 p.m. for bail money. <laughs> but again, I had a gentleman ask me yesterday from Florida, he goes, can I pull a trailer with my 3121RL. It does have a tow hitch on it, Yep. but I told him, please check with his state laws. Yep, now, yep you absolutely. Get in, you get in the Midwest, central part of the United States, Southwest, Yep. I've seen people pulling 80 foot. I mean, oh, it's, a, it's vehicle, a big train. Fifth wheel, I mean, I've seen him pull stuff going, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my God, oh, I better get that VIN number so I can make it down so if they turn in a warranty claim on it. So, <laughs> that's all right, that's right. You wanna right. finish, Ian? Absolutely, guys. So uh, again, Chris, thank you so much. Folks, this is a brand new floor plan from Montana. It is the Montana 3763 BP. And as Chris showed you, you not just have a ton of storage inside with that big butler pantry up front in the bedroom where you have not only the double vanities, but also the wardrobe, but you come outside and you have to have some of the biggest fifth wheel storage in the industry. Absolutely. The fact you can fit a 14 foot kayak inside of a fifth wheel is something I personally have never heard of, Chris. So folks, you'll want to get your name on one of these. Simply text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comments section below or call 866-853-3510. With that, we can give you a virtual visit on an RV just like this that is by you so you can see exactly what you'll be getting. Can handle everything right over the phone, paperwork in the mail, and best of all, we can deliver it to you and drop it off to your house or campsite. Chris. I love it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, it's Sean Parr at the Hello. Ultimate RV Please Show, and yes, Camping wrap. World is so excited about this. We know travel season is in high gear, and many of you are jumping in those RVs. I want to tell you all about DISH because setup only takes a few short minutes, and they have a flexible pay-as-you-go program. You only pay for the months that you use while you're on the road. So before you head on the road into the great outdoors, make sure you check out DISH Outdoors at Camping World. They've got the DISH Wally HD receiver only for our people that are watching the show at CampingWorld.com. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. We are Crazy, Crazy Family, Family Adventures. Adventures. I'm Craig. 
I'm Karen. I'm Brianna. I'm Carson. I'm Malia. And I'm Knox. And we have been traveling full time on the road for how long, Malia? Over six years. We are so excited to be here today to share with you guys all sorts of tips on RVing full time with the family, how to make your RV feel like home, and more. There's a ton to share, and we are excited to share it with you. So before we jump into that, we wanted to ask the kids a couple questions. So Cannon, what is your favorite thing about full-time RVing? That you can meet new family and friends. Yeah? Did you just meet a bunch of new people? Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. So Carson, what is your favorite thing about full-time RVing? That you can explore new places. Yeah? What's one of your favorite places we've explored? Mm, Destin, Florida. Destin, Florida. <laughs> Carson likes the beach. <laughs> and Malia, what about you? What's one of your favorite places we've explored? Baja, Mexico. Yeah? Awesome. We had a lot of fun there. We're hoping to go back soon. Knox, what about you? I like how we have the room in the back and how we got the new RV. Yeah, you like the new RV, huh? Mm -hmm. Would you guys recommend for other families, parents out there with kids watching, that they should take their kids on either an RV adventure or travel full time in their RV? Yeah. Yeah, you would? You'd recommend it? Yeah. All right, awesome. <laughs> So just over six years ago, it was actually May 2014 that we launched. We were living the American dream. And then I, I worked a nine to five, you know, normal kind of uh, office job. And uh, I came home one day after Brianna spending uh, the day with her sister and all of a sudden we were gonna sell our house and move full time into an RV. It's like, whoa, <laughs> well, how did that happen? You didn't know that was gonna happen when I became a stay at home mom with four little kids. So. Yeah. <laughs> Found the RV we wanted, which at the time was a 39 foot diesel motorhome um, pusher. Diesel pusher? Diesel pusher, yeah. Motorhome. May 2014, actually on Mother's Day, we um, loaded it all into the RV and handed our keys over to the new owners of our house. Now, there were a ton of tears and it was hard to leave that house. It's a house we brought all our babies home in. Yeah. We had built that house. It was definitely hard to leave it. But well, we, it was also a little scary too. Like we were taking a leap. We didn't know anybody that was doing it. And like our families were all there, our friends were all there, and we were just gonna go drive off into the sunset. So <laughs> it was a little scary. So if you're thinking about doing this and you're scared, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally normal, it's totally okay. But what comes on the other side of fear is usually some really amazing things. So why did we do it? <laughs> why full-time RVing and what do we love about it? In an RV, you have your home on wheels. So for the kids, like people, what about stability for the kids? Well, they have their own bedroom here. They have their own bed. They can decorate their own space. We have our kitchen. We have our living room. We have our room. Like, it is a very homey feel to it. So no matter where we are, you come back inside and it's just like you've never left. We also love just the options it gives you when you're out exploring. The journey is part of the, the trip. I mean, it's like you, you drive across country and you see a lot more than you would if you flew from point A to point B. So we found some of the really coolest places that you know we would have never stopped at. Yeah, just on our road trip out here out west, we came across the Jolly Green Giant, which is this humongous... <laughs> totally <laughs> random, yeah. <laughs> totally random roadside attraction. Plus, we love boondocking, mm -hmm. which what boondocking means is you drive up into some open field like called BLM land, and you just park your rig and you stay there. It's just this wide open space, like mm -hmm. no one's there, and it's just you, your beautiful rig though. So we have a kitchen and bathrooms and showers and all of that. Yeah, we're just in the middle of nowhere in this just gorgeous places. Mm -hmm. We've met some amazing families and friends that you stay with them for literally like a day or two and you become lifelong friends. It's really cool. And like they're so helpful because a lot of things go wrong when you're on the road. Um, that's, that's just a given, like it happens. Um, and usually people are there to help and get it figured out and get you fixed up and back on the road. So community is awesome, yes. um, even for the kids too, especially for the kids, they love it because they're meeting new kids all over the country. Like you go and stay in a campground, I can almost guarantee there'll be other kids there. Like, yep. especially if the campground has a playground, has a pool, you know, it's family friendly. You're mm -hmm. gonna meet other kids there and your kids will just be out playing and just enjoying themselves. And that means that then you can maybe have a happy hour around the campfire with their parents and meet some new people as well. You can also take days where you just go out with just your, fo your family and explore. Go yep. hiking, go rafting, zip mm -hmm. lining. Yeah, go find some good donuts or something. <laughs> yep. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> whatever you want to do. So obviously, if you can't tell, we love it. Mm -hmm. We're still doing it six years later, so there must be something about it, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> 
So anytime we buy an RV, one of the most important things to us is we want it to feel like home because we're living in it. So one of the things that we really like to focus on when we do upgrade our RVs and make them feel like home is the furniture. So for example, when we moved into this rig, it had a two person couch that had automatic buttons that reclined and your feet went up and it was like, oh. Two lazy boys kind yes. of thing, so. And it was like, this is really nice, yeah. but only two people can sit at the couch. We have six people in our family, so how is that gonna work? So we were like, okay, we need to change this up so that we have more room so that more of us can sit together and watch a movie, hang out in the morning, whatever it may be. It's also important to us that we have a couch that can go down into a bed. And the reason we like to have that is that the kids all do have their own sleeping space, but sometimes at night one of them might get scared or they just don't want to sleep there, whatever it may be, they're not feeling well. So then if we have another couch, then Craig and I can come out and lay with them on that at night. Also, when they have sleepovers, and yes, we've had like 10 kids sleeping over in our RV at one time. <laughs> Party <It's>, house. <laughs> it's nice to have a, a couch that can be put down into a bed so that their friends have somewhere to sleep as well. Mm -hmm. Or if we had family that wanted to visit, we have a place for them to stay too. All right, so when you're gonna be living in your RV full time, this is not just a weekend getaway type of thing. It needs to be functional and it needs to work for you all the time. Yeah, it needs a purpose. Like you can't just have stuff just to have it. So we are very intentional with what we pick to put in this RV. So for example, with redesigning this area here where we have this couch, we also then made a smaller table and a smaller area for where the table was because we knew that as a family, we don't spend a lot of time there. If we're gonna eat as a family, we'll eat out on the picnic table or the kids will just eat sitting mm -hmm. on the couch. We also then made sure that everywhere that we have a seating area, there's storage underneath it. So back by the table, we mm -hmm. have a storage bench and underneath that there's three baskets that we can put different things in. We've got Legos in there, art supplies, games, things like that. We also have these little ottomans that we use for chairs and the ottomans open so that you're able to put a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, and I think another thing for full-time living and also running businesses on the road is to have a place where you can spend your time being productive working. So this is the first RV that we actually built a dedicated office space for her, which is our bedroom. <laughs> Dual purpose, right? Um, and then also just be able to shut the door and have the chaos happen out here and the business happened up there. Then we also knew for the kids area, we wanted to make sure they had a space that they could leave their stuff. So then right now in the back, our kids have a whole gaming system set up. They have um, you know, their games back there and they have tables and their um, laptops or their um, keyboards Computer, yeah. and all that set up back there. And it was important that they had a place that that could be set up and we could shut the door. So when they were done playing, we didn't have to put it all away and take it all down and then move it all around, which we've had to do in some of our other yeah. rigs. Also important that each of their kids had kind of their own bedroom space so that they have their own bed that they can decorate if they want to. They can also just have a place to go if they just want to be by themselves for a little while. So what are some things you can do to make their RV feel more comfortable and cozier? If that's a word. <laughs> what we recommend for that is throw pillows. Craig loves my throw pillows. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I would like one or two, but we have about 20. <laughs> We that's downsize, fine. we right, downsize. It's fine, it's, fine. Um, it's cozier. It's cozier. More cozier or whatever you said. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is. I think painting the walls makes the RV feel mm -hmm. cozier than having it be just the normal of what you get in yeah. an RV off of the showroom floor. Mm -hmm. um, we've also added wallpaper. She's a cheetah print gal, so yeah. we have that here for sure. That yes. was a must. Yeah. Gotta always have the cheetah prints. Also, in this new RV, we've done plants, which I don't really know what I'm doing, but they've survived so far. When we saw that this RV had a fireplace, we were like, come on now, can't we just put like a shelf in there or, or something? A storage area, a storage. yeah. We're not like gonna that. need a fireplace. Well, guess what? The first cold night, I was so happy we had the fireplace. <laughs> the other thing that we did in this one was we put in a lot of wood accents, like around the slide out trim. We have some bamboo shades up here. Our table is wood. Um, and I feel like the wood really makes it warmer in here and it like gives it more of that homey feel. Please know all this stuff we're talking about doing, we did an RV in about two and a half weeks. We gave ourselves just that amount of time and said we're going to focus on this pretty much full time yeah. and we're going to knock this out and we're going to get it done. So it's possible. You don't need a ton of time to do it and you can make it work. So why would we want to take a brand new RV that we just got and change everything? Uh, that's a good question and people ask us that a lot. Well, this RV in particular, the Montana, came beautifully off the showroom floor. Like this was one of the best interior layouts that I've seen in an RV, so we absolutely loved it. But we had to make it more 
fitting for our family. Like we have four kids and we travel full time. So we had to do, make some decisions to fit that lifestyle. This is a small space and we're in it a lot. So it needs to be kid friendly. So some of the things we have, like we have a basketball hoop in our RV. Yeah, sometimes Craig wants to take that basketball and whip it out the window, but I'll tell you what, the kids love it. They love it. They, they have like the perfect like half court right here and they, they use it a They lot. love it, <laughs> their friends love it, yeah. they've all dunked on it, like yeah. they've had a ton of fun with it. Yeah. And the other thing that we've done too is to, to make things accessible for the kids. So like we have food out, when they're hungry they can just grab it or their water bottles have a spot where it can just go. Um, and it's easy for them because some of these cabinets are really tall that we make sure everything is on their level and they can get to everything pretty easily. So one of our biggest tips for people that want to make their RV feel like home is just go for it. If we were afraid to do it, we would be kind of making our lifestyle adjust to what the RV was, but we did it the other way. So we're loving it and it's comfortable and it's functional, which is very important. And use channels like Instagram and you know, like hashtag RV inspiration and things like that to get ideas. We are not Chip and Joanna Gaines by any means. We did a whole lot of like, let's go on Instagram and look at what people did and take a picture and then just use that exact same thing in our RV and make it look <laughs> the same way. I will say though, Craig said to me in the beginning, he wasn't sure if it was all gonna come together. He didn't trust me. But in the end, he said, wow, it really all came together. I'm like, it did. well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> she did great. <laughs> so did you, so did you. All right, so hopefully that was helpful to try to show you some different tips and ideas to make your RV feel more like home. Mm -hmm. And Camping World has really awesome stores all over the country that are just filled with tons of different things that you can use to make your RV feel more like home. We always love when we walk into the Camping World store and it's like, I want that and I want that and I want that. And Craig's like, and we need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should just stay tuned and check out some of the other amazing sessions that will show you more about how to travel awesomely in an RV. And remember, Remember, we are Crazy Family Adventure. Yes, crazy. Yes, crazy. Crazy Family Adventure. And you can find us pretty much everywhere online. We have our blog. We also have our YouTube channel. We have a podcast all about full-time travel with kids in an RV. Mm -hmm. And we're on all of the social media, Facebook, Instagram. We're even giving TikTok a go. We're on Pinterest, a little bit on Twitter. So check us out all over the place at Crazy Family Adventure. Signing off. <laughs>
And we've got uh, Elise. And I'll tell you what, you could call this honestly the greatest RV show of all time. This would be the GOAT, wouldn't it? That is just beautiful. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is that the prices of these RVs are so low, it's almost bad. Oh. They give them away at this price. <laughs> it's bad to the bone. Whoa. What it's is almost, happening? They're like doing puns here. For, I don't know what's going on. But you did say low prices. And listen, we loved watching Brianna and Craig uh, do the wonderful, the influencers. They were talking about furniture, how to get everything decorated. Nothing makes your RV feel like home more than furniture and the decorations they had. We've got something very special happening right now for uh, 12% off all RV furniture you can do that right now. All you do is go to ultimatervshow.com and you'll get it. 12% off all RV furniture right now, right? That's it. And uh, listen, giveaways are not over. This is not over. We have a Coleman Lantern LT17B up for grabs. You have to stick around because you could win it if you're registered now. We are giving away an RV right after Power Hour, which is coming up in just a few moments. And if you missed last night's or any of our segments at all, don't forget you go to ultimatervshow.com and you can, we've got them all archived for you. Just click on the on demand tab. You can see anything, any of our vehicles, any of our discounts, any of our show specials. They're all listed right there. Ultimatervshow.com. Ladies, it's about that time. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. You know we get excited about this, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. favorite part of the day. We've been I mean, talking about it since breakfast. The, <laughs> <laughs> these are getting bad. I mean, really. If you guys are ready, so am I. What time is it, ladies? One, two, three. It's Power Hour! Yes! Little old, old boy. Looks like they're putting on quite a soiree up there with mm -hmm. Sean, Bria, Melissa, and the crew. Chesterfield, I would agree, my good friend. This is... Quite the party. I would say we came dressed for the occasion for the hour of power mm. to be one of such wonderful repute that it would not be met again or much. No, so. I would agree. I don't find this shallow or pedantic. Mm, definitely not shallow <laughs> nor pedantic, sir. And let me tell you, the deals that we have, and by the way, don't be sheepish, mm. Reginald, old boy, because it's not time. Because we have such a wonderful, wonderful, outstanding option for you tonight. Yes, Reginald, sir. please, it's all about the aristocracy of camping tonight. This is truly the top of the line, the beauty, my good friend. The deals we're going to talk about today, it is fitting of our attire. I would have to say as dashing as you are, sir, mm -hmm. you are definitely the greatest of all times. I believe the children call it the goat. The goat, such a silly term. Makes us think of cute little animals jumping. Jumping, frolicking <laughs> in about, <laughs> you know, which brings such wonderful presents to a campsite, much mm. like our retail items that we have right now, which are up to, I understand, 75% off. But people of our stature, oh. we don't dabble with such discounts, do we, Reginald? No, no, sir. 75% off. Why would I need such a thing? But look at look at my hat. I paid top dollar for it and look at the fit, sir. That is the best 10X crust velvet I believe oh. I've seen in years, right? Thank you. Hotel. Thank you. Yes, sir. But if it is something where you do feel like you need 75% off some retail items, dear friends, please grant us this honor, this favor. Text yourself CW Deals mm. on your current cellular device to 3209. Mm -hmm. Chesterfield, my good friend, this is truly the deal of the century. We have something that has never before been seen, something that is so wild and beyond imagination. My good sir, these are deals. And when I say deals, we've had deals in the past. We've seen deals. Everyone's seen deals. But this, this is groundbreaking. This is ultimate. You're ram crashing my mountain, Reginald. <laughs> Please, spare me not the weight anymore. Tell me, what unit do we have tonight that is so beautiful and ready to go that we cannot wait any farther? We have brand new Mar. New Mar, my friend. Turn around, take a look. We have the Bay Star Sport in all of its glory. Overstock. Camping World has more overstock items than anyone. Over 5,000 mm. currently in inventory. Now. Old chap. Yes, sir. If I were to show interest in this unit, mm -hmm. mayhaps you would tell me 
how would I go about procuring it? Very simple. You will simply use your cellular device and you will text SAVE to 32094. But here is the best thing. When we talk deals, what do you think the price on that beautiful luxury coach is? I would say probably the pocket change I have on me now, possibly close to $200,000. Mm, and that, sir, would normally be a very accurate representation of this beautiful piece of metal in machinery. However, tonight, for the first time ever, you can get a brand new 2021 Numar Baystar Sport for under $100,000. It can't be so, Reginald right no, I know. It can't be so. I know, it's gonna crash the economy. The power hour at Camping World has gone too far. I listen, cannot take it anymore. Listen, Maybe you heard it earlier, the kids are saying the goat, sir. The goat, this sir. is the goat of deals. We are the goat of the shows. <laughs> and the best part, our accents are so Bad, right? <laughs> they are very bad. <laughs> just so bad. <laughs> really the outfits brutal. Are oh, not bad. Listen, you are dashing, dude. My man. I appreciate that. This hat. Love I mean, it. here you want to see something? Check yeah. this out. Ready? Okay. Right. Boop. Gone. I feel like I feel like I should give you a guitar, and you should be playing "Sweet Child of Mine" for me right now. That's what I'm thinking <laughs> when I see this. Which would go? Which would go so well with the bass mm. star sport we have right here? Yeah, let's be honest for a second, Chris. When when we talk about Class A's, we talk about diesel pushers, we talk about gas Class A's. One yeah. of the names that always resonate among the top is Numar. It's Numar, absolutely. And we truly have some of the best deals. When we talk about great deals, guys, we're not joking. Right now, if you text SAVE to 32094, you will not only see this Bay Star Sport behind me for under 100,000, and again, the deal on that is incredible. If you've shopped and you've been in the market, if you're looking at something like this, I'm sure you have. And folks, yes. you know yes. hey, right now that that is the best deal you will ever find. If you want it, you got to text now because once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it, it's, might, it might already be gone. If someone that saw it right now. Yeah, and, and they say under 100 grand, done. Here's my credit card. Because this isn't one of those things where, oh, there's you know a bunch of them. No, we are over. We, we are getting rid of the overstocked inventory of new Mars because we have so many at Camping World. And if you don't text SAVE to 32094 right now and find yours, chances are when this one's gone, there's not going to be another one. There's only a few left. So don't, oh, we'll check on it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. And, and if you're looking diesel, if you're thinking diesel, Numar, mm -hmm. listen, we got diesel on the stock yeah, too. You want, you want a, you've been looking high end, you want luxury, you're thinking London Air, Chris, we got them. There is a heck of a deal on a London Air. All I have to do is text SAVE to 32094, my friend. I love it. You mm -hmm. know, that is definitely not a bad deal when you start thinking it about it. Really, it really isn't. That's, that's what it's all about. It's the ultimate RV show, Easy RV, my friend. You know, I say we kind of stroll our mm. hooves over to this base star, mm -hmm. get ourselves a little gander, RV and outdoors, at <laughs> what it looks like on the inside. But you got to, the whole reason we did the class tonight is because we got the class of the class A's. Yes, sir. Because we are class A ourselves. Oh, look at you go, you, my good friend. Chesterfield, you are on fire, they say. Uh, thank you, Reginald, I have yes. to say, that was, that was rather punny if I do say so myself. Whoa. Shall we head on in? Let's gander. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, camping world, uh, this beautiful, mm, class A, 3315. Wow. Wow. Bay Star, wow. And look, there's enough room for my ridiculous top hat. Which is impressive. It is impressive. Chris, how tall are you, good sir? 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Probably 6'6 six six with the hat. Th there you go. Easily stand underneath here. If you're Michael. a taller gentleman, taller lady, you have the space. Michael Jordan could get in here. You feel that? Soft touch roof. Do you know oh. what that does for you? What's that? A couple things. Let's say you're going crazy, you're accidentally, you know, you get up, you walk around through your motor home, which you shouldn't do while it's moving, but sure, if you do, sure, you sure, have sure. a coffee, yeah. you hit a bump, boop, goes on the ceiling. Yeah. Nice and easy to wipe off. You know oh. what else it does? That has sound deadening qualities, my friend. I noticed how quiet it was when mm -hmm. we got in here. Yep. We're, you know, we're out here at the Ultimate RV show. There's a lot of noise, production trucks going mm -hmm. and everything. This is very residential and class A, if I do say so myself. Yes, sir. Now, if it's if it's raining, you know, because that's a big thing, you know, it rains, it starts to get a little loud. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Oh, I see, this reminds me of the Palace Casino right here. <laughs> this beautiful, look at the just, look, you got the sparkly 
sequence in there. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Padded I, wood balance. Yeah, I do like that. You know what else I like? Is yeah. this right here? You see this? Do you know yeah. what that is? What is that? That right there, Chris. Yeah. It's a television, my friend. Oh, a TV comes up out of there? That's exactly what happens. So, a touch of a button, boop, boop, TV comes up. But, if you're classy gentlemen like ourselves, mm. we don't want people sitting around the tube. No. We're going to sit around no. with fine bourbon or scotch, and we're going to have conversation. Three finger pours while reading one of my favorite novels from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's. Mm. Well read, man. Well read, man. And the perfect thing about this floor plan is, as you will see, right across from the sofa is the dinette, which makes for perfect conversation late into the night. So, you come back from the charity ball. Yes, yeah, sure. You have... You're on cloud nine mm -hmm. from spending, you know, because you yourself are a philanthropist, you know, Absolutely. unmatched, unraveled. Mm -hmm. You come back, you and your lovely wife, you decide, I believe we're going to put the kids to bed. This is a bunkhouse model, which we'll get to here in a moment. Yes, sir. But how wonderful would it be, no matter where you are across the country, to be able to sit back, mm -hmm. enjoy just some company here. This, is this a dream dinette? Yes, sir. Have you noticed? See how my legs under here? We can both get under there. We go. Look, we can both get under there, and there we are. Now we're discussing the business dealings of the day over our scotches, or you're reconnecting with your lovely bride, enjoying mm -hmm. the campsite views in one of the classiest class A's that could possibly be found. And the fact that it's under a hundred thousand dollars—that's something that if you have wanted to experience the classy lifestyle, now you have a. You already got a Class A. Maybe you got a little bit of an older diesel pusher. Sure. You decide, sure. hey, I'm going to trade it in. Get this, my friends. The Good Sam Assurance Program is all about the trade-in. Mm -hmm. We will guarantee the best value for your trade, or it's a thousand bucks cash. You got three days to check it out. Twenty-four hours, you can have cash in hand. Plain and simple. We will even come get the unit. Drop off your new unit, and if you've been thinking, I can't afford this $200,000 coach, but if it's at $100,000, well, this is an investment that can't be passed up, good sir. Yes, you are absolutely correct. The Good, good Sam Insurance Program really is the, truly the best tr trade program out really there. Is. When we talk about yeah. the GOAT. The GOAT. The trade program is exactly that. $1,000. If we can't beat it, you are $1,000 richer. I know, sir, you've had some incredible investments. Could you not use an extra $1,000 to pour them in there? Uh, I am currently saving up for my third gold toilet as we speak. <laughs> so I figured, you know what? Extra $1,000 will help because you only run about $2.5 million a piece. Yes, sir. But once you've used one, you never go back. Mm, indeed, my friend. So yes, if you do this, speaking of investments, this investment here Mm -hmm. is one someone needs to make. And with the price that we have, these overstocked new mar these these overstocked RVs right now, you you can't beat it. Mm -hmm. You really can't beat it. Let's finish going through this beautiful. Look, you got the maple glaze wood cabinetry on here. What in the world is that? There it is. There it is. Sir. Who would you look at? So those are wondering where the uh, TV is and how it works. Mm -hmm. We have the switch right here. We simply flip the switch, good sir. And you hear that? That beautiful noise right there? That is the televator. Ooh. Nice and quiet, very functional. You can see the smooth operator. That's putting it on the Ritz right there. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Beautiful solid surface all the way throughout, as you would oh, expect in love it. any high-end coach. Let me tell you what, that motorized TV right there just gets my goat. I like it. Mm-hmm. Electrical outlets all throughout. And as you said, this one is a bunk model. Yes. So when we talk about sleeping arrangements, you can see right here, the kiddos have their own place. If you want to talk about true experiencing true vacation, you get to get up, go, have a beautiful place to sleep, high-end, solid wood, all for under $100,000. Safety and security right there, too. The little yes, one's not going to be falling all for, all for under $100,000. Mm -hmm. You've never had a deal like this. No. You really haven't. No. This is one where, really, if, if this one's still here by the time we're done with the power hour, I'll be surprised. Someone has already put a deposit down on this one. I, I just have that feeling. Well, you know, Chris, as I said earlier, when it comes to the power hours, all of them have been incredible deals. But the, tr the prices you're going to get on these new Mars is truly phenomenal. This is 
100% a once in a lifetime opportunity. The people that are watching right now, that have tuned into the Ultimate RV Show or watching the live stream, they are getting some of the best deals you will ever have on a new mar in history. Yeah. And all they have to do is text SAVE to 32094. We'll send you that list. You can shop for your new Mars. Yeah. Right on there. Go ahead, confirm availability, put a deposit down, whatever you got to do. Yes, sir. That's a big one. How do you confirm availability, Chris? There's a little uh, green button. There's a little green button. When you mm -hmm. get the link, bada bing, bada boom, you put it on there. Don't be sheepish. Don't be shy. Don't be the bad guy. Go ahead and get that reservation <laughs> sent and done. If you are jumping up and down like a baby goat ready to do yoga right now, and you're mm -hmm. thinking to yourself, I could really see me and my family enjoying this. This is an investment. We can take this across the country. Mm -hmm. We can go see the family. We can stay mm -hmm. in style. This is going to be one of those ones that last for a long time. Oh, look at the look at the woodwork look on the, the door itself. So, look yeah, look at this. Look at the cabinets. Look at the doors. Have you ever seen a bathroom door that looks that good? In, well, in, in any, in, in, I mean, as, aside from my palatial estate, you know why? Yeah, well, that's true. Right, right, well, yeah, 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 I mean, you, right, you do yeah. have the diamond encrusted knobs. Yes, yeah, true, mm -hmm. true, true. I believe my home has often been referred to as the Grapes of Wrath. Oh, well, yeah, wow, right. yes. especially the yard. Just you a know, plethora of opulence. It's one of those things where you would think I'm herding goats constantly, mm. but it's just yes, the way it is. Yes, and it's really sad. Um, you know, actually, recently my my grandma had to visit the farm. Oh, yes. Wait a minute, are we talking? Oh no, she just went and petted some beautiful oh, goats. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This, no, it's it's a sad those? story because oh, she she stepped in a little bit of poo, got no. it on her. Oh, yeah, just okay. ruined a beautiful Woo. pair of Gucci oh, shoes. You had, me, uh, you had me terrified. Uh, I thought yes. I was going to no, have to call my no. brother-in-law again and have to clean that one up. For no, me. no, we're oh, good. Okay, yes, no, no, he's yeah, we're good. Thank you, sir. Let me tell you. The palpitations have me leaping like a goat. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at these mirrored, beautiful mm -hmm. wardrobe cabinets. Yes, love it. Look, look at the lighting, all Would the you, way. Let's just look at it. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're putting on the Ritz. Yeah, Chris. For a lot of people, getting into a motorhome, one of the big challenges that a lot of people have is the barrier of entry. Right? Yeah. When yeah. you're looking at class A's, you're starting to look at the bus, it is an investment. There's a yeah. lot of people that, you know, they go to decide to do it full time, they mm -hmm. sell their homes, they get into a class A. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's it is exactly that. It is a great um, it is a great investment. It can be a big expense though, yeah. right up front. With something like this, you're gonna save anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars off what these normally go for. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. I mean if if this were any other day than today, you'd be paying an extra thirty grand on this. Yeah. I mean I folks, I'm not kidding. When I say this is a great deal, you can you can check me, you can fact check me right now. You can look it up. Yeah. And you'll see that that there's no joke. The prices we have on these new Mars is second to none. Yeah. I mean it you, is, it's it, one of those things where if they, they, if they do take advantage of it, mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to be something that they regret. No. But it's also going to be something they will regret if they don't take advantage of it. Well, and here's the thing, Chris. We're looking to set history. So we're taking the profits and we're just flushing them right down the toilet. Literally. Just flushing them right down the toilet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just right down into the sewer. We fed them to the goats. Yes, sir. Might as well just toss it out there and let them just gobble them up. But... Again, it's uh, it, it's truly an amazing opportunity for anyone that is interested in a Class A. You know, just text A three two zero nine four. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I hope because because we're having fun. The ultimate a RV show has all been you know about having fun. These power hours, Ian and I have just been hamming it up. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, we're 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 giving you the best slices of veal that we could possibly find. Um, each and every time. But in all seriousness, uh, this is something that you really can't pass up. And now, now granted, this might not be for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, a $100,000 motor coach isn't for everyone. Sure. But if you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking yeah. about doing the upgrade, uh, let me tell you, we're just, we're just being honest with you right now. Um, you can't pass it up. You really can't. Well, and, and here's the thing, Chris. Like I said, if, if, you know, if this one isn't for you, that's awesome. But mm -hmm. we have, the, the whole point of the Ultimate RV Show, and we've said this you know, the whole entire week, is to make things easy. So you know, 
if let's say you let's say you love this one, but you know it is sold because that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise me. Right. You know, I, I'm not shocked if this one is already gone. But that being said, we've seen a lot of great motorhomes out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, especially today, we had some of those uh, the Class Cs. Oh, those beautiful Class Cs. Absolutely, yeah. get you on the road, start making mm -hmm. memories. There's yeah. a lot of options, and we're here to help with that. Yeah. That's. That's part of the job. I and mean, we have the get up now, right? Just, just, just to, you know, kind of joke, because Numar is a, is a higher end brand. It is a I mean, higher brand. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. Um, but that being said, there's a lot of other great brands out there. You know, we have, we carry a lot of amazing motorhome brands. Yeah. And we're 100% here to help. You just gotta help us help you. Just text SAVE to 32094, mm -hmm. click confirm availability, and it'll take you right through that easy RV process we've been talking about, where someone will reach out, be able to guide you through, and as Chris said, with the Good Sam Assurance program, Ooh. we can pick up your coach you currently have. We'll drop this one off right to you, folks. You don't you don't have to leave the home. Mm -mm. You know? No, there's I mean there's 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 really no need to even get up off the couch. Mm -hmm. uh, now granted, you can come into Camp Royal. You can come in to Gand RV and Outdoors. You can come see us. Uh, we we're there, we're open. We're going to make sure, you know, that everything is safe and secure. But for something like this, mm -hmm. this is a once this is a one-time shot. Yeah. So we are overstocked on the new Mars. Yes, and sir. And the boss man was like, you know what? They got to go. What better time? We'll, we'll we'll make it up some other place. Yeah. We're not worried about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. It's like I said. We're we're taking savings. We're flushing it down the toilet. You know that. We're we're taking a sewer hose, taking the profits. Yeah. We're just right down there. Right but that, But that's okay. You know. But yeah. With that's the clear elbow. That that's part of. <laughs> that's part of what happens. That's that's what happens when you are overstocked. Yeah. So that's what you got to do. Yeah. So it's uh, again, it, the great thing about that, though, folks, is that you get to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys get the, the savings. Um, this is something else that I really like, Chris. Sometimes it's the, I always say this, it's the little things that make a difference to me. Mm -hmm. Something like this. You step up in here. You have the, the nice handrail right here. It is. It is pretty. That's classy. Mm hmm. That's classy, class A. And we had two classy gentlemen standing inside of class A looking at some classy stuff. Yeah. This is nice. This is very nice. I like a lot of Thor Class A's as well, but this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's now, take a step on out. You know, once again, not to be sheepish, old chap. Yes, sir. And you are looking like the goat. Thank you, good sir. This deal uh -huh. is like the goat. Uh huh. The person who buys this mm -hmm. at their country club mm -hmm. will be the goat. Yes, sir. And at the end of the day, isn't that worth just checking to see if it's there? 100%. Texting saved 32094 and yes, seeing, sir. and saying, can we please get these two buffoons out of these get ups that they're in? <laughs> I would buy this just to take off the top hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, Chris, the great thing about it is even if this one is gone, you know, we have Thor Ace available. We mm -hmm. have Freedom uh, Freedom Travelers. Oh, we got tons of options. You know, we have Venetians. We have. Uh, Tuscany. I mean, there are mm -hmm. a lot of options when it comes to Class A. Right. We're here to help. We, sh we showed the Georgetown. Mm -hmm. There's five series, seven series. We yeah. have yeah. a lot of Class A's available. We got a lot of good stuff. Oh, oh beautiful yeah, stuff. stuff. Beautiful that stuff. That Omni, a Super C. Mm -hmm. I mean, my gosh. I mean, that's just something. So, you know, by, by the time we're done, if the thing's already gone and you're looking for something like that, mm -hmm. absolutely. Just take save 32094. Drop a comment down below, save. Let's see what's out there. Let's see what we can get, see what we can get you, but you gotta click confirm availability. Mm -hmm. That green button's gonna pop up. If you don't click it, chances are it might be gone. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yep, click the button, find out. We'll guide you through it. We'll, guide, we'll absolutely guide you through it. Maybe you want a gas, maybe, you know, maybe you don't know the difference between gas and diesel. Maybe you're just starting out. Mm -hmm. We're here to help you out. We could take this to the Ritz. Yes, sir. Putting on the Ritz. Full body paint on there. Love it. Mm-hmm. Tons of storage. Absolutely gorgeous. I just don't see anything at all we need to say outside of just go get it. That's it, my friend. Just go get it. Just go get it. Mm-hmm. So all you gotta do, click the green button, check availability. <laughs> the new mark could be yours. I'd have to say, mm -hmm. Reginald. Yes, just a few. If the new model were yours. Yes, sir. And you offered it to me for $100,000 or mm -hmm. less. Yes, sir. $99,995. Yes, sir. Less than $100. Yes, sir. I would have the cash to you in 24 hours or less. Oh. And I would take the keys from you. Excellent. Much like if we had the Good Sam Assurance program and I wanted to trade mine in to get this one. So if I 
had this coach, Chesterfield. Just, just making sure I'm just, clear. Just, just throwing it out. And I wanted to trade it in and say, get a brand new uh, Tuscany. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. you know, opulence. Yes. It just seeps from my pores. <laughs> yes. Then that is something I could do. It absolutely is something you could do. Mm. And with a chance to get the cash in hand 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And you have three days okay. to shop the deal. And if you find a better deal, we're going to give you a thousand bucks in cash. Okay. There's no skin off your back whatsoever, whatsoever, other than the time it's going to take to text in save to 32094 and see what happens. Why Amazing, wouldn't you my do good it? friend. I mean, in the retail deals right. too, man. I mean, come on. No, we're you're putting on the dog and pony show. We're putting on the goat and pony <laughs> putting show. Putting on the goat and pony <laughs> goat show. And pony show. That's right exactly now. right. Now I, I have to agree with you, Chris. And like I said, it, it just. You know, the, one of the things that makes me really happy is just being able to help people. And then I, I say that from truly the bottom of my heart. Like if people know me, family, friends, they'll 100% agree. And that's what yeah. I love about the Easy RV program that we have in place because it is something that we're able to help. Mm -hmm. Because maybe a Newmar's right for you, maybe it's not. Like I say, maybe it's a Georgetown. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a Miramar. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a Challenger. Yeah. We're able to help you with all that. Maybe and, it's a Daybreak, Miss Freedom Elite. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, there, there are so many options out there. And so all you have to do is text SAVE to 32094. Or, again, if you're you know, thinking this one, maybe mm -hmm. maybe it's there, right. maybe it's not. Yeah. We still have great deals. This is still the ultimate RV show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's five days complete packed with all things RV and camping. And, you know, last night we had over 140,000 people mm -hmm. join us, 150,000 join us today before. I don't know where we're at today, but, you know, from all of us here, thank you so much for joining us. This has been such a, a, such a great eye-opening experience for us. Hopefully, you're having as much fun as we are. Because at the end of the day, that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to have fun. We're trying to get you to understand how fun the RV lifestyle mm. is. And, you know, we, we, we may go a little overboard sometimes. We may have a little play in us sometimes. We also may just decide to, you know, do you know how big that noggin is? <laughs> Trying to get this thing off of that head, we're literally gonna have to get the jaws of life. <laughs> I can't feel my ears right now because <laughs> they squeeze in my head so tight. <laughs> There's not a hat out. Omar the tent maker would have to make me a hat. Mmm, well, just a feel good chap. That hat Retinal is the time. perfect size for you. <laughs> oh, it's perfect, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like putting a rubber band on a fishbowl. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely gorgeous. You, sir, are a dashing specimen of a man. You are such a dashing, handsome young man, I can't stand it. If I had oh. a daughter, I'd marry her off to you right away. <laughs> but you're married currently. So I right. am a happily married man, but I like where your head's at, good sir. <laughs> Thank you once again, folks, for joining us here at the Ultimate RV Show. Yes. A couple of fine gentlemen peddling some fine wares, beautiful machinery. And speaking of. Yes, sir. I believe we have a giveaway. What? Do we not? Sir, this is the Hour of Power. And the Hour of Power involves giving a powerful giveaway. So, allow me, good Reginald, sir. Oh, <gasps> bum. Are you also a magician? Um, I did not know. <laughs> what do you think I got the suit? <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, <laughs> by the way, catch me three times a month out in Vegas. Our winner. Woo! What are we giving away today? Magic hand, spirit fingers. What are we giving away today? What do we have in there, sir? Is it a rabbit? Is it a? Is what it a we, goat? What are we giving away? What do we have? Seventeen bees. 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 Seventeen Norman Miller, congratulations. You are one lucky chap. Let me tell you what, you just won yourself a camper, Norman Miller. Mm. Brand new Coleman 17B. You can't beat that. When you guys, you're a couple of fine fellows like us, you can give things away. Absolutely. Especially when we give away campers that we don't own. <laughs> Good point, chap. <laughs> so, for all of us here at the Country Club, better known as the Ultimate RV Show, mm. we say and bid you adieu and good night. Thank you for joining us for the Ultimate RV Show. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Ooh.